the pyramid texts. Narrated by Matthew Schmitz. One, the pyramid texts of Unis. Spells for protection of the mummy. Spells against snakes and scorpions. Plate has been entwined by plate. The toothless calf that emerged from the garden has been entwined. Earth, swallow up what has emerged from you. Monster, lie down, crawl away. The sunshine's servant has fallen in the water. Snake, overturn, that the sun may see you. The head of the great black bull has been severed. Snake, I say this about you. God expelling scorpion, I say this about you. Overturn yourself, drive into the earth, you about whom I have said this. Face has fallen on face, face has seen face. The dappled knife, all black and green, has emerged and swallowed the one it has licked. This is the fingernail of Atum, the one on the vertebra of Kas Asinger's spine, the one that stripped chaos from Hermopolis. Fall down, crawl away. Your two drops into the earth, your two ribs into the hole. Shoot liquid and the two kites will stand up. Your mouth will be closed by the executioner's gear. The mouth of the executioner's gear will be closed by Mafdet and the one made slack will be bitten by plight. O oh son, bite for Unis the earth, bite for Unis Geb, bite for Unis the father of the one who would bite him. This is the one who would bite Unis, the instant after he sees Unis. Unis did not bite him, he is the one who came against Unis the instant after he looked at Unis. Unis did not go against him. You bite Unis, snake, and he will give your one biter. You look at Unis and he will give your second biter. Plight has been bitten by a plight. A plight has been bitten by plight. Sky will entwine. Earth will entwine. The male who turns around the subjects will entwine. The blind god will be entwined, and you yourself will be entwined, scorpion. These are the two spells of Elephantine that are in the mouth of Osiris, which Horus has cast on the snake's spine. Your bone is boned, and you are boned. Desires are restricted, and the pillars in the kiln's place are felled. It is Hemen. Vascular one. Vascular one, seminal one, seminal one, you long one of his mother, fluid one, fluid one, the deserts shall be washed for me, don't ignore me, the cobra that came from the earth has fallen, the fire that came from new has fallen, fall down, crawl away, on your face, you on his coil, Go down on your vertebra, you in his undergrowth. Go back for me, you who jubilate with her two faces. You long one, beaten flank, beaten flank. You have mated with the pair of goddesses at the threshold of my praised sovereign. Earthen one of the courtyard, trampled porphyrite, foot trampled, cord, sun, that is your name. The spittle is ended. What is in the poison sacks has sped to the house of its mother. Monster, lie down. The bread of your father is for you, you whose attack has missed. Your own bread of your father is for you, you whose attack has missed. The gold of jubilation, apparent in heat, that is your bull. 
the esteemed one against whom this is done. The white crown has emerged and swallowed the great one. The white crown's tongue has swallowed the great one with the tongue unseen. Cobra to the sky, Horus's centipede to the earth. The cowherd Horus is stepping. Unis has stepped on Horus's glide path only unconsciously. Unis not knowing better. On your faith, you in his undergrowth. Be dragged away, you in his cavern. Horus's oven that is all over the earth. Oh, let the monster be off. Wall spit, brick vomit. That which has come from your mouth has been turned against you yourself. The fire has been extinguished. No lamp can be found in the house where the umbite is. The biting snake is all over the house of the one he would bite, hiding in it. Two scepters. Two scepters are for two strips of papyrus, and for two strips of papyrus as trampled bread. Lion, go away. Whether you are here or whether you are there, servant, spit out. The Offering Ritual Libation Osiris, acquire for yourself all those who hate Unis and anyone who speaks bad of his name. Toth, go acquire him for Osiris. Get the one who speaks bad of Unis's name. Put him in your hand. Don't you let loose of him. Beware that you not let loose of him. Sensing. Someone has gone with his Ka. Horus has gone with his Ka. Seth has gone with his Ka. Toth has gone with his Ka. The God has gone with his Ka. Osiris has gone with his Ka. Eyes Forward has gone with his Ka. You too have gone with your Ka. Ho, oh, Unis. Your Ka's arm is before you. Ho, Unis, your Ka's arm is after you. Ho, Unis, your Ka's foot is before you. Ho, Unis, your Ka's foot is after you. Osiris Unis, I have given you Horus's eye. Provide your face with it. Let the scent of Horus's eye disseminate to you. Cleansing the mouth with salt water. These your cool waters, Osiris. These your cool waters, O Unis, have come from your son, have come from Horus. I have come, having gotten Horus's eye, that your heart may become cool with it. I have gotten it under your feet. Accept the outflow that comes from you. Your heart will not become weary with it. Come, you have been invoked. Condensed milk, condensed milk that parts your mouth. Oh, you niece, may you taste its taste in front of those of the gods' booths. The spittle of Horus, condensed milk. The spittle of Seth, condensed milk. The reconciliation of the two gods' hearts, condensed milk. Your natron salt is among Horus's followers. Your natron is Horus's natron. Your natron is Seth's natron. Your natron is Toth's natron. Your natron is the god's natron. Your own natron is amongst them. Your mouth is the mouth of a milk calf on the day he is born. Your natron is Horus's natron. Your natron is Seth's natron. Your natron is Toth's natron. Your natron is the god's natron. Your natron is your Ka's natron. Your natron is your natron's natron. This, your own natron, is amongst your brothers, the gods. Your natron is on your mouth. You should clean all your bones and end what is bad against you. Osiris. I have given you Horus's eye. 
provide your face with it disseminated. The Mouth Opening Ritual Oh, Eunice, I have fixed your jaws spread for you. Osiris, Eunice, let me part your mouth for you. Eunice, accept Horus's eye, which went away. I have gotten it for you that I might put it in your mouth. Oh, Eunice, accept Osiris's mineral. Here is the tip of the breast of Horus's own body. Accept it to your mouth. Here is the breast of your lactating sister Isis, which you should take to your mouth. Here are Horus's two eyes, black and white. Take them to your countenance, that they may brighten your face. The mouth opening meal. Content for you shall be the sun in the sky, and he shall content for you the two ladies. Content for you shall be the night. Content for you shall be the two ladies. Contentment be what is gotten for you. Contentment be what you see. Contentment be what you hear. Contentment be before you. Contentment be behind you. Contentment be your lot. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's white teeth, which provide your mouth. A king given offering to the Ka of Unis. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, your bread loaf, and eat. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which escaped from Seth, which you should take to your mouth and with which you should part your mouth. Osiris Unis, part your mouth with what is filled from you. Osiris Unis, accept the foam that comes from you. Sun, your dawning, you in the sky, your dawning. Be for this, Unis, Lord of everything. As everything is for your body, let everything be for Unis's Ka. Let everything be for his body. Unis, accept Horus's eye, which you should taste. O oh, you interred, O oh, you of the dark. Unis, accept Horus's eye, which you should embrace. Unis, accept Horus's eye, which escaped from Seth and was rescued for you. Part your mouth with it. Unis, accept the foam that comes from Osiris. Unis, accept Horus's eye, which was rescued for you. It cannot be away from you. Unis, accept Horus's eye. Provide yourself with it. Anointing. Osiris Unis, I have filled for you your eye with oil. Osiris Unis, accept the foam that is from his face. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye on which he caused devastation. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye which he rejoined. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye with which he got the gods. Ointment, ointment, where should you be? You on Horus's forehead, where should you be? You were on Horus's forehead, but I will put you on this Unis's forehead. You shall make it pleasant for him, wearing you. You shall actify him, wearing you. You shall make him have control of his body. You shall put his ferocity in the eyes of all the ox who shall look at him and everyone who hears his name as well. Osiris Unis, I have gotten for you Horus's eye, which he acquired to your forehead. Presentation of Eye Paint Osiris Unis, Horus's eye has been painted sound on your face. Presentation of Linen May you awake in peace. Awake, Tait, in peace. Awake, you of Tait town, in peace. Horus's eye in depth, in peace. Horus's eye in the red crown enclosures, in peace. You whom the made up women receive, you who adorn the great one in the sedan chair, and make the two lands bow to this Unis like they bow to Horus and make the two lands afraid of Eunice, like they are afraid of Seth. 
May you sit opposite Unis in his divinity. May you part his path at the fore of the ox, that he may come to stand at the fore of the ox as Anubis at the fore of the Westerners. To the front, to the front with Osiris. Preparation of the offering table. Toth, get him with it. He has come forth to him with Horus's eye. Give him Horus's eye that he may become content with it. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye with which he became content. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye and be content with it. Cause it to revert to you. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, gather it to your mouth. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, prevent him from trampling it. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which he pulled out. Osiris Unis, accept little Horus's eye, of which Seth has eaten. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which they diverted from him. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, lift it to your face. Lift your face, Osiris, lift your face, O Unis, who has gone to become Ak. Lift your face, Unis, esteemed and sharp, and look at what has come from you, striking the one who is netted in it. Wash yourself, Unis, and part your mouth with Horus's eye. You shall summon your Ka, namely Osiris, and he shall defend you from every wrath of the dead. Unis, receive to yourself this your bread, which is Horus's eye. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye on account of which you have burst forth. Provide yourself with the foam that comes from you. Osiris Unis, accept the one of the shank, Horus's eye. Cleansing the mouth. Osiris Unis, gather to yourself the water that is in it. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which cleaned his mouth. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye. Gather it to your mouth. Bread and onions. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which Seth trampled. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which he pulled out. Osiris Unis, acquire for yourself your face. Osiris Unis, I have gotten for you those that resemble your face. Osiris Unis, I have set your eye. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, prevent him from feeling pain from it. Osiris Unis, receive to yourself your head. Osiris Unis, here is your eye, acquire it for yourself. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which he carried off. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, don't let it jump around. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which he pulled out. Osiris Unis, here is Horus's eye, put for you in your mouth. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, your bread loaf, and eat. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which he pulled out. Osiris Unis, get for yourself his white, sound teeth. Beef and Poultry Osiris Unis, here is the one who stole Horus's eye. Osiris Unis, dance. Geb will not do wrong by his heir who inherits. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which you should embrace. Osiris Unis, accept the one of the shank, Horus's eye. Osiris Unis, accept those who rebelled against you. Osiris Unis, accept the one whom you beached. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye and go toward it. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye against which he went. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye which is from his forehead. Osiris Unis, here is Horus's eye which is from Seth's forehead. Osiris Unis, accept the severed heads of Seth's followers. Osiris Unis, accept all of this heart. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye which he has brought. O 
Osiris Unis, except the one who came to settle them. Osiris Unis, except Horus' eye, prevent him from suffering from it. Bread. Osiris Unis, except Horus' eye, which he pulled out. Osiris Unis, except Horus' eye, it cannot be cut away from you. Osiris Unis, Horus' eye has been allotted to you. Osiris Unis, except Horus' eye, the waters of which he caused to suffer. Drinks. Osiris Unis, except little Horus' eye, of which Seth has eaten. Osiris Unis, except Horus' eye, they come rounded out from it. Osiris Unis, except Horus' eye, which they enjoyed against him. Osiris Unis, provide yourself with the foam that comes from you. Osiris Unis, provide yourself with the foam that comes from you. Osiris Unis, provide yourself with the foam that comes from you. Osiris Unis, provide yourself with the foam that comes from you. Osiris Unis, accept the breast of Horus, which they made a gift of. Osiris Unis, part your mouth with it. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye, which they spewed out. Prevent him from swallowing it. Osiris Unis, accept the pupil in Horus's eye. Part your mouth with it. Osiris Unis, accept Horus's eye, which he captured. Part your mouth with it. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye. It will not be released from you. Brutes. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye as it jumps around. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye which he carried off. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye which he took from Seth. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' white eye. Prevent him from putting it on as a headband. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' green eye. Prevent him from putting it on as a headband. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye. Prevent him from wrenching it away. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye. Prevent him from wrenching it away. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye. It is slipping. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye, which they have licked. Osiris Unis, open your eyes and see with them. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye. Prevent him from netting it. Vegetables Osiris Unis, accept Horus' sweet eye. Return it to yourself. Osiris Unis, accept Horus' eye. Allot it to yourself. Dedication of Offerings Osiris Unis, may what you have endure for you with you. Invocation of the Offering Ritual Hey, turn around. Ah, ah. Oh, Unis, stand up and sit down to a thousand of bread. A thousand of beer, roast meat, your rib meat from the slaughterhouse, pulled bread from the broad hall. As the god is provided with a god's offering, Unis is provided with this his bread. You have come to your Ba, Osiris, Ba among the ox, in control in his places, whom the Ennead tend in the official's enclosure. Ho, oh, Unis, elevate yourself to me. Betake yourself toward me. Do not go far from me, tomb dweller, and turn toward me. I have given you Horus's eye. I have allotted it to you. May it endure for you, with you. Ho, oh, Unis, stand up. Receive this, your bread from me. Ho, oh, Unis, I will be an attendant for you. Invocation of the Insignia Ritual Hey, you, Unis, turn about, you, Unis. You have gone that you may govern Horus's mounds. You have gone that you may govern Seth's mounds. You have gone that you may govern Osiris's mounds. A king given offering of all your insignia, 
in all your places, your water lily bud scepter at the fore of the living, your staff at the fore of the ox, as Anubis at the fore of the westerners, as Anjeti at the fore of the eastern gnomes. How content is your situation as you become Ak, O Unis, among your brothers the gods? How different it is, how different it is, you whom your child tended. Beware of your limit in the earth. Get dressed in your body and come to them. Reversion of Offerings O Osiris Unis, turn yourself to this your bread. Receive it from me. May Horus's eye endure with you. Libation and Sensing Someone has gone with his ka. Horus has gone with his ka. Seth has gone with his ka. Toth has gone with his ka. The god has gone with his ka. Osiris has gone with his ka. Eyes forward has gone with his ka. You too have gone with your ka. Ho oh, Unis, your ka's arm is before you. Ho oh, Unis, your ka's arm is after you. Ho oh, Unis, your ka's foot is before you. Ho oh, Unis, your ka's foot is after you. Osiris Unis, I have given you Horus's eye. Provide your face with it. Let the scent of Horus's eye disseminate to you. Greetings, incense. Greetings, God's brother. Greetings, great whoever in Horus's limbs. You of great purity, spread yourself in your identity of the cake of incense. Let your scent be on Unis and purify Unis. Horus's eye, may you become high and big toward Unis. Smashing the offering vessels. This is the firm eye of Horus. It has been set for you that you may become powerful and he may become afraid of you. Response to the offering ritual. Spells for the power of nourishment. The whores grew aroused. The heart of those who cleanse the breast became fully uplifted when they swallowed Horus's bright eye that is in Heliopolis. Unis's little finger dig out this which is in Osiris's navel, and Unis will not thirst, Unis will not hunger, it will not be against the heart of Unis. Ha's arms are what repel his hunger. Become a wash with joy, become a wash hearts. O you in charge of the bread production, who belong to the flood, Commend Unis to Fetekti, the cupbearer of the sun, whom the sun commended to himself that the sun may commend him to the one in charge of provisioning for this year, that they may grab barley and give him beer, that they may grasp emmer and give him bread. For to Unis, his father is the one who gave barley and beer, the sun is the one who gave emmer and bread. For he is the great bull who struck Kenzet. For Unis is the one who has a quintet of meals in the enclosure. A triad is for the sky with the sun. A pair is for the earth with the dual ennead. He belongs to the one who was let loose. He is the one who was let loose. He belongs to the one who is seen. He is the one who is seen. O oh sun, it is better for him today than yesterday. For Unis has made it with moisture. Unis has kissed dryness. Unis has joined with fertility. Unis has made it with the young girl of his care when grain and liquid were absent. And the young girl of the care of Unis is the one who will give bread to Unis and make it better for him today. A meal for me, knife sharpener. A meal for me, knife sharpener. A meal for me, you in the sun's eye. A meal for me, you with access to the sun's boat, you in the god's eye boat. Cupbearer, present water, light the fire for a joint among the roast meat. Shoe is fresh, 
for Unis does not acquire his things. Unis is fresh, for Shu does not acquire his things. It is your bread. Awake, Parter, go on high, Toth. Awake, sleepers, rouse you in Kenzet, before the great heron that comes from the garden, paths Parter, who comes from the Tamarisk. The mouth of Unis is clean. The dual Ennead has cleaned Unis with Natron, and this tongue in his mouth is clean. Unis's abomination is excrement. Unis rejects urine. Unis abominates his abomination. Unis's abomination is these two. He does not eat the abomination of these two, like Seth rejects the two that cross the sky. Sun and Toth, take Unis with you, that he may eat of what you eat of, that he may drink of what you drink of, that he may live on what you live on, that he may sit where you sit, that he may grow powerful from what you grow powerful from, that he may sail in what you sail in. The booth of Unis is plated of reeds. The flood of Unis is in the marsh of offerings. His feast is among you, gods. The water of Unis is wine, like the sun. Unis will circumnavigate the sky like the sun. Unis shall course the sky like Toth. Hunger is Unis's abomination. He does not eat it. Thirst is Unis's abomination. He does not drink it. Unis, in fact, is the one who will give bread to those who are. The milk goddess is his attendant. She is the one who will make it possible for him to live. She, in fact, is the one who bore Unis. Unis was conceived in the night. Unis was born in the night. He belongs to those who are in the sun's wake, who precede the morning god. Unis was conceived in new. He was born in new. He has come having gotten for you bread of those he found there. Horus's eye dripped on the bush, and foremost of westerners came for it, having fetched sustenance for Horus, foremost of the houses. What he lives on, Unis lives on. What he eats of, he eats of. What he drinks of, he drinks of. A joint of roast meat, that is his offering. The Resurrection Ritual Invocation to New Life O oh, Unis, you have not gone away dead. You have gone away alive. Sit on Osiris's chair with your baton in your arm and govern the living with your water lily scepter in your arm and govern those of the inaccessible places. Your lower arms are of a tomb, your upper arms of a tomb, your belly of a tomb, your back of a tomb, your rear of a tomb, your legs of a tomb, your face of Anubis. Horus's mounds shall serve you. Seth's mounds shall serve you. O oh, Unis, beware of the lake. Dispatches of your Ka have come for you. Dispatches of your father have come for you. Dispatches of the son have come for you, saying, Go in the wake of your son and become clean. Your bones, falcon goddesses in the sky, that you may exist beside the god and leave your house to your son of your begetting. Anyone who will speak bad of the name of Unis when you go forth, Geb has decreed him a reject in the town of the pregnant one, turning back and becoming inert. But you shall become clean in the cool waters of the stars and board the sunboat on cords of metal, on the shoulders of Horus and his identity of the one who is in Sokar's boat. The populace will cry out to you once the imperishable stars have raised you aloft. Climb to the place where your father is, where Geb is, and he will give you what is on Horus's brow. You shall become Ak through it, you shall take control through it. You shall be through it at the fore of the Westerners. Release from the Duat and the Earth. O oh, Unis, your envoys have gone, your heralds have run, to your father, to a tomb, to say for you. 
a tomb. Bring me up to you. Encircle me inside your arms. There is no star god without his companion. I am your companion. See me as you have seen the forms of the progeny who know their spells, the imperishable stars. And see in me the two in the palace, that is, Horus and Seth. May you spit on Horus's face for him and remove the injury against him. May you catch Seth's testicles for him and remove his hurt. That one has been born to you. This one has been conceived to you. For you have given birth to Horus and his identity, at which the earth shakes and the sky trembles. This one has no hurt. That one has no injury, and vice versa. You have no injury, Unis. You have no hurt. You have been born, Horus, to Osiris, but have become more Ba than he, more in control than he. You have been born, Seth, to Geb, but have become more Ba than he, more in control than he. No God's own seed has gone from life. You, his own, will not go. Son Atum will not give you to Osiris. He will not claim your mind. He will not have control of your heart. Son Atum will not give you to Horus. He will not claim your mind. He will not have control of your heart. Osiris, you cannot control him. Your son cannot control him. Horus, you cannot control him. Your father cannot control him. You belong, whoever, to that god of whom Atum's twin said. You are distinguished, they said, in your identity of a god. You shall become completed as every god. Your head is Horus of the Duat, an imperishable star. Your face as eyes forward, an imperishable star. Your ears, a tomb's twins, an imperishable star. Your eyes, a tomb's twins, an imperishable star. Your nose as the jackal, an imperishable star. Your teeth, Sopdu, an imperishable star. Your arms, Hapi and Duam Mutef. When you demand to go up to the sky, you go up. Your legs, Imseti and Kebesenuef. When you demand to go down to the undersky, you go down. Your limbs, a tomb's twins, an imperishable star. You will not perish. Your Ka will not perish. You are Ka. Commendation to the night boat at dusk. Someone has come to you, Nephthys. Someone has come to you, night boat. Someone has come to you, pilot covered in gore. Someone has come to you, place where Ka's are remembered. May you remember him, this Unis. Orion has become encircled by the Duat, as the Living One became clean in the Akhet. Sothis has become encircled by the Duat, as the Living One became clean in the Akhet. This Unis has become encircled by the Duat, as the Living One became clean in the Akhet. He has become Ak for them. He has grown cool for them, inside the arms of his father, inside the arms of a tomb. Commendation to a tomb at dawn. Son, a tomb, this Unis has come to you, an imperishable Ak, lord of the property of the place of the four papyrus columns. Your son has come to you, this Unis has come to you. You shall both traverse the above after gathering in the underworld and rise from the Akhet, from the place in which you have both become Ak, Seth and Nephthys. Go announce to the gods of the Nile Valley, as well as their ox. This Unis has come, an imperishable ox. Should he want you to die, you will die. Should he want you to live, you will live. Son, a tomb, Unis has come to you, an imperishable ox, lord of the property of the place of the four papyrus columns. Your son has come to you. This Unis has come to you. You shall both traverse the above, after gathering in the netherworld, and rise from the Akhet, from the place in which you have both become Ak. Osiris and Isis 
Go announce to the gods of the Delta as well as their ox. This Unis has come, an imperishable ox, as the one who is to be worshipped, Osiris who is over the inundation. Let the ox in the water worship him. The one he wants to live, he will live. The one he wants to die, he will die. Son Atum, this Unis has come to you, an imperishable ox lord of the property of the place of the four papyrus columns. Your son has come to you. This Unis has come to you. You shall both traverse the above after gathering in the netherworld and rise from the Akhet from the place in which you have both become Ak. Toth, go announce to the gods of the west as well as their Ak. This Unis has come, an imperishable Ak, arrayed on the neck as Anubis at the head of the western height that he may claim minds and control hearts. The one he wants to live, he will live. The one he wants to die, he will die. Son Atum, this Unis has come to you, an imperishable Ak, lord of the property of the place of the four papyrus columns. Your son has come to you. This Unis has come to you. You shall both traverse the above after gathering in the netherworld and rise from the Akhet from the place in which you have both become Ak. Horus, go announce to the Ba's of the East, as well as their Ox. This Unis has come, an imperishable Ak. The one he wants to live, he will live. The one he wants to die, he will die. Son Atum, your son has come to you. This Unis has come to you. Elevate him to you, encircle him within your arms. He is your bodily son forever. Commendation to Osiris Osiris, this Uni has come, the Enneads fledgling, an imperishable Ak. He will claim mines, take away life forces and bestow life forces as what he reckons, including whomever he associates to himself or petitions to him. There is none who will be excluded without his bread, without his cause bread, deprived of his bread. Geb has spoken, and it has come from the mouth of the Ennead. O Falcon who succeeds his father in acquiring the throne, they said, you are Ba and in control. This Unis has come, the Ennead's fledgling, an imperishable Ak, who surpassed you and surpasses you, wearier than you and greater than you, sounder than you and more acclaimed than you and your time therein is no more. It is what Seth and Toth have done, your brothers who do not weep for you. Isis and Nephthys, assemble, assemble, gather, gather. This Unis has come, the Ennead's fledgling, an imperishable Ak. The Westerners in the earth are for this Unis. This Unis has come, the Ennead's fledgling, an imperishable Ak. The Easterners in the earth are for this Unis. This Unis has come, the Ennead's fledgling, an imperishable Ak. The Southerners in the earth are for this Unis. This Unis has come, the Ennead's fledgling, an imperishable Ak. The Northerners in the earth are for this Unis. This Unis has come, the Ennead's fledgling, an imperishable Ak. Those in the under sky are for this Unis. This Unis has come, the Ennead's fledgling, an imperishable Ak. Litany of Identification with Osiris A tomb, this Osiris here is your son, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Shu, this Osiris here is your son, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Tefnut, 
This Osiris here is your son, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Geb, this Osiris here is your son, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Newt, this Osiris here is your son, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away, should this Unis be taken away. Isis, this Osiris here is your brother whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away, should this Unis be taken away. Seth, this Osiris here is your brother, who was made to revive and live that he might catch you. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Nephthys, this Osiris here is your brother, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Both, this Osiris here is your brother who was made to revive and live that he might catch you. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Horus, this Osiris here is your father, whom you have made revive and live. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Big Ennead, this one here is Osiris, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Little Ennead, this one here is Osiris, whom you have made revive and live. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. Newt, this Osiris here is your son, of whom you said, someone has been born to me. You said, and you wiped his mouth for him after his mouth had been parted, his beloved son Horus, and his limbs numbered by the gods. He will live, and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the Heliopolitan, enduring in his necropolis, 
he will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of Anjati, at the head of his countrysides, he will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in the scorpion enclosure, the Ka at rest, he will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in the God's booth, the one in the sensing, the one of the coffer, the chest, and the sack. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in the white palace of laurel wood, he will live and this Unis will live. He will not die, and this Unis will not die. He will not perish, and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away, and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in Orion, with your season at the sky and your season at the earth, Osiris, turn your face and look at this Unis, your seed that came forth from you active. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in depth, May your arms be about the meal, your daughter, and provide yourself with it. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in the enclosure of the eldest of bulls, he will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in southern Hermopolis, may your arms be about the meal, your daughter. Provide yourself with it. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in northern Hermopolis, may your arms be about the meal, your daughter. Provide yourself with it. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. In your identity of the one in the town of pools, what you have eaten, the eye, your belly shall grow round from it your son Horus releasing it to you so that you might live from it. He will live and this Unis will live. He will not die and this Unis will not die. He will not perish and this Unis will not perish. He will not be taken away and this Unis will not be taken away. He will be taken away should this Unis be taken away. 
Your body is the body of this Unis. Your flesh, the flesh of this Unis. Your bones, this Unis's bones. You will go from life should this Unis go. Should this Unis go, you will go. Commendation to the Red Crown The Akhet's door has been opened. Its door bolts have drawn back. He has come to you, Red Crown. He has come to you, Fiery One. He has come to you, Great One. He has come to you, Great of Magic. Clean for you and fearful because of you. May you be content with him. May you be content with his cleanliness. May you be content with his speech when he says to you, How fine you look, content, renewed, and rejuvenated. For the God who is the God's Father has given you birth. He has come to you, great of magic. He is Horus, encircled by the aegis of his eye. The great of magic. Ho, oh, red crown. Ho, oh, curl. Ho, oh, great one. Ho, oh, great of magic. Ho, oh, fiery one. May you make Unis's ferocity like your ferocity. May you make this Unis's fearsomeness like your fearsomeness. May you make this Unis's acclaim like your acclaim. May you make the love of this Unis like the love of you. May you make his baton at the head of the living. May you make his scepter at the head of the ox. May you make his knife sturdy against his enemies. O oh, Curl, you have emerged in him, and he has emerged in you. O oh, you niece, the great thing has given you birth. The firstborn's thing has adorned you. The firstborn's thing has given you birth. The great thing has adorned you. For you are Horus, encircled by the aegis of his eye. Commendation to the Sun You shall stand up on it, this land that came from a tomb, the spittle, that came from the beetle, and evolve on it and become high on it, and your father will see you, the Sun will see you. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O Sun. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O downcast. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O fertilizer. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O rager. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O great wild bull. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O one of the great reed float. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O oh, Subdue. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, O oh, Sharp Teeth, that you may make this Unis grasp the cool waters and receive the Akhet, that you may make this Unis rule the Nine and provide the Ennead, that you may give in this Unis's arm the crook that lowers the head of the Delta and the Nile Valley. He shall descend on his opponent and stand up over the Great One as his greater, the one whom Nephthys has blessed, for he has taken away opposition, saying, You have provided yourself as Seth, great of magic in Ambos, lord of the Nile Valley land. Nothing has been lost to you, nothing has been wanting to you, for see, you are more, ba, and more in control than the gods of the Nile Valley or its ox. You whom the pregnant one spewed forth, and you illumined the night, provided as Seth, whose raw testicles were pulled off. The one whom Isis has blessed, saying, You have provided yourself as Horus, the youthful. Nothing else has been lost to you. Nothing else has been wanting to you. For see, you are more Ba, and more in control than the gods of the north, or its ox. Unis, you shall release your cleansing to a tomb in Heliopolis. You shall descend with him, that you may decide the needs of the undersky and stand up in the places of Nu. You shall evolve with your father a tomb. You shall go high with your father a tomb. You shall rise with your father a tomb and release needs. Head to Newt, 
the Heliopolitan in the sedan chair. Go forth and part your path through shoes bones, that the inside of your mother Newt's arms may encircle you. You shall become clean in the Aket and release your cleaning in shoes lakes. You will go up and go down. You will go down with the sun, one of the dusk with the one who was cast down. You will go up and go down. You will go up with the sun and rise up with the one of the great reed float. You will go up and go down. You will go down with Nephthys, one of the dusk with the night boat. You will go up and go down. You will go up with Isis and rise up with the day boat. You shall gain control of your body without impediment, having been born to be Horus and conceived to be Seth, having become clean in the Western Gnome, having received your cleaning in the Bubastite Gnome with your father, with a tomb. You have developed. You have gone high. You have become effective. It has become cool for you inside your father's arms, inside a tomb's arms. A tomb. Elevate him to you. Encircle him inside your arms. He is your son of your body, forever. Commendation to the sky. This Unis has come to you, Newt. This Unis has come to you, Newt, having left his father on earth, having left Horus behind him, having grown wings as a falcon, feathered as a hawk, his Ba having fetched him, his magic having provided him. Unis, you shall part your place in the sky among the stars of the sky, for you are the lone star at Newt's shoulder. May you look upon Osiris' head as he governs the ox, while you yourself stand far from him. You are not of them. You will not be of them. Commendation to the Gods this Unis's stance as a ram with two wild bullhorns on his head has been seen. For you are a black ram, Unis, son of a black ewe, whom a white ewe bore and four sheep suckled. Blue-eyed Horus has come against you gods. Beware of red-eyed Horus, the one with painful wrath. His ba cannot be barred. His envoys have gone, his hurries have run and they will announce to the one with sweeping shoulder in the east. This one of yours has gone, of whom the god says that he will govern the god's fathers. The gods shall grow silent for you, the Ennead having put their arm to their mouth, before this one of yours, of whom the god says that he will govern the god's fathers. Go stand at the Akhet's door, Unis. Pull open the cool water's door, and stand at their four, as Geb at the four of his Ennead. When they enter, they will strike obstruction. When they exit, they will lift up their face and see you as Min at the four of the dual shrines. Someone has stood up behind you, son. Your brother has stood up behind you. The one who summoned has stood up behind you. You will not perish, Unis. You will not cease. Your identity will endure with people even as your identity comes to be with the gods. Spells for Emerging from the Duat Address to the spirit as it leaves the burial chamber. Your son Horus has acted for you. The Great Ones will shake, having seen the knife in your arm as you emerge from the Duat. Greetings, experienced one. Geb has created you. The Ennead has given you birth. Horus has become content about his father. A tomb has become content about his ears. The Eastern and Western gods have become content about the great thing that has happened in his embrace, the god's birth. It is Unis. Unis, see. It is Unis. Unis, look. It is Unis, here. It is Unis. Unis, exist. It is Unis. Unis, raise yourself from your side. Do my command, you who hate sleep but were made slack. 
Stand up, you in Nadit. Your good bread has been made in pay. Receive your control of Heliopolis. It is Horus who speaks, having been commanded to act for his father. The Storm Lord, the one with spittle in his vicinity, Seth, he will bear you. He is the one who will bear a tomb. Appearing as the Morning Star, Unis is a great one. Unis has emerged from the Ennead's thighs. Unis has been conceived by Sekhmet, and Shezmetet is the one who gave birth to Unis, a star with sharp front and extensive goings, who fetches what the above has for the sun every day. Unis has come to his seat with the two ladies on it, appearing as a star. Appearing as Nefertem. O oh, you two combatants, please tell the noble one of whatever identity. Unis is that water lily that rises clean from the earth. Unis has been received by the one who made his seat. Unis is the one at the great controlling power's nose. Unis has come from the Isle of Flame. Unis having put Ma'at in it in place of disorder. Unis is the one to whom belongs the linen that the Urei guard during the night of the great flood that comes from the great goddess. Unis will appear as Nefertem, as the water lily at the sun's nose when he emerges from the Akhet every day, the one at the sight of whom the gods become clean. Appearing as perception in the sunboat, Unis is the one in charge of Kaz, the one who joins hearts for the great one in charge of experience, the one who carries the god's scroll, perception at the west of the sun. Unis has come to his seat that is in charge of Kaz. Unis will join to Hart's experience of the great thing. Unis will become Perception, who carries the god's scroll at the west of the sun, who has been tended by Unis's agency. Unis is the one who says the great thing in the sun's heart on the festival of red linen. That is Unis. Unis's Perception at the west of the sun, reserved of Hart, at the Four of News Cavern. Address to the stars and gods of the Duat. O oh, you in charge of Horus, who precede the sun, make way for Unis, that Unis may pass within the circuit of belligerent face. For Unis is off to his seat, foremost of seats, as one who is behind the god, with a set head arrayed with a sharp and forceful horn, like one who carries a sharp, throat-cutting knife, a horn that severs strife from the bull's head and makes those in the darkness quiver, a powerful horn that is behind the great god, for Unis has repulsed those who were caught and struck down their heart. The arm of Unis cannot be barred in the Akhet. Lift your face, you gods in the duet. Unis has come that you might see him changed into the great god. Induct Unis, shaking for fear of him. Array Unis, as lord of you all. Unis will govern the people, and Unis will judge the living within the sun's shore. Unis will speak with the one who parted the two gods, at the clean shore where he has made his seat. Unis's symbol of control is at his head. Unis's scepter is causing respect for Unis. Unis will sit with the sun's roar. And when Unis commands something good, he will do it. Unis is the great god. Cleansing in the Marsh of Reeds Someone has become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. The sun has become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Someone has become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Unis has become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. The title of Unis is from the sun. Newt, receive his title. Shu, raise it up. Shu, raise it up. Spells for passing through the Akhet. At the entrance to the Akhet, the great Akhet will be sensed for the bull of Neken and the flame of the blast will be toward you who are around the shrine. 
O great God whose identity is unknown, a meal in place for the sole Lord. O Lord of the Akhet, make a place for Unis. If you do not make a place for Unis, Unis will make a curse on Father Geb, saying, The earth has no spokesman, Geb has no guard, and anyone Unis finds in his way, he will devour. The pelican will prophesy, the sunshine bird will come forth, the great one will stand up, and the Enneads will speak, saying, The earth is completely dammed up, for the mountain ranges on either side of the river have been joined, and the two banks have been united. The roads have been made inaccessible to those who would pass, and the terraces have been destroyed for those who would go up. The rope has been guided, the beaten path crossed, and the ball struck at the mouth of the Apis's canal. Your marshes shall be afraid, O climbing star, before the star's pillar, having seen Kenzet's pillar, the bull of the sky. The ox herd shall be overwhelmed upon its stem. Fear and shaking shall descend upon the knife bearers before the storm of the sky, for he has parted the earth through what he has learned on the day when he wanted to come. So says the god with the great plow who is in the midst of the duat. Look, she is coming, the beautiful west, to meet you, to meet you with her beautiful tresses. And she is saying, Welcome you to whom I gave birth, with rising horn, eye painted pillar, bull of the sky. Your foam is distinguished. Pass in peace, for I have joined you. So says the beautiful west about Unis. Go and row to the marsh of offerings, set course to the god perched on his high tree, so says thighs forward, and plow into the earth, to your thickness, to your middle, to your shoulders. You shall see the sun in his fetters, you shall worship the sun in his escape from fetters by means of the great one's aegis, which is his red linen. The lord of contentment is giving you your title. You apes who sever heads, Unis will pass by you in peace, for Unis has tied his head on his neck, and Unis's neck is on his torso, in his identity of head tear, in which he tied the head of the apis on him on the day of lassoing the long-horned bull. Since Unis has allowed them to eat from their cups and drink from their inundation, so shall Unis be protected in the same by those who see him. The jubilation Uraeus, Tefnut of Unis, who supports Shu, is on her staff, widening his place in Busiris, in Mendis, in Jedut, erecting dual standards at the four of the Great Ones, excavating a plot for Unis in the Marsh of Reeds, and establishing his farmland in the Marsh of Offerings. Unis will judge between the two contestants in the Great Immersion, for his power is the power of Tabi's eye, and his force is the force of Tabi's eye. Unis has saved himself from those who would do this against him, who would take his food from him when it is present, who would take his supper from him when it is present, who would take the air from his nose, who would bring to a standstill his days of life. Unis's force will be against them when he is apparent on his shore, and their hearts will fall to his fingers, their entrails to those who belong to the sky, their red parts to those who belong to the earth, their heirs to indigence, their houses to conflagration, their portals to a high inundation. Unis's heart is pleasant. Unis is the unique one, bull of the sky, for he has removed those who would do that against him, for he has annihilated their survivors. That is the seat he has, the one he took, the one he raised, which his father Shu gave him beside Seth. The Akhet will be sensed for Horus of Neken, a meal for the lords. The Akhet will be sensed for Horus of Neken, and the flame of its blast will be toward you who are around the shrine. The swell of its blast will be toward you who bear the great goddess. The Akhet will be sensed for Horus of Neken, a meal for the lords. O oh, despicable one, despicable of character, despicable of form. Remove yourself from your place, lay down your insignia for Unis. 
If you do not remove yourself from your place and lay down your insignia, Unis will come with his face of the great god Horus, who is Lord of Wrath, who grew powerful from the injury in him. He will give the flame of his eye so that it surrounds you and puts tempest among those who do evil deeds and its swell among those original gods. He will strike Shu's arm from under Newt, and Unis will put his shoulder to the bulwark you depend on. So the Great One will stand up inside his shrine and lay down his insignia for Unis, for he has acquired authoritative utterance and has control of perception. Unis has inherited from Geb. Unis has inherited from Geb. For he has inherited from a tomb, for he is on the throne of Senior Horus, for his eye is his force, for his protection is what was done to him, for the flame of the blast of his effective Uraeus is Renanutet on his head, for Unis has put fear of him in their hearts by making discord among them, for and Unis has seen the gods naked and bowing to Unis in praise. Rohim his mother, pull him in his boat, his harbor, haul your rope. Disturbance in the sky, we saw something new, say the original gods. Ennead, Horus is in the sunlight. Let those who have forms terrorize for him. Let a tomb's dual Ennead serve him as he sits on the seat of the Lord of all. Unis will acquire the sky and split open its basin. Unis will lead the paths of Evolver. When Unis sets in the west, those of the Duat will follow him. When Unis shines anew in the east, he who parted the two contestants will come to him in obeisance. The gods will terrorize for Unis, since he is senior to the Great One and belongs to the control of his seat. Unis will acquire authoritative utterance. Continuity shall be fetched for him and perception shall be set for him at his feet. Haul the skyboat for Unis, for he has acquired the Akhet. Emerging into the Akhet, Unis is Osiris in a dust devil. The ground is his abomination. He will not enter Geb. He will end his sleep with his bones broken in his enclosure on earth and remove his obstructions. Unis has become clean through Horus's eye. His obstruction has been removed through Osiris's two kites, and Unis has released his outflow to earth in Kus. His sister, Wajet, the Lady of Pei, is the one who cried for him, saying, Unis is off to the sky. Unis is off to the sky, in the wind, in the wind. He shall not be turned away, and there is none who will turn away from him. He shall not sit to be judged in the God's court. Unis is the one who is on his own, senior of the gods. His cake of bread is for above with the sun. His feast is from new. Unis is the one who turns back, going and coming with the sun and embracing his enclosures. Unis will assign cause and take away cause, set obstruction and remove obstruction. Unis will spend the day and night pacifying the two contestants with Adzes in Hermopolis. His foot will not be crossed. His heart cannot be barred. O Geb, Newt's bull, Unis is Horus, heir of his father. Unis is one who has gone and come back, the fourth of those four gods who fetch water, administer scrubbing, and make jubilation with the foreleg of their fathers one who wants to be justified in what he has done. For judgment between orphan and orphaness has been made for Unis. The dual Ma'at heard the case. Shu was a witness, and the dual Ma'at commanded that Geb's throne serve him, that he raise himself to what he wanted, that his limbs that were in secret be joined, that he unite those anew, and that he put an end to contention in Heliopolis. Now that Unis has emerged today in the true form of a living Ak, Unis shall break up fighting and restrain commotion. Unis has emerged for Ma'at, that he might get her, and she is with him. Rage will depart for him, 
and those anew will serve him with life. For Unisa's refuge is his eye, for Unisa's protection is his eye, for Unisa's force is his eye, for Unisa's power is his eye. O southern, northern, western, and eastern gods, protect Unis and be afraid of him, for he is set down in the awning of the dual courtyard. That effective Uraeus, Geninutet, will burn for you and press your hearts. You, who would come against Unis as an impotent, come to him, come to him. Unis is the very person of his father, the bud of his mother. Traveling in darkness is Unis's abomination. He will not see those who are upside down. Unis has emerged today that he might get Ma'at, and she is with him. Unis will not be given to your fire, O gods. Unis is woe to the heart, the son of Shu's heart, extensively extended with scorching light. Unis is the fire in the wind's top, to the sky's limits, to the earth's limit, when the lightning bolt's arms have become empty of Unis. Unis will traverse Shu, travel the horizon and kiss the red crown, being one whom the god has cast and those in motion will open their arms to him. Unis will stand up on the eastern side of the hail, having used the ascent to the above. Unis is the one who does the tempest's mission. Do not be ignorant of Unis, God, since you know me and he knows you, and he knows you. Do not be ignorant of Unis, son, since you know him and he knows you. Do not be ignorant of Unis, son, who calls you great of provision, lord of all. Do not be ignorant of Unis, Thoth, since you know him and he knows you. Do not be ignorant of Unis, Thoth, who calls you he who sets alone. Do not be ignorant of Unis, Sharp Horus, since you know him and he knows you. Do not be ignorant of Unis, Sharp Horus, who calls you difficult. Do not be ignorant of Unis, you of the Duat, since you know him and he knows you. Do not be ignorant of Unis, you of the Duat, who calls you he who wakes sound. Do not be ignorant of Unis, Sky Bull, since you know him and he knows you. Do not be ignorant of Unis, Sky Bull, who calls you this one who endures. Look, Unis has come. Look, Unis has come. Look, Unis has emerged. Unis has not come of his own accord, a dispatch having come for him. Unis has passed by his Ba's house. The great lake's wrath has missed him. There is no one who requires his fare for the great fairy. There is no one who bars him from the white palace of the great ones at the beaten path of stars. For look, Unis has reached the sky's height. Unis has seen his cobra in the night boat. Unis is the one who rose in it. He has recognized the Uraeus in the day boat. Unis is the one who bails it. The populace have witnessed him. The sky's hail clouds have taken him that they might elevate Unis to the sun. The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun that he might cross them to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus of the Akhet that Horus of the Akhet might cross on them to where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Unis that he might cross on them to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Unis that he might cross on them to where Horus of the Akhet is, to where the sun is. It has become good for Unis with his Ka. Unis will live with his Ka, his leopard skin on him, his staff in his arm, his baton in his hand. Those who have gone away have missed him. They will bring him the four senior ox at the four of the braid wearers, who stand in the eastern side of the sky and sweep away with their electrum staves, and they will tell the sun the nickname of this Unis, and announce to this Unis, to Ka Asinger, saying, Greet this Unis's entrance into the north of the Marsh of Reeds, let Unis cross on the winding canal. Let this Unis be transported over to the eastern side of the Akhet. Let this Unis be transported over to the eastern side of the sky. 
His sister is Sothis. His female sibling is the Morning Star. Crossing the Akhet. You have your heart, Osiris. You have your legs, Osiris. You have your arms, Osiris. Unis has his own heart. Unis has his own legs. Unis has his own arms. Let a footpath to the sky be laid down for him, that he might go up on it to the sky. He will go up on the smoke of a great sensing. Unis will fly as a bird and alight as a beetle. When he flies as a bird and alights as a beetle, it will be in the empty seat in your boat, son. Stand up and remove yourself, you who do not know the reeds, that Unis may sit in your seat. He will row in the sky in your boat, son. Unis will push off from land in your boat, son. When you are emerging from the Akhet, he, with his baton in his arm, will be the one sailing your boat, son, that you may ascend to the sky and go far away from the land, away from earthly cares of wife and kilt. This Unis will wash himself as the sun appears and the elder Ennead shines. Should the Ambite become elevated to the fore of the shrine, this Unis will take away the elite as a lamb of his. This Unis will seize the crown from the dual Ennead. Isis will nurture him. Nephthys will suckle him. Horus will receive him at his two fingers, cleanse this Unis in the jackal lake, and release the Ka of this Unis from the Duat lake. He will purge the flesh of the Ka of this Unis and of the body with that which is on the sun's shoulders in the Akhet which he receives when the two lands shine and he opens the gods' faces. He will conduct the Ka of this Unis to his body at the big enclosure. The portals will act for him. The red crown's coil will be tied on for him, and this Unis will lead the imperishable stars. He will cross to the marshes of reeds, with those in the Akhet rowing him, and those in the cool waters sailing him. This Unis will become truly functional, and his arms will not go off. This Unis will become truly foremost, and his Ka will reach him. The fire has been set. The fire has arisen. The incense has been set on the fire. The incense has arisen. Your scent has come to Unis, incense. Unis's scent has come to you, incense. Your scent has come to Unis, gods. Unis's scent has come to you, gods. Unis shall be with you, gods. You shall be with Unis, gods. Unis shall live with you, gods. You shall live with Unis, gods. Unis shall desire you, gods. Desire him, gods. The wafer has come. A cap that comes from Horus's knee has come. The emerger has come. The emerger has come. The climber has come. The climber has come. The ascender has come. The ascender has come. Unis will go up on Isis's thighs. Unis will climb on Nephthys's thighs. Unis's father, Atum, will take the arm of Unis and allot Unis to those gods who are wise and experienced, the imperishable stars. Unis's mother, Ipi, give this Unis that breast of yours, that this Unis may transport it to his mouth and this Unis may suck that white, dazzling, sweet milk of yours. Yonder land in which Unis goes, Unis will not thirst in it. Unis will not hunger in it forever. May you awake in peace, face behind him in peace. Seize behind him in peace. The sky's ferryman in peace. Newt's ferryman in peace. The god's ferryman in peace. Unis has come to you that you may transport him in the ferry boat in which you transport the gods. Unis has come to his side like a god's coming to his side. Unis has come to his proximity like a god's coming to his proximity. There is no accusation of one alive against Unis. There is no accusation of one dead against Unis. There is no accusation of a duck against Unis. There is no accusation of a long-horned bull against Unis. So, should you not transport Unis, he will jump up and put himself on a wing of Thoth, 
and he is the one who will transport Unis to yonder side. Unis is the land swimmer that emerged from the lake. Unis is a freshwater lily. It is Unis, be content, two lands. It is Unis, unite, two lands. It is Unis, join together, his mother the great wild cow on the hill of grass, and the mother of Unis, the female wild cow on the hill of the stork. Stand up, you two uprights, and descend, you crossbars, that Unis may go up on the ladder that his father the sun has made for him. Horus and Seth shall take the arm of Unis and take him away from the Duat. You with the eye injury, beware of him with the command. You with the command, beware of him with the eye injury. Open the god's face to Unis, for this Unis will sit on the great seat beside the god. Height that will not be penetrated, portal of new. Unis has come to you. Have this opened to his. Unis is the little one in it. For this Unis is at the head of the sun's followers. This Unis is not at the head of the gods of disturbance. Spells for the Spirit's Rebirth Entering the Akhet's eastern limit, the sky has grown cloudy, the stars obscured. The sky's arcs have quaked, the horizon's bones shaken, and those who move have grown still, having seen Unis apparent, and Ba as the god who lives on his father's and feeds on his mother's. Unis is the lord of jackal-like rapacity, whose own mother does not know his identity. For Unis's nobility is in the sky, and his power is in the Akhet, like a tomb, his father who bore him, and though he bore him, he is more powerful than he. For Unis's cause are about him, his guardian forces are under his feet, his gods atop him, his Urei on his brow. For Unis's lead, Ureus, is on his forehead, Ba when seen, and Ak for shooting fire, for Unis's powers are on his torso. Unis is the sky's bull, with terrorizing in his heart, who lives on the evolution of every god, who eats their bowels when they have come from the Isle of Flame, with their belly filled with magic. Unis is an equipped one who has gathered his effectiveness, for Unis has appeared as the great one who has assistance, sitting with his back to Geb. Unis is the one whose case against him whose identity is hidden was decided on the day of butchering the senior ones. Unis is Lord of Offering, who ties on the leash of the sacrificial animal, who makes his own presentation of offerings. Unis is one who eats people and lives on gods, one who has fetchers and sends off dispatches. Grasper of Forelocks in the Kettle is the one who lassos them for Unis, Serpent with sweeping head is the one who guards them for him and bars them for him. Gory all over is the one who binds them for him. Corsair, the Lord's knife bearer, is the one who will slit their throats for Unis and takes out for him what is in their belly. He is the messenger he sends to confront. Shesmu is the one who will butcher them for Unis and who cooks a meal of them for him on his evening hearthstones. Unis is the one who eats their magic and swallows their ox, for their adults are for his morning meal, their middle-sized ones for his evening meal, their little ones for his nighttime snack, their old men and women fuel for his ovens. For the skies, great northerners are the ones who set fire for him to the cauldrons containing them with the bones of their senior ones. For those in the sky serve him, while the hearthstones are poked for him with the legs of their women. For both skies go around in service for him, and the two shores serve him. Unis is the most controlling power, who controls the controlling powers. Unis is the sacred image, 
who is most sacred of sacred images. Anyone he finds in his way, he will devour. For Unis's proper place is in front of all the privileged ones in the Akhet. Unis is the god who is senior to the senior ones, for thousands serve him and hundreds present offering to him. For he has been given title as the greatest controlling power by Orion, the god's father. For Unis has reappeared in the sky and is crowned as lord of the Akhet. For the vertebrae of spines have been broken up for him, and he has acquired the gods' hearts, for he has eaten the red and swallowed the raw. Unis will feed on the lungs of the experienced, and grow content from living on hearts and their magic as well. Unis will spit out when he licks the emetic parts in the red, for he is replete, and their magic is in his belly. Unis's privileges will not be taken from him for he has swallowed the perception of every god. Continuity is the lifetime of Unis. Eternity is his limit. In his privilege of when he likes, he acts. When he dislikes, he does not act, which is in the Akhet's limits forever continually. For their Ba is in Unis's belly, and their ox are with Unis. As the excess of his meal with respect to that of the gods, since it was heated for Unis with their bones. For their Ba is with Unis, and only their shadows are still with their owners. For Unis is in this state, ever apparent, ever set. Those who do evil deeds will not be able to hack up the place of Unis's heart among the living in this world forever, continually. Unis has come to you, Falcons, in your enclosures, Become peaceful to Unis, with his bent tail of the intestine of a baboon at his rear. Unis will open the two facing door leaves. Unis will get to the Akhet's limits. Unis having laid down his usual tailed kilt there. Unis will become the Great One in Shadit. Spells Against Inimical Beings Should you act... It is against yourself. What you might do is against yourself, you digger. In his cavern, you impediment. Horus has fallen because of his eye. The bull has crawled off because of his testicles. Fall down. Crawl away. Baboon has stood up to meet the foremost of Letopolis. Let the poison spit stop of the one whose trampling is desired. You whose trampling is desired. You are released, snake. Let Unis be protected. Unis is a trampler who chops the canal's mud. Doth behind Unis. Trample the one of the dark. Trample the one of the dark. You of the evil deed. You of the evil deed. You of the wall. You of the wall. Set your face behind you. Beware of the great mouth. Caught one of the courtyard, you. Earthen one of the courtyard. Long one, you of the foot. Lion, lion. Give me now your long one. Stack up the flesh. Woe now, the pot. The plated snake, the plated snake will be conveyed away. Will be conveyed away. O oh, snake, the vulture's mouth, that is your attack. Snake, the vulture's mouth, the one belonging to the gold of jubilation, apparent in heat and jubilation. This is your bull, the esteemed one against whom this is done. Shall Unis chop this left nail of his against you and set a blow with it for Min, attacker? O oh, you who acquire, don't acquire. The one Atum has bitten, has filled his mouth. Coiling all up. The centipede has been hit by him of the enclosure. He of the enclosure has been hit by the centipede. That lion is inside this lion. The two bulls shall fight inside his ibis. Your two poison drops are off to your two poison sacks. Let them be spewed out now. Gory. Spew out, you with the liquid, with water, 
O you of the injured eye, headband of Sishao. Rain, you wretched one. Cobra, reject it. You windpipe, you of the plant, Alum. The lion is dangerous with his water. Extender, don't extend. It is the windpipe. Spray not as a long one of the lakes, you snake of the jars. The byblights have crawled off. The lake long one's red crowns shall bring in the lake long one. For I shall raise the red crowns and you shall praise my name. You whose mother turned him away. You whose mother turned him away. Aren't you such? Aren't you such? Lion, spit out. Snake, snake, go away, head off. Unice's eye, don't look at him. You shall not do your mission with Unice. Spit out, don't come back. The bull has fallen to the snake. The snake has fallen to the bull. Fall down, crawl away. Face has fallen on face. Face has seen face. The knife, all dappled black, has emerged and swallowed for itself and acquired for itself. Your jubilation has been repelled. You, white one of the whole, by the one who emerged as a worm. Your own jubilation has been taken away, you, white one of the whole, by the one who emerged as a worm. You are one whom the attacker attacked, you snake whose attack has missed. Your aggression is for your aggressor, you snake whose attack has missed. Back, hidden one. Hide yourself and don't let Unis see you. You should not come to where Unis is and he will not say against you your name of Traveler, son of the female Traveler. The Sunshine's servant has fallen in the inundation, turned away, turned away. Monster, lie down. Unis is Horus, who came from the Acacia, who came from the Acacia, who was commanded, Beware of the Lion, to whom the command came forth, Beware of the lion. Unis has emerged from his stoppered jar after spending the night in his stoppered jar, for Unis's appearance is at dawn. He has emerged from his stoppered jar after spending the night in his stoppered jar, for Unis's appearance is at dawn. Mafdet will jump on the neck of the snake who brings his gift, and again on the neck of the snake with sweeping head, which is the one who will remain. Unis is the one who will remain. Snake, where are you going? Wait for Unis. Unis is Geb. Snake, brother of the snake. Your father, Jamyu, has died. The hand of Unis that comes on you, accursed snake. The one that comes on you is that of Mafdet, at the force of the enclosure of life striking you on your face and scratching you on your eyes so that you fall in your excrement and crawl in your urine. Fall down, lie down, crawl away, that your mother Newt may see you. The sun will appear with his effective uraeus atop him against this snake that comes from the earth. You under Unis's fingers, he shall cut off your head with this knife which is the hand of her who has Mafdet's face. He shall drag out those which are in your mouth and milk your poison with those four strings that trail behind Osiris's sandals. Monster, lie down. Bull, crawl away. Cobra, to the sky. Horus's centipede, to the earth. Horus's sandal is treading on the enclosure's lord, the cavern's bull. Shunned snake, I cannot be shunned. Unis's sycamore is his sycamore. Unis's environs are his environs. Anyone Unis finds in his way, he will devour. Spells for leaving the Akhet. Address. The ferryman, O Kerti of Nizat, 
and you ferrymen that Knum made. Get that ferry boat for Unis. Unis is Sokar of Razajau. Unis is off to where Sokar, Lord of Spread Lake, is. You too get those ferries that cross the desert. Bringing the sun, you have your bread loaf, new, and under sky, you pair of the gods who join the gods with their shadow. You have your bread loaf, Amun, and Amunet, you pair of the gods who join the gods with their shadow. You have your bread loaf, Atum, and Dual Lion, who made their two gods and their body themselves, that is, Shu and Tefnut, who made the gods begot the gods, and set the gods. You should say to your father that Unis has given you your bread loaves, and Unis has contented you with what is yours, and you should not bar Unis from crossing to him at the Akhet, for Unis knows him and knows his name. Continual is his name, Continual, the year's lord, is his name. He whose arms are a weapon, Horus at the sky's starry ceiling, who brings the sun to life every day, shall build Unis and bring Unis to life every day. Unis has come to you, Horus of Shat. Unis has come to you, Horus of Shazmat. Unis has come to you, Eastern Horus. Look, Unis has gotten you your great eastern eye from the cavern. Receive it from Unis and be sound. Receive its water in it and be sound, its gore in it and be sound, its vapor in it and be sound. Mount to it, acquire it for yourself. In its identity of the god's shawl, you should ascend to it in its identity of the sun. Put it at your forehead in its identity of first-class oil. You should redden with it in its identity of willow. You should glisten with it among the gods, in its identity of faience. You should jubilate in it, in its identity of jubilation, oil of renanutet, for it desires you. Stand up, great one of the reed float, as paths parter, filled with your effectiveness and emergent from the Akhet. Acquire for yourself the crown from the elder and great foreigners, foremost of Libya, as Sobek, Lord of Baku, when you travel to your marshes and course the interior of your mangroves, and your nose smells the fumes of Shazmet, you should make the Ka of Unis ascend for him beside him, just like that coursing of yours ascends for you. So clean, Unis, so brighten, Unis, in the jackal lake of yours, jackal, in which you cleanse the gods, Ba for you and Sharp for you, Horus. Lord of Malachite. Ascending toward the sky. The sky has been bled, and Sothis lives. For Unis is the living one, Sothis's son, for whom the dual Ennead have cleared the imperishable striker. Unis's house, for the sky will not perish. Unis's seat, for the earth will not end. People have hidden, the gods have flown away. For Sothis has flown Unis to the sky amidst his brothers, the gods. Nut has bared her arms to Unis, the two foremost Ba's of the Ba's of Heliopolis, who spent the night making that god's bewailing, have knelt down at the sun's head. Unis's seat is with you, son, and he will not give it to any other. So Unis will go up to the sky by you, son, the face of Unis as that of falcons. Unis's wings as those of birds, his nails as the talons of him of Atfet. There is no case involving Unis at the earth with people. There is no guilty verdict of his at the sky with the gods, for Unis has removed the case involving him, and Unis has destroyed the one against his ascending to the sky. Paths Parter has flown Unis to the sky among his brothers the gods. Unis has acquired arms as a Nile goose. Unis has a beaten wing as a kite. A flyer has flown, people. Unis has flown away from you. Western gods, eastern gods, southern gods, northern gods. 
those four clean reed floats that you set for Osiris when he went forth to the sky and crossed to the cool waters with his son Horus at his fingers that he might foster him and have him appear as the great god in the cool waters. Set them for Unis. You are Horus, Osiris' son. You, Unis, are the senior god, Hathor's son. You are Geb's seed, say the gods, for Osiris has commanded that Unis appear as a second Horus. And those four ox, who are in Heliopolis, have written it on a title of two great gods in the cool waters. Greetings, Anubis's daughter at the sky's looking waters, you whom Toth endowed at the latter's uprights. Open Unis's path, that Unis may pass. Greetings, ostrich at the winding canal's lip. Open a path through Unis, that Unis may pass. Greetings, sun's bull with four horns, your horn in the west, your horn in the east, your southern horn, your northern horn. Bend down that western horn of yours to Unis, that Unis may pass. You are a clean westerner they say, for you have come from Falcon Town. Greetings, Marsh of Rest. Greetings to the vegetation that is in you. Greetings to Unis's vegetation that is in you, the clean growth therein. A ladder has been tied together by the sun in front of Osiris. A ladder has been tied together by Horus in the front of his father Osiris when he went to his Ak. One of them on one side and one of them on the other. Now Unis is between them. Are you a god of clean places? They ask. He has come from a clean place. Stand up, Unis, says Horus. Sit down, Unis, says Seth. Receive his arm, says the sun. Ak to the sky, corpse to the earth. What people receive when they have been buried, their thousand of bread and their thousand of beer, is from the offering table of foremost of Westerners. Indigent is an heir who has no writing. Unis writes with his big finger. He does not write with his little finger. How beautiful is the sight, how pleasing the vision, say the gods, of this god's going forth to the sky, of Unis's going forth to the sky, with his bars atop him, his ferocity at his sides, his magic at his feet. Geb has acted for him just like he was acted for in the same event. There have come to him the Baas of Pei and the Baas of Naken, the gods who belong to the sky and the gods who belong to the earth, that they might make for him conveyance on their arms. So you shall go forth, Unis, to the sky and step up on it, in this its identity of the latter. The sky will be given to Unis, and the earth will be given to him, says Atum. Geb is the one who argues for it, saying, The mounds that are praised, that Horus praises, that Seth praises, and the marshes of reeds shall worship you in your identity of mourning god, as Sobek, under his mangroves. He has killed you, his heart having said that you would die for him. But look, you have become a more permanent wild bull than he. Become established, become established, established bull, and be, Unis, established at their four, at the four of the ox forever. There is a Heliopolitan in Unis, God. Your Heliopolitan is in Unis, God. There is a Heliopolitan in Unis, son. Your Heliopolitan is in Unis, son. The mother of Unis is a Heliopolitan, the father of Unis is a Heliopolitan, and Unis himself is a Heliopolitan. Born in Heliopolis, when the sun was above the dual Ennead and above the subjects, Nefertem, without peer, heir of his father Geb. Any god who will put forth his arm in opposition when the face of Unis is turned to worship you, and to call you about Unis's body, God, and about his nose, God. He will have no bread. He will have no wafer amidst his brothers, the gods. He will not send forth agents. He will not leap the barrier amidst his brothers, the gods. 
The door of the night boat will not be opened to him. The door of the day boat will not be opened to him. His case will not be decided as one of his town, and the door of provisioning will not be opened to him. Unis has come against you. It is Unis, wild bull of the savannah, a big-faced bull who comes from Heliopolis. Unis has come against you, wild bull of the savannah. Unis is both the one who gave you birth and the one who can continue to give you birth. Greetings, Horus, in the Horus Mounds. Greetings, Seth, in the Seth Mounds. Greetings, Reed in the Marsh of Reeds. Greetings, you two reconciled gods, twin children of the four foremost gods of the big enclosure, who invoked Unis naked. Unis has looked at you like Horus looks at Isis. Unis has looked at you like Kas Asinger looks at Selket. Unis has looked at you like Sobek looks at Nieth. Unis has looked at you like Seth looks at the two reconciled gods. Unis is the god's accountant in charge of the sun's enclosure, to whom, she whom the gods beseech, who is at the prow of the sun's boat, gave birth. Unis shall sit before him, the sun. Unis shall open his chests. Unis shall break the seals on his decrees. Unis shall seal his documents. Unis shall send his unwearying messengers, and Unis shall do what he says to Unis. Should Unis be cursed, a tomb will be cursed. Should Unis be reviled, a tomb will be reviled. Should Unis be struck, a tomb will be struck. Should Unis be barred from this path, a tomb will be barred. Unis is Horus. Unis has come in the wake of his father. Unis has come in the wake of Osiris. You, ferryman, who faces forward and backward, Get that ferry boat for Unis. Which ferry boat should I get for you, Unis? Says the ferryman. Get for Unis the one called. Whenever it flies, it lands. See Unis, son. Recognize Unis, son. He belongs to those who know you, so he knows his lord will emerge. He will not forget the given offering, so that she who maroons whom she would maroon, will open the door of the Akhet for the emergence of the dayboat. I know the booth of the pavilion in the middle of the terrace of Izken, from which you emerge when you board the night boat. So command, Unis, command him, command him. To those four of yours who go down behind you, who see with two faces, and argue painfully about the firstborn with those who will have difficulty, and him whom they would destroy, so that they will not cross him with their arm when Unis turns to you, and Unis comes to you, to tell you your identity of the great flood that emerged from the great goddess. Unis will not become blind if you put him in darkness. He will not become deaf if he does not hear your voice. You should take Unis along with you, he who will blow away the deluge for you drive away the clouds for you and break up the hail for you. Unis will make genuflection after genuflection for you. He will make praise after praise for you when you put Unis on the vulture's body. The bread has flown. The bread has indeed flown toward him of the red crown's enclosures. Spells for entering the sky, opening the door to the sky, pull back baboon's penis, open sky's door, you sealed door, open a path for Unis on the blast of heat where the gods scoop water, Horus's glide path will Unis glide on, in this blast of heat where the gods scoop water and they will make a path for Unis that Unis may pass on it. Unis is Horus. Spell against the door's guardian. Back, gored long horn with the horizon's fingers on his horns. Fall down. Crawl away. Entering the sky, 
Unis is a screeching, howling baboon. Unis's anus on Unis's back, and Unis's back ridge on Unis's head. Unis will make ululation and sit among the youngsters. Oh, you back turning star, Unis does not have to give you his magic. Unis will sit with his back to the swept area in Heliopolis. Unis will be taken to the sky. Unis has come here in advance of the flood's immersion. Unis is so back, green of plumage, with alert face and raised fore, the splashing one who came from the thigh and tail of the great goddess in the sunlight. Unis has come to his canals in the flood shore in the great immersion, to the place of rest with green marshes in the Aket, that Unis might make green the vegetation on the Aket's shores, that Unis might get the faience of the great eye in the marsh's midst, that Unis might receive his seat that is in the Aket. Unis has appeared as Sobek, neath sun. Unis will eat with his mouth. Unis will urinate, and Unis will copulate with his penis. Unis is lord of semen, who takes women from their husbands to the place Unis likes, according to his heart's fancy. Unis is Plight Snake, the lead bull, who swallowed his seven urei, and his seven neckbones came into being, who governs his seven enneads and hears the sovereign's case. Unis will receive myrrh and become beautified with mirror. Unis's fingernail full of mirror. Unis will take away your power, gods. Serve Unis, who will assign your cause. Unis is a bull with sunlight in the middle of his eyes. Unis's mouth is sound with a fiery blast. Unis's head has the horns of Horus, lord of the Nile Valley. Unis will lead the god. Unis will control the Ennead. Unis will cultivate lapis lazuli, and Unis will plant Nile Valley acacia, for Unis has tied together the peppergrass cords. Unis has united the skies, and Unis has taken control of the southern and northern lands, a god of those in his presence, for Unis has built the god's town soundly. Unis is the third in his appearance, with Horus and the sun. Now that Unis has swept away the night, and Unis has sent off the hour stars, the controlling powers will appear, and privilege Unis as baboon. Unis is the son of her who does not know him. She bore Unis to Yellowface, lord of the night skies. He is your greater, lords. Hide yourselves, subjects, before Unis. Unis is baboon, lord of the night sky, the bull of baboons in whose absence one lives. O oh, you ferryman with the back of his head behind him, get for Unis the latter called Salve of Contentment on Osiris's back, that Unis may go forth on it to the sky, and Unis may escort the sun in the sky. The Pyramid Texts of Teti Spells for Entering the Womb of Newt Spells on the Sarcophagus Recitation by Newt Teti, I have given you your sister Isis, that she may take hold of you and give you your heart for your body. Teti, I have given you your sister Nephthys, that she may take hold of you and give you your heart for for your body. Hati, my son, is the one I have desired. I have given him the Akhet, that he may take control of it as Horus of the Akhet. All the gods are saying, it is proper. Hati is the one you have desired from among your children. Escort him forever. Recitation by Newt, the Elder One, in the midst of in the enclosure of Shanit. Teti is my son of my heart. I have given him the Duat, that he might become foremost in it as Horus. 
foremost of the Duat. All the gods are saying, his father Shu knows that you love Tati more than your mother Tefnut. Recitation by Newt, the elder effective one. Tati is my son, whom I caused to be born, and who parted my belly. He is the one I have desired, and with whom I have become content. Recitation by Geb. Tati is the son of my body. Recitation by Newt, the Great One, in the midst of, in the lower enclosure. Tati is my son whom I have desired, the firstborn on Geb's throne. He has become content with him, and has given him his inheritance before the big Ennead. All the gods are in arousal, saying, How happy is Tati that his father Geb is content with him. Spells for Ascending to Newt Open sky, open earth, open the door to Horus, you of the enclosure wall. Pull open the door to Seth, you water lilies, and capsize to him as the one at the fore of his toppled wall, for Tati has passed by you as a tomb. Tati is apparent in heat in the midst of Nigao. Tati has become clean with the sun in the lake of reeds. Horus is scrubbing your flesh. Horus is scrubbing your flesh, Tati. Toth is scrubbing your feet, Tati. Shu, carry Tati above. Newt, give your arm to Tati. Greetings, doorkeeper of Horus and gatekeeper of Osiris. Please tell the identity of Tati in this manner to Horus. He has come with hair spit for that hair of his that becomes ill at the beginning of the months and bald at the mid-months. You should soothe it, they say, with the magic that is in the gods when he first comes into being. Greetings, beseeched she hippopotamus. Had you come against Tati as the beseeched she hippopotamus, he would have wrenched away one of Horus's two scepters from you and struck you with it. Greetings as he first comes into being she says. Greetings, monstrous she-donkey. Had you come against Tati as a monstrous she-donkey, he would have struck you with the tail that grows in the lake of Osiris. Greetings, Knum, who is constrained to build Tati. You are that plant of his, that his foot steps on and cannot grow back between his toes. You are one of the two pillars of the big enclosure, he says. The sky's doorway has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of the gods at daybreak that he might emerge into the Marsh of Reeds and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. The sky's doorway has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of the Akhet at daybreak that he might emerge into the Marsh of Reeds and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. The sky's doorway has been opened the cool water's door has been pulled open for Eastern Horus at daybreak that he might emerge into the Marsh of Reeds and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. The sky's doorway has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of Shazmet at daybreak that he might emerge into the Marsh of Reeds and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. The sky's doorway has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for Tati himself at daybreak that he might emerge into the Marsh of Reeds and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. So, Tati will become clean, receive his metal bones, and extend to himself his imperishable limbs that are in the belly of his mother Newt. Son, give your arms to Tati. Shu shall take him to be a companion of Shu, for Tati has been suckled with the milk of the two black cows who are the nurses of the Baz of Heliopolis. Hepat, the sky's belly has swollen with the force of the god's seed that is in it. Behold Tati, Tati is the god's seed that is in it. Heptash, Henanai, Zemnenu, Tati has become clean and received his god's cloak, and Tati will establish himself through it like them as a god. Heptash, Henani, Zemnenu, take Tati, settle him as one of you. You canal swimmer of Horus with black front, 
who was on the sun's neck. You are for the sky, and Teti is for the sky. Horus's fetcher desires Teti because he has gotten his eye. Seth's fetcher desires Teti because he has gotten his testicles. Toth's fetcher desires Teti. The two Enneads have shaken with fear for them, for they are the very fetchers who desire Teti, the fetchers to peace, and they shall fetch Teti to peace. Teti is a snake with sweeping visage and continually lifted front, a star to whom the gods bow and the two Enneads shake. Teti's hand is what will elevate him. Teti is a snake with sweeping visage and continually lifted front, a star to whom the gods bow and the two Enneads shake. The face of Teti is a face that sees his elevation. Teti is a breathing nose. Teti will go forth to the sky on the cushion in the prow of the standard. Its sandal has been grasped by the elevated hand. Teti will go forth to the sky on the cushion that is in the prow. Its sandal has been grasped. Teti is a breathing nose. The face of Teti is a face that sees his elevation. Teti is the one who emerged from the coiled one. Teti has emerged from his fiery blast while he is turned away. The two skies have gone to Teti. The two lands have come to Teti. Teti has stepped on the green vine under Geb's feet, and he will trample Newt's paths. Teti has become clean on the hill of land on which the sun has become clean. He shall set the stepladder and erect the ladder while those of the west are grasping his arm. Greetings, son, who travels the sky and crosses Newt. You have traveled the winding canal, and Teti has grasped your tail, for Teti is a god, a god's son. Teti is the blossom that emerged as Ka, the gilded blossom that emerged in Isium. Teti has traveled Pei and crossed Kenmut. Teti has traveled Pei as Kerti, foremost of Nizat. He has crossed Kenmut as Shezmu in his oil press boat. For the god desires that Teti live more than Fetekti live. How beautiful is the sight of Teti, with headband from the sun's brow, his kilt on him from Hathor, his plumage a falcon's plumage, as he goes forth to the sky among his brothers the gods. Greetings, long-horned bull of the bulls, as you make emergence. Teti will grasp you by your tail, and Teti will grab you at your coccyx, as you make emergence with a great goddess behind you and a great goddess before you. Greetings, greatest of the gods. Receive Teti to yourself. He belongs to you. Be informed as to the parts of Teti's corpse. They are those of a child. The sky shall speak, the earth shall shake at your ferocity, Osiris, as you make emergence. You milk cows who are there, you nurse cows who are there. Go around him, bewail him, beat your breast for him, mourn him as he makes emergence and goes to the sky among his brothers, the gods. The Offering Ritual Libation Sensing Cleansing the mouth with salt water. The mouth opening ritual. The mouth opening meal. Anointing. Presentation of eye paint. Presentation of linen. Preparation of the offering table. The great meal. Invocation of the offering ritual. The Insignia Ritual Invocation of the Insignia Ritual How content is your situation as you become Ak, O Teti, among your brothers the gods? How different it is, how different it is, you whom your child saved. Beware of your limit in the earth. Get dressed in your body and come to them. Hey you, Teti, turn about, you, Teti. You have gone that you may govern Horus's mounds. 
You have gone that you may govern Seth's mounds. You have gone that you may govern Osiris's mounds. A king given offering of all your insignia. You clad in your leopard skin. You clad in your kilt. You going in your reed sandals, a bull butchered. You going in the Tura papyrus column boat in your every insignia. In all your places, your water lily bud scepter at the fore of the living, your staff at the fore of the ox, as Anubis at the fore of the westerners, as Anjeti as the fore of the eastern gnomes. How content is your situation as you become Ak, O Teti, among your brothers the gods? How different it is, how different it is, you whom your child saved. Beware of your limit in the earth. Get dressed in your body and come to them, a geb given offering of all your insignia in each of your places. The king's offering, a king given offering, a geb given offering, to this tati. You have been given every dedicated offering and every deposited offering that you might want and with which it will be well for you with the god for the course of eternity. Osiris tati. Horus has come to you that he might gather you. You are his father. Establishing the spirit as Osiris, opening the sky's door. O oh, Teti, your head has been tied to your bones for you. Your bones have been tied to your head for you. The sky's door has been opened for you. The two great door bolts have been drawn back for you. The brick has been pulled for you from the great Mastaba. Your face is that of a jackal. Your tail is that of a wild lion. You will sit on that chair of yours and govern the ox. To me should you come. To me should you come. You should indeed come to me, who am Horus, who tends his father, O Tati, and your Anubis wrapper. You shall use your arm in the world, and your fighting arm in the great mound, and move about by means of it among the ox. Stand up, raise yourself like Osiris. O oh, Osiris Teti, Horus has come seeking you. He has made Toth drive back Seth's followers for you. He has gotten them corralled for you and has turned away the desire of Seth. You are greater than he, for you have emerged in precedence to him and your character has precedence over him. Geb has seen your character and has put you in your proper place. Geb has gotten for you your two sisters to your side. They are Isis and Nephthys. Horus has made the gods join you. They shall be brotherly to you in your identity of him of the flagpole shrine, and not reject you in your identity of him of the dual shrines. He has made the gods tend you. Geb has put his sandal on the head of your opponent, so that he is turned away from you. Your son Horus has struck him and has taken his eye from him and given it to you, that you might become Ba through it, and take control through it at the fore of the ox. Horus has had you seize your opponents, and there shall be none of them who will turn the back to you. So Horus has become Ba, taking account of his father in you, in your identity of him as the Sovereign's Ba sedan chair. Newt has put you as a god to Seth in your identity of god. Your mother Newt has spread herself over you in her identity of Shetpet. Horus has seized Seth and put him under you that he might bear you and tremble under you in the earth's trembling. You have been swept from him in your identity of the swept land. Horus has had you take account of him in his midst. Don't let him go out from you. He has had you seize him with your hand. Don't let him be taken away from you. O oh, Osiris Teti, Horus has tended you. He has acted for his Ka in you, that you might become content in your identity of Ka at rest. O oh, Osiris Teti, Geb has given you your eyes. May you become content through the eyes of this great one in you. Geb has had Horus give them to you, that you may become content with them. Isis and Nephthys have seen you. Having found you, Horus has gathered you, Horus has had Isis and Nephthys tend you, and they have given you to Horus, 
that he may be content with you. Horus has become Ak with you in your identity of the Akhet from which the sun emerges, and inside you arms in your identity of the one inside the palace. Enfold your arms all about him so that his bones extend and his heart enlarges. O oh, Osiris Teti, elevate yourself to Horus, betake yourself to him, don't be far from him. Horus has come to take account of you. He has struck Seth, bound for you. You are his Ka. Horus has turned him away for you. You are greater than he. You will swim under him, as he bears the one in you who is greater than he. His followers have noticed you, for your strength is so much greater than his that they will not thwart you. Horus has come, taking account of his father in you rejuvenated, in your identity of the rejuvenated waters of the inundation. Horus has parted your mouth. O oh, Osiris Teti, do not groan, do not moan. Geb has gotten Horus for you, that he may allot their hearts to you. He has gotten you all the gods together, and there is none of them who will be away from you. Horus has tended you, for he could not delay tending you. Horus has taken his eye from Seth, and given it to you. This sweet eye of his, return it to yourself, allot it to yourself. Oh, may it endure with you. Isis has gathered you. Horus's heart has gone forward with you in your identity of foremost of Westerners. Horus is the one who will tend what Seth has done to you. Choose firstborn. Your ties have been loosened by news to lords. Response to the Offering Ritual Spells against hunger and thirst. Hunger, don't come for Teti. Go to Nu, travel off to the flood, for Teti is sated. Teti shall not hunger through this wheat bread of Horus that he has eaten, which his chief woman has made for him so that he might become sated through it and acquire this land through it. Tati shall not thirst because of Shu. Tati shall not hunger because of Tefnut. Hapi, Duamutef, Kebesenuef, and Imseti shall remove this hunger that is in the belly of Tati and this thirst that is on Tati's lips. Teti's hunger is with Shu, Teti's thirst is with Tefnut. Teti will live on morning bread that comes in its proper time. Teti will live on what Shu lives on. Teti will eat of what Tefnut eats of. Teti has come to you, enduring one. You shall turn back to Teti like the east wind will turn back in the west wind's wake. You shall come in Teti's wake like the north wind's coming in the south wind's wake. Set down the offering. The face of Horus has been opened by the horizon. The face of the horizon has been opened by Horus. Plenty has given her arms to Teti, and Teti's arms have encircled bird catch. Whatever the Lord of the Marsh might make is for its son, bird catch, and Teti will eat with him on this day. It is Teti, Isis. It is Teti, Asbet. It is Tati Nephthys. Come and see your son, whom the great black bull gnome serves, whom the crown serves. The satchel of Tati is made of pepper grass, and the basket of Tati of rush. Tati has come carrying what is desired and given. Come, weak goddess, burn brazier, stand up assistance. A meal will be given to Tati. Greetings, great flood, cupbearer of the gods and leader of the populace. May you content people and the gods for Teti, so that they may give him a meal. O oh, you of great Ka, cupbearer of Horus, pavilion director of the sun, chamber senior of Ptah, give greatly to Teti, for Teti eats according as you give. Ka's are in pay, Ka's are in pay. Since Ka's are in pay, the Ka of Teti is in pay. The fire is red, glistening, glistening, and the beetle lives. 
a meal for it, knife sharpeners. From your giving, mistress, our love of Teti and help for Teti. From your giving, mistress, our help for Teti and kindness for Teti in the belly of all the gods. A meal for a tomb, a meal for a tomb, a meal for the one in the god's eye boat, a joint together with roast meat and four handfuls of water. The mouth of Teti is full of natron, Teti's lips are full of myrrh. Teti shall descend from the marsh of your ka, O god, into the marsh of offering. Teti is from off the tree, the repast of Teti is like that of the god's boat. Teti's life is more than the years. The food extended to Teti is more than the inundation. O Kav Teti, fetch that Teti may eat with you. Greetings, great flood, cupbearer of the gods and leader of the populace. May you content the gods for Teti, so that they freshen Teti, desire Teti, and make Teti sound. O you of great Ka, Horus's cupbearer, Pavilion Director of the Sun, Chamber Senior of Ptah. Give greatly to Teti, for he eats according as you give greatly of his meat. O great striding goddess, who strews the green, malachite, and turquoise of the stars. As you are fresh, Teti is fresh, and the live foxtail rush is fresh. The vulture has become pregnant with Teti in the nighttime at your horn, circling cow. As you are fresh, Teti is fresh, and the live foxtail rush is fresh. Someone has come from Pei. The fire is red. The beetle lives. A meal for him, knife sharpener. A meal for him now. Cup bearer, present water. The resurrection ritual. The basic ritual. His face is lifted. His face is... Spells for leaving the Duat. Spells for leaving the Duat passage. Summoning the ferryman. Horus wailed for his eye. Seth wailed for his testicles. Horus's eye jumped and he made landfall on the other side of the winding canal so that it might save itself from Seth, having been Toth on the other side of the winding canal. Horus's eye jumped up on the other side of the winding canal, and he made landfall on Toth's wing on the other side of the winding canal. You gods who cross on Toth's wing to the other side of the winding canal, to the eastern side of the sky, in order to contend against Seth over that eye of Horus, Tati will cross with you on Toth's wing to the other side of the winding canal, to the eastern side of the sky. For Teti will be contending against Seth over that eye of Horus. May you wake in peace. Seize behind him. In peace. May you wake in peace. Newt's oarsman. Ferryman of the Winding Canal. Tell the name of Teti to the sun. Announce Teti to the sun. For Teti is off to that far palace of the lords of Kaz. In which the sun dawns from the Horus mounds and the Seth mounds the god of those who go to their cause. Son, commend Teti to seize behind him, the ferryman of the winding canal, so that he might get for Teti that ferry boat of the winding canal in which the gods cross to the other side of the winding canal, to the eastern side of the sky, and he might ferry Teti to the other side of the winding canal, to the eastern side of the sky, for Teti is in search of Horus's endangered eye. Teti is off to the numbering of fingers. The face of Teti has been washed by the gods, male and female, Imseti, Hapi, Duamutef, and Kebesenuef have washed the right side of Teti, which is Horus. Jenderu Bark Striker at the fore of his two papyrus columns, Nephthys, and eyes forward, the left side of Teti, which is Seth. Teti has been taken account of by his seat. His rudder has recognized him, and Teti has found his seat empty 
in the poop of the sun's bark of gold. At the gate to the Arquette, height that will not be penetrated, Newt's portal, Tatia's shoe who came from a tomb, New, have this opened to Tati. See, Tati has come, Ba and divine. New has commended Tati to a tomb. Wide arms has commended Tati to Shu, that he might have opened yonder door of the sky to Tati. Now among unidentified people saying, Take Tati by his arm, take Tati to the sky, that he may not die on earth among people. Father of Tati, father of Tati in the darkness, father of Tati, a tomb in the darkness. Fetch Tati to your side, and he will light a lamp for you and guard you like news guarding of those four serpent goddesses on the day they guarded the chair. Isis, Nephthys, Neith, and she who aspirates throats. Horus's path, make your tent to Tati, make your arms to Tati. Son, come, ferry Tati to the other side like you're ferrying of your follower, Waneg, whom you love. Whenever you give your arm toward the west, you give your arm toward Tati. Whenever you give your arm toward the east, you give your arm toward Tati, like that which you have done for Benti, your senior son. Do not be ignorant of Tati, God, since he knows you. Do not make Tati ignorant of you, since he knows you, whom he calls he who has perished. Do not be ignorant of Tati, son, since he knows you. Do not make Tati ignorant of you, since he knows you, whom he calls esteemed, eldest of all who have been provided for. Do not be ignorant of Tati, Toth, since he knows you. Do not make Tati ignorant of you, since he knows you, whom he calls he who sets alone. Do not be ignorant of Tati, you in the Duat, since he knows you. Do not make Tati ignorant of you, since he knows you, whom he calls he who wakes sound. Do not be ignorant of Tati, Sotik Horus, since he knows you. Do not make Tati ignorant of you, since he knows you, whom he calls difficult. Do not be ignorant of Tati, Sky's Bull, since he knows you. Do not make Tati ignorant of you, since he knows you, whom he calls that enduring one of the undersky. Look, Tati has emerged. Look, Tati is coming. He has not come of his own accord. Your dispatches are what have fetched him. The God's word, what has elevated him. Tati has passed by that Ba's house, having missed the Great Lake's wrath. Tati is crossed in the great ferry boat without a fare having been taken in it. The white palace, the great ones, cannot bar him from the beaten path of stars. For look, Tati has reached the sky's height, and the populace have seen him. The night boat has recognized him. Tati is the one who rows in it. The day boat will call him. Tati is the one who bails it. He has seen the cobra in the night boat and will recognize the Uraeus in the day boat. The god is called Tati by name, so that he might bar the hail clouds and they might not ascend to the sun. The sky's two reed floats have been placed for Horus, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, where Horus of the Akhet is. The sky's two reed floats have been placed for Tati, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, where Horus of the Akhet is. The sky's two reed floats have been placed for him of Shazmet, that he might cross on them to the Akhet where Horus of the Akhet is. The sky's two reed floats have been placed for Tati, that he might cross on them to the Akhet where Horus of the Akhet is. The nurse lake has been opened up. The winding canal has become inundated. The marshes of reeds have filled with water so that Tati's ferrying might be ferried on them to that eastern side of the sky, to the place where the gods will give him birth, so that he might be fully reborn there, new and rejuvenated. When this time comes tomorrow, and the time of five days from now, and the time of six days from now, and the time of seven days from now, and the time of eight days from now, Tati 
will be called for by the sun and given a meal by Kas Asinger as Horus, as him of the Akhet. When this time comes tomorrow, and the time of three days from now, and the time of four days from now, and Teti is standing up as the star that is at the sky's underbelly, he will render judgment as a god, having heard the case as an official. Teti will call to them, and those four gods who stand at the sky's electrum staves will fetch themselves to him, that they might tell the name of Teti to the sun and bear his name to Horus of the Akhet, saying, He has returned to you. He has come to you that he might loosen ties and release fetters. For he has taken Teti from that which is below and does not give him to Osiris. Teti cannot truly die, having become Ak in the Akhet and stable in Jadut. Spells for entering the Akhet At the entrance to the Akhet This Teti is Osiris in a dust devil. The ground is this Teti's abomination. He shall not enter Geb. This Teti will end his sleep in his enclosure on earth, for this Teti's bones have been made firm and his obstructions removed. This Teti has become clean through Horus's eye, and his obstruction has been removed through Osiris's two kites, Isis and Nephthys. This Teti has released to earth his leather kilt's ties. This Teti's sister, Wajet, the Lady of Pei, is the one who cried for him, and the two attendants, Isis and Nephthys, who mourned Osiris, have mourned him, saying, This Teti is off to the sky. This Teti is off to the sky in Shu with the sun. This Teti will not be turned away, and there is none who will turn away from him. This Teti is the god who is on his own foot, eldest of the gods. This Teti will not sit to be judged in the god's court, for the loaf of this Teti's bread is for above with the sun, and this Teti's feast is from new. This Teti is the one who turns back, this Teti will go with the sun. This Teti will return with the sun. This Teti will embrace his enclosures, setting obstruction and removing obstruction, assigning cause and taking away cause. This Teti will spend the day and night with this Teti releasing the two contestants with Adzes in Hermopolis. The foot of this Teti will not be crossed. The heart of this Teti cannot be barred. Encouraging the spirit to enter the Akhet. O oh, Osiris Teti, stand up. Horus has come, and he will take account of you from the gods. Horus has loved you and provided you. Horus has painted his eye on you. Horus has parted your eye that you might see with it. The gods have tied on your face, for they have desired you. Isis and Nephthys have made you sound. Horus will not be far from you. You are his Ka. May your face be peaceful to him. Hasten and receive Horus' speech and become content with it. Listen to Horus. It will not be dangerous for you, for he has made the gods follow you. Osiris Teti, awake. Geb has fetched Horus for you that he might take account of you. Horus has found you and has become Ak through you. Horus has elevated the gods to you. He has given them to you that they might brighten your face. Horus has put you in front of the gods. He has made you acquire all that is yours. Horus has attached himself to you and cannot be parted from you. Horus has caused you to live in your identity of Anjeti. Horus has given you his firm eye. It has been set for you that you may become powerful and your every opponent may become afraid of you. Horus has filled you complete with his eye, in its identity of the god's deposit. Horus has collected the gods for you, and they cannot be away from you in any place in which you have gone. Horus has allotted the gods to you, and they cannot be away from you in any place in which you become immersed. Nephthys has collected all your limbs for you, in her identity of Seshat, 
lady of builders, and has made them sound for you. You have been given to your mother, Newt, in her identity of the burial place. She has collected you in her identity of the burial chamber, and you have been elevated to her in her identity of the tomb's superstructure. Horus has gathered your limbs for you, for he could not let you suffer. He has joined you, and nothing of you can be disturbed. Horus has stood you up. Don't totter. Oh, Osiris Teti, bear your heart toward him. Let your heart expand with happiness. Open your mouth, for Horus has tended you and cannot fail to tend you. O oh, Osiris Teti, you are the god in control, and there is no god like you. Horus has given you his children that they might bear you. He has given you all the gods that they might follow you and you might control them. Horus has lifted you up in his identity of the Sokar boat and will bear you in your identity of Sokar. Be alive and move about every day, occupied in your identity of the Akhet, from which the sun emerges, esteemed, sharp, ba, and in control for the course of eternity. Raise yourself, Teti, hasten you of great strength, and sit at the fore of the gods, and do that which Osiris has done in the massed enclosure in Heliopolis. Now that you have received your insignia, your foot has no limit in the sky, and you cannot be barred in the world, for you are an Ak, whom Newt bore and Nephthys suckled as they joined you. When you stand up in your forcefulness, you shall do what you used to do before, and be more Ak than all the Aks. Should you go to pay, you will find your welcome there. Should you return to Neken, you will find your welcome there. And you shall do what Osiris does, for you are the one on his throne. Stand up, this Tatis Ak, great of strength and arrayed as the great wild bull. You cannot be barred in any place in which you might go, and your foot has no limit in any place you might desire to be. O oh, Osiris Tati, stand up, raise yourself. Your mother Newt has given you birth. Geb has wiped your mouth. The big Ennead shall tend you, having given you your opponent under you. Carry the one greater than you, they set against him in your identity of the great Saw Shrine. The one greater than you is distinguished, they said, in your identity of great land. Your sisters Isis and Nephthys have come to you, making you sound. Very black in your identity of the great black wall. Very green in your identity of the great green. Look, you have become great and round as the great round. Look, you have become encircled and round as the circuit that surrounds the external aisles Look, you have become round and big as he who surrounds the big waters that perish. Isis and Nephthys have guarded for you in Asyut, for their lord in you, in your identity of the lord of Asyut, for their god in you, in your identity of the god, worshipping you so that you don't become far from them in your identity of the god's beard, gathering you so that you don't become angry in your identity of the Genderu Bark. Your sister Isis has come to you, aroused for love of you. You have put her on your phallus, so that your seed might emerge into her, sharp as Sotis, and sharp Horus has emerged from you as Horus in Sotis. You have become Ak in him, in his identity of the Ak in the Genderu Bark, and he shall tend you in his identity of Horus the son who tends his father. O oh, Osiris Tati, Geb has fetched Horus for you, that he might tend you. He has fetched you the gods' hearts, that you might not groan, that you might not moan. Horus has given you his eye, that you might acquire the crown in it at the fore of the gods. Horus has gathered your limbs for you and joined you, and nothing of you can be disturbed. Doth has seized your opponent for you, beheaded along with his retinue. And there was none of them whom he spared. O oh, Osiris Teti, here is Horus inside your arms, that he might tend you. He has become Ak again with you, in your identity of the Akhet from which the sun emerges. Enfold your arms all about him, 
and he will not be away from you. Horus cannot let you suffer. He has put your opponent under your feet that you might live. Horus has given you his children that they might go beneath you. There is none of them who goes back as they carry you. Your mother Newt has spread herself over you in her identity of Shet Pet. She has made you be a god without an opponent of yours in your identity of god, joining you away from everything bad in her identity of Great Sieve. Mew are the eldest of her children. Geb has become content for you, since he has loved you, he has defended you, given you your head, and had Toth gather you, so that what is against you might end. O oh, Osiris Teti, stand up, for Horus has made you stand up. Geb has made Horus see his father in you, in your identity of the sovereign's enclosure. Horus has given you the gods, having elevated them to you, that they might brighten your face. Horus has given you his eye, that you might see with it. Horus has put your opponent under you, that he might bear you. Don't let loose of him. You shall come back to your character, for the gods have tied on your face. Horus has parted your eye, that you might see with it in its identity of that which parts paths. Your opponent has been struck by Horus's children. They have reddened his beating and captured him, restrained and his scent bad. Horus has pressed your mouth and adjusted your mouth to your bones for you. Horus has parted your mouth. Your desired son is the one who has measured your eyes for you. Horus cannot let your face be downcast in your identity of Horus at the head of the subjects. O oh, Osiris Teti, Horus has had the gods join you, fraternizing with you in your identity of the dual flagpole shrines. Elevate yourself to Horus, betake yourself to him, and don't be far from him in your identity of him of the above. Horus has attached himself to you and cannot be parted from you. He has made you live. Hasten and receive his speech and become content with it. Listen to him. It will not be dangerous for you, for he has gotten the gods together for you with none of them who can be away from him. Horus has attached himself to his progeny and is united for you with those of his body, and they have desired you. Horus has acted for his Ka in you, that you might become content in your identity of Ka at rest. O oh, Osiris Teti, Horus has put you in the god's heart. He has made you acquire all that is yours. Horus has found you and become Ak in you. Go forth against your opponent. You are greater than he in your identity of the great house shrine. Horus has made him bear you in your identity of the great born. He has saved you from your opponent and tended you as one who was tended in his proper time. Geb has seen your character and put you in your proper place. Horus has spread your opponent for you under you. You are senior to him, for you emerged before him. You are the father of Horus, the one who begot him in your identity of begetter. The desire of Horus has gone forward with you in your identity of foremost of Westerners. O oh, Cyrus Teti, awake. Horus has had Toth get your opponent for you, and he has put you on his back so that he will not thwart you. Make your seat on him. Come forth and sit on him. Don't let him be taken away from you. Oh, you have been swept from him, so give what is his against him. Horus has selected your opponent's forelegs, and Horus has fetched them to you cut up. Horus has banished their ka from them, and you shall ignite the evening meal of your desire from them, in your identity of him of Zemaru. Aha! Aha! Raise yourself, Teti, for you have received your head. Your bones have been assembled for you, your limbs collected for you, the earth on your flesh cleared away for you, and you have received your unmoldering bread and unrotting beer. When you stand at the doors that bar the subjects, thighs forward will come out to you and take your arm, that he might take you to the sky away from your father Geb. He will be aroused at meeting you, so that he shall give his arms toward you, kiss you, and take care of you. He will put you at the fore of the imperishable ox, 
so that those of inaccessible places shall worship you. The great ones gather for you, and the watchers attend you. Barley has been beaten for you, emmer has been reaped for you, and things made from it for your first-of-the-month festivals, and things made from it for your middle-of-the-month festivals, as what was commanded by your father Geb to be done for you. Raise yourself, Tati. You shall not die. You have become great, Tati. You shall be ferried, Tati, and bear your name of Osiris. Your foot is big. Your foot has become large, and it shall traverse the great bed. You will not be seized by the horizons. You will not be barred by the stars. The sky's door has been opened to you, that you may emerge from it as Horus, as the jackal at his side, whose form has surpassed that of his opponents. For you have no human father who can give you birth. You have no human mother who can give you birth. Your father is a great wild bull. Your mother is a great wild cow. They will guide you, and you will go as Geb at the four of the Enneads, as Parter at the four of Heliopolis. You will travel by the lake and arrive at the causeway, and legs will drum for you, arms will wave for you, the mooring posts will call out to you, and the populace will hurry themselves to you. For your mother, begetter of the white crown of Neken, defender of the white crown and the headcloth in the midst of Nekeb, with long plumage and dangling breasts, is the one who will carry you to the sky and not put you down, and she will transport her breast to your mouth, will suckle you, and will not wean you. Toth cannot disturb what he has done for you. So, sit on your metal chair, summon those of the night, and direct the imperishable stars. Spells for passing through the Akhet Burying and climbing. Petit's cleansing stride. Reading the sun and the gods. Sending the spirit through the Akhet. She has given her arms toward you. Summoning the fairy. Joining the sun. Summoning the fairy. The morning ritual, arraying the spirit. O oh, Tati, receive your dazzling garment, receive your bleached garment on you, and get dressed in Horus's eye from Tait town. It will make your acclaim with the gods, it will make your recognition with the gods, and you will acquire the crown through it with Horus, lord of the elite. Greetings Tait, on the lip of the great nest. Associate the god to his brother, whether you have been present or not, whether you will be present or not. Care for Tati's head so that it won't pass away, and collect Tati's bones so that they won't pass away, and give love for Tati into the belly of every god who will see him. This which Horus has made for his father Osiris is a sound garment. As the Great One lies on his mother, Newt, your mother, Tait, will clothe you and carry you to the sky in her identity of a kite. The foundling she has found is her Horus. This is your Horus, Isis. May you send his arm to the sun and away from the Akhet. Greetings, First Class Oil. Greetings, you on Horus's forehead, whom Horus has put on his father Osiris's brow. Tati will put you on his brow like Horus put you on his father Osiris's brow. Sending the spirit to the sky. Greetings, Tati. On this your day when you stand opposite the sun as he comes forth in the east, arrayed in this insignia of yours as one of the ox. Arms will be linked for you. Feet will drum for you. Hands will wave for you. Isis has taken your arm that she might induct you inside the pavilion that arrays the earth, as your watchers mourn you. The offering that Anubis, foremost of Westerners, will give is your thousands of bread, your thousands of beer, your thousands of ointment, your thousands of linen, 
your thousands of clothing, your thousands of cattle. A Nile goose will be decapitated for you. A white goose will be butchered for you. Horus has repelled the bad that was against Teti on his fourth day. Seth has negated what he has done to Teti on his eighth day. The doors have been opened unto those whose places are inaccessible. Stand up. Repel your earth. Clear away your dust. Raise yourself, and you will course amongst the ox with your wings of a falcon and your range of a star. He of the night will not bow over Teti. The mind of Teti will not be acquired. His heart will not be taken away. Teti is a great one whose crown is sound. Teti will provide himself with his metal limbs. Teti will stride the sky to the marsh of reeds. Teti will make his abode in the marsh of offerings among the imperishable stars who follow Osiris. O oh, Teti, become clean. Sense yourself for the sun. How beautiful is your cleanliness, settler. Settle yourself among the gods, settler. Settle yourself among those of the gods, Booth, settler. Teti, you shall climb and mount the sunshine. You are he of the sunshine, who is on the shin of the sky. When the Great One fell on his side, when he in Nadit trembled, his head was raised by the sun, for his abomination is sleep, and he hates slackness. Flesh of this Teti, don't decay, don't rot, don't let your scent be bad. Your foot will not be bypassed, your stride will not be traversed, and you will not step on Osiris's decay. You shall touch the sky like Orion, your Ba shall be sharp like Sothis. You shall become Ba and be Ba. You shall become esteemed and be esteemed. Your Ba shall come to stand among the gods as Horus in the midst of Iru. Your ferocity shall come to be against the god's heart like the red crown atop the hereditary king, like the pale crown atop the current king, like the braid atop the northern Bedouin. You shall grab hold of the imperishable star's arm. Your bones will not perish. Your flesh will not pass away, Teti. Your limbs will not be away from you, for you are one of the gods. Pei will go upstream for you, Neken. Will go downstream for you. The Moorer will cry out for you. Those in the four will put on the kilt for you, saying, Welcome in peace, Teti, to your father, Welcome in peace to the sun. The sky's door has been opened for you. The starry sky's door has been pulled open for you. Tati has descended as the jackal of the Nile Valley, as Anubis on his belly, as parter at the fore of Heliopolis. The great lass in the midst of Heliopolis has given her arms to you, for you have no human mother to give you birth. You have no human father to give you birth. Your mother is the great wild cow in the midst of Nekeb, with white headcloth, wide plumage, and dangling breasts. She will suckle you, and not wean you. Remove yourself off your left side. Sit on your right side, Teti. Your places among the gods shall endure. The sun shall lean on you with his shoulder. Your scent is their scent. Your sweat is the dual Ennead's sweat. You shall appear, Teti, in the royal headgear. Your hand shall take hold of the Horus scepter. Your grasp shall grab on to the mace. Take your stand, Teti, in the fore of the dual shrine. Judge the gods, for you belong to the enduring ones who surround the sun and precede the morning god. You shall be born at your months like the moon. The sun shall lean on you in the Aket, Teti. The imperishable stars shall follow you. Prepare yourself until the sun comes, Teti. You shall become clean and go forth to the sun, and the sky will not be empty of you, Teti, forever. Raise yourself, Father. You have your water. You have your inundation. You have your milk from your mother Isis's breasts. Raise yourself, you who gave birth to Horus, you who gave birth to him who is in Pei's seal ring, 
as Seth in Takbit. This great one has spent the night abed. Awake to tea. Raise yourself. Receive your head. Collect your bones and clear away your dust. Sit then on that metal chair of yours and eat a foreleg. Serve yourself a shank and feed on your ribs at the sky amongst the gods. Spells for the Spirit's Rebirth Spells against inimical beings. You whom Tati can save or mash. You whom Tati can release or mash. Fetch your dispatch, mashed fetcher. Fetch your dispatch coolly, mashed fetcher. And don't come for Tati, the son of the Great One, the Castrator's Knife. Castrator's Knife, rising one, rising one, went tea, went tea, to him. Give his garments to the night boat. Should you moor in your identity of fortress, you shall capsize in your identity of a guy. For you are the snake on his belly who lives on the hearts of those gods who are in Heliopolis. Turn back. Go completely away. Cobra to the sky. Horus's centipede to the earth. Horus's sandal has stepped snake. The snake is for Horus, the young boy with his finger in his mouth. Tati is Horus, the young boy with his finger in his mouth. Since Tati is young, he has stepped on you. Had Tati become experienced, he would not have stepped on you. For you are the secreted and mysterious one the gods speak of. For you have no feet and you have no arms with which you might go after your brothers, the gods. You too. You too. You too uprising. You too uprising. Whom the gods' cord made. Guard Tati, and he will guard you. Your water to the sky, your flowers to the earth, behold the protection of the utterances around me. You of the evil deed, you of the evil deed, you of the wall, you of the wall, set your foot behind you, beware of the Great One's Great One. The Great One's centipede has gone down, having encircled him of the enclosure, he of the enclosure has been encircled by the centipede. Skilled snake, skilled female snake, be far from Tati. You who are Jammu, Horus has gone around after his eye. Retreating snake, make the grounds plowing. Tati is the leading plight snake, who swallowed his seven uraei, and his seven neck bones came into being who governs the seven boughs and governs for the sovereign. The mother of Tati is the pelican. Tati is her son. Tati has come that he may receive a fingernail of mirror. Mirror in the fingernail. Tati has come that he may take away your power, gods. Surround Tati, for he has assigned your cause. Tati is the plate snake the Ennead's bull who swallowed his seven uraei and they became his seven neck bones. You Ennead's in the presence, who hear cases for him who is. Tati has come that he may remove your power and assign your cause. Snake, snake, where are you going? Wait for Tati. He is Jammu, your father. The original Jammu has died. The sunshine servant has fallen in his inundation. You who are the snake, go away. This hand of Tati that has come against you is the hand of the great fettering goddess in the midst of the enclosure of life. The one it seizes will not live. The one it strikes, his head cannot be tied back on. Fall down, crawl away. The sun has appeared against you. Horus has stretched his nine bows against this ock that comes from the ground with head cut off and tail truncated. You sweeping snake, Dedi, son of her who aspirates throats, turn yourself around, turn yourself over. Spewer, you shall be given some of the same. Male snake, female snake, listen to him. 
listen to the ground. Listen to your father Geb. Should you not listen to him, you will hear his brand on your head. Severed snake, lie down. Horizon, jump up, seize him. Drive into the ground. Guide your tail. When Tati uses his arm against you, you will die. And when the arm of Tati releases you, you will not live. Your binding has been bound by Shu. Shu has come to stand on your bonds. Turn yourself around. Turn yourself over. Tati's fingers on you are the fingers of Mafdet in the midst of the enclosure of life when you spit. Fall down. Turn away. Turn over. Horus has toppled you, and you will not live. Seth has chopped you up, and you will not stand up again. Tati has come to you, long marooner, and you shall let Tati pass in the cleft. You turn Tati away, and he will turn you away. Horus has fallen because of his eye. Seth has felt pain because of his testicles. Snake with sweeping head in the undergrowth. Fall down. Crawl away. The Great One has fallen. The Sunshine Servant has fallen. Monster, lie down. Where is Horus, who escaped from the shunned snake? Behold Tati. Tati is Horus, who escaped from the shunned snake and ran. He, the snake, shall be given no messenger. His child has been taken from him. The snake, penis catch. Horus has clubbed his mouth with his foot. On your face, you in his cave. Drag yourself off, you god in it, before Tati. Tati is the great lass. He who sees Tati will not live. He on whom the face of Tati falls, his head cannot be tied back on. Severed snake, crawl away. You in the undergrowth, turn yourself over. Tati is clean. His ka is clean. Tati is sound. How sound is Tati? Horus is sound because of his body. Tati is sound. How sound is Tati? Seth is sound because of his body. Tati is sound because of his body between you, Horus, and Seth. Tati is one who fires the bow at Horus, who draws the bowstring as Osiris. That one has gone. This one has come. Are you Horus? asks the snake. On your face, be overturned. Are you Seth? On your face, be dragged off. This foot of Tati that he puts on you is the foot of Mafdet. This hand of Tati that he lays on you is the hand of Mafdet, in the midst of the house of life. When Tati strikes you on your face, your venom will go, and it will fetch the blood of your jaw instead. Severed snake, lie down. Plight snake, crawl away. On your side, be prone, be off, be off, go, go. You whom Tati can mash, or Tati can release, or Tati can save. Your dispatch is cool. That which is in your house is conceived. That which is before you is calm. The water of Tati is in the sky. The fledglings of Tati are on earth. The heart is excavated. Your sycamore is your grain. Your grain is your sycamore. Your tail is in your mouth. Shunned snake, your surrounding has been surrounded, great bull, whom he encircled has escaped, the great one whom he encircled has escaped. Ground sun, beware of the ground, ground sun, beware of the gold. Lion is behind lion for life, the two bulls are inside the ibis. Ground, beware of the ground, ground sun, beware of the gold. Beware of your father Geb, who begot Osiris. Ground son, beware of the gold. Dancer snake, the scent of dragging the ground is for you. Jamu, you spew it, spew it, shoo your arms around Tati. Ground hacker, ground hacker, 
don't hack the ground, beware of opponents. Tati has been conceived to Jammu. Tati has been born to Jammu. Jammu is the one who went to impregnate his mother with him. Your water to the sky, your fledglings to the earth. Go away. Paul. Taking control in the Akhet, Horus's eye has dripped on Horus's bush. Horus, foremost of houses, lord of sustenance, great one in Heliopolis. May you give bread to Teti. May you give beer to Teti. May you freshen Teti. May you freshen the offering table of Teti. May you freshen the slaughterhouse of Teti. Should Teti hunger, dual lion will hunger. Should Teti thirst, Nekbet will thirst. Broom plant goddess, broom plant goddess. Don't fetch the scent of your broom plant to Teti, for you don't have to fetch the scent of your broom plant to Teti. Teti has just seen the great Uraeus. Teti has just received the great Uraeus. And the face of Teti has just fallen on the great Uraeus. Nourishment has laid down the side of his head to Teti, and Teti will cross his canal with his cobra in his wake. Teti's place has been widened with Geb. Teti's star has been elevated with the sun, and Teti will move about in the marshes of rest. Teti is that eye of the sun that spends the night conceived and is born every day. O oh, you whose feast is fresh upon his marsh, O oh, flower opener, upon his sycamore, O oh, glistening of shores, upon his tree, O oh, lord of green marshes, now, hey, Tati too will be among you, Tati will emerge in your coterie, Tati will live on what you live on. O oh, you bulls of a tomb, freshen Tati and strengthen Tati more than the red crown upon him, more than the flood upon his lap more than the sweets in his fist. O oh, you in charge of bread production who belong to the flood, commend Teti to Fetekti, cupbearer of the sun, that he may commend Teti to the sun himself, and the sun may commend Teti to those in charge of provisioning. When he takes a bite, he will give some to Teti. When he takes a sip, he will give some to Teti and Tati will go to sleep sound every day. Traveling with the Sun Tati will travel with you, traveler. Who is on Wajet's standards? Tati is bigger than Horus of the Gory One, the red crown that is on the sun. Tati is green as the papyrus head of your eye in which heat is, and Tati will be green with you. O oh, sun, O oh, you of repletion, O oh, you of repletion, O oh, you of fertility, O oh, you of fertility, you are Tati, Tati is you. Jubilate for Tati, jubilate for the Ka of Tati. You will shine as Tati, Tati will shine for you. Make Tati sound and Tati will make you sound. Freshen Tati and Tati will freshen you. Tati is that eye of yours that is on Hathor's brow, which turns fully back the years from Tati. Tati will spend the night conceived and born every day. Greeting, son, in your perfection, in your finality, in your places, in your ultimate experience. Fetch for Tati Isis's milk, Nephthys's flood, the lake's perimeter, the surge of the great green, life, soundness, health, pleasance of heart, bread, beer, clothing, a meal, that Tati may live on them. Let the brewers listen to him all day long and be content in the nights for him, who partakes of the meal when they have become content with their offerings. Let Tati see you when you emerge as Thoth, when a beaching place is made for the sun's boat at its marshes in the bald sky, when you close up as the one at the four of his infinites. Tati will clean himself and receive his clean place in the sky. Tati will endure, 
and Tati's perfect places will endure, when Tati receives his clean place in the prow of the sun's boat. And the crew who row the sun, they are the ones who will row Tati, and the crew who conduct the sun around the Aket, they are the ones who will conduct Tati around the Aket. Tati's mouth has been parted for him, Tati's nose has been opened up for him, Tati's ears have been unplugged for him. Tati will decide cases and part the two assailants, Horus and Seth. Tati will govern for the one who is older than he. The sun will clean Tati. The sun will defend Tati from that which might be done badly against him. Your night's brood, come, give Tati birth. You, too, whom the day conceives, extend yourselves and give birth to him who is in the egg. And Tati, when you have given him birth, and Tati, when you have reared him, the heart of Tati will be extended with joy at the fore of the Duat. The heart of the gods will be extended over Tati when they see Tati rejuvenated, for the six-day meal is for Tati's breakfast, and the seventh-day meal is for Tati's supper, and nursing cows shall be slaughtered for Tati on the supply festival. What is wanted to be given is that Tati give. For Tati is the bull of Heliopolis. Tati is the bull of light, who has a quintet of meals, a triad for the sky, a pair for the earth. The night boat and day boat are the ones who row this to Tati from the god's enclave. Excrement is Tati's abomination. He rejects urine and will not drink it. Tati will live instead on a date tree and on the sensing from the earth. O oh, Buserite, Jed Pillar in his Ba's settlement, Tati has been your eldest begotten. Tati will be your eldest begotten. Tati shall find you seated on the tower of the winding canal in which the gods sit, to which the owners of Kaz are roped, having come. Spells for leaving the Akhet. Greeting the sun. Greeting the gods. Crossing toward the sky. Tati will ascend, Horus in the midst of the Duat. Tati. This Tati. Put this Tati in the midst. This Tati is the sole lord. At the sky's door. The Pyramid Texts of Pepi the First Spells for Entering the Womb of Newt The King's Titulary Horus, whom the two lands desire, Pepi, alive forever, the living one, the dual king, Merir, alive forever, Pepi, given life, stability, authority, and all happiness, like the sun, continually forever. Pepi, the dual falcon's golden one, the living one, Horus, whom the two lands desire, the dual falcon's golden one, Pepi, is joining with the belly of his mother Newt in life, stability, forever. For Horus, whom the two lands desire, Pepi, the dual king, Pepi, the one whom the two ladies belly desires, Pepi, the dual falcon's golden one, Pepi, Geb's heir, whom he desired, Pepi, the one whom all the gods desire, Pepi, given life, stability, authority, and all happiness like the sun, alive forever. This, Pepi, Ba. Sending the spirit to Newt. Invoking the spirit as Osiris. O oh, Pepi, you have gone that you may become Ak and take control as a god, as Osiris's replacement. 
You have your Ba within you. You control about you, your crown atop you, your pale crown atop your shoulders. Face forward, for praise of you is before you. The God's followers are after you, the God's privileged ones before you. Making the paean, the God has come, the God has come. This Pepi has come on Osiris's throne. The Ak from Nadit has come, the controlling power from great land. Isis will speak to you, Nephthys will call you, the Ak will come to you in obeisance. Kissing the earth at your feet because of your ferocity. O oh, Pepi, in perceptions towns. So, you should go forth to where your mother Newt is, and she will take hold of your arm and give you the way to the Akhet, to the place where the sun is. The sky's door has been opened to you. The cool water's door has been made to pull open to you, and you will find the sun standing, waiting for you. He will take hold of your arm, lead you into the sky's dual shrines, and put you on Osiris's throne. O oh, Pepi, Horus's eye has come to you and will claim you. Your Ba from the gods has come to you. Your control of the ox has come to you. The son has saved his father. Horus has saved Osiris. Horus has saved this Pepi from his opponents. You shall take up your position, Pepi, on Thigh's forward's throne, saved, provided as a god, and equipped with Osiris's form on foremost of Westerners' throne, and do what he used to do among the ox and the imperishable stars. Your son shall take up his position on your throne, equipped with your form, and do what you used to do before the four of the living, by command of the sun, the great god. He shall farm barley, farm emmer, and endow you with them. O oh, Pepi, what pertains to you has been given to you by the sun. You shall claim your body, having received the gods' form, and become great through them with the gods at the lake's four. O oh, Pepi, your Ba shall take up its positions among the gods and among the ox. It is your fearsomeness against their hearts. O oh, Pepi, take up your position. O oh, Pepi, on your throne at the four of the living. It is your ferocity against their hearts. Your identity on earth shall live. Your identity on earth shall endure. You shall not perish. You shall not come to an end for the course of eternity. O oh, Osiris Pepi, accept these your cool waters, that it may be cool for you with Horus and your identity of the one who comes in the cool waters. Accept your natron water, that you may become divine. Your mother Newt has made you be a god to your opponent in your identity of God. Accept the outflow that comes from you. Horus has made the gods assemble for you in every place in which you have gone. Accept the outflow that comes from you. Horus has made his children take account of you in the place in which you are immersed. Horus shall take account of you year by year rejuvenated in your identity of the rejuvenated waters of the inundation. Horus has become Ba, taking account of his father in you, in his identity of him, of the sovereign's Ba, sedan chair. O oh, Pepi, this your going, and these your goings, are the going of Horus, in this his going, and these his goings. His hurriers shall run, his heralds shall hasten, and announce you to him, who sweeps in the east. Aha, Pepi, your shoulders are those of Parter, your face that of Path's Parter. O oh, Pepi, a king given offering that you occupy the Horus Mounds and move about the Seth Mounds, that you sit on your metal chair and judge them at the fore of the big Ennead in Heliopolis. O oh, Pepi, eyes forward, your herdsmen, in the care of your calves, will guard you. O oh, Pepi, the she-goat will guard you from the ox. 
O Pepi, know that you shall receive this God's offering of yours and become content through it every day. A thousand of bread, a thousand of beer, a thousand of cattle, a thousand of fowl, a thousand of everything sweet, a thousand of every kind of clothing. O Pepi, you have your water, you have your inundation, you have your rock salt, fetched for you from your brother, the enduring one. Osiris Pepi, you have been tended, for I have given you all the gods and their inheritance, their nourishment, and all their things as well. You will not die. Recitation by Isis and Nephthys The screecher has come. The kite has come. It is Isis and Nephthys. They have come in search of their brother Osiris, in search of their brother, this Pepi. Haste, haste, weep for your brother Isis. Weep for your brother Nephthys. Weep for your brother. Isis has sat down with her arms atop her, and Nephthys has seized the tip of her breasts. For their brother Pepi, baby-like on his belly, Osiris in his danger, Anubis with grasp forward. You have no rot, Pepi, you of the Screecher, the Screecher's son. You have no rot, Pepi, you have no sweat, Pepi. You have no outflow, Pepi, you have no dust, Pepi. You of the Screecher, the Screecher's son, you of the mooring, who came from the mooring post. You of the separation into three, in these your four days and your eight nights. Follow her of a thousand Baas, your one of the cool waters whom you should desire, and your orphan will come to the fore as you come to the fore of the foremost, the orphans you have orphaned into orphans. Horus has been untied from his breastband for you, that he might catch those in Seth's following. Seize them, remove their heads, sever their forelegs, and gut them. Take their hearts and slurp their blood. Allot their hearts in this, your identity of Anubis, who allots hearts. You have been given your eyes as your two Urei, for you are Path's parter on his standard. Anubis at the fore of the god's booth. O oh, Pepi, you are at the fore of the houses of the Great Ones in Heliopolis. The ox, as well as the imperishable stars, shall be afraid of you, and the dead shall fall on their face to you, for you have grabbed control of the populace. The status of honored firstborn pertains to Pepi, says the Ba of Heliopolis, as they provide you with life and authority. He shall live with the living as Sokar lives with the living, as he lives with the living. This Pepi shall live with the living. O oh, Pepi, come, come alive and live here from one of your seasons to the other in these years, content with the love of you warm. Commending the Spirit to Newt Invoking the Spirit and Newt Osiris Pepi you have appeared as dual king, for you control the gods and their cause as well. Newt, spread yourself over your son, Osiris Pepi, and conceal him from Seth. Join him, Newt, who comes to you, and conceal your son as he comes to you. You should join this great one. Newt, fall over your son, Osiris Pepi. Join him, great sieve this eldest of your children. Geb commends the spirit to Newt. Newt, as you became effective and took control in your mother Tefnut's belly before you were born, may you join Pepi, and he will not die. Your heart took control as you moved in your mother's belly in your identity of Newt. You are the daughter who took control in her mother, having appeared as a bee. May you occupy this Pepi inside you, and he will not die. A great thing has happened in the sky, for you have taken control, become powerful, and filled every place with your beauty. 
the entire land is under you, for you have acquired it. You have encircled the land and everything within your arms, and have placed this Pepi as an imperishable star that is in you. As Geb have I fertilized you in your identity of the sky. I have united the entire land for you in every place. You are above the land, but you have the head of your father's shoe and have control of it, for he has desired you and put himself under you, and everything as well. As you have acquired every god with you in his sea mullet boat, that you might make each of them a star, as she of a thousand bas, and they might not go away from you as stars, you should not let Pepi be away from you, in your identity of the above. I am Newt, the granary. I will wipe the mouth of Osiris Pepi. Imperishable, this Pepi, and he will not die. Sending the Spirit to the West. Commending the Spirit to the Gods. Sending the Spirit to the West. To meet among at the opening, that he may give, shall not go forth. Sit the shrine to Pepi, that he may emerge in. Pepi, Nephthys, O cool waters, you shall give to the marsh of rest. You have your water, you have your inundation, the outflow that comes from the god, the decay that comes from Osiris. Your arms have been washed and your ears opened up. This controlling power has been occupied for his ba. Wash yourself and your ka will wash itself. Your ka will sit and eat bread with you without stopping for the course of eternity. This is your going, Osiris's replacement, is with your scepter before you and you praise preceding you. It is pleasant for your nose because of the scent of the firstborn's thing. For your feet, when they lay down, your catch, and for your fingers and your fingernails when your stones are broken up. You shall cross as the great bull, the Wajet gnome's pillar, to the sun's marshes that he loves. Raise yourself, Pepi, you have not died. Awake, for Horus, stand up against Seth. Raise yourself as Osiris, as the Ak who is Geb's first son, and take up your position as Anubis on the shrine, you at whom the nine shake, and for whom the first ones act. You will become clean at the new moon day, and appear at the first of the month. The mooring post will call out to you like him who stands and does not become weary in the midst of Abydos. Hear this which the gods have said. The sun says he will occupy this Pepi so that he might receive his status as an Ak at the gods' four as Horus, Osiris' son, giving him his status as an Ak as one of the watchers of Pei, and privileging him as a god as one of the watchers of Naken. The earth speaks. The horizon's door has been opened to you. Geb's door has been pulled open to you. You shall emerge at Anubis's voice, and he will occupy you as Thoth, that you may part the gods and set the borders of the sky's arcs between the two controlling powers, by virtue of this occupation that Anubis has commanded. When you go, Horus goes. When you speak, Seth speaks. You shall proceed to the lake, go upstream to Great Land, and course Abydos. A gate to the Akhet will be opened for you in the sky. The gods' hearts will be welcoming at meeting you, and they will take you to the sky in your Ba, you having become Ba as one of them. As Horus on the cushion of the sky's standard shall you go up to the sky, in this privilege of yours as Horus, for most of the ox that comes from the mouth of the sun, seated on your metal chair. So, you should go away to the sky, for the paths of the sky's arcs that ascend to Horus have been swept for you. The heart of Seth shall be fraternal toward you, as the great one of Heliopolis. When you have traveled the winding canal in Newt's north, as a star that crosses the great green that is under Newt's belly, the duet 
shall lay down your hand toward the place where Orion is, the sky's bull having given you his arm. You shall feed him the god's food on which they feed, the scent of Deadwin, the Nile Valley's lad who comes from Boland, shall be on you, giving you the incense with which the gods are sensed. The hereditary king's two daughters, the red ones upon him in his two boats, the great ladies, have given you birth. The sun has summoned to you from the Isken of the sky, as Horus thighs forward, he of the hobbles, lord of the rebellion town, as the jackal, administrator of the sky's arcs, as Anubis at the fore of the clean land, that he might put you as the morning god in the midst of the marsh of reeds, seated on your chair, and your disassembled parts having been elevated by the dual crown of the lord of the sky's arcs. Your abundance is from the god's marsh from which they feed. You have your acification, you have your fetchers, you have your perception, you have your earth choppers. A king given offering, an Anubis given offering, your thousand of raised oryxes from the deserts coming to you in obeisance, a king given offering, an Anubis given offering, your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of great bread that comes from the broad hall your thousand of everything sweet, your thousand of cattle, your thousand of everything you might eat or set your heart on. The tree shall follow you. The sitter shall turn its head to you, as you for whom Anubis has acted. Ah, ah, I make it for you, this ah, my father, because you have no human father, because you have no human mother. Your father is the great wild bull. Your mother is the lass. Live, live, you have not really died. Like Horus, foremost of Letopolis lives. He to whom the great cavern has been opened. The Heliopolitan, he of the great baton. The great one of the sedan chair of foremost of Westerners. She shall give you water at the first of the months and at the middle of the months that you may give to the great and lead the small. You have ribs from the butcher's block of foremost of Westerners in accordance with your new state as one of the possessors of honor. Commending the spirit to the gods. It is Pepi, O Satis, who has acquired the two lands, O burning one who has received her two shores. Pepi has gone forth to the sky and found the sun waiting to meet him. He will sit on his shoulders, and the sun will not let himself set him down, knowing that he is elder to him. Pepi will be more ak than the ox, and more skilled than the skilled. Pepi is more lasting than the lasting. The mistress of contentment will be in festival for Pepi, for Pepi has come to stand on the north of the sky with him, and Pepi has acquired the two lands like the king of gods. Do you wish to live, Horus, on top of this Ankh of Ma'at? Then you should not close the sky's door. You should not bar its barriers before you have taken the Ka of Pepi to the sky, to him whom the gods' nobles, those who lean on their staves, the awakeners of the Nile Valley land, who are clothed in sovereign's linen, live on figs, drink of wine, and are anointed with the first-class oil. No to him whom the god desires, so that he may speak on Pepi's behalf before the great god and elevate Pepi to the great god. Address to the spirit, as Osiris in the Duat. The earth has been hacked for you, and a presented offering laid down for you, before you, and you will go on yonder path on which the gods go. Turn yourself and see this serving that the king has made for you that foremost of Westerners has made for you, that you might go to yonder gods, the northern imperishable stars. So has that great one fallen on his side, and he, in the deet, been thrown down? Your arm has been received by the sun. Your head has been raised by the dual Ennead. Look, he is come as Orion, they say. Look, 
Osiris is come as Orion, the Lord wine-colored with supplies, the perfect one of whom his mother has spoken, the heir of whom his father has spoken, the one whom the sky has conceived and the morning star has given birth. The sky shall conceive you with Orion, the morning star shall give you birth with Orion. Live, live as the gods have commanded you to live. With Orion in the eastern arm of sky shall you go up. With Orion in the western arm of the sky shall you go down. So these, whose places are clean, is the third of you two. She is the one who will lead you to in the marsh of reeds, to the perfect paths in the sky. Commending the spirit to Newt. Newt, the two eyes emerged in your head when you acquired Horus, and his great of magic as well, when you acquired Seth, and his great of magic as well. Newt, as you have allotted the one you have given birth, in your identity of her in the sedan chair of Heliopolis, may you allot this Pepi to life, that he may not perish. Newt, you have appeared as a bee, for you control the gods and their cause as well, and their inheritance as well, and their nourishment as well, and all their things as well. Newt, when you make him revive, he will live. Newt, as you live, Pepi lives. Osiris Pepi, your mother Newt has spread herself over you that she may conceal you from everything bad. Newt has joined you away from everything bad. You are the eldest of her children. Newt, fall over your son, Osiris Pepi. Join him, great Sieve, this eldest of your children. Someone has gone to be with his Ka. Osiris has gone to be with his Ka. Seth has gone to be with his Ka. Eyes Forward has gone to be with his Ka. You too have gone to be with your Ka. Oh, Pepi, someone has come, and you will not need. Your mother has come, and you will not need. Newt, and you will not need. She who joins the Great One, and you will not need. She who joins the Fearful, and you will not need. She shall join you and defend you from needing. She shall place your head for you, gather your bones for you, and get your heart for you in your body. You shall be of the four of those at your feet, and govern those in your wake. You shall make firm your house in your wake, and defend your children from mourning. Your cleansing is the cleansing of the gods who have gone, but not withdrawn. Cleansing and clothing the newborn spirit. Both gather Pepi that he might live, and what is against him might end. Doth, place Horus's eye for him. Horus and Osiris Pepi accept Horus's eye with you. Someone has gone to be with this Ka. Osiris has gone to be with his Ka. Seth has gone to be with his Ka. Eyes Forward has gone to be with his Ka. Pepi has gone to be with his Ka. O oh, Pepi, you have gone away that you might live. You have not gone away that you might die. You have gone away that you might become Ak at the fore of the Ox, take control at the fore of the living, become Ba and be Ba, become esteemed and be esteemed. Someone has come and you will not need. Your mother has come to you and you will not need. Newt has come to you and you will not need. She who joins the Great One has come to you, and you will not need. She shall join you and defend you from needing. She shall place your head for you, gather your bones for you, join together your limbs for you, and get your heart for you in your body. You shall be at the fore of those at your feet, govern those in your presence, and defend your children from mourning. Your cleansing is the cleansing of the gods, the lords of possessions, who have gone to be with their cause. O oh, Pepi, awake. Raise yourself. Stand up and become clean. Let your Ka become clean, your Ba become clean, and your controlling power become clean. Your mother has come to you. Newt, the great sieve, has come to you, 
and she will cleanse you, Pepi, and join you, Pepi, and defend you from needing. Oh, Pepi, you are clean. Your Ka is clean. Your control of the ox is clean. Your Ba of the gods is clean. Oh, Pepi, your bones have been gathered to you, and you have received your head, says Geb. It shall remove the bad that is against you, Pepi, says Atum. O oh, Pepi, stand up and become clean, and let your Ka become clean. Horus shall cleanse you with cool water. Your cleansing is Shu's cleansing. Your cleansing is Tefnut's cleansing. Your cleansing is the cleansing of the four ox who come forth, genuflecting in pay. So, become clean, for your mother Newt, the great sea, will clean you and join you. You have received your head, and your bones have been gathered to you, says Geb. The bad that is against this Pepi has been ended, and the bad that is against him will end, says Atum. O oh, Pepi, stand up. You have put on Horus's eye and received it on you, and it will adhere to you and adhere to your flesh. You shall come forth in it, and the gods will see you arrayed in it, for you have acquired the big crown with the big Ennead in Heliopolis. O oh, Pepi, Live, for Horus's eye has been gotten for you, and it will not be far from you for the course of eternity. Osiris Pepi, you have encircled every god within your arms, and their lands, and all their things as well. Osiris Pepi, you have become great and round as the circuit that goes round the external isles. The canals have filled, the rivers have flooded, and with the cleansing, that comes from Osiris. You Sem priest, you member of the elite, you great ten of the palace, you great ten of Heliopolis, and you elder Ennead, sit down and see this cleansing of Father Osiris, this Pepi with Natron, with condensed milk, with cleansing Natron. The spittle that comes from Horus's mouth, the saliva that came from Seth's mouth, through which Horus became clean, through which the bad that was against him after Seth had acted against him was released to the ground, through which Seth became clean, through which the bad that was against him after Horus had acted against him was released to the ground. This Pepi has become clean through it. Released to the ground has been the bad that was against him, that your hunter's hunt did against you amongst your ox, Pepi. Commending the Spirit to the Gods Commending the Spirit to Isis and Nephthys Clothing the Spirit Ascending to the Sky Spells for the Sarcophagus Address to Geb Address to the Spirit in the Sarcophagus The Offering Ritual Libation Sensing Cleansing the mouth with salt water The Mouth Opening Ritual The Mouth Opening Meal Anointing and Presentation of Eye Paint Presentation of Linen Libation and Cleansing Preparation of the Offering Table a great meal. Invocation of the offering ritual. Reversion of offerings. Mashing the offering vessels. The insignia ritual. Cleansing, libation, and sensing. Invocations. Procession with the deceased's statue. Osiris Pepi. You are. Horus, whose work is not repeated, has them. You are the Ka of every god. Osiris Pepi has emerged for you on your head as. Horus has you, for he has desired you. You are in control of the gods and their Ka's as well. You shall be, your heart expanded with happiness. 
Presentation of scepters and staves. Presentation of bows and arrows. Lift before his face. Give Horus in a tomb, your son, Osiris Pepi. Osiris Pepi, here is Horus's eye. Presenting the statue to the gods. Accept his father over you. Accept him for me. Shu and Tefnut are the ones who. He, you, life. Osiris Pepi, you are the sole controlling god. Heliopolis. You have appeared as in control of, and their cause as well, in control, Pepi. O oh, Tefnut, a tomb's daughter, this here is Osiris Pepi, your eldest and senior son, whom you should make revive and live. Osiris Pepi, your body, when you repel those who are in. There is none of them who is away from you. There is none of them who. You shall come to your proper condition. Your. Let your heart swell with happiness, for your mouth has been opened and you have been tended. Put down. Osiris Pepi, put him in your hand. Put him in your hand. Don't let him. Both. Put. Elevate yourselves to him and brighten his face. I am Horus. Osiris Pepi. For you, your opponent under you. Don't let him escape from you. Osiris Pepi. Osiris Pepi, I have gotten him cut up for you. I am Horus. Bad against Pepi. Let there be none of them who will slacken. Let there be none of them who will turn their back to him. Let there be none who will do anything bad to him. Osiris, you should embrace them. There is none of them who will be away from you. Father Osiris Pepi, accept. Let your throat breathe from them. Don't you let loose of them and come to your proper condition. I am Horus, Osiris Pepi. I have gotten these gods together for you. Let there be none of them who will be away. Gods, Pepi is your brother in your identity of the dual flagpole shrines. And let there be none who will reject him in your identity of the dual shrines. I have allotted them to you, Osiris Pepi. You are Ka of all the gods. The king's offering. I am Thoth. What you have eaten, so that your belly grows round from it. Pepi. Horus has your weakness, that you might become content. Osiris Pepi. Oh, Osiris Pepi. The Resurrection Ritual The Basic Ritual Against Pepi Awakening the Spirit Awake, go to the Four Inn and become established at the Four of the Dual Ennead, for the boughs of Seth have been laid down for you under your feet. Lead those in. The gods will celebrate, Horus's followers will become aroused when they have seen you, saying, The god's elite one, having acquired the inheritance that was taken from him by Seth. O oh, Osiris Pepi, and provide yourself with his crown. You shall eat your bread from the god's bread, and your beer from the feast. Raise yourself from off your side. Stand. You shall see with your eyes and hear with your ears, and remove. Stand up and course. Should you go away, you shall return and acquire offerings. Provisioning the Resurrected Spirit O oh, Pepi, you shall not become weary. You shall spend the evening at the place. Geb's children, proceed, you in charge of water. Raise yourself. Raise yourself to this, your unmoldering bread. Horus, 
Emmer has been reaped. The years shall take account of you, rejuvenated therein. Your has been placed for you. Your cut stalks have been placed. You have received your baton and received your staff. Horus's children, you shall direct the imperishable stars. Remove yourself from the shores. How permanent is that which has been done for you? For you, the king shall appear and Path's parter shall become exalted with the king on the day of the new moon. The mooring post shall call you as Nephthys. The moorer shall summon you as Isis, and you shall go forward to the gateway of the standard support. Shall say about you, his house. How permanent is that which has been done for you, hurt and injury. Drumming has been drummed for you, hands have been waved for you. You shall apportion the offering stand shall come to you in obeisance, the lords of as men. How permanent is that which has been done for you? The sky's door has been opened, Newt's door has been pulled open. Great land, you have received your face as Anubis, foremost of Westerners. You shall eat of the hearts. Establishing the Spirit Among the Gods O oh, Pepi, stand up and sit down on Osiris's chair, your flesh complete as a tomb, your face that of a jackal. When you will make your speech to the sun, he will strike for you any obstruction to what you may say to him, should he have given an obstruction to your speech. So stand up, and you will not end, and you will not perish. Live, Pepi. Your mother Newt shall take hold of you and join you, and Geb shall receive your arm. Be alive in peace with your fathers. You shall control your body and be dressed in your body. You shall emerge as Horus of the Duat at the fore of the imperishable stars and sit on your metal chair atop your canal of cool water, alive as the beetle lives and stable as the Jed pillar for the course of eternity. The Great One has fallen. Look. He has come. How is he of whom his father spoke? How perfect is he of whom his mother spoke, saying, The Lord of Wine has come. The sky has you. Newt has given birth to you on Nephthys's thighs. Stand up. Stand up, you whom wished for the season of the year. Pepi shall live with shoes, thrones, the gods, lakes. Pepi is the third one, of that sothis of beautiful places, and, O oh, Pepi, Geb's thrones, you and you shall receive your control in Heliopolis. Awake for Horus, stand up for Seth as Osiris, as the Ak, Geb's son, at whom the shakes, shrine, the great mooring post, to him like him who stands and does not become weary in the midst of Elephantine. The winding canal has flooded, the marsh reeds has filled with water, for the sun that he might go forth on them, for Horus that he might go forth on them, for this Pepi that Pepi might go forth on them. Your body is in him, gods. Your is Pepi. Pepi shall, and put himself on the shin of the great sky. He shall move about with your compliance, gods. Pepi shall be given birth. Peace about Pepi to Osiris, for his Ka has defended him. The local god of Pepi shall stand up behind him anew. Penises shall travel into ready vaginas and vulvas into position. This is eyes forward, gods, who is born to every day. With in Neken, quarriers in the necropolis and perfect ones, in Abydos. Look, your mace is in your hand, and you shall course the marshes, foremost of Westerners. The marshes shall flood that you may go forth, brother, with well-informed at your arm, having given you the way to the Akhet. You shall sit on the metal chair of the imperishable stars, and you will not perish, you will not be ended, 
You shall govern millions, and hundreds of thousands shall remove obstruction for you. Condition. It is Pepi. He has come to you, gods, with his bones about him and his outflow, the great immersion. So go forward, Pepi. Your, in your identity of a guy, stand up at the lake of the four of the gods as Anubis on top of the shrine. Your sister Isis is the one who has found you on your mother's thighs, and she shall suckle you and not wean you. Cleanse yourself with your natron salt and sit on your metal chair, and the will come to you in obeisance and bear you to every place in which you want to be. Awake, awake, Osiris. Raise yourself from off your left side and put yourself on your right side. The eye of Horus shall be fetched for you. You shall put it on your arms, and it will part a path for you as the arm of paths parter. Plumes and the privileged will come to you in obeisance. So you shall board the boat, that papyrus baton. You shall take your in it by means of the baton and direct with your scepter. You shall strike those before you. O oh, Pepi, have you not become great? Have you not become important? You shall go to the great causeway and travel to the great town, and the horizons will not seize you, for Shu is completed in his limit. Horus, the town's ruler, has banded you with breast bands, and the firstborn's thing that comes from Heliopolis has been brought to you. Isis is the one who will suckle you, Nephthys the one who will give you her breast, the two ladies of Dep will let down their hair for you. Your two mothers, Nekeb, will come to you and transport their breast to your mouth. They will lift you up and bring you to the fore. Pepi, you are a great one, son of a great one. You shall become clean in the lake of tresses and receive your throne in the marsh of reeds. Pepi, she who guides Horus is she who guides you. You have gone away wearing a tail. You shall return clothed. Pepi has inherited. Sadness has ended and turned to laughter. I greet you, Pepi. Welcome in peace. Spells for leaving the Duat. Address to the spirit at Osiris. A spirit joins the sun. Greetings, Great One, son of a Great One, you to whom the Great House's platform runs, to whom the Flame House goes off, for whom the Looking Water's caverns are opened, to whom the sunlight's stretches are released. Greetings, Soul One, who constantly endures every day. Horus has come, Wide Strider has come, he who controls the Akhet and controls the gods has come. Greetings, Ba, in his redness, Soul one of whom his father said, experienced one of whom the gods said he would receive his place on the sky's brow, where your heart has become content. You shall best ride the sky according to your stride, and span the delta and Nile valley within your span. Shall not he who knows it, this spell of the sun, and does them, these magic spells of Horus of the Akhet, shall he not be familiar to the sun and be an acquaintance of Horus and the Akhet? I shall know it, this spell of the sun, and shall do them these magic spells of Horus of the Akhet. So I will be familiar to the sun, and I will be an acquaintance of Horus of the Akhet. Take my arm to the sky in the following of the sun. Supplying the spirit for the journey. The marshes shall become content. The irrigation basins shall flood for this Mariah on this day and he will be given his ach there, and he will be given his control there. Raise yourself, Mariah. You have received your water. Your joints have been collected for you. So, stand up on your legs. Ach at the fore of the ox. Raise yourself to this, your bread that does not molder, and your beer that does not sour, that you may become ba through them, that you may become sharp through them, that you may take control through them and give them to the one in your presence. O oh, Pepi, you have become Ak, and your survivor has become Ak. 
O Osiris Mariah, receive this, your clean water that comes from Elephantine. Your water is from Elephantine, your cleansing natron from Iru, your natron salt from the Oxyrinchite gnome, your incense from Boland. You shall sit on a metal chair with your front, that of a jackal, and your rear, that of a falcon, and serve yourself a haunch from Osiris's slaughterhouse and ribs from Seth's slaughterhouse. Your bread is God's bread, and that which is from the broad hall. You shall strike with the baton, direct with the scepter, and govern the gods. You shall take the arm of the imperishable stars, go up from great land, and descend into the big wadi. Stand up, raise yourself. O oh, Pepi, your water is the inundation. Your cool water is the great inundation that comes from you. Become still, everyone, and hear it. This speech that the Mariah says, that he will become Ak at the fore of the ox. Take control at the fore of the living and sit at the side of foremost of Westerners. Your two flat beer breads are from the broad hall, your two ribs from the god's slaughterhouse. O oh, Mariah, raise yourself and receive this, your warm bread that is given to you and this your warm beer that comes from your house. Those in tombs whose places are inaccessible have also raised themselves. Awake, raise yourself, put your arms on your meal. Sending the spirit from the duat. Raise yourself, my father. Your head has been tied on for you. Your limbs have been collected for you. Your feet will bear you and your heart will lead you. Your envoys have run, your heralds have hastened, and the good report of you has come to Horus of the Akhet. Anubis has come to meet you. The contented one has given you his arms. The gods will rejoice. Horus' followers will become aroused. An Ak has come in his Ak, says the dual Ennead, having crossed the lake and traversed the Duat. His foot cannot be crossed and he cannot be denounced before this controlling power who endures every day. He has come that he might rule the towns, lead the settlements, and govern those in new. So sit at that eastern side, with your sweating ended and your cooling pleasant. You shall follow the sun in his freshening. Come forth with him in the east, and set from life with him in the west, among the sun's followers who elevate the above for the dawn. At the gate of the Duat, you have come forth to the gateway, apparent as king, high as paths parters, and you shall associate with him who does not become weary. I have come upon you, apparent as king, high as paths parter, and I shall associate with him who does not become weary. You shall drink your water and eat your abundance. So descend to... Spells for proceeding to the Akhet, sending the spirit to the Akhet. Awake for Horus, stand up as Anubis on the shrine. Festival days will be made for you, and you will become clean for the new moon festival like him who stands and does not become weary. Your water as Horus on the cushion of the sky's standard, as a star that crosses the great green beneath Newt's belly. You go. And Horus goes, you speak, and Seth speaks, with the two gods and between the two controlling powers. You shall row and go around the sky with your finger on the tiller, like Zewen Chu, and the sky will call for you in her Izken, the Nine's jackal edge. The paths of the sky's arcs have been swept for you, and a path laid down for you, away from the Duat, and toward the place where Orion is. The vine will recognize you, and the sitter will turn his head to you, as an offering that Anubis has made exist for you. I have come to you. I am your son. I have come to you, Pepi. I am Horus. I will make your staff be at the fore of the ox, and your water lily bud scepter at the fore of the imperishable stars. I will find you and tie on your face as that of a jackal, and your rear as that of Kebehut. 
she shall cool and assign for you your heart in your body, in your father Anubis' house. Become clean. Sit at the fore of those older than you. So, sit on your metal chair, on foremost of Westerners' throne. Your millers, they are the ones who will pluck grain for you. The moorer shall call out to you as Isis. The ululator will ululate for you as Nephthys. You shall stand at the fore of the dual flagpole shrines as Min. You shall stand at the fore of those of Blackland as the Apis. You shall stand at the fore of Spread Lake as Sokar. You shall stand at the great causeway with your baton and your rope, your fingernails on your fingers, the points on the shoulders of Thoth, the knife bearer who came from Seth. You shall strike with your arm to the dead and to the ox who will take your arm to foremost of Westerners. O oh, Pepi, elder when awake and great when asleep, become sweet, sweet one. Raise yourself, Pepi. You have not died. The sky's door has been opened to you. The cool water's door that bars the subjects has been pulled open to you. The mooring post will care for you. The populace will call out to you. The imperishable stars will wait for you. Your air is incense. Your north wind, smoke. You are the crown wearer in great land. You are the sole star that comes forth in the east of the sky, who does not give his body to Horus of the Duat. O oh, you who are high among the stars and the imperishable stars, you will not perish forever. Spells for Entering the Akhet Addressed to the spirit as it leaves the burial chamber, requesting entrance to the Akhet. You Akhet gods who are in the limit of the above, do you desire that Atum live, and that you be anointed with ointment, put on clothing, and receive your wafers? You should receive the arm of this Pepi, and put him in the marsh of offering. When you have made him, become Ak among the Ox, and in control of the gods, he will make you a great repast, and a big feast. He will course the sky. Pepi will lead those in the settlements. Pepi will acquire the crown there, like Horus a tomb's son. Oh, Pepi, you are the big star that is Orion's companion, who travels the sky with Orion, and rows the Duat with Osiris. You shall emerge in the eastern side of the sky, renewed at your proper season, and rejuvenated in your time, Newt having given you birth with Orion, the year having put your headband on you with Osiris. Arms will wave for you, drumming feet will go down for you, you will be given a repast, and the great mooring post will scream for you, as for Osiris and his activity. O oh, Pepi, row and reach the sky, but beware of the great lake. Hey, son, now that which you said, son, oh, for a son, so you said, son, Ba, in control, esteemed with active arms and wide stride. Here is Pepi, son. Pepi is your son. Pepi is Ba. Pepi is esteemed. Pepi is in control. Pepi's arms are active. This Pepi's stride is wide. This Pepi will shine in the east like the sun and proceed into the west like the beetle. This Pepi will live on what Horus, Lord of the Sky, lives on, by command of Horus, Lord of the Sky. This Pepi is clean, son. This Pepi will lower himself onto his seat. This Pepi will receive his oar. This Pepi will row the sun in the sky's span, a star of gold on whom the sunlight's bull has put the headband, a spear of gold to the sky's span. A flyer has flown. Pepi has flown away from you, people. He is not off to the earth. Pepi is off to the sky. You, his local god, the ka of this Pepi is at your fingers. This Pepi has clouded the sky as a heron. This Pepi will kiss the sky as a falcon. This Pepi has run the sky as Horus of the Akhet. You whom the sun has rejected, this Pepi will not revile the king. He will not help Bastet. This Pepi does not make uproar in the sedan chair. 
Is there a son of the son whose place he makes? He will make this Pepe's place. Is there a son of the son who will be sound? This Pepe will be sound. Who will hunger? This Pepe will hunger. Receiving the Spirit as King As the Great One spends the day with his Ka and goes to bed with his Ka, so this Pepe will spend the day with his Ka and go to bed with his Ka. As this one awakes, so this Pepe will awake. The gods will awake and the controlling powers will rouse. O oh, Pepe, raise yourself, stand up. The big Ennead in Heliopolis has allotted you to your great seat. You shall sit, Pepe, at the fore of the Ennead as Geb, the god's elite one, as Osiris at the fore of the controlling powers, as Horus, lord of the god's elite. O oh, Pepe, whose form is concealed as Anubis, you have received your face of a jackal, and the shrine at the fore of the dual shrines awaits you as Anubis at the fore of the god's booth, that you may content Horus's followers. Horus shall tend you, Pepe. Horus shall content you, Pepe, with the offering he has, and your heart will become content through it, Pepe, at the first of the month and the middle of the month. The ululator will ululate for you, as Anubis at the fore of the god's shrine. Isis will scream for you, Nephthys will call out to you, as Horus, who tends his father, saying, The son has tended the father, Horus has tended this Pepe. Osiris shall live, the Ak in Nadit shall live, and this Pepe shall live. O oh, Pepe, your name shall live at the fore of the living. You shall become Ak, Pepe, at the fore of the Ox, and take control at the fore of the controlling powers. O oh, Pepe, Horus's sound eye, this white crown, the begetter from Nekeb, is your ferocity, and she will give your ferocity, Pepe, into all the gods' eyes into the eyes of the ox, the imperishable stars, and those whose places are inaccessible, into the eyes of everything that sees you and hears your name as well. O oh, Pepe, provide yourself with Horus's eye, the red crown, great of Baz and multiple of existences, and she will tend you, Pepe, as she tends Horus, and will put your Baz, Pepe, at the fore of the dual Ennead as the two begetters on your forehead. They will raise you, Pepe, and lead you to your mother, Newt, and she will take your arm. You shall not groan, you shall not moan, you shall not whimper, for Horus has made you become Ak at the fore of the Ox, and take control at the fore of the living. How perfect is what Horus has done for this Pepe, for this Ak to whom the god gave birth, to whom the two gods gave birth. O oh, Pepe, you shall become Ba as the Ba's of Heliopolis. You shall become Ba as the Ba's of Neken. You shall become Ba as the Ba's of Pe. You shall become Ba as the living star of the four of his brothers. O oh, Pepe, I am Toth, a king given offering, your bread, your beer, and these your two loaves of bread that have come from Horus in the broad hall have been given to you. He will content your heart with them, Pepe, for the course of eternity. This Pepe shall become clean. Pepe shall receive his oar and occupy his seat. This Pepe shall sit in the nose of the dual Ennead's boat. Pepe shall row the sun to the west, and he will establish this Pepe's seat at the head of the owners of Kaz, and inscribe this Pepe at the head of the living. The leopard Ka door in the cool waters shall be opened to this Pepe. The metal door in the starry sky shall be pulled open to this Pepe, and this Pepe will proceed from them with his leopard skin on me, on the staff of this Pepe in his hand. This Pepe has become sound with his flesh. It is good for this Pepe with his name, and this Pepe will live with his Ka. He will expel the bad that is before Pepe, and drive away the bad that is behind Pepe likewise by means of foremost of Letopolis's throw sticks, which drive away the bad that is before him and expel the bad that is behind him. I, Pepe, will see what the enduring do, because of how very perfect their form is. 
and when it is good for Pepi with them, it will be good for them. I am an enduring one, the close companion of an enduring one. This Pepi will truly endure, and this Pepi will not suffer forever. Boarding the Sun Boat The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun, that he might cross on them to the Aket, to where Horus of the Aket is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus of the Aket, that he might cross on them to the Aket, to where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Pepi himself, that he might cross on them to the Aket, to where the sun and Horus of the Aket are. The nurse lake has been opened up, the winding canal has become inundated, the marshes of reeds have filled, so that Pepi might be truly ferried to that eastern side of the sky, to the place where the gods are born, and Pepi will be born there in his birth with them as Horus, as him of the Aket. This Pepi is justified. Let there be ululation for this Pepi, and ululation for the Ka of this Pepi. They will call to this Pepi and fetch themselves to this Pepi. Those four bypassers with braids who stand at their staves in the east of the sky, and they will tell the nickname of Pepi to the sun and bear the nickname of Pepi to Cass Assinger. This Pepi is justified. Let there be ululation for this Pepi and ululation for the Ka of this Pepi. So this is Pepi's sister. The morning god is this Pepi's sibling. And Pepi is the one at the underside of the sky's belly with the sun. This Pepi is justified. Let there be ululation for this Pepi, and ululation for the Ka of this Pepi. This Pepi knows his mother. This Pepi is not ignorant of his mother. The dazzling white crown, thick one in the midst of Nekeb, lady of the great house, lady of the grassland, lady of the inaccessible land, lady of the fisherman's marsh, lady of the contented one's wadi, and the gory one, the Red Crown, Lady of the Shores of Dep. Mother of this Pepi, I say, give your breast to this Pepi that this Pepi may suck from it. My son Pepi, she says, accept my breast and suck it, she says, that you may live, she says. Though you are small, she says, you shall go forth to the sky as falcons do, your plumage that of birds, she says. Hidage, hidage. Fetch that ferry boat for this Pepi, the great wild bull, bull of contentment, bend down your horn. Let this Pepi pass, says this Pepi. Where will he go, says the ferryman. This Pepi will go to the sky, that this Pepi may see his father, that this Pepi may see the sun, I say. And to the high mounds and the seth mounds, and the seth mounds will give him to the high mounds, and to yonder high sycamore in the east of the sky the bustling one atop which the gods sit. For Pepi is the living one, Horus, who opens up the cool waters. For Pepi is the great oar that rows the sky's two terraces. For Pepi is big of foot and wide of stride. This Pepi will become clean in the marsh of reeds. This Pepi will get dressed in the marsh of the beetle. And Pepi will find the sun there. When the sun emerges in the east, he will find Pepi in the Aket. When the sun comes back to the west, he will find Pepi there. Both ultimate places where the sun goes, he will find this Pepi there. Pepi is the god's existence, the god's messenger. Pepi has come that he might clean Pepi in the marsh of reeds, and this Pepi will go down to the marsh of Kenzet. Horus's followers, Anubis's throw stick and bow, shall clean this Pepi. They shall cleanse this Pepi and elevate this Pepi. They shall make for this Pepi the spell of guidance, and make for this Pepi the spell of emergence. And this Pepi will go up to the sky, and this Pepi will go down into that boat of the sun. This Pepi is the one who will direct for him those gods who row him. Every god shall be aroused at his meeting this Pepi, as they are aroused at meeting the sun when he emerges in the east of the sky, saying, in peace, oh, in peace. Tremble, sky, shake, earth, before this Pepi. Pepi is magic, Pepi is one who has magic. 
This Pepi has come, that this Pepi might akify Orion, that this Pepi might bring Osiris to the fore, that this Pepi might put the gods on their seats. Seize behind him, the god's bull, get that ferry boat for this Pepi. Put this Pepi on the other side. The sky's two reed floats have been set by the day boat for the sun, that the sun might cross on them to where Horus of the Akhet is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set by the night boat for the Horus of the Akhet, that Horus of the Akhet might cross on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats shall be set for Pepi by the day boat, that this Pepi might go forth on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats will be set for him by the night boat, that this Pepi might go forth on them to where the Horus of the Akhet is. This Pepi shall emerge on the eastern side of the sky where the gods are born, and this Pepi shall be born as Horus, as him of the Akhet, for this Pepi is justified, and the Ka of Pepi is justified. So Thys is Pepi's sister, the morning god is Pepi's sibling. This Pepi has found the ox with their mouth equipped with spells, who sit on the lips of Stork Lake, and drinking place of every ox with his mouth equipped. Pepi is an ox with his mouth equipped. Pepi has come to this place more special than any place because the sky's two reed floats have been set by the day boat for the sun, that the sun might cross on them to where Horus of the Akhet is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set by the night boat for Horus of the Akhet, that Horus of the Akhet might cross on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. Newt's two reed floats shall be set for this Pepi by the day boat, that this Pepi might go forth on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. This Pepi shall emerge on the eastern side of the sky, where the gods are born, for this Pepi has been born as Horus, as him of the Akhet. This Pepi is justified, and the Ka of this Pepi is justified. Let there be ululation for this Pepi, and ululation for the Ka of this Pepi. So Thys is Pepi's sister, and the morning god is Pepi's sibling. This Pepi will come with you. This Pepi will sail around with you in the marsh of reeds, and more, like you more, in the marsh of turquoise. This Pepi will eat of what you eat of. This Pepi will live on what you live on. This Pepi will be clothed in what you are clothed in. This Pepi will be anointed with what you are anointed with and Pepi will receive water with you in the nurse canal of this Pepi, the drinking place of every ox with his mouth equipped. This Pepi will sit at the floor of the great shrine, and Pepi will govern every ox with his mouth equipped. This Pepi will sit on the lips of Stork Lake, and this Pepi will govern every ox with his mouth equipped. Securing the Spirit's Ascent How beautiful to look, says Isis. How satisfying to gaze, says Nephthys, at his father, at this Osiris Pepi as he goes forth to the sky among the stars, among the imperishable stars, Pepi's wrath atop him, his ferocity at his sides, his magic at his feet. This Pepi shall go thereby to his mother Newt, and Pepi shall ascend on her, in her identity of the latter. I shall get for you the gods who belongs to the sky, says Isis and they will join for you the gods who belong to the earth, that you might exist with them and go on their arms. I shall get for you the Baas of Pei, says Nephthys, and the Baas of Neken will be joined together for you. Everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued for it with a tomb, for it is what was done for him, and the marshes of reeds, the Horus Mounds, and the Seth Mounds. Everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued for it with a tomb, for it is what was done for him. He has come against you and said that he would kill you, but he will not kill you. This Pepi is the one who will kill his opponent, and this Pepi will establish himself against him as the most established of wild bulls. Pepi, be permanent in life and authority. Pepi, you shall be permanent, permanent in life and authority. Invoking the Ferryman and Doorkeeper You, Ferryman, get that ferryboat for Horus. Get his eye. Get that for Seth. 
get his testicles. Horus's eye has jumped up and made landfall in the eastern side of the sky. This Pepi will jump up with it, and this Pepi will proceed in the eastern side of the sky. He will go and escort the sun in the place of the gods who have gone to their cause, who live in Horus's mounds, who live in Seth's mounds. Look, this Pepi has come. Look, this Pepi has come forth. This Pepi has run the sky's height, and this Pepi cannot be barred from the beaten path of stars by the great ones of the White Palace. The dayboat shall call for this Pepi. Pepi is the one who bails it. The sun shall place this Pepi as lord of life and authority forever. When the sky becomes clean for the sun, and the earth becomes clean for Horus, every god who is between them will cleanse this Pepi, that this Pepi may worship the god. You, this Pepi's pathfinder at the great portal, bear witness of this Pepi to those two elder and great gods. For Pepi is Waneg, the sun's son, who associates with the sky and leads the earth and the gods. This Pepi will sit among you, stars of the Duat, and you shall associate with this Pepi like the sun, lead this Pepi like paths parter, and love Pepi like Min. Scribe, scribe, Destroy your palate, break your two pens, and rip up your scrolls. Son, remove him from his palace. Put Pepi in his place, for this Pepi is clear of guilt and carrying a forked staff. Son, it is Pepi. Invoking Osiris. The sky has become disheveled, the earth has trembled. Horus has come, Thoth has appeared that they might raise Osiris off his side and make him stand up in the dual Ennead. Remember, Seth, and put in your heart this speech that Geb has said, this curse that the gods have made against you in the official's enclosure in Heliopolis, because you threw Osiris to the earth. When you said, Seth, it was not against him that I did this, so that you might take control thereby, when your control was taken away for Horus. When you said, Seth, in fact, he has been attacking me, and his identity of Earth Attacker came into being. When you said Seth, in fact, he has been kicking me, and his identity of Orion came into being wide of foot, spread of stride, and foremost of the Nile Valley land. Raise yourself, Osiris, for Seth has raised himself, having heard the curse of the gods, who spoke on behalf of the gods' father. Give your arm to Isis, Osiris, and your hand to Nephthys, and you will go between them. You have been given the sky, you have been given the earth, the marsh of reeds, the Horus mounds, and the Seth mounds. You have been given the towns, and the countryside has been joined together for you, by a tomb. Geb is the one who argued for it. Thoth's blade has been sharpened, and the knife that removes heads and cuts out hearts has been honed and it will remove the heads and cut out the hearts of those who will cross this Pepi when he goes to you, Osiris, and of those who will bar this Pepi when he goes to you, Osiris. This Pepi has come to you, Lord of the Sky. This Pepi has come to you, Osiris. This Pepi will wipe your face and clothe you with a god's clothing, having become clean for you in Jadit. So this, your daughter, whom you have desired, who makes your fresh vegetables and her identity of the year, is the one who led this Pepi when this Pepi came to you. This Pepi has come to you, Lord of the Sky. This Pepi has come to you, Osiris. This Pepi will wipe your face, and this Pepi will clothe you with a god's clothing, for this Pepi has become clean for you in Iadi. He will annihilate a limb from your opponent. When he butchers it for Osiris, he will put him at the four of the butchers. This Pepi has come to you, Lord of the Sky. This Pepi has come to you, Osiris. This Pepi will wipe your face, and this Pepi will clothe you with a god's clothing. This Pepi will do for you that which Geb has commanded, he do for you. This Pepi will establish your arm upon life. This Pepi will lift your arm with authority. This Pepi has come to you, Lord of the Sky. Pepi has come to you, Osiris. This Pepi will wipe your face, and this Pepi will clothe you with a god's clothing, for this Pepi is clean for you. So says Horus, your son, 
to whom you gave birth. He will not put this Pepi at the head of the dead, but will put him among the gods who have become divine. Their water is the water of this Pepi. Their bread is the bread of this Pepi. Their cleansing is this Pepi's cleansing. What Horus has done for Osiris, he will do for this Pepi likewise. Ascending by fairy and ladder. Offering and libation. You, Father Osiris Pepi, raise yourself from off your left side. Put yourself on your right side towards this fresh water I have given you. You, Father Osiris Pepi, raise yourself from off your left side. Put yourself on your right side toward this warm bread I have made for you. You, Father Osiris Pepi, the sky's door has been opened to you. The door of the sky's arcs has been pulled open to you. The gods of Pei are distraught, coming to Osiris at the sound of Isis's and Nephthys's screaming. The Ba's of Pei will drum for you, hitting their flesh for you, striking their arms for you, shaking for you with their braids, and saying to Osiris, Though you have gone away, you have returned. You have awoken. Though you have gone to sleep, established in life. Stand up and see this, stand up and hear this, which your son has done for you, which Horus has done for you. Hitting for you the one who hit you, binding for you the one who bound you, and putting him under your eldest daughter in Kadem, your eldest sister who collected your flesh and folded your hands, who sought you and found on your side on Nadit's shore, so that mourning over the dual shrines might end. Gods, the one who speaks against him, fetch him to you. So, Osiris, you shall go to the sky and become Path's parter, and your son Horus will lead you in the sky's paths. You have been given the sky, you have been given the earth, and the marsh of reeds together with those two great gods who come from Heliopolis. The libation has been libated, that Path's parter might go on high. Those who sleep by night have awoken, and those who are active by day have roused. Horus has awoken. Raise yourself, Osiris Pepi, Geb's first son, at whom the elder Ennead shakes. You shall be clean for the monthly festival and appear for the new moon festival, and festival days shall be made for you. The great mooring post will call out to you like him who stands and does not become weary in the midst of Abydos. Hear this which Geb has said, that he will occupy Osiris as a god, that the watchers of Pei shall install him, and the watchers of Neken give him his insignia. As Sokar at the four of Spread Lake, Horus, Ha, and Hemen. The earth speaks. The Duat's doorway has been opened. Geb's door has been pulled open before you. A speech about you has come before Anubis, and your privilege has come from the mouth of Anubis. Your privilege of Horus thighs forward, the one of the hobbles, lord of Rebellion Town, and the Nile Valley's jackal, administrator of the Elder Ennead. You shall go away to the sky on your metal chair and cross the winding canal, your face in the north of Newt. The sun will call for you from the skies Izken, and you shall ascend to the god. Horus will fraternize with you, the scent of Deadwin. The Nile Valley's lad will be on you, giving you his clean incense that he senses for the gods, as the sibling of the hereditary king's two daughters, the red ones in his two boats, the great ladies atop the lord. You shall be inundated in the green marshes in which Geb's offspring has been inundated, your disassembled parts having been raised, controlling power of the sky's arcs. An Anubis given offering the tree shall follow you, and the sitter bow its head to you as you go around the sky like Zewenchu, commending the spirit to the gods. Pepi is the great one who has come forth to the sky, the beetle who has come forth to the cool waters. Pepi is the gold kilt on, says Newt. This one is proceeding in peace, she says. My son Pepi has come in peace, says Newt no leather whip being able to fall on his back, no bad thing falling on his arms, nor shall I let him fall, nor shall I let him slip. 
This Papi is the hill of land in the midst of the great green, whose arm those who belong to the earth do not take. Those who belong to the earth will not take the arm of this Papi when those two belong to the sky have taken his arm. And those who belong to the sky are the ones who will take his arm, not the earth or those who belong to the earth. Shu is in the earth's limit under his feet, and this Papi is on his arms. That is what he has done for his sister Newt when he parted her from her brother Geb, and that is what he has done for him, parting this Papi from his brother down here and joining him with his brother up there. His identity lives because of Natron, and he is one who is divine. This Papi too will live on that which he lives, on the great bread around the god. Papi is one who contravenes the command. Papi is one who contravenes the command that pertains to your feet, gods. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open before the gods who will take this Papi to the sky, alive and stable. Any god who will take this Papi to the sky, alive and stable, he is the one who will become esteemed. He is the one who will become Ba. He is the one who will smell a wafer. He is the one who will go up to Horus's enclosure that belongs to the sky. Any god who will take this Pepe to the sky, alive and stable, bulls will be slaughtered for him, four legs will be selected for him, and he will go up to Horus's enclosure that belongs to the sky. Any god who will not take him to the sky, he will not become esteemed, he will not become Ba, he will not smell a wafer, and he will not go up to Horus's enclosure that belongs to the sky on the day of hearing the case, when the case between Horus and Seth and the sun is heard in the place, in the sun's place. Horus, let this Pepi proceed with you. Horus, don't maroon him when he comes to the sun on his arms. This Pepi has come to you, sun, a calf of gold to whom the sky gave birth, an undeveloped one of gold whom Hizat created. Horus, take this Pepi with you, alive and stable. Horus, don't maroon this Pepi. Pepi has come to you, father. Pepi has come to you, Geb. May you give your arm to this Pepi, that this Pepi may go up to the sky to his mother Newt. Pepi is that one who came in search of your son Osiris and found him placed on his side. The dual Ennead was the one who argued for Seth against him, but his father Geb said the millions of magic spells to them, and the dual Ennead put the savior before him, for the dual Ennead could not find his next in line. Geb has come with his wrath atop him and his yellow aura at his face, tramping the mountain range and scouring the desert hills in search of Osiris, and found him placed on his side in gazelle land. Osiris, stand up for your father Geb, that he may save you from Seth. I am the one who put Seth on his side, bound his feet and bound his arms, and put him on his side in lion land. Horus, take him with you to the sky. I am that one who will save your father who will save Osiris from his brother Seth. I am that one who bound his feet and bound his arms and put him on his side in lion land. Horus, on the cushion of the sky standard, give your arm toward this Pepi, that this Pepi may go up to the sky. Newt, give your arm toward Pepi with life and authority. Join together his bones, assemble his limbs. Join his bones to his head and join his head to his bones. And he will not decay, he will not rot. He will not be ended. He will have no outflow and no scent of his will come out. Every god will escort your son in him, and Pepi will fly, feathered as a god, will go up and thus ascend to the sky as the big star in the midst of the east. Greetings, waters that Shu fetched, and he of the trickle bore, in whom Geb cleaned his limbs when minds were pervaded with fear and hearts were pervaded with ferocity. Pepi was born and knew when the sky had not yet come into being, when the earth had not yet come into being, when the establishment of the world had not yet come into being, when the disturbance had not yet come into being, when the fear that came into being because of Horus's eye had not yet come into being. Pepi is the unique one of that great body that was born before in Heliopolis, who are not arrested for the king or taken to officials for judgment who are not accused, who are not found guilty. That is true of Pepi. He cannot be accused. 
He will not be arrested for the king, he will not be taken to officials, and the opponents of Pepe will not be justified. This Pepe will not be indigent, his fingernails will not grow long, no bone in him can be broken. When this Pepe goes down into water, Osiris will bear him up, the dual Ennead will shoulder him, and the sun will give his arms for this Pepe toward the place in which the god is. When he goes down, Geb will bear him up. The dual Ennead will shoulder this Pepe, and he will give his arm toward the place in which the god is. Sending the Spirit to the Akhet You, Father Osiris, Pepe, be Ak in the Akhet and stable in the mound of Jedet, and govern at the force of the living forever. Stand up from off your left side, put yourself on your right side, receive this your bread that I have given to you. It is Horus who speaks, he whom this Pepi desired, Horus, the son who tends his father, Osiris. Spells for passing through the Akhet. Sending the spirit to the Akhet. O oh, Pepi, you will be given passage by Horus. You will wear the headband as the sole star in Newt's midst. Your wings will grow as those of a big-breasted falcon, as a falcon seen in the evening. Travel the sky and course the cool waters in the goings of the sun, Horus of the Akhet. Newt will give her arms toward you, and that you may, in her, new and rejuvenated. Sailing in the Akhet The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, to where Horus of the Akhet is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Pepi, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, to where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus of the Akhet, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, to where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Pepi, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, to where Horus of the Akhet is. His local god, that he might not be found guilty, they shall commend this Pepi to the official. This Pepi will fully proceed. Horus. Let there be ululation for this Pepi. Thoth is Pepi's brother. Long Wings is Pepi's sibling. They shall commend this Pepi to those four barbers of theirs. When this Pepi emerges, Eastern Horus shall emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Horus of Shesmet shall emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Northern Horus shall emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Horus of Shat shall emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. This Pepi has emerged and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Eastern Horus emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Horus of Shesmet emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Northern Horus Emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Horus of Shat, emerge and become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for Eastern Horus, so that he goes forth to the sky and his arms are received by the sun. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of Shazmet, so that he goes forth to the sky and his arms are received by the sun. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for northern Horus, so that he goes forth to the sky, and his arms are received by the sun. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of Shat, so that he goes forth to the sky, and his arms are received by the sun. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for this Pepi, so that he goes forth to the sky, and his arms are received by the sun. This Pepi stand. The belly of his mother Newt will be made ready for him with the milk of the two black cows, the nurses of the Baas of Heliopolis, 
Ugu's snatch, saying, Your arm to the undersky, for I have taken you. Father of this Pepi, Shu, give your arm. Who are there, give your arm to Pepi, that this Pepi might sit at the sun's shoulder, in that of the Aket before the sky. Mourn for this Pepi, shake a water lily bud intact. The lands shall speak great praise, say the gods. O young men, with head tied on, says Geb. This Pepi has arrayed himself with a tail and gotten dressed in the gods' five-weave linen, from a tomb's two shrines, the clean one from a tomb's enclosures. This Pepi will reach the people. Geb, with the head and the firstborn's thing tied on, the door of the night boat shall be opened to this Pepi. Of the east shall break for this Pepi the two door bolts of the door of Neken. For he is gone, arrayed as a god, and the imperishable stars will come in obeisance, that he might lead him inside in the enclosures of the established one. Doth's speech has been put. This Pepi will open the sky's door, and the gods the Aket's dual shrines to this Pepi. This Pepi will see, the Aket shall, the above shall awaken to the one inside, at the sound of the god's birth, and he will sit with the stars in that boat of him who destroys a tomb. A tomb beetle, the sky, let the starry sky be opened for this Ak, to you the arm of this Ak, the arm of Pepi. You as lord of the sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, for, at daybreak, that he might go forth and become clean in the marsh of reeds at daybreak. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, for, at daybreak, that he might go forth and become clean in the marsh of reeds at daybreak. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, for, at daybreak, that he might go forth and become clean in the marsh of reeds at daybreak. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for this Pepi at daybreak, that he might go forth and become clean in the marsh of reeds at daybreak. In his identity of the sun, this Pepi will suck on the milk of the two black cows, the nurses, has Pepi, new with you, becoming a star of the sky, who crosses, of whom Newt gave birth, his mother, the poured unguent, is his mother, and she will lead Pepi. The white-fronted goose is the one who, sailing in the sun's boats, the sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, for in the marsh of reeds, the sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, for in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, for this Pepi, in the marsh of reeds. His god's shirt on him, the mace of this Pepi in his hand, in the shrine, him to the god's canal, that he may become clean in it. Say to those gods, the king has come, that of a god with him. This Pepi shall go up and go down, and this Pepi shall, the sky having put himself upon. Says the cleaner of the sun too, your God has come, let him come, let him enter those, the cleared place of Horus, that their boundary stones might end. This Pepi will govern the gods and content the ox. The gods will come to this Pepi in obeisance to the force of Geb's son, having cut up there and broken their bows. This Pepi, the sky with her of a thousand bas, and with the pillars, her shores. This Pepi is the high inundation, sun of. This Pepi is the flash flood that comes from the high mountain. His cake of bread shall be laid down, shall be laid down as his cake of bread. Ascending by ladder, when this Pepi goes up, Horus of the Duat will go up to the sky on the ladder. When this Pepi goes up, Horus of Shezmet will go up to the sky on the ladder. When this Pepi goes up, Horus will go up to the sky on the ladder. 
When this Pepe goes up, Horus of will go up to the sky on the ladder. Horus has made his foot and arm serve this Pepe. Horus has made the join together for this Pepe and take him with them as one of them, one of the sun's followers, as a god before this Pepe. This Pepe is a clean one of Horus, justified in what he did, as one justified in the official's enclosure in Heliopolis. This Pepe has come. This Pepe has come, surrounding the gods. This Pepe has come with the natron salt of Horus that was made for him by the dual Ennead, his arm to Pepe, Horus from Seth, Horus. Address to the spirit as the moon. O oh, Osiris Pepe, you have become clean in the cleaning that Horus made for his eye. You are Thoth, who saved it. You are not Seth, who took it. Go off. The gods shall become aroused. The dual Ennead shall become happy, as you too. You shall wear the white crown, Horus's eye, through which one becomes strong. Your face is that of a jackal, your arms those of a falcon, the tips of your wings those of Thoth. Geb shall fly you to the sky. You have passed by. Pepi, too. You are Thoth, the god's forceful one. A tomb shall call you to the sky. Imperishable stars live when it turns to the sun. The dual Ennead's bull shall hear and open up your path. He shall take Horus's eye for you, and you will bear what has come from his head. He shall let you see with his two complete eyes. The scent of this Pepe is the god's scent, for the scent of Horus's eye is on his flesh. This Pepe has come to the fore with it, and this Pepe has sat down on your great seat, gods. This Pepe has come to the fore of a tomb's shoulder between the two controlling powers. This Pepe sought it in pay, and found it in Heliopolis. Becoming Justified The left arm of has been raised, this Pepe, what he has done for him in your, with Pepe, denounce it too. Look, they have come, look, they have come as to that offering slab of. This Pepe shall build, to this Pepe. Commend this Pepe, the sky. When he goes up, you should commend this Pepe. You should commend this Pepe to the one in his. When he goes up to move about in, the god pertaining to. Look, they have come. Look, they have come as, to Pepe all life and authority, atop those gods of the Akhet. Pepe will come to be with. The sky's two reed floats have been set for, that he might cross on them to the Akhet among the gods of the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun, that he might cross on them to the Akhet among the gods of the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Pepe, that he might cross on them to the Akhet among the gods of the Akhet. This Pepe is of his local god. Let this Pepe not be found guilty. The winding canal has flooded, the marsh of reeds has filled with water, and this Pepe will descend to the Akhet among the gods of the Akhet. Horus, let there be ululation for Pepe. The sky has been bled, and so Thys lives, then Pepe shall ascend. Meskinet, great Newt has uncovered her arms for Pepe. The dayboat has been rowed for Pepe, those at the fore of the bars of Heliopolis. There is no case concerning this Pepe for the sky with the god. This Pepe will not be found guilty. The nails on his fingers are as Geb, he shall give judgment. Pepe is one who flies, the night boat, you who elevate her by night and by day. Rowing the sun in the dayboat, make a path for Pepe. Pepe is the soul in the midst of the sky. Pepe is the child whose nature is hidden from the imperishable stars. Horus, the god with parted hair. This Pepe has parted the two locks of hair and joined together the two parts of hair. And they jumped up and made landfall. This Pepe. This Pepe shall establish your ornament on the sun's brow. O great disc, who is at the fore of the Akhet, who is at the fore of the Marsh of Offerings, who is in, Pepe is at whom the Enneads shake because of his voice. 
appears the one on the great seat, those of the gods, sedan chair. Let praise be given before Pepi within the path to this Pepi, this Pepi in at the fore of the shrine for great Newt equipped, this Pepi, Seth's followers, and Newt shall put this Pepi on the path, this Pepi, the populace, shall open his shoulder to this Pepi and lead him. That council shall sit down for this Pepi, and shall stand up for this Pepi. Pepi is one who lives on extracted lungs, and eats the enclosure of the red, your obstruction. Joining the gods. Someone has gone up. This Pepi has gone up. The Lady of Dep has become aroused. The heart of her in the midst of Nekeb has become carefree on the day Pepi has gone up in the sun's place. Pepi has laid down for himself that sunlight as a footpath under his feet, that he might go up on it to where his mother is, that living Uraeus atop the sun. Her heart is sick for him, and she will give her breast to this Pepi, that this Pepi might suck it. My son, she says, accept this my breast and suck it. She says, since you have not come to the full number of your days as a child. The sky has spoken. The earth has shaken. The gods of Heliopolis have quivered at the sound of the offering presented before Pepi. His mother, Bastet, has taken him. She in the midst of Nekeb has nurtured him, and she in the midst of Dep will give her arms toward him. Look, this Pepi has come. Look, he has come. Look, this Pepi has come forth to life and authority. He will make his purification with fig wine and wine from the god's vine, and his personal knife sharpener will make him a meal from them. When he goes, he will capture. His sweat is Horus's sweat. This Pepi's scent is Horus's scent. To the sky, to the sky amongst the emergent gods, Pepi is off to the sky amongst the emergent gods. This is my brother. This is the one at my side, says Geb as he takes this Pepi by his arm and leads this Pepi from the sky's gates. The god is in his place, he says. Beautiful is the god in his place, for he has been cleansed by Satis with her four washing jars and elephantine. Oh, where have you come to, my son, he says. His father, this Pepi, has come to the Ennead that belongs to the sky, that he might content it with its bread loaf. Oh, where have you come to, my son? His father, this Pepi, has come to the Ennead that belongs to the earth, that this Pepi might content it with its bread loaf. Oh, where have you come to, my son? His father, this Pepi, has come to the wrathful one of the Jenderu bark. Oh, where have you come to, my son? His father, he has come to those two mothers of his, the vultures with their long hair and pendant breasts who are atop Stork Mountain. They will transport their breasts to the mouth of this Pepi and not wean him forever. There is the sound of jubilation. His canal, fight, will not become weary for Pepi. Sure, Pepi will beach at the sky. Haul your rope. Gods, Stand up, people. This Pepi has traveled like that which you do for Ma'at, who is atop you. His lord has decided, has become clean. The Morning Ritual Anointing Ointment of Horus Ointment Ointment of Osiris Ointment of my father, ointment of this Pepi. Take to his arm and to his head that he may be anointed with it, without becoming weary forever. Which Horus has, the heart therein, the gods. She shall go back, for she loves everything on which the sun lives. Your life and blessing are perfect in soundness. Appear first, you with heart extended with happiness. My father becomes sound. Defend those therein as one whose character is hidden, and you will be defended to perfection. Become calm, Anubis, with the bread. Induct the power of the bread so that he is perfect, sweet of tooth and pleasant of love. 
the sound owner with heart made pleasant, he is one in your knowledge, as Ka at rest. Offerings in secret, everything that your body, you in the marsh of, who lives on his offering, the land, anointing, and great happiness, Horus. Clothing. O oh, Pepi, come, get dressed. Horus's eye from Ta'it town is with you, and it will content your heart. Neferzahor, the two lords, the two offerings, the heart of this Pepi, with them. Eye paint. Greetings, green eye paint that endows Ha's eye. I will put you on my father's eyes, that he might see the gods. Fresh is the green eye paint of Ha, with which he painted his father. Fresh is the green eye paint of my father, with which he painted his father Osiris, taking his arm, the people, that he might become great thereby in the midst of the gods without stopping for the course of eternity. Anointing and Sensing Ointment Ointment, where should you be? You on Horus's forehead, where should you be? You were on Horus's forehead, but I will put you on this Pepi's forehead. You shall occupy him, wearing you. You shall give him life, wearing you. You shall make it pleasant for him, wearing you, and he shall have control of his body. You shall put his ferocity in the eyes of all the gods, in the eyes of all the ox, and in the eyes of all the people who shall look at him or hear his name as well. The eye has been filled. Horus has filled his eye with oil. O oh, Pepi, I shall fill the water of your eye. O oh, Neferzahor, sense to your face. Bells for the Spirit's Rebirth Taking Control of Nourishment Do you want to be imprisoned, Horus, atop Manu? If not, open your tailed kilt. Put Mariah atop those who pertain to food, fig wine, drinks, wine, hauled in for his belly and for his offering table of cattle and fowl. His ka is fetching it. His ka has come. Mariah is a bull herd to whom belongs four meals and seven meals, for four are for the sky and three are for the earth, for three are for the earth and four are for the sky. You too who give birth to the night, come give birth to this Pepi. You too who conceive the day, extend yourselves and give birth to him who is in his egg. When you have given him birth and have reared him, my heart will be extended with joy at the four of the Duat. The heart of the gods will be extended over him when they see him rejuvenated. For the sixth day meal is for the breakfast of Pepi and the festival meal is for the supper for this Pepi, and nursing cows shall be slaughtered for Pepi so that he may be supplied. What is wanted to be given is that Pepi give, for he is the bull of Heliopolis. When Pepi died, his ka gained control of him, for a tomb put him in his mouth. One who is greeted with life forever, without being ended, whom a tomb will commend to, who, the gods, whom downcast will commend to those two elder and great gods. When they go down to the earth as snakes, I will go down on their coils. When they go up to the sky as falcons, I will go up on their wingtips. I will also be in Heliopolis, the gods having come to the shorn priests because. Mariah is one who kneels in Heliopolis. Pepi is one who sits in, she of the water lily bud and she will let her breasts down to me with barley, that of hers, with which he has contented his subjects, and I will eat of it with them. O great flood, son of the two, you have said to the high one in. Greetings, you at the four of the inundation, who guard nourishment and sit at the four of the green marsh at the shoulder of the Lord of Sunlight. You shall let me eat of grain, and I will become like Osiris on the great immersion. He whose face is seen is the one who brings food in to me together with eats with his mouth. Those to whom extended offerings belong, the senior gods, shall introduce me to abundance and introduce me to nourishment. 
and I will live as lives the one at the fore of the offerings of the marshes of reeds. He will eat with his mouth like him whose hair is parted. He will defecate with his rear like Selket. Air is in my nose, semen is in my penis like mysterious of form in the midst of the sunlight. I will look at new and appear at New Year's days. Praise will be given to me, and I will be great because of my baas. To me belongs the sixth-day meal in battlefield. I will live off a pregnant cow and eat of a pregnant cow like those in Heliopolis. Someone has sat down to eat bread. The sun has sat down to eat bread. Water will be given by the dual Ennead, and the flood will stand up. Cupbearer of the sun, he has come to you that you might brighten for him the face of the sun and content for him the dual Ennead. You shall give him bread and beer, for he is hungry and thirsty. O oh, big Ennead in Heliopolis, mistress of the Enneads, his meal is at the fore of the shrine. The two meals of Pepi are in Busiris, his three meals are in the god's enclosure. Shall find me at the fore of the shrine, the broom plant will wash himself and give bread to those from the original time, and content those from. Greetings, sustenance. Greetings, abundance. Greetings, grain. Greetings, liquid. Greetings, you gods who lay a meal for the sun and food from the sustenance in the great immersion. May you let this Mariah eat from the great immersion. May you let this Pepi eat from the sun's leftovers, for I will sit on the sunlight's chair. It is Mariah, goddess of Dendera. He has come from Dendera with Shu behind Mariah. Tefnut before him, and Path's parter cloaked on Pepi's right. They shall let him take control of those two marshes of offerings of the sun and collect grain from them like the one at the fore of his dual Ennead, who lives on the great immersion. This Pepi will be born in the night. Come, give birth to Pepi. You two who conceive the day, you shall extend him who is in his egg. And this Pepi, when you have given him birth, and this Pepi, when you have reared him, his heart will be extended with joy at the fore of the Duat. The heart of the gods will be extended over it when they see him rejuvenated, for the sixth day meal is for my breakfast, and the seventh day meal is for my supper, and nursing cows will be slaughtered on the supply festival. What is wanted to be given is that I give, for I am a bull in Heliopolis. Calling the Spirit to the Meal Osiris, Awake, that I may raise you. Stand up, sit down, clear away for yourself the earth that is on you. Remove those arms of Seth from behind you. Horus's eye has come to you on the first day of the week, and you are in its wake. Don't let it go away from you. Encircle your arms around the young plants. Oh, may Horus's eye endure for you, with you. Awake, Osiris, awake. Oh, Pepi, Stand up, sit down, clear away for yourself the earth that is on you. I shall come and give you Horus's eye, and it will endure for you, with you. It has been allotted to you, as bread, as beer, as wine, as cattle, as fowl, this meat from the slaughterhouse, this haunch from the broad hall. Come forth, receive this your bread from my arm. O oh, Osiris Mariah, I am your son, to whom you gave birth. I have come with a dedicated offering from it that is in your wake. I shall be henceforth born at the fore. Spells Against Inimical Beings Back, you spitter. Let the hauling and dragging end. Beware of my knife standing up. The bull has fallen to the snake. The snake has fallen to the bull. The ground sun has fallen with his vertebrae under him. Fall down, crawl away. Heart, there. Heart, there. Get back, there. Get back, there. Back, great hidden one who comes from a hidden limb. You who see, beware of my blind one. Thee has fallen in the inundation inside the sunshine bird. Monster, lie down. Lie down, you in his hole. You in against whom is the scent of... You of the sun, three meals are reserved for me. 
one for the sky and two for the earth. Your wrath is gold, malachite, and turquoise rather than poison. You of the cavern, you shall not, you're in your coils. Cursed one, you shall not bite. Snake, with your tail, monster, lie down. You and his undergrowth fall down, crawl away. Horus groaned because of his eye, of his body, when he had eaten it and swallowed it, and the Enneads saw it. Seth rasped because of his testicles. Horus transported his semen into Seth's anus. Seth transported his semen into Horus's anus. You snake, lift your face. Look up this hand of his. This is not his hand. This is Moff Det's hand. She, in the midst of the enclosure. It will blind you on your face. It will close you up on your lips. It will give your face. You crushed one. Guide your tail across into the ground. Monster, lie down. Bull, crawl away. Your spit, snake, has come forth into your own eye. Your face is. Your rear is in newt. Your middle is in wine. The aegis of your face is the mound from which you have come. On your face slaughtered one whose testicles have been thrown away, whom the deserts have captured. Go back, for your pillar has fallen to the ground. Fall down. Crawl away. Don't. Pounded auger, pounded auger, who goes on his four coils. You are awake. Come, lie down in the house of your mother. Be quick. Monster, lie down. That one has gone. This one has come. Be far from Pepi. Pepi is a butcher. This mariah will pass by you as an ibis. Monster, lie down. Snake, crawl away. You and the undergrowth, you shall crawl to new, a loaf of bread and a jug of beer from the inundation. Centipede, collected against you as Horus's eye, nighttime gore. Should I be closed, the earth will be closed, the caverns will be closed, and what is in them will be closed before those four gods and their emergence. I belong to new. Monster, it is, I say. I am experienced. I am not ignorant. O oh, starer, you have emerged in the nighttime, and the earth's scent is on you. So Thys has come forth, clad in her tailed kilt and her sharp garment, that she might sense the sharp ones and those who are of them. Wrathful ones of the town, become still. Countryside, be calm. Make me a path that I might pass in it. I have come that I might prophesy in Heliopolis for him whom he loves. You of the darkness, you of the darkness, you of what is dark, you of what is dark. You of what is dark, you of what is dark, you of the darkness, you of the darkness. Spew out and don't give your gift. Trampled one, snake, western snake, your mouth is in the ground, your venom is going down. Snake, your mouth is in the ground, and your venom is going down. Monster, lie down, for Papi is the brother. Doth is my Aegis. I am complete. I am complete. Mash head, whom a you raised. The centipede is on Horus's path. Horus is on the centipede's path. Horus, come away from the centipede. Centipede. Come away from Horus. The bull has fallen. The fire in the ground has been quenched with water. Face has fallen on face because of the black skin that Shu elevates. The fist has been opened, and the one that Shu elevates has been guided to its target. Who lives in the windings of his papyrus? Ah, the earth scent is on you. Spells for proceeding to the end of the Akhet. Ascending as a falcon. Great Pepi is Horus who senses, whom you all have put. Invoking the gods. 
the gods, for whom has been made. That is imperishable. See, this Pepi has crossed your... This Pepi will eat of. Commending the spirit to Isis and Nephthys. Being born as Horus. Crossing to the sky. The marsh of reeds in order to turn it back for the gods. Great. To part, seeking the destructive, the boat that the followers surround. The enclosure shall become clean, shall be inundated, meeting the powerful god, the controlling powers, says eyes forward. So come, be Ba, and content him, and lead him in the elevated. Isis, for you, the great ones, his every injury will be defended who belong to the earth. When Pepi speaks to you, gods, you will see this Pepi and hear his speech. Pepi is the one who, the rain and parts the tempest. You shall clean this Pepi for Thoth and eyes forward. This Pepi is more powerful than they, and his ferocity is making a path for this Pepi in the sky and establishing for him of the great ones. They will defend Kenzet for him, saying, Pepi has become powerful. At the fore of the Great Ones, this Pepi has defended Kenzet for you, says Thoth. You all have defended, says Eyes Forward. See this Pepi in his identity of Pepi, in it to his side. Come, meet him. He is our true witness. This Pepi has, from destructiveness, this Pepi has, it from violence and he will not perish. Pepi is woe to the heart, shoes, sun, extensively extended with scorching light. Pepi is the fire wind in the wind's top to the limits of the sky and earth, to shoes limits. The lightning bolt's arms are full of him. This Pepi traverses Shu. This Pepi travels the sunlight. The sister of this Pepi is the red crown. This Pepi will cast the god and let the one in the middle of see. Pepi is the one who parts the tempest. Pepi is one whose Ka looks, the two, to the sky as two falcons, for this Pepi is on their wings, the seventh day meal. This Pepi, as Osiris, breaker, jackal who glides, fetch that fairy for this Pepi. Please fetch that fairy for this Pepi. Pepi is the messenger of a tomb. This Pepi has fetched the towel of Sovereign's linen with which Horus's eye was wiped, which was rusted away from Seth's fingers. Fetch that for this Pepi. Please fetch that for this Pepi. This Pepi is how elevated is he, the messenger of a tomb. This Pepi's arms are, this Pepi's knees are at his heart. This Pepi will raise for him what he has fetched, the which he raised in the night for him of black. O oh, Slider, fetch that for this Pepi. Horus is I, it shall not decay, and he shall not be endowed with Ba, and he shall not rejoice. The sky's two reed floats have been set toward the sky for the sun, that the sun might cross to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set toward the sky, for that might cross to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set toward the sky for this Pepi, that this Pepi might cross on them to the Akhet, to the place where Chastiser is. This Pepi has been conceived, and this Pepi will be born. This Pepi has opened the bathtub canal, the marsh of reeds. Stand up, you four gods. Foretell, please tell the name of this Pepi to the sun. Bear the name of this Pepi to Kasasinger. This Pepi has been conceived, and this Pepi will be born to the morning god. Greetings, Southern Assemblage. This Pepi has come to you, Assemblage, on your arm. Greetings, Northern Assemblage. This Pepi has come to you, Assemblage, on your arm. Greetings, assemblage of Satis. This Pepi has come to you, assemblage, on your arm.
Greetings, assemblage. This Pepe has come to you, assemblage, on your arm. This Pepe, the sky with you all together on its northern side, the night. This Pepe will proceed. This Pepe will sit on his metal chair that is in the, of the Ba house. Pepe, to Pepe, to the nesting place he has desired, the one of the God's father. This Pepe shall go, the living one, Sothis's son. So this Pepe will ascend to the sky in that stance of Horus of the Duat. There is no case concerning this Pepe for the earth with people. This Pepe will not be found guilty at the sky among the gods. He does not revile the king. He does not help Bastet. This Pepe does not make uproar in the sedan chair. The face of this Pepe is the face of a falcon. With wings of this Pepe are those of birds. The nails on his fingers are those of. This Pepe will fly away from you whose places are inaccessible. The foretellers of the great heat have come forth inside the Aket of the sky, foretelling festivals of braziers at the god's birth on your arms, O oh god with two great breasts in front of his group. May you find this Pepe there at the beginning of your document in the Marsh of Ascenders, giving birth to this Pepe and conceiving this Pepe as among the gods, when the mother of Pepe, Isis, said, Break the egg that I have given birth to, shake out the thing inside it. There shall be fetched for you, Isis, that metal in the prow of the Sokar boat in which you were flown, and you shall fly and bring him up, this Pepe. His is coming in, having smelted his two harpoons, carved his prongs, and struck the two ferrules of his two shafts, and he will break the metal and split the egg, and this god will proceed to his activity. And how will his arms be filled? Shall allot her nail who are in. This Pepe is the two Ma'at boats, who acquires for that which sweeping shoulder has. This Pepe's lips are, this Pepe's fingernail points are, this Pepe has reached and made the front. He will flap as a divine falcon on hidden identities' battlements, for he has been made the one who conducts the sun to his two Ma'at boats, who takes what the director has to Atum, his cavern north of the lake. For this Pepe's stance has been made like one who stands as a wise one in the sky on the day of the closing out the year. This Pepe has... This Pepe, in the earth's limits, where the father of this Pepe is. Induct to this Pepe, this Pepe on those in thee. You shall have control of the burning of those in the palace. With the earth through what the two rivers do, this Pepe, the dual lion has put her arms toward this Pepe, that this Pepe may arrange, and her sister. This Pepe will fetch what is necessary, the night boat, after the day boat, shall ascend. This Pepe, he who is at rest, shall ascend. His great one, who is in the two horizons. Both, Horus of the Duat, Anubis has given his arm to this Pepe. Pepe is Horus who bound for his heart. This Pepe has made great. Spells for passing from the Aket to the sky. Address to the spirit leaving the antechamber. My father, Osiris Pepe, elder sleeping, great one becomes slack. Stand up, remove yourself from your left side, and sit on that metal chair of yours, to that boat. My father has inherited from Horus, as Horus in seal ring, Seth in the Ennead, Sobek, in the Shadit, let arms beat, let drumming go down. The great mooring post will call out to you. Your sister Nephthys will come to you. Your sister Isis will clean for you. Your mother, the sky, will go down for you. The women of Buteau will come to you and put Termini at 
for you with the imperishable stars, has arranged the portal of your father, as when Horus arranged the portal of his father Osiris. Thus grain has been reaped for your breads, and emmer has been reaped for your fresh grain. Whatever is found is for us to give you, so that you do not die because of those in. So you shall become prepared from it. Live. Live. Going toward the sky. Pepi is not the one who demands to see you in that character of yours that has developed to your detriment, Osiris. Who demands to see you in that character of yours that has developed to your detriment. Your son is the one who demands to see you in that character of yours that has developed to your detriment. Horus is the one who demands to see you in that character of yours that has developed to your detriment, in accordance with that which you said. Similar to me are those three similar ones who are like swallows' chicks under the river banks, and in accordance with that which you said, a loving son has come, and the loving son came into being. They will row Horus, they will row Horus and Horus's emergence from the great immersion. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for eastern Horus at daybreak, that he might descend and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for Pepi at daybreak, that Pepi might descend and Pepi might become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of the Duat at daybreak, that he might descend and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for this Pepi at daybreak, that he might descend and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of Shazmet at daybreak, that he might descend and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open for Pepi at daybreak, that Pepi might descend and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The earth will be hacked up for him, and a presented offering laid down for him, for he has appeared as king, and he has my insignia and his throne. He will cross the looking canal, he will traverse the winding canal, and she of Buteau will take the arm of Pepi at the inner limit of her sanctuary, at the inner limit of her inaccessible place that the god has made for her. For Pepi is a clean one, son of a clean one, cleaned with those four jars of mine that were filled to overflowing from the god's canal in Isium with the breath of Isis, when Isis was elevating him as Horus. Let him come, for he is clean, says the cleaner of the sun, the cool water's doorkeeper, about Pepi, extending him to the four gods atop the Kenzet Canal, that they might make guidance for Osiris Pepi, that they might make guidance for the sun. His boundary markers have ended, and his field markers cannot be found, while Geb, with his one arm to the sky and his other arm to the earth, is extending Mariah to the sun, that Mariah might manage the gods for him, and Mariah might direct the gods' boat for him. Mariah will acquire the sky, its pillars and its stars, and the gods will come to him in obeisance. The ox are following Mariah, because of his Ba having broken their staves and shattered their weapons. For Pepi is a great one, a great one's son, to whom Newt gave birth. Pepi's strength is Seth, the Umbite's strength. This Pepi is a great wild bull who has emerged as foremost of Westerners. Mariah is the flood's outflow, emerging from it when water came into being. He is Kas Asinger, whose body has many folds. Pepi is the god's document scribe, who says what is and brings into being what is not. Pepi is the headband of gore that came from the great thing crown. Pepi is the eye of Horus that is powerful against people and forceful against the gods. Horus will lift Mariah, Seth will elevate him, and Pepi will make an offering outpouring and a star outpouring. He will content the two gods so that they are content. He will content the two gods when they are angry with one another. 
Geb will laugh. Newt will chuckle before him as Pepi goes up to the sky. The sky will shout for him. The earth will shake for him. He has dispelled the storm clouds, yelling as Seth, and those at the sky's limbs shall open the sky's doors for me. He will stand on Shu, the stars having been shaded for him with the fan for cooling the gods' water jars. He will course the sky like Zewen Chu, the third companion of Sothis, of clean places, having become clean in the Duat's lakes. Lake Strider is making his perfect paths, leading him to the great seat that made the gods, that made Horus and beget Thoth, so that Isis may receive him and Nephthys might beget him. So he will sit on the great seat that made the gods, and the morning god shall come to him in arousal, and the gods in brotherhood. Those of the Akhet shall come to him on their face, and the imperishable stars in obeisance. He will receive the offering slab, and manage the god's mouth altar. He will shoulder the sky with life and support the earth with happiness. This right arm of his will shoulder the sky with a staff. This left arm of his will support the earth with happiness. Because the abomination of Summoner, the doorkeeper of Osiris, is ferrying without a toll having been paid to him, he will find a fare for himself and thus receive for himself his heir of life. He will inhale happiness and become sated with God's offerings. When he has breathed the air of his abundance, the north wind, he will become sated among the gods. So, he will become sharp as the great sharp one and go forward to the four of the dual shrines. He shall strike with the baton and manage with the papyrus scepter. He shall put his annals among people and love of him among the gods, saying, Speaker, Say what is and don't say what isn't, for Elysian is a god's abomination. Let him be tended and don't report him wrongly. Pepi is your son. Pepi is your heir. Address to the departing spirit. My father has made a heart for himself. The other one, having been taken from him for objecting to him going up to the sky and waiting in the waters of the winding canal. Anubis has come and met you. Geb has given you his arm, Father Pepi. Guard the earth, manage the ox. I weep and weep, my father, saying, Ah. Raise yourself, Pepi. Receive these four washing jars of yours and become clean from the jackal lake and washed in natron water from the duat lake. You will be cleansed on top of your water lily in the marsh of reeds. Course the sky and make your abode in the marsh of rest among the gods who have gone to their cause. So, sit on that metal chair of yours, receive your mace and your staff, and lead those anew, govern the gods, and put the ak in his ak. You shall acquire your course, and row your water course like the sun on the shores of the sky. Pepi, raise yourself, go in your ak. Pepi has gone away up to the sky among the gods, in the sky, and so he stands at the great shin, hearing the populace's speech. The sun shall find you on the shores of the sky, as one with a water course in Newt. Welcome, arriver, say the gods. He shall give his arm toward you in the Isken of the sky. One who knows his place has come, say the Ennead. Become clean. Occupy your seat in the sun's boat and row above and elevate those who are far off. You shall row with the imperishable stars, sail with the unwearying ones, and receive the night boat's cargo. You shall become the Ak and the Duat and live in that pleasant life in which the Lord of the Akhet lives, the great flood in Newt. Who has done this for you? Say the gods who follow a tomb. The great one yonder is the one who has done this for him, the one at the north of the watercourse that Newt supervises. He has heard his summons and has done what he said, and he has acquired his body in the official's court of Nu at the fore of the big Ennead. Approaching the sky, you, goddess, who are more enduring than the enduring one, and you, tadpole god, who is a child at the fore of Letopolis with his lives at his neck. 
Your seat is for your son, goddess. Your seat is for your son, god, for Geb has called to him. At dawn, the sky has been opened, the earth has been opened, the looking water's caverns have been opened, the stretches of new have been opened, the sunlight's stretches have been loosed by this soul one who is stable every day. This has been said before him as he goes up to the sky. I shall be anointed with first-class oil and clothed in top linen, and I shall sit on that which makes Ma'at live with his back to the back of those gods at the sky's north, the imperishable stars, and he shall not perish, the unpassing ones, and he shall not pass, the unwaning ones, and Papi will not wane. Should Mantu go high, he will go high with him. Should Mantu run, he will run with him. The sky has become pregnant with wine. Newt has delivered her daughter, the morning star, and he will raise himself the third companion of Sothis of clean places. When he has become clean in the Duat lakes, he will be purged in the jackal lakes. Thornbush, remove yourself from his path that he may attain the southern part of the marsh reeds. The guide canal has opened, the winding canal has flooded. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for him of the Akhet that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus of Shezmet that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Eastern Horus that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for me. For this Mariah is Horus of the gods, and he will cross to the Akhet to where the sun is. He will receive his throne that is in the Marsh of Reeds. He will descend to the southern part of the Marsh of Rest. Mariah is the Great One, the Great One's son, emerging from between the dual Ennead's thighs. This Pepi has worshipped the sun. Mariah has worshipped Eastern Horus. He has worshipped Horus of the Akhet as he strapped on his apron. When he becomes content for this Pepi, he becomes content for Horus because of his tongue. When he becomes content for Horus because of his tongue, he becomes content for this Pepi. This is how Pepi has come from Pei, where the Baas of Pei are. Mariah, having been banded with the breastband of Horus, Mariah, having been clothed in the clothing of Thoth, Isis before him, Nephthys behind him, Paths parter, parting a path for him, Shu lifting him, the Baas of Heliopolis laying down a stairway for him to join with the above, and Newt giving her arms toward him like that which she did for Osiris on the day he moored. Face behind him, fairy Pepi to the Marsh of Reeds. Where have you come from? says the ferryman. He has come from Awaret. His dangerous one is the cobra that came from the god the Uraeus that came from the sun. Ferry him, put him in the marsh of reeds. Those four ox who are with Mariah, Hapi, Duamutef, Imseti, and Kebinsenuef are two on one side and two on the other side, and this Mariah is the helmsman. He will find the dual Ennead, and they are the ones who will give their arm to Mariah. He will sit between them to give judgment and Mariah will govern those he has found there. Pepi is Zechti. Mariah is Zeti Zeti. Mariah is he of the canal. Mariah is Zewen Chu, the sky's coffer. Pepi is Ka Maker, the effective one of the hereditary kings. Mariah is hidden, the hidden one of this land. Mariah is Jemmi of the two lands. Mariah is he who bustles. Mariah is Bustler. Mariah is the Goddess Blessing. Mariah is the Goddess Awe. Mariah is Bat with her two faces. Pepi is the one who saves himself, and he has saved himself from everything bad. Pepi is the She-Jackal. Mariah is he of the She-Jackal. Mariah is Hapi. Mariah is Duamutef. Mariah is Imseti. Mariah is Kebesenuef. Mariah is long wings. Pepi is those great gods at the fore of the lake. 
Mariah is the living Ba with the face of a centipede and the head of a sacred image who saved his body and took his body from the disturbers. What has been done is done. What has been done shall go to rest done. And what has been commanded, commanded. Mariah will act for him who acts well, and Mariah will command for him who commands well. For Mariah's lips are the dual ennead. Mariah is the great speech. Epi is brotherly, Mariah is sisterly. Mariah will be released from everything bad. People and gods, put your arms under Mariah that you may elevate him and bear him to the sky like the arms of Shu under the sky as he bears it. To the sky, to the great place among the gods. Helmsman, say to him who has that he who has not is here. The gorge canal has been opened, the marsh of reeds has flooded, and the winding canal has filled with water. The sky's two reed floats have been set for horse, that he may cross on them to where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun, that he may cross on them to where the Horus of the Aket is. He shall commend Mariah to his father, the moon. Mariah's sibling is the morning god. He shall commend Mariah to those four youngsters who sit on the eastern side of the sky. He shall commend Mariah to those four youngsters who sit on the eastern side of the sky, to those four youngsters with charcoal-colored hair, who sit in the shade of the tower of him of the height. His father is great, his father is great, and Mariah will be a great one of his father. The sky is spoken, the earth has trembled, Geb has quaked. The gods' two countrysides have yelled, the earth has been hacked, and a presented offering laid down before this Mariah alive and stable. So, he will go forth to the sky. He will cross the basin for life and authority, travel across the fierce lake, one who topples shoes walls. So, he will go forth to the sky, his wingtips those of a big bird. His entrails have been washed by Anubis and Horus's service in Abydos. Osiris's purification has been performed. So, he will go forth to the sky among the stars and the imperishable stars. His sister, Sothis, and his leader, the morning god, shall take his arms to the marsh of rest. So, he will sit on yonder metal chair of his, whose faces are those of fierce-looking lions, and whose feet are the hooves of a great wild bull. So, he will stand in yonder empty place that is between the two great gods, his papyrus scepter baton in his arm. My arm will be lifted toward the populace, and the gods shall come to him in obeisance. The two great gods shall awake from off their side, and finding him judging in the dual Ennead. He is every official's official, they will say about him, having installed Pepi in the dual Ennead. Summoning the ferry boat, Horus's sounding poles, Doth's wings, ferry this Pepi, don't maroon him, May you give bread to this Pepi, may you give beer to this Pepi, from your bread of eternity, from your beer of continuity. Pepi is one who belongs at the two obelisks of the sun that belong to the earth. Pepi is one who belongs at the two dazzling ones of the sun that belong to the sky. This Pepi will go on the two reed floats of the sky before the sun, for he is carrying that vase of the sun's cool water that cleanses the Nile Valley land before the sun when he emerges from his Akhet. This Pepi is now off to the marsh of life, the sun's resting place in the cool waters. This Pepi will find Kibahut, Anubis's daughter, meeting him with those four water jars of hers, when she will cool the heart of the great god with them on his day of awaking, she will cool the heart of this Pepi with them for life cleaning this Pepi and washing this Pepi in natron water. This Pepi will receive a place and a meal from that which is in the granary of the great god, and this Pepi will dress with the imperishable stars. This Pepi will go forward to the four of the dual shrines and occupy the place of those equipped with proper condition. O trembler, ferryman of the marsh, Pepi is your oxen's caretaker, the one in charge of your mesquinette, Pepi is your potter on earth, the breaker of the complete egg. 
to whom Newt has given birth. He has come having fetched for you the enclosure he potted for you on the night of your birth and the day of your mesconet. It is a beer jar. You are a foundling who is ignorant of his father, and you do not know your mother. Don't let him report you to those who are ignorant of you, so that they know you. Ferry him quickly to the landing of that marsh of the gods' making, on which the gods grow sated on their New Year's days. O oh, you who ferry the marooned one, who is righteous, ferryman of the marsh of reeds, Pepi is one righteous before the sky and before the earth. Pepi is one righteous before that island of land that he has swum to and arrived at, which is between Newt's thighs. He is a dwarf of the gods' dances, an entertainer before his great seat. For this is what you have heard in the houses and overheard in the walkways on the day of calling you to hear the giving of these orders. Look, the two on the great god's seat they are soundness and health, are calling to this Pepi, that this Pepi might be ferried to the marsh of the great god's beautiful seat, in which he does what is done with the honored ones, commending them to cause and allotting them to catches of fowl. That is what Pepi is, and he will commend this Pepi to cause and commend Pepi to a catch of fowl. O marooner, ferryman of the marsh of rest, fetch that ferry boat for this Pepi, Pepi is one who has gone. Pepi is one who has come back. The dayboat's son, to whom she gave birth in the world's sight. On the right side of Osiris, in a dawn birth, through which the two lands live. Pepi is the year's announcer, Osiris. Look, he has come with the message of your father, Geb. In peace is the year's state. This Pepi is descended with the dual Ennead into the cool waters, Pepi is the potter of the dual Ennead, who laid out the marsh of rest. This Pepi found the gods standing, clad in their linen, their white sandals on their feet. Then they threw down their white sandals and discarded their linen. Our heart could not be sound until you descended, they said. Inasmuch as you have said, this gods, behold, the causeway has become established for you. Sound of heart is the name of the causeway north of the Marsh of Rest. So, stand up, Osiris, and commend this Pepi to those over the causeway, sound of heart, north of the Marsh of Rest, like you commended Horus to Isis on the day you impregnated her, that they may let Pepi eat from the marshes and drink from the springs inside the Marsh of Rest. O oh, face behind him, Osiris's doorkeeper, tell Osiris to have fetched for this Pepi that boat of yours in which your clean ones cross to receive for you cool water on the shin of the imperishable stars, so that he may cross in it with the band of green and red linen that was woven as Horus's eye, in order to wrap with it the finger of Osiris that has gone painful. So, this Pepi will go freely, freely, and the destiny of the great lake will guard him. Open, door of the looking waters. Pull open, door of the lower peak. Dual Ennead, let this Pepi proceed with you to the Marsh of Rest, to the new state of this Pepi, of a possessor of honor. This Mariah will strike with the baton, this Pepi will direct with the papyrus scepter, and Pepi will lead the sun's circuit. The earth has been cooled, Geb has been sensed, and the dual Ennead has been cut apart. Pepi is the Ba who passes between you, O gods. The canal has been opened up, the canal has filled with water, so the marsh of reeds has flooded and the marsh of rest has filled with water, and where they go is to those four youths who stand on the eastern side of the sky and caulk two reed floats for the sun, so that the sun might go on them to his arquette. They shall caulk two reed floats for this Pepi, and this Pepi will go on them to the arquette where the sun is. Morning God, Horus of the Duet, Divine Falcon, Bee Eater, to whom the sky gave birth, greetings to you in these four peaceful faces of yours, that see what is in Kenzet and expel the storm for the peaceful. May you give this Pepi your two fingers that you gave to the young girl, the great god's daughter, when the sky was parted from the land and the gods went off to the sky. You are Ba, and the parent at the fore of your raft of seven hundred and seventy cubits, that the gods of Pei cocked for you 
and the eastern gods bent into shape for you. Let this Mariah proceed with you in your rafts, Kevin. Pepi is the beetle's son, born from the vulva and under the tresses of she increases as she comes, the northern town that came from Geb's brow. Pepi is that which exists between eyes forward's thighs on the night of his flattening bread dough and the day of cutting off the heads of the dappled snakes. May you receive that blessed harpoon of yours, your shaft that gathers together the rivers, whose prongs are the sun's lightning bolts, whose barbs are Mafdet's claws, and Pepi will sever with it the heads of the adversaries in the Marsh of Rest. He has descended unto the Great Green. Bow your head, bend down your arms, Great Green. These are Newt's children, who go down on you, with their wreaths at their head and their wreaths at their neck of Hafa grass, who make verdant the red crowns and the Marsh of Rest's canals for Great Isis, she who tied the headband on her son Horus as a young boy in Akbit, using her dress and sensing before him so that he might cross the land in his white sandals and go to see his father Osiris. This Mariah has parted his path among those who have a catch of fowl. This Pepi has conversed with those who have cause. When this Pepi has gone to the big island in the midst of the marsh of rest on which the gods and the swallows land, the imperishable stars are the swallows. They shall give this Pepi that plant of life on which they live, and you will all live on it together. Thus you shall let this Pepi proceed with you to that great marsh that was laid down for you in the god's limit. What you eat in the nighttime shall smite the land with what has been filled from abundance. This Pepi will eat of that of which you eat, and this Pepi will drink of that which you drink, and you shall put the emblem of satiety of this Pepi on the pole, on the foremost one of its flagpoles. You shall let this Pepi sit down to righteousness, and this Pepi will stand up to his state of honor. This Mariah will stand up having acquired the state of honor in your presence, like Horus is acquiring the house of his father from his father's brother Seth in the presence of Gab. Thus you shall put this Pepi as the greatest official of the ox, the northern imperishable stars of the sky, who rule contentment, guard deposited offerings, and let those benefits descend to those at the fore of the cause in the sky. You four, foremost ones with braids, with your braids in front of you, your braids on your temples, your braids in back of you, and the middle of your heads with loose hair. Fetch me that ferry boat. Fetch that ferry boat for this Pepi. Fetch that fetching boat for Pepi. Starveling is the one who ferries it to this Pepi along with seas behind him, so that he might proceed to the side where the imperishable stars are and be among them. If you delay ferrying the ferry boat to this Pepi, then this Pepi will reveal your identity to the people he knows and to those he doesn't and Pepi will pluck out those loose hairs in the middle of your heads like a water lily from the swamplands. Lake Traveler, fetch me. Lake Traveler, fetch me. Is it a gray goose speaking? asks the ferryman. Fetch him. Is it a pintail duck? Fetch her. Is it a long-horned bull? Fetch him. Cloud, Pepi, as a heron, and flap your wings as a youngster's father heron. Pepi will go to his fathers who are at the fore of Spread Lake. This Pepi will get his unmoldering bread and his unrotting beer. This Pepi will eat his personal bread personally. This Pepi does not have to give it to the one after him once he has taken it from the blackbird. Seize behind him. Face behind him. Look, this Pepi has come having fetched for you the eye of Horus that was tied together. The one in the marsh of rowing. Fetch that canoe-made boat for this Pepi. Oh, Hapi, Imseti, Duamutef, and Kibisenuef. Fetch for this Pepi that canoe-made boat that is in the winding canal. Swallower, open the path for Pepi. Oh, Heat Snake, open the path for this Pepi. Nekbet, open the path for this Pepi. Greetings, young girl, in peace. Desire this Pepi and this Pepi will desire you. You have been rejected for him, badness. You will not acquire this Pepi, and this Pepi will not acquire you. Joining the Sun 
The sky has fortified the sunlight for Pepi. So, this Pepi shall ascend to the sky as the sun's eye. And this Pepi shall stand at the eastern eye of Horus by means of which the god's case is heard. It stands at the fore of the ox like Horus, standing at the fore of the living. So, this Pepi shall stand at the fore of the ox and the imperishable stars, like Osiris standing at the fore of the ox. Pepi has become clean in the cleaning that Horus made for his eye. Pepi is Thoth, who tended you, I. Pepi is not Seth, who took it. Become happy, gods, become aroused, dual Ennead. Horus, meet this Pepi, for this Pepi is wearing the white crown, Horus's eye, through which one becomes powerful. Become aroused, gods above, emerge. The face of this Pepi is that of a jackal, this Pepi's arms are those of a falcon. This Pepi's wingtips are those of Thoth. Geb shall fly this Pepi to the sky, so that this Pepi may take Horus's eye to him. This Pepi has separated your boundary marker, you dead. This Pepi has scaled your field markers, you impediments under Osiris's direction. Pepi has avoided Seth's paths, and this Pepi has bypassed Osiris's messengers. There is no god who can seize this Pepi, no adversary who can cross this Pepi's path. Pepi is Thoth, the god's forceful one. A tomb has summoned this Pepi to the sky for life, so that Pepi may take Horus's eye to him. Pepi is Gnum's son, and there is nothing bad that Pepi has done. Extend this speech to your attention, son. Hear it, Bull of the Ennead. Impart this Pepi's path and widen this Pepi's place at the fore of the gods, that this Pepi may take Horus's eye to him, that Pepi may tie on for him what came from his head, that this Pepi may let him see with his two eyes complete and punish his opponents with it. Horus has acquired his eye and given it to this Pepi. His scent is the god's scent. The scent of Horus's eye is on the flesh of this Pepi. This Mariah has come to the fore with it, and this Pepi has sat down on your great seat, gods, between the two controlling powers, with Pepi's shoulder to a tomb. Pepi is the one who prevents the gods from turning away from embracing Horus's eye. This Pepi sought it in pay, and found it in Heliopolis, and this Pepi took it from Seth's head, in the place where he and Seth fought. Horus, give your arm to this Pepi. Horus, accept your eye emerging for you, that it may emerge for you. When this Pepi comes to you for life, Horus's eye comes to you with this Pepi, atop Pepi forever. Become clean, son. Become adorned, Horus. Depression has ended and sleep has been dispelled before the god's extant one, the god's son, the messenger of the god. This Pepi has proceeded into the lake of Kenzet, and this Pepi has become clean in the Marsh of Reeds. This Pepi shall be cleaned by Horus's followers, Anubis's throw stick and bow, and they will make for Pepi the spell of emerging, and make for this Pepi the spell of ascending. This Pepi will descend into your boat of the sun that the two gods row. When this Pepi ascends, they shall become aroused at meeting this Pepi like they're becoming aroused at meeting the sun as he emerges into the east, saying, Ascend, ascend, invoking the gods. This Pepi has become clean in the lake of reeds, in which the sun has become clean. Horus, run. The back of this Pepi is the back of Thoth. Pepi's feet are shoes feet. Take him to the sky, gods. Give your arm to this Pepi. A tomb is the one who came into being as one who came with penis extended in Heliopolis. He put his penis in his fist so that he might make orgasm with it, and the two twins were born, Shu and Tefnut. They shall put this Pepi between them and put this Pepi among the gods at the fore of the Marsh of Rest. This Pepi will go up to the sky. This Pepi will descend to the earth. Zewen Chu, who courses the sky nine times a night, take hold of the arm of this Pepi and ferry him in this canal. 
Let this Pepi descend into the boat of the god in which the Ennead's body is rowed, that this Pepi may be rowed in it, and there will be made for you the spell of the Natron god, and there will be made for you the spell of incense, saying, Stand up at the fore of the big Ennead. Sit down, Natron god, at the fore of the great shrine. O, oh, you doorkeeper of the sky, apply yourself toward that messenger who emerges. If he emerges from the western gate of the sky, get the southern gate of the sky for him. If he emerges from the eastern gate of the sky, get the northern gate of the sky for him. Greetings, you ladder that the Baas of Pei bore and the Baas of Nekhen gilded. May you give your arm toward this Pepi, so that this Pepi may sit down between the two great gods. This Pepi's seats may come to the fore, his arm may be received to the Marsh of Rest, and he may sit down among the stars in the sky. Being Tended by Isis and Nephthys You two kites atop Thoth's wing, you two on the crown of Wanderer's head. Fetch that ferry boat for this Pepi, put him on yonder side. This Pepi is on an urgent mission of Horus. The night boat's Jed Pillar has been released for its lord. The night boat's pillar has been released for the one who steers it. Isis has come. Nephthys has come, one of them from the west, one of them from the east, one of them as a screecher, one of them as a kite. And they have found Osiris after his brother Seth threw him down in Nadit, when Osiris Pepi said, You should go away from me. And his identity of Sokar came into being. They will prevent you from decomposing with respect to your identity of Anubis. They will prevent your decay from oozing to the ground with respect to your identity of the Nile Valley Jackal. They will prevent the scent of your corpse from being bad with respect to your identity of Horus of Shat. They will prevent Eastern Horus from decaying. They will prevent Horus, Lord of the Elite, from decaying. They will prevent Horus of the Duat from decaying. They will prevent Horus, Lord of the Two Lands, from decaying. Nor shall Seth be free of burying you forever, Osiris Pepi. Awake for Horus, stand up against Seth. So raise yourself, Osiris Pepi, Geb's first son, at whom the dual Ennead shake. The shrine will await you, the new moon festival will be made for you, and you will appear at the first of the month festival. So, go forward to the lake and travel to the great green, for you are he who stands and does not become weary in the midst of Abydos. You have become Ak in the Akhet and stable in Jadut. Your arm has been received by the Baas of Heliopolis. Your arm has been taken by the sun. Your head has been raised by the dual Ennead, and they have put you, Osiris Pepi, at the fore of the dual shrines, the Baas of Heliopolis. Be alive. Be alive. Raise yourself. Crossing to the sky. The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, to where Horus of the Akhet is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Pepi, that he might cross on them to the Akhet, to where the Horus of the Akhet is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus of the Akhet, that Horus of the Akhet might cross on them to the Akhet, to where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Pepi, that this Pepi might cross on them to the Akhet, to where the sun is. The nurse canal shall open up, the marsh of reeds shall fill, the winding canal shall flood, so that this Pepi's ferrying might be ferried to the Akhet, where Horus of the Akhet is. Please fetch them for this Pepi, you four bypassers with braids who sit at their staves in the east of the sky, and tell it the nickname of this Pepi to Kas Asinger. Let there be ululation for this Pepi and ululation for his Ka. This Pepi is justified and the Ka of this Pepi is justified before the sun. The sun has taken this Pepi to the sky in the eastern side of the sky. For he is Horus, he of the Duat. For he is the star who strews the sky. So Thys is Pepi's sister. The morning god is his sibling and them. 
The sky cannot be free of Pepe forever. The earth cannot be free of this Pepe forever by command of Horus's eye over. Oh, fetch that ferry boat for this Pepe, for he is to be your third in Heliopolis. His that comes from Pepe is the gore that comes from the sun, the sweat that comes from Isis. Spell for Protection of the Tomb Recitation by Horus, a Geb given offering. Go back, be far away, let Horus respect me and Seth protect me. Go back, be far away, let Osiris respect me and Kirti protect me. Go back, be far away, let Isis respect me and Nephthys protect me. Be far overhead, let eyes forward respect me and Thoth protect me. Go back, be far away, let those of the night time respect me and those in old age protect me. I have come and installed this house for this Pepe. The broad hall here is cleaner than the cool waters. The door on it is the forepart of two opposing bulls, and its seal is of two evil eyes. Let Osiris not come in, that bad coming of his. Don't open your arms to him. Door, but say, Bard, go to Nadit. Enough, go to False Town. Let Horus not come in that bad coming of his. Don't open your arms to him, but let there be said to him his identity of faded blind, and say, Go to Anpet. Enough. Go to Isium. Let Seth not come in that bad coming of his. Don't open your arms to him, but let there be said to him his identity of cut off one, and say, Go to the mountains of blackness. Enough. Go to Takabit. Should eyes forward try to come in that bad coming of his, don't open your arms to him, but say to him his identity of displaced, and say, Go to dead new, and be found trembling because of them. Enough. Go to Latopolis. Should Thoth try to come in that bad coming of his, don't open your arms to him, but let there be said to him his identity of you have no mother, and say, Go. You who have been barred from your testicles, go to pay to Toth Town. Should Isis try to come in that bad coming of hers, don't open your arms to her, but let there be said to her identity of putrid crotch, and say, Bard, go to the houses of Manu. Enough, go to Hedge Bet, to where you will be beaten. Should Nephthys try to come in that bad coming of hers, then let there be said to her identity of substitute who has no vulva, and say, Go off to sell Ket's enclosures, to where you will be beaten on your haunches. Should those of the nighttime and those in the old age try to come in that bad coming of theirs, then let there be said to them their identity of fated blind, and say, Go to at Jut. Should Pepi and his Ka try to come, open the door of his gods. When he needs to go down to the undersky, he goes down to where the gods are. Should Pepi and his Ka try to come, open your arms to him, open the door of his gods. When he demands to go up to the sky, he goes up. I have come as parter, a Geb offering that a tomb has given, the installation of this pyramid and this god's enclosure for Pepi and for his Ka, and that this pyramid and the god's enclosure be restricted to Pepi and to his Ka. This eye of Horus is clean. May it endure for them. He who shall give his finger against this pyramid and this god's enclosure of Pepi and of his Ka, he has given his finger against Horus's enclosure in the cool waters. Nephthys shall traverse for him every place of his father Geb. His case has been heard by the Ennead and he has nothing. He has no house. He is one accursed. He is one who eats his own body. Address to the Awakened Spirit Recitation by Horus, a Geb given offering for Osiris Pepi. O oh, Osiris Pepi, Geb has given you your eyes as the eyes of this great one in you. Geb has had Horus give them to you that you may become content with them. Isis and Nephthys have seen you, 
having found you, and they will gather you, Horus. Horus has had Isis and Nephthys tend you. Horus has had him become content with you. Horus has become Ak with you in his identity of you, the Akhet, from which the sun emerges, and inside your arms in your identity of the one inside the palace. Enfold your arms all about him so that his bones extend and his heart enlarges. O Osiris Teti, elevate yourself to Horus, betake yourself to him, don't be far from him. Horus has come to take account of you. He has struck your opponent, bound for you. You are his Ka. Horus will turn him away for you. You are greater than your opponent. He will swim under you and bear the one in you who is greater than he. His followers have noticed you, for your strength is so much greater than his that they will not thwart you. Horus has come, taking account of his father in you rejuvenated, in your identity of the rejuvenated waters of the inundation. Horus has parted your mouth. O oh, Osiris Pepi, do not groan, do not moan. Geb has gotten Horus for you, that he may allot their hearts to you. He has gotten you, all the gods together, and there is none of them who will be away from you. Horus has tended you, for he could not delay tending you. Horus has taken his eye from Seth and given it to you. This sweet eye of his, return it to yourself, allot it to yourself. Oh, may it endure with you. Isis has gathered you. Horus is the one who will tend what Seth has done to you. Horus's heart has gone forward with you in your identity of foremost of Westerners. You have your water, you have your inundation, you have your outflow that came from Osiris. The sky's door has been opened to you, Newt's door has been pulled open to you, the sky's door has been opened to you, the cool water's door has been pulled open to you. Endure, says Isis, in peace, says Nephthys, when they have seen their brother. Raise yourself, your bonds have been untied for you, your dust has been cleared away for you. So, you shall sit on your metal chair, clean from your four jars and your four water jars that have come from the god's palace for you, so that you might become cleansed with natron water, that have been filled to the brim for you from the natron canal that Horus of Neken has given you when he gave you his jackal ox, as Horus in his house, as the foremost one at the fore of the controlling powers. How permanent is that which has been done for you? Anubis, foremost of the gods' booth, has commanded that you descend as a star, as the morning god. You shall wander southern Horus's mounds, you shall wander northern Horus's mounds, and those of estimation will lay down their arms for the stairway to your seat. He has come to you, his father. He has come to you, Geb. Do for him that which you did for his brother Osiris on the day of catching you complete from the water, of allotting bones and fastening sandals. Make his fingernails and toenails faultless for him, so that the Nile Valley Shrine and the Delta Shrine might come to him in obeisance. Addressed the Guardian of the Corridor Door. Back, groaning Longhorn, your head is in Horus's arm, your tail is in Isis's arm, and a tomb's fingers are on your horns. Bells for opening the door of the sky, consecrating the vestibule statue. The head of this mirage is that of a vulture, as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The sides of the head of this pepi are those of her of a thousand bas of a god, as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This pepi's ears are those of the watery one, and new, as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The face of this Pepi is that of Path's parter as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Mariah's eyes are the great goddess at the fore of the Baas of Heliopolis as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The nose of this Pepi is that of Thoth as he emerges and ascends to the sky. 
The mouth of this mirage is that of the great to and fro canal as he emerges and ascends, and ascends to the sky. The tongue of this pepi is that of the guide for the ma'at boat as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This pepi's teeth are baas as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This mirage's lips are shu and tefnut as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The chin of this pepi is that of Kirti, foremost of Latopolis, as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The neck vertebra of this pepi is that of a wild bull as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This pepi's shoulders and upper arms are those of Seth as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The right arm and hand of this mariah is that of the western Ba as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The left arm and hand of Pepi is that of the Eastern Ba as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The chest of this mariah is that of Bastet as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The belly of this mariah is that of Newt as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This Pepi's back is that of Geb as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This Pepi's spine is that of the dual Ennead as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This Pepi's rear is that of Heket as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This Mariah's buttocks are those of the night boat and day boat as he emerges and ascends to the sky. The penis of this Pepi is that of the Apis as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Mariah's thighs are those of Neith and Selket as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This Mariah's lower legs are those of the two Ba's at the fore of the Marsh of the Limit as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This Mariah's feet are those of the two Ma'at boats as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Pepi's toes are those of the Ba's of Heliopolis as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Pepi is one who belongs to a god, a god's son, as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Mariah is the sun's son, whom he desired, as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Mariah has been begotten to the sun, as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Pepi has been conceived to the sun as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Pepi has been born to the sun as he emerges and ascends to the sky. This magic in the belly of Mariah belongs to him as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Mariah is the great controller in the great court in Heliopolis as he emerges and ascends to the sky. There is disturbance as he emerges and Pepi ascends to the sky. Horus is a boy child as he emerges and this Mariah ascends to the sky. Newt cannot copulate nor can she give her arms as he emerges and this Pepi ascends to the sky. Geb cannot leap his barrier as he emerges and Pepi ascends to the sky. Any god who will not lay down a stairway for this Mariah as he emerges and ascends to the sky, he has no wafer, he has no fan, he will not wash himself from a cup, he will not smell a foreleg, he will not serve himself a haunch, nor will the earth be hacked up for him, nor will a deposited offering be laid down for him as he emerges and this Mariah ascends to the sky. This Pepi is not the one who says this against you gods. Magic is the one that says this against you gods. Mariah is the one who belongs to the mound that has magic as he emerges and ascends to the sky. Any god who will lay down a stairway for Pepi as he emerges and Mariah ascends to the sky and any god who will provide his seat in the great boat as he emerges and this Pepi ascends to the sky, the earth will be hacked up for him a deposited offering will be laid down for him. A bowl shall be made for him. He shall smell a foreleg and serve himself a haunch as he emerges, and this Pepi ascends to the sky. Any god who will receive the arm of this Mariah to the sky when he has gone to Horus's enclosure in the cool waters, his ka will be justified before Geb. 
opening the statue's mouth. This Papi has come to his father. He has come to you, Osiris, having gotten you that Ka of yours that was away. You whom his mother caught spread out in her horns. Provision has raised you. Your mouth has been parted by experienced, foremost of the supply house. Your mouth has been parted by the Great One of the Morning in the enclosure of gold. Your mouth has been parted by the two reconciled gods, foremost of the enclosure of Natron. Your mouth has been parted by Horus with his little finger, with which he parted the mouth of his father, with which he parted the mouth of Osiris. Papi is your son. Mariah is Horus. Papi is a son who loves his father in his identity of the loving son. Your cleaning, your wiping, the giving of your clothing, your thousand of linen, and your thousand of clothing that this Mariah has gotten for you. He will establish you with respect to them. Procession with the Statue Your progeny of Horus, Hapi, Duamutef, Imseti, Kevin Senuef, escort your father, Osiris Mariah, and against that one who will give an obstacle to him with the gods. Strike Seth, save this Osiris Papi from him, from dawn onward. Osiris has gained control and will save his father, this Osiris Mariah, himself. Whoever acts for my father, you all shall praise him. It is Horus who speaks. He has come that he might take account of his father, Osiris Papi. You who are dangerous for him when the king journeys over Anubis's places. Anyone who hears this will not live. Doth, have no mercy on all who hate my father. Doth, go and see him who would get my father when he journeys, the one who is dangerous for him. Go to Osiris, Doth. He is Mariah. Osiris Pepi, I have gotten for you the one who killed you, says Doth. Don't let him escape from you. Osiris Mariah, I have gotten for you the one who killed you with a knife used against him. Osiris Pepi, I have gotten for you the one who killed you, cut up in three pieces. Horus's children, go to this Osiris Pepi. Horus's children, go and place yourselves under this Osiris Mariah. Let there be none of you who will be away. Carry him. Osiris Pepi, I have gotten for you the one who killed you, cut up with a knife used against him. Horus's progeny, Hapi Duamutef, Imseti Kevin Senuef, carry your father, this Osiris Pepi, lead him. Osiris Mariah, your revival has been made and your mouth has been parted, so stand up. I am Newt. Elevate this Osiris Mariah to me. Give him to me that I may collect him. Oh, Father Osiris Pepi, says Newt. Elevate yourself to me. Osiris Mariah, bring yourself toward me. Opening the Sky's Door The mouth of the earth has been opened to this Osiris Pepi. Geb has spoken to him. You are great like the sun, his own like the sun. So proceed in peace, Pepi, to the dual Ennead. The eastern door of the sky, the one of Fixed of Kaz, has been opened to him, and Newt shall give her arms toward him. She of long horn and dangling breast will suckle this Mariah and not wean him. When he has taken him to the sky, she will not drop him to the earth, but will make this Pepi's abode in the four of the dual shrines. He will descend into the boat like the sun on the winding canal shores. This Pepi will row in the lightning boat and set course in it to the marsh of the two underskies, to the fore of that land of the marsh of reeds. His arm will be received by the sun, his head will be lifted by a tomb. His prow line's arm will be received by Isis, his stern line will be left by Nephthys when Kebahut has put him on her temple. She will drop him among those who are at the fore of the lake as herdsmen of calves. Spells against the guardians of the sky's door. Back, baboon, with red ear and scarlet anus. You have ferried to your mouth the haunch belonging to your goddess of the sedan chair rather than one belonging to you. Back, great black one, 
crawl into battlefield, into the place in which they crawled. You of the she-jackal, caperer of her border. Back, lion's forepart, go back, you two hind parts of a lion, and let the gods passing pass. All life to this mariah forever. Spells for entering and leaving the tomb. Invoking the gods. The earth has become high under Newt through your arms, Tefnut. Take my hands. Son, please take the arm of Pepi and put him in his place among the nobles, at the fore of the dual Ennead, judge of the gods as the replacement of Horus as he tends Horus's father, Osiris. Your body is in this Pepi, god. And look, your body is in Pepi, gods. This Pepi has come in peace to you, Horus. Horus's eye will endure for him with you, gods, and it will not be given to Seth's wrath. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, to Horus of the gods, that he might emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door will be opened to this Pepi once the cool water's door has been pulled open to this Pepi, that he might emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, to Horus of Shesmet, that he might emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened to Pepi, the cool water's door has been pulled open to this Pepi, that he may emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open to Eastern Horus, that he might emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door will be opened to this Pepi once the cool water's door has been pulled open to Pepi, that he may emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open to Horus of the Akhet, that he might emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door will be opened to this Pepi once the cool water's door has been pulled open to this Pepi, that he may emerge and become clean in the marsh of reeds. As the emerger Horus of the gods emerges and becomes clean in the marsh of reeds, this emerger Pepi emerges and becomes clean in the marsh of reeds. As the emerger Horus of Shesmet emerges and becomes clean in the Marsh of Reeds, this emerger Pepi emerges and becomes clean in the Marsh of Reeds. As the emerger Eastern Horus emerges and becomes clean in the Marsh of Reeds, the emerger Pepi emerges and becomes clean in the Marsh of Reeds. As the emerger Horus of the Akhet emerges and becomes clean in the Marsh of Reeds, this emerger Pepi emerges and becomes clean in the Marsh of Reeds. Since this Pepi has received the golden kilt, this Pepi shall go to the sky and be settled like the earth. Your belly, Newt, will swell with the god's seed that is in you. In fact, Pepi is the god's seed that is in you, Newt. Receive him, this Pepi, to you like you're receiving the god's son. Hepach, Hepach, Henani, Henani, ferry him with you that this Pepi may settle among you. Granary, the god's mother, give your arm to this Pepi. Here is his arm. Take him to the sky, like when you took Osiris to the sky. Hepach, Hepach, Henani, Henani, ferry this Pepi with you that this Pepi may settle among you. Someone has become clean in the lake of reeds. The sun has become clean in the lake of reeds. This Pepi himself has become clean in the lake of reeds. Shu has become clean in the lake of reeds. Pepi himself has become clean in the lake of reeds. Shu, Shu, lift this Pepi to the sky. Newt, give your arms toward him. He will fly up. He will fly up. Ululate, ululate, ululate. He will fly up. He will fly up. The fire has been set. The fire has arisen. The incense has been set on the fire. The incense has arisen. Your scent has come to this Pepi, incense. His scent has come to you, incense. Your scent has come to this Pepi, gods. His scent has come to you, gods. This Pepi shall be with you, gods. 
you shall be with this Pepi, gods. This Pepi shall live with you, gods. You shall live with this Pepi, gods. Pepi shall desire you, gods. You shall desire me, this Pepi, gods. The one made to ascend, this Pepi has come, the ascender. This Pepi has come, going up on Isis's thighs. This Pepi will climb on Nephthys's thighs. The arm of this Pepi has been taken by his father, a tomb, for life, that he might allot him to those gods who are wise and experienced, the imperishable stars. Mother of this Pepi, Ippi, give that breast of yours to Pepi that this Pepi may transport it to his mouth and suck that white, dazzling, sweet milk of yours. Yonder land in which this Pepi goes, this Pepi will not thirst in it, Pepi will not hunger in it forever. Pepi is one of transport to the sky there. This Pepi has become more permanent than people. This Pepi has appeared to the gods. This Pepi has appeared with the sun in his appearance, the third of them who are with them. One behind this Pepi, one before. One placing water, one placing sand. This Pepi has leaned on your arms, Shu like the sun's leaning on your arm. This Mariah has found them seated to meet him, the two ox who are this land's mistresses. Newt has become aroused at meeting this Pepi, and the tassels of her slip that is under her dress have received him, and now that they have given birth to Pepi, what is bad has released him. Selket has given her arms toward this Pepi and ferried her breast to the mouth of this Pepi. Great beard has shaved this Pepi's head, and Sothis has washed this Pepi's arms at his birth this day, gods. This Pepi does not know his first mother that he once knew. Newt is the one who has given birth to this Mariah with Osiris. Let this Pepi proceed with you, Horus. Ferry him, Thoth, on your wingtip as Sokar at the fore of the Ma'at boat. Horus is not lying behind the canal, Thoth is not marooned, nor will this Pepi be marooned. Pepi is the one who has Horus's eye. The sun has become clean in the marsh of reeds. Horus has become clean in the marsh of reeds. This Pepi has become clean in the marsh of reeds. Shu is lifting this Pepi. Newt, give him your arm. Ululate, ululate. He will fly, he will fly. Someone has gone where his ka is. Eyes forward has gone where his ka is. This Pepi has gone where his ka is, to the sky. A ladder has been laid down for him and he will mount on it in its identity of that which mounts to the sky. A ferry boat has been ferried to him by the imperishable stars with staves. The sky's bull has bent down his horn and he will pass on it to the Duat's lakes. Descend into the ferry boat, Pepi and you will not fall to the earth. This Mariah will seize the two sycamores that are between here and the other side of the sky. They will ferry him and put him in yonder eastern side of the sky. I know your name. I am not ignorant of your name. Limitless is your name. He of the crown is the name of your father. Your mother is peaceful, who gives birth to you morning by morning. As Limitless's birth should not be barred in the Akhet, you should not bar this Pepi when he comes to the place where you are. As Selket's birth should not be barred, you should not bar this Mariah when he comes to the place where you are. As the two shores should not be barred to Horus, you should not bar this Pepi when he comes to the place where you are. As Orion's birth should not be barred, you should not bar this Mariah when he comes to the place where you are. As Sothis's birth should not be barred, you should not bar this Pepi when he comes to the place where you are. As the two rutting gods, the sun's sons, whom he has desired, should not be barred from him, you should not bar this Mariah when he comes to the place where you are. As Path's parter's birth should not be barred in the pothouse, you should not bar this Pepi when he has come to the place where you are. As people should not be barred from the king, the god's son, you should not bar this Mariah when he comes to the place where you are. As your crew of imperishable stars should not be barred from rowing you, 
you should not bar them from letting Pepi descend into that boat of yours. As Pepi should not be barred from the dead, you should not bar this Pepi from descending into that boat of yours. As people should not be barred from eating bread, you should not bar this Mariah from descending into that boat of yours. I am destroys them, the messenger of the sun, and this Pepi cannot be barred from the sky. The swallowwort bush, doorkeeper of the sky, has given her arms toward this Pepi. Face behind him, fairy man of the winding canal, has landed for him. This Mariah will not be barred. Roadblocks will not be made against this Pepi. Mariah is one of you gods. This Pepi has come to you, limitless sun, that he might row you and escort you. This Pepi loves you in his belly. This Pepi loves you in his heart. Invoking the sun at dawn. The sky's face has been washed. The arc of the sky has grown bright. The god has been given birth by the sky on the arms of Shu and Tefnut, on the arms of him who rises and becomes large. You of whom the gods speak, hear it. This speech said to you, Become informed by it about this Pepi. Pepi is a great one, the great one's son. Pepi is now with you. Take this Pepi with you. Beetle, hear it, this speech said to you. Be informed by it about this Pepi. Mariah is a great one, the great one's son. This Mariah is now with you. Take him with you. Nu, hear it, this speech said to you. Become informed by it about this Pepi. Pepi is a great one, the great one's son. This Pepi is now with you. Take him with you. A tomb, hear it, this speech said to you. Become informed by it about this Mariah. Pepi is a great one, the great one's son. This Pepi is now with you. Take him with you. Esteemed one, Geb's son, controlling one, Osiris's son. Hear it, this speech said to you. Become informed by it about this Pepi. Pepi is a great one, the great one's son. This Pepi is now with you. Take him with you. Be ascended to this Pepi in your identity of the sun and dispel the sky's blanket of darkness for Horus of the Akhet to show himself and hear his baas and his blessings in the mouth of the dual Ennead. How beautiful are you of whom his mother speaks, heir of whom Osiris speaks. This Pepi does not eat Horus's eye so that people would say he should die because of it. This Mariah does not eat a limb of Osiris so that the gods would say he should die because of it. This Pepi lives instead on the payments of his father a tomb. May you defend him, Nekbet. When you have defended Pepi, Nekbet, in the midst of the official's enclosure in Heliopolis, and have commended him to him who is in his service, this Pepi shall be served. When he who is in his service has commended this Pepi to him who is in his centipede, Pepi shall be served. This Mariah has missed his death-carrying day like Seth's missing his death-carrying day. This Mariah has missed his death-carrying mid-month days, like Seth's missing his death-carrying mid-month days. This Pepi has missed his death-carrying first-of-the-month days, like Seth's missing his death-carrying first-of-the-month days. This Pepi has missed his death-carrying year, like Seth's missing his death-carrying year. Don't plow into the ground, Pepi's arms that bear Newt as does Shu. This Pepi is metal bones, his imperishable limbs. Pepi is a star that strews the sky. You should ascend to this Pepi, God, that Pepi may be tended. The sky will not be empty of this Pepi, nor will the earth be empty of this Pepi forever. This Pepi will truly live at your shepherd's crook, you imperishable gods of the undersky who course the land of Libya and sweep away with their electrum staves. This Pepi will sweep away with you with a staff of authority and an electrum staff. Pepi is your fourth, you imperishable gods of the undersky who course the land of Libya and sweep away with your electrum staves. This Pepi will sweep away with you with a staff of authority 
and an Electrum Staff. Pepi is your fifth, you imperishable gods of the Undersky who course the land of Libya and sweep away with your Electrum Staves. This Pepi will sweep away with you with the Staff of Authority and an Electrum Staff by command of Horus, the member of the Elite and King of the Gods. Pepi is the one who has grasped the White Crown, on whom the curl of the raw crown is. Pepi is the Uraeus that came from Seth, that acquires and fetches. Let this Pepi proceed, make him live. Pepi is that one of the goriness that came from this one and that. Pepi is the Eye of Horus, it will not be chewed up or spat out. He will not be chewed up or spat out. Hear it, son, this speech said to you. Yourself is in Pepi, son. Make yourself live in Pepi, son. The baboons have been killed by the blackbird. The blackbird has been killed by the baboons. You netted one yonder, you male here. The one who runs has run from you two who belong to that first body of the herd of justification that was born when wrath had not yet come into being, that was born when noise had not yet come into being, that was born when cursing had not yet come into being, that was born when disturbance had not yet come into being, when Horus's eye had not yet been gouged out and Seth's testicles had not yet been tied off. Pepi is the red linen that came from Isis and the redness that came from Nephthys. His leather cord is at his coccyx, and there is nothing the gods can do to this Pepi. Pepi is the sun's replacement, and this Pepi will not die. Here, Geb, member of the gods' elite, a tomb, equip him with his form. Here, Thoth, in whom is the gods' contentment. Open, Horus, defend Seth. This Pepi will rise in the eastern side of the sky like the sun who rises in the eastern side of the sky. The mother of Pepi became pregnant with him, who is in the undersky, and this Pepi was given birth by his father a tomb when the sky had not yet come into being, when the earth had not yet come into being, when people had not yet come into being, when the gods had not yet come into being, when death had not yet come into being. This Pepi will miss his death-carrying day like Seth's missing his death-carrying day, for this Pepi is off to your herd, you gods of the Undersky who cannot be mated to their opponents, and this Pepi cannot be mated to his opponents, who do not die because of a king, and this Pepi will not die because of a king, who do not die because of anyone dead, and Pepi will not die because of anyone dead. Pepi is an imperishable star, son of the great sky that is in the midst of Selket's enclosure. The sun has taken this mariah to the sky, and this Pepi will live as he who has entered the sky's west lives when he emerges in the sky's east. He who is in his service has commended this Pepi to him who is in his centipede, and they shall serve this Pepi. Pepi is a star. The sun's aegis is over this Pepi, and the sun's aegis cannot be severed from over this Pepi. Horus has put this Pepi on his shoulders, that he might allot this Pepi to Shu, the one with sweeping arms under Newt. Son, give your arm to this Pepi. Great God, give your forked staff to this Pepi, that he may live forever. How beautiful is the sight, how satisfying to see, says Isis. How this god goes up to the sky with his ba on him, his ferocity at his sides, his magic at his feet. It will be done for this Pepi by a tomb like that which was done for him. The gods who belong to the sky have been fetched for this Pepi, and the gods who belong to the earth assembled for him, that they might put their arms under him, having made a ladder for Mariah so that he might mount on it to the sky. The sky's door will be opened to this Pepi, the starry sky's door will be pulled open to him. A tomb has joined together the countrysides for this Pepi, and given to this Pepi the towns of Geb, who argued for it, the mounds, Horus's mounds, and Seth's mounds, and the marsh of reeds. Pepi is Rahis, foremost of the Nile Valley land. Pepi is Deadwen, foremost of Boland. Pepi is Sapdu, under his mangroves. Have any of you acted against him? 
having said he should die? He will not die. This Pepi will truly live forever. This Pepi shall become the most permanent of wild bulls against them, and this Pepi shall be at their fore, alive and enduring forever. May you awake in peace, Natron Clean God, in peace. May you awake in peace, Eastern Horus, in peace. May you awake in peace, Eastern Ba, in peace. May you awake in peace, Horus of the Aket, in peace. When you go to sleep in the night boat, you awake in the day boat, for you are the one who looks down upon the head of the gods. There is no god who looks down upon your head. Father of Pepi, son, take this Pepi with you to where your mother Newt is. Let the sky's door be opened to this Pepi. Let the cool water's door be pulled open to this Pepi. For this Pepi is off to you, so that you might make him live. For you have commanded that this Pepi will sit at your side, at the shoulder of the morning god in the Aket. Father of Pepi, son, Command that clearing goddess at your side to have a place cleared for this Pepi at the causeway under the cool waters. Command him, who has life, Sothis' son, to speak on this Pepi's behalf and establish for this Pepi a throne at the sky. Command this Pepi to him whose nobility is great, him whom Ptah has desired, Ptah's son, that he may speak on Pepi's behalf and make firm the nourishment of his jar stand that belongs to the earth. For Pepi is one of those four gods, Imseti, Hapi, Duamutef, and Kevin Senuef, who live on Ma'at and lean on their electrum staves, the watchmen of the Nile Valley land. He will fly. He will fly away from you people, as do birds. He will take his arms from you as a falcon, having acquired his body from you as a kite. Take this Pepi from impediment in the world. Release this Pepi from adversity. Greetings, sycamore that incorporates the god, you under whom the undersky gods stand, whose outside cooks, whose inside burns, who emits painfulness as you collect those in new and assemble those in the sky's arcs. Put your front on your shoulder for Osiris. Release the Jed Pillar, great sycamore as foremost of contentment, whom the Lord of the East appointed. It is your stance, Osiris. Your shade is over your head, Osiris. Your rage has been barred, Seth. Lass of contentment, that Osiris, this Ak in Gazelle land made. Your shadow, Osiris, let the fright of you be against those of the sky, and the fear of you against those of the earth, and thrust your ferocity against the heart of the hereditary kings and pay. This pay has come to you, Horus, Geb's heir of whom a tomb says, all is yours, of whom the dual Ennead says, all is yours, that you might say that this Pepi will be among them, the gods in the sky, for you have assembled those in the sky's arcs, and banded together those who are the imperishable stars. Turn Pepi around, turn Pepi around, ah, ah, day from day, night from night, day after day will he exist forever. Night after night will he exist forever. Here he has come. Here he has come, says that trampler. Here is the sun's son come. The one the sun has desired has come. Let him come. Let him come, says Horus. Here he has come. Here he has come, says that trampler. Here is the sun's son come. The one the sun has desired has come. Let him come. Let him come says Seth. Here he has come, here he has come, says that trampler, here is the sun's son come. The one the sun has desired has come. Let him come, let him come, says Geb. Here he has come, here he has come, says that trampler, here is the sun's son come. The one the sun has desired has come. Let him come, let him come says the Baas of Heliopolis and the Baas of Pei. O son, shall people say they will stand beside this Pepi at the earth while you have appeared in the sky's east? Give your arm toward Pepi, 
Take him with you to the eastern side of the sky. O sun, shall people say they will stand beside Pepi at the earth while you have appeared in the sky's southern side? Give your arm toward Pepi, take him with you to the southern side of the sky. O sun, shall people say they will stand beside this Pepi at the earth while you have appeared in the sky's midst? Give your arm toward Pepi, take him with you to the sky's midst. Fetch the one who is one of your fetchers, the runners of your own. Becoming Osiris at Dusk Osiris was put on his side by his brother Seth, but he, in Nadit, moved, for his head was raised by the sun. His abomination is sleep, and he hates slackness. Pepi will not decay, he will not rot, and this Pepi will not be encircled by your wrath, gods. May you awaken peace. May Osiris awaken peace. May he and Nadit awaken peace. He whose head has been raised by the sun and whose scent is that of the firstborn's thing. For the head of Pepi too has been raised by the sun, and Pepi's scent is that of the firstborn's thing. He will not decay. He will not rot. And this Pepi will not be encircled by your wrath, gods. Pepi is your seed, Osiris, which is sharp in your identity. O seed of Horus in the great green, Horus at the fore of the ox. Pepi will not decay, he will not rot, and he will not be encircled by your wrath, gods. Pepi has emerged from his house, banded with breastbands, as Horus, arrayed as Thoth. The mother of Pepi is your Heliopolitan god. The father of Pepi is a Heliopolitan. Pepi himself is your Heliopolitan god. Pepi has been conceived to the sun and born to the sun. Pepi is your seed, son, which is sharp in your identity. O seed of Horus at the fore of the ox, the star that crosses the great green. Pepi will not decay, he will not rot, and he will not be encircled by your wrath, gods. Pepi is one of those four gods to whom Geb gave birth, who coursed the Nile Valley, who coursed the Delta Land, who stand at their electrum staves who are anointed with first-class oil and dressed in sovereign's linen, who live on figs and drink wine. This Pepi will be anointed with that which you four are anointed. This Pepi will dress in that in which you dress. This Pepi will live on that on which you live. And this Pepi will drink of that of which you drink. This Pepi will be sound with you and live on that which you live. You shall give his things from those that your father Geb gave you, with which you cannot hunger, with which you cannot decay. You shall take the arm of this Pepi for life, and put it atop those things of pleasant scent. This Pepi's bones have been joined together, his limbs have been assembled, and this Pepi will sit in the midst of his place. He will not decay, he will not rot, and Pepi will not be encircled by your wrath gods. Pepi has come to you, mother of Pepi. He has come to Newt. May you elevate the sky for Pepi and hang down the stars for him. His scent is that of your son's scent, who came from you. Pepi's scent is that of Osiris, your son, who came from you. Nu, the arm of Pepi has ascended to the sky as he leans on the earth that he has given you. So, he will go forth and ascend to the sky and escort the sun as Horus at the fore of the ox and atop those of pleasant scent. May you awaken peace. May the sun awaken peace. May you awaken peace. May Placer awaken peace and place the writing of the name of this Pepi in his document atop the names of those of pleasant scent. Osiris has appeared. The controlling power has become clean. The Lord of Ma'at has gone on high at the first lunar month of the year which is the year's lord. Content is a tomb, the god's father. Content are Shu and Tefnut. Content are Geb and Nut. Content are Osiris and Isis. Content are Seth and Neith. Content are all the gods in the sky. Content are all the gods in the earth and in the water. Content are all the southern and northern gods. Content are all the western and eastern gods. 
Content are all the gods of the countryside. Content are all the gods of the towns. At this great and important speech that has come from the mouth of Doth, for Osiris, the seal-bearer of life, the god's sealer. Anubis, who allots hearts and is allotting Osiris Pepi from the gods who belong to the earth, to the gods in the sky. The lord of wine is in flood. His year has taken account of him, and his times have remembered him. This Pepi has been taken account of by his year, with him, and his times have remembered him, with him. Welcome, my one of new, says a tomb. Welcome to us, say the gods about you, Osiris. Welcome, our senior brother, first one of his father, first born of his mother, say the gods. As the sky conceived him, and the morning star gave him birth, this Pepi has been conceived with him by the sky, and this Pepi will be given birth with him by the morning star. As you shoulder the sky, Osiris, on your western side bearing life, and you live because the gods arrange that you live, Pepi will shoulder the sky on his western side bearing life, as he lives and will live because the gods arrange that he live. As you lean on the earth on your eastern side bearing authority as you live, and you live because the gods arrange that you live, Pepi will lean on the sky on his eastern side, bearing life as he lives and will live because the gods arrange that he live. This Pepi has gone up into the eastern side of the sky and will go down as a green bird. So the Lord of the Duat Lakes has descended to him and this Pepi has become clean in the Nile Goose's lakes. Osiris Pepi, you should not go away in those eastern lands but you should go away into those western lands in the path of the sun's followers. Your envoys have gone, your runners have run. Those before you have hurried, and they will announce you to the sun as one with sweeping eastern shoulder. You do not know them, but you shall become functional through them, having put them within your arms as herdsmen of your calves. Since you are the one who prevents them from turning around from within your arms, you should go forth toward them, Ba as one fully born, sharp as one fully born, in your identity of Supdu, your flail in your one arm, your scepter behind your other arm, and those of the nighttime shall fall on their face to you, and the imperishable stars shall kneel to you. Since you are the one who prevents them from slipping from within your arms, you should take hold of them in your identity of the north wind, they will take account of you in your identity of Anubis, and the gods will not go down against you in your identity of the milk goddess. So you shall come to stand in the four of the gods as the senior son, as the heir, as the one on Geb's throne. This emergence of yours from your house, Osiris Mariar, is Horus's emergence in search of you, Osiris Pepi. Your envoys have gone, your runners have run, your announcers have bustled, and they will say to the sun that you have come, Pepi, as Geb's son, the one on Amun's throne. You shall cross the winding canal, cross over the Kenzet canal, make landfall in the eastern side of the sky, and sit in the dual shrines of the Akhet. You shall give your arm toward them, you shall give your arm toward the gods, and they will give you praise and come to you in obeisance like they're giving the sun praise and they're coming to him in obeisance. Father Striker, killer of one greater than you, you have struck my father. You have killed one greater than you. Father Osiris Pepi, I have struck for you as an ox, the one who struck you. I have killed for you as a wild bull, the one who killed you. I have broken down for you as a long-horned bull, the one who broke you down. The one on whose back you were is a bull on his back. The one who stretched you is a bull on the rack. The one who milked you is a milked bull. The one who deafened you is a herd bull. I have cut off his head. I have cut off his tail. I have cut off his arms. I have cut off his legs. His upper foreleg is for the beetle. His lower foreleg is for a tomb, the god's father. His two foreflanks are for Shu and Tefnut. 
His two rear flanks are for Geb and Newt. His two rear thighs are for Isis and Nephthys. His two rear hocks are for Eyes Forward and Kerti. His back is for Neith and Selket. His breast is for Great Sekhmet. What is in his scrotum is for the four gods that Horus gave birth to and desired. Hapi, Imseti, Duamutef, and Kevin Senuef. His head, his tail, his arms, and his legs are for the two of Anubis town, Osiris and Thighs Forward. And what the gods leave of him is for the Baz of Neken and the Baz of Pei. The Eaten One to be eaten. The Red Ox is for the lake journey that Horus has made for his father, this Osiris Pepi. This which is your cavern, Osiris's broad hall, Pepi, that fetches the wind, is what will bring the north wind and bear you as Osiris Pepi. Shesmu will come to you with wine water and thighs forward with the cups of those at the four of the dual shrines. You shall stand up and sit down as Anubis at the four of the swept land, and the horizon will stand up for you. Shu will precede you. Those who see the inundation when it surges will shake. The marshes will smile. The shores will flood. The gods' contentment will descend. The face of people will brighten. And the gods' heart will become aroused. May you save this Pepi from the phrase of those who delay life. The turtles of the gods is in the mouth of those who have gone away at that final day of running. Seth has been prepared for slaughter. How correct is Osiris, is in the god's mouth at that final day of going atop the mountain. Those on earth will have abundance, for he who ran off in his ba has been returned to his cavern. You will go after your ak to cloak the winds, as the arm of Kerti, foremost of Nizat. Mariah has come to you, Horus, that you may do it for him. This important and perfect speech that you gave to Osiris, through which Mariah will become important, through which he will become great. His control is within him, his ba is about him, his acuity, which Horus gave to Osiris, is atop him. He will remain in the sky like a mountain, like a post. So he shall cloud to the sky as a heron and pass by the sky's braid wearers, the plumage on his arm as points. Orion will give him his arm, so Thys will receive his hand. The earth has been hacked up for Pepi and a presented offering laid down for him, and the two countrysides will yell for him. So he will go forward to the fore of the dual Ennead and sit on his metal chair, his metal baton in his arm. He will lift his arm to the children of their fathers and they will stand up. He will lower his arm to them and they will sit down. His face is that of a jackal. His middle is that of Kebahut. He will give judgment as Sobek in Shadit, and as Anubis in Takbit. Pepi will call for a thousand, and the populace will come to him in obeisance. As for their saying about him, who has done this for you? It is the mother of Pepi, the great wild cow with long plumage, dazzling headcloth, and dangling breasts. She has lifted him to the sky and does not lower him to the earth among the Ak gods. Pepi shall see how they become Ak, and he will become Ak in the same way. Pepi has been by his father Osiris, and the populace has defended him. Becoming the sons Uraeus. Son, turn around, see this Pepi, commend this Pepi to yourself. This Pepi is your little red one. Pepi is, son, the Uraeus on the sun's brow. You are an ascender. You are my ascender, she says. You are drops of fire. You are droplets. You are. Before you is Horus's arm. Behind you is Thoth's arm, supporting you. The two great gods are making your place in. My ascender, my ascender, with your legs. Entering the tomb at night. Raise yourself, Geb, that your jar may remain. Awaken for yourself this Ak of yours, that your jar may remain. Those against Shu and Tefnut shall be swept from the Ender's enclosure, Pepi, for you are the Ak whom Nephthys suckled with her left breast. 
Osiris has given you the ox and you have taken Horus' eye. Those four walkways of yours in front of Horus's mastaba, you have walked and walked on them to the god once the sun went down. And he will take your arm, after Sokar, foremost of Spread Lake, has cleaned you to your throne in the cool waters. Raise yourself, Ak of this Pepi, sit down and dine, and your Ka will sit down and eat bread and beer with you without stopping for the course of eternity. This is the manner of your going as Osiris's replacement, your feet laying down for you and their arms getting for you your catch, for your white teeth and your nails of him of Aftet. You shall cross, great bull, to the green marshes, to the sun's clean places. Raise yourself, Ak, of this Pepi. You have your water, you have your inundation, you have your outflow that comes from Osiris's decay. The sky's door has been opened to you. The cool water's door has been pulled open to you. The Mastaba's door shall be opened to you, and Newt's door will be drawn back for you. To me, to me, said Isis. Proceed in peace, said Nephthys, when they saw your father Osiris on the day of the Reed Festival. High are the shrines of your Ba's settlement. Raise yourself, clear away your dust, remove the shroud on your face, loosen your ties. They are not ties, they are the tresses of Nephthys. You will wander the southern mounds, and you will wander the northern mounds, seated on your metal chair. Anubis at the fore of the gods' booth will command your Ak to be about you, and your control within you, as you remain at the fore of the controlling powers. You will become clean with those four water jars of yours, the jug and the washing jar that came forth for you, from the gods' booth that you might be washed with Natron. The sky will weep for you, and the earth will shake for you. The moorer will scream for you, and the great mooring post cry out for you. Feet will stomp for you, and arms wave for you, as you go forth to the sky as a star, as the morning god. Pepi has come to you, his father. He has come to you, Geb. He has landed on your causeway, gods. Let him sit on the great seat on his father, eyes forwards, thighs. His mouth has been cleansed with natron and natron salt. His fingernails and toenails have been cleansed. There has been done for him what was done for his father, Osiris, on the day of tying bones together, of making functional the feet of the legs crossing the sky. Those of the enclosure wall will descend to you bent over, Pepi. The Nile Valley Shrine will descend to you, and the Delta Shrine will come to you, both in obeisance, while you are stable forever at the fore of the controlling powers. This Pepi is the wild cow's son. The great cow is conceiving him and giving him birth, and each of them will put him inside her wing. She will cross the lake with you, Pepi, and cross over the announcement canal with you. Foremost of the enclosure, put your fringed cloak at your rear and your papyrus baton in your hand that you may strike and direct in accordance with your new state as one of the possessors of honor. You belong to those who surround the sun, who are around the morning god. You cannot become bad, nor can your name on earth become bad. Pepi has come from Pei, banded with breastbands, as Horus, arrayed as one of the dual Ennead. Pepi will appear as king and go on high as Path's parter, for he has received the white crown and the raw crown. His mace is in his arms, his staff is in his hand. Mother of Pepi, Isis, his nurse, Nephthys, you who suckled him, she who remembers Horus. Neith behind him, Selket before him, tie the lashings, land his ferry boats, for a son of Atum who was hungry and thirsty, thirsty and hungry on this southern side of the winding canal. Thoth, in the limit of your bush's shade, put Pepi on your wingtip in yonder northern side of the winding canal. Pepi is sound, his flesh is sound. Pepi is sound, his clothing is sound. He has gone up to the sky as Montu. He has gone down as the Ba he has netted. Departure has departed. What is good has come about. 
So, my father has been guided to what is good. His arm has been taken to the gods' places by those of the Great Ones, and Father Osiris Pepe will go on high as Path's parter at the four of the dual shrines. Raise yourself, Father Osiris Pepe, as Anubis of the shrine raises himself. Your feet are those of the jackal, so you will stand up. Your arms are those of the jackal, so you will stand up at the great post, mistress of the blessed, she in the midst of Hermopolis whom Geb and Newt have blessed. You should call for the one who rose over him, that he might get for you the sole dual crown, and you may cross in it the canals and the hillocks. Father Osiris Pepe's crossover canal has been opened. The winding canal has flooded. So Father Osiris Pepe will call for the helmsman and for the one who listens to commands, and they will ferry Father Osiris Pepe to yonder eastern side of the sky. So Father Osiris Pepe will go to yonder side of the sky, to yonder place where the gods are born. And Father Osiris Pepe will be truly born in yonder eastern side of the sky, in yonder place where the gods are born. When this time comes tomorrow, and the time of the third day from now, and Father Osiris Pepe is the sole star in yonder eastern side of the sky, he will govern as a god and hear cases like Horus of the Akhet. O oh, you whose form is mysterious, and you of the sky, Father Osiris Pepe cannot truly die. It is the case that Father Osiris Pepe has become truly Ak. It is the case that Father Osiris Pepe has come to you, having untied his ties and loosened his. He has saved himself from the hobbler and will not be given to the nether regions. Father Osiris Pepe shall remain. O oh, Pepe, raise yourself and sit down on your metal chair. He of your house will serve you. Your heir on your throne will serve you, plowing with barley so that thousands are extant, plowing with emmer and making your yearly supplies with them. You shall become clean with the of the open canal. O oh, beware of. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open. Horus shall commend you. Commend Horus to Geb, the marshes, that he may make springs without stopping forever. This one shall tremble at you. Now, like this Pepe endures, like you endure. In the east, then she will assign you to the night boat in the west. Your arm will be taken by from your house. Don't go out. Sit down as Horus. We'll be prevented from standing up. You, the mountains and scour the desert hills. Your face. Hand. Awaking at dawn. Horus has come, Pepe. Newt became aroused when the god awoke and gave birth to. Geb has borne you. Newt has given her arms toward you. Awake. Awake, Father Osiris Pepe, as, of those four, as birds rowing the Great One who has made landfall on its eastern side. So, he shall go to yonder eastern side of the sky and acquire contentment, the heart of their fathers. Your sister Isis and your sister Nephthys will take your arm to the Akhet, to the sun's clean places, and he will place you as the morning god in the midst of the marsh of... Osiris Pepe, the sun has said, you will not die, your name will not die. Osiris Pepe, the sun has said, you will not be ended, your name will not be ended. Osiris Pepe, Osiris Pepe, you shall save yourself. So whoever shall worship Osiris and do this magic spell for him, he will be alive forever. Pepe is the one who worships you. Osiris, Pepe is the one who does this magic spell for you. So, he will be alive forever. Preparing to appear at dawn. Pepe, you shall become clean with her in the sky and in the duat with Horus of the duat. The looking water's cavern has been opened to you. Your striding the sunlight has been broadened for you. One. Shoes ladder will bear. Look, 
Pepe has come, having gotten for you the Eye of Horrors that was tied together, the one in the Marsh of Disturbance. Pepe has come, come the sky, and govern with the beetle. The sky has stood up. Pepe is Horus, a ladder at the Ennead's shoulder. Pepe in the marsh, the fighting cow, and Pepe shall put her, cooled down in the place, his red blood. Make him a path that he may become clean with their cause. The Great Lake. Whenever the Great Lake, you, the to and fro canal of the sky's basin, will guard you, beware of. The sky's door has been opened to you. The cool water's door has been pulled open to you in accordance with your new state as one of the possessors of honor of the East. So, you shall go to the Eastern Lakes, to the place with it at the fore of the Westerners. The Fenecu's door that bars will be open to you. Anything that you say, it is what will be. Reading the Gods Greetings, God's ladder. Stand up, Horus's ladder. Stand up, Seth's ladder, and guard him, the god with whom Bull of his mother is content. Whoever will see Pepe, Bull of his mother. His father, Osiris, this Pepe has come to you. Pepe is your son, to whom you gave birth like your son, foremost of the marsh of the ladder. May you have given to Pepe the ladder that your son Horus, foremost of the marsh of the ladder, made for you, on which you go up to the sky, that Pepe may go up to the sky on it and escort those who have gone to their cause. Your gods who put Horus's eye atop Thoth's wing, Pepe, him in yonder eastern side of the sky. Ferry that ferry boat to him, take him with you. Pepe is one of you, and he will escort the sun, the god of those who have gone to their cause. You gods, a ladder for Pepe, Come and erect it for him, that he may go up on it to the sky and escort. This Pepe will go up on it, banded with breastbands, as Horus, arrayed as Doth, and this Pepe will appear as one who ascends to. Any god or any Ak who will cross him in his path, he will not become great, he will not smell a wafer. Any god or any Ak who will not cross him in this Pepe's path, he will become great. He will smell a wafer. This Pepe will go up on it, with his flesh having been put on his limbs and his bones having been tied to his head and his skull. The Ka of this Pepe, Horus, foremost of the marsh of the ladder. You gods, emergence for Pepe, you above the sky, open to him, has made emergence for this Pepe difficult. The Akhet's gates have been opened to him, those that bar the powerful ones who are in the limit of the imperishable stars have gone away for him. Pepe on the sun's staves. The most powerful of the imperishable stars lakes are grasped by the hand. He who is over the populace, he whom the dual Ennead blesses, the sunlight. Good on the day of cleansing with Natron, this Pepe has become clean, and the Ka of this Pepe is at the fore of the gods. The Blessed One has said that he will raise the gods. Horus has appeared, having been given his eye. Geb will shoulder him. Pepe, the sun is one with gray hair, on him. He will lean on the arm of this Pepe. Remain the Akhet. Invocation of the Spirit as King O oh, Pepe, you have your crown, your crown is atop you. As you have acquired the crown with the dual Ennead, you shall become Ak amongst your brothers. O oh, Pepe, against the Ox. O oh, Pepe, stand up, sit down, and let your heart go to the fore, as Anubis at the fore of the Westerners. You have come to your proper condition, for I have provided you, Pepe, with what is yours. Your heart will be pleasant as is that of Horus, Lord of Ferocity, for you have acquired his eye. Appearing at Dawn The Akhet's shoulder has been opened to Horus, that he might pass in it. Pepe, in fact, is Horus, and he will pass in it. The mountain's shoulder has been opened to Horus, that he might pass in it. 
Papi, in fact, is Horus, and he will pass in it. The Akhet's shoulder has been opened to him of the Akhet, that he might pass in it. Papi, in fact, is he of the Akhet, and he will pass in it. The mountain's shoulder has been opened to him of the Akhet, that he might pass in it. Papi, in fact, is he of the Akhet, and he will pass in it. The Akhet's shoulder has been opened to him of Shezmet, that he might pass in it. Papi, in fact, is he of Shezmet, and he will pass in it. The mountain's shoulder has been opened to him of Shezmet, that he might pass in it. Papi, in fact, is he of Shezmet, and he will pass in it. O gods, you living and you dead, Papi shall miss your, and he shall not die because of your. Papi shall miss your, and he shall not die because of what comes from your. Papi shall miss your staves, and he shall not die because of your tethers. Papi shall miss your cutters, and he shall not die because of your slicers. Papi shall miss your circling, and he shall not die because of your encirclement. Papi shall miss your guarding, and he shall not die because of your shackles. Papi shall miss your restraints, and he shall not die because of your hobbles. Subjects, the dual Ennead is Min, as Anubis. You shall lower your heads to Pepi and bend your shoulders to him. Your fear of this Pepi shall be at your mind, and his ferocity at your hearts like the fear of Horus, apparent in the white crown. Fear of this Pepi shall be at your mind, and his ferocity at your hearts like the fear of the sun apparent in the coil crown. Great is the fear of Horus apparent in the white crown. Great is the fear of the sun apparent in the coil crown. Horus apparent in the white crown shall go on high. The sun apparent in the coil crown shall go on high. This Pepi has come from the Duat, the gods inundation having cleansed him. His fringed cloak shall dazzle those who belong to you. Knife of. To Pepi the places of Ixesem, and introduce to him those who pass the Jenderu bark in Pepi, those in the shrines, and this Pepi shall pass by them. This Pepi, when he made the two rivers, when Newt became far from Geb. Pepi has emerged on the thigh of Shu. Pepi has emerged together with centipede face, that you may tend him, Doth, wise official of them. Kamut has given her arms towards him, together with her mother, Chesabet, and this Pepi has emerged on. O oh, you gods to establish in the east, find a way for your god so that he might go. In case this Pepi is marooned on either of the two lips of the winding canal, the sun's two boats, having been beached for him in the west, and he cannot return to the east. The sun cannot shine forth from the Akhet, and no god will see him. The winding canal, the ferry boat which his father Osiris rose, and which has now ascended, is on urgent business, and has been fetched there. O oh, Hadij, Hadij, ferryman of the winding canal, fetch that ferry boat for this Pepi, that the crossing god's sandal might stamp on the ladder to the marsh of rest. So, Hadej Hadij, ferryman of the Winding Canal, come to him and fetch that ferry boat for Pepi, that he may cross in it to the Marsh of Rest. Put himself on the west side of the Marsh of Rest behind the two great gods, and hear what they say to him. Should you delay bringing it to this Pepi, Shu will seize you, and Tefnut will grab you. Tefnut will grab you, and Shu will seize you, and the sun will not shine forth from the Akhet so that every god might see him. Invocation of the Spirit as Osiris I found, I found, says Isis. I have found, says Nephthys, when they saw Osiris on his side in the swamp. O oh, Osiris, raise yourself for me, said Isis. Stand up for me, said Nephthys. My brother, for I have searched for you. Raise yourself, Ak. Speak, said Geb. For I have struck away obstruction, and the dual Ennead will listen. The gods will come to you in brotherhood. You shall be given the crown by your father a tomb, that he might have you be assigned as one of the gods, as the great one at the fore of your under. 
Your season shall happen, and your year shall be made. Those in new have come to you. The populace has moved to you, and you shall be Horus at the fore of the ox, as bow spreader in the midst of the broad hall. You shall, with him at your season, and your year will be made with him at this time, by command of a tomb, a god's father. Father Osiris Pepi, raise yourself. Go to your ark, and Osiris's followers will you. Awake, awake, Father Osiris, as Anubis, first of his shrine, to your catch. Your ears have been unplugged, your mouth has been opened, the bonds on you have been loosened. You are sound with those who belong to the sky, you are sound with those who belong to the earth, you are sound with your controlling powers. Your feet, you shall walk with them, your arms, they shall net catches of birds. Praise to you, great praise to you, the firstborn's thing is at you. So raise yourself and sit on the void. Awake, awake, Father Osiris, and look at your four ox whose identities you have made, that they might save you from the one who did this to you. They will bring him to you, broken down as a long-horned bull, and spread out as a bull on the rack, his head having been milked for Hapi, his foreleg for Duamutef, his ribs for Keben Senuef, that which is in his scrotum for Imsati. The two elder goddesses shall speak. The two great goddesses shall scream. They are Isis and Nephthys, who sought you and found you, and your mouth shall be washed with their metal fingers. So, raise yourself. Your head has been placed on your shoulders that you may drink the waters of the inundation that are in the circular canal on the lips of the winding canal and receive a haunch from Horus's butcher's block, and ribs from Thoth's butcher's block. Barley has been farmed for it, emmer has been reaped for it, and your yearly supplies have been made for it from them. Live, be alive, Father Osiris Pepi, in your identity that is with the gods. Be a parent as parter, the Ba at the fore of the living, here is the controlling power at the fore of the ox. This father Osiris Mariah is the mace of the great ones at your fore, ox. Father Osiris Pepi is the great controlling power at your fore, ox. Father Osiris Pepi is Thoth among you gods. The ram-bolted gates that bar the subjects have been opened to you, and you shall number those of the nighttime and receive the arm of the imperishable stars. Your eyes have been opened, your ears unplugged, and you shall enter into the house of defense, for your father Geb has defended you. The great basins have been assembled for you, the whole lands have been gathered for you, for Horus, since he has tended the father, and for his father, since he has tended himself. Praise to you, great praise to you. You are happy with your nose on the firstborn things sent. Behold, this going of yours, Father Pepi, is like Horus going to his father Osiris, that he might become Ak through it, that he might become Ba through it, that he might become esteemed through it, that he might take control through it. Your Ak is about you, Father Osiris Pepi, as a king given offering that shall exist for you as one that Anubis made for you. Stand up, raise yourself, Father Osiris Pepi, your bones have been assembled for you, you have received your limbs, and the earth that is on your flesh has been cleared away. Receive these four water jars of yours that have become inundated for you from the winding canal, that you may become clean through them as Horus. So you will ascend to the sun's eye, to the identity that the gods have made for you, that of Horus of the Duat, of Horus who destroys them, of Horus who strikes them, of Horus who spews them out, and you will strike them, destroy them, and spew them out at the lake, at the great green. Raise yourself, sit on that metal chair of yours with your nails that hack up the enclosure, and go around your Horus mounds, go around the Seth mounds, as men at the fore of the Ennead. Summoning the Fairy Ferryman, 
who fetches that ferry boat for Horus of the Akhet that he might fly up and alight in the eastern side of the sky, who fetches that for his, there, the gods that they might fly up and alight in the eastern side of the sky, fetch that for Pepi, that he might fly up and alight in the eastern side of the sky for the gods. You gods, he shall cross with you. Commend me to him whose Ka is seen. I shall cross with you. Commend me to the sun. I am really opening my face. I am really washing my face. I really know the number of my fingers. My sister is all who belongs to it. Imseti, Hapi, Duamutef, and Kebin Senuef. And Pepi will make ululation upon ululation among you, and he will be recalled to the one who manages the two lands, to the member of the gods' elite in. He of the Undersky commended you, he of Nu commended you, to when the sky had not yet come into being, when the earth had not yet come into being, when canals had not yet been dug, when towns had not yet been founded, they are Imseti and Keben Senuef, whom his mother desired. They are Duamutef and Hapi, whom his mother desired. They will lead you to that eastern side with eyes forward, and he will lead you to Geb's marsh and Newt's contentment. Since you are little, you should give your arm to the sun and sit with your arm to the milk goddess. You shall manage the sunlight and shoulder his mother's pillar, cupbearer with liquid. You shall walk in your ox marsh and make land with the wind for your stand, as the arms remainder, beautiful of throat. You shall be invoked and shall eat a wafer. Those who worship their father are the ones who will look at. The granaries will meet your... O oh, Pepi, raise your survivors, their firstborn, the dancer at the four of Edfu. Address to the guardians of the vestibule door. Him, oho, you falcons. Spells for emerging into the sky. Appearing at dawn. Mariah has occupied his seat, and Mariah has received his oar. So Mariah will sit in the nose of the boat of the dual Ennead, and Mariah will row the sun to the west. He will write Mariah at the head of the living, and establish Mariah's throne at the head of the owners of Kaz. He will put Mariah on the shores of the winding canal, and place Mariah at the head of the enduring ones. The leopard ka door in the cool waters shall be opened to Mariah. The metal door in the starry sky shall be pulled open to Mariah, and Mariah will proceed from them with his leopard skin on him and his staff in his hand. Mariah is sound in his flesh, and Mariah will live in it with his name and his ka. He will expel the bad before Mariah and drive away the bad behind Mariah likewise by means of the throw sticks of foremost of Letopolis, which drive away the bad before him and expel the bad behind him. Mariah has seen what the enduring do, and it will be good for him with them. Mariah is an enduring one, the close companion of an enduring one. Mariah will endure continually and forever. Mariah, the Great One has come, he who will see he will fix the Uraeus on his brow. They are he whose arm is bent in respect, and Mariah, the god from what he has hidden, haul your rope. Jumping will lead him, boat, surely content, the water's development. He will loosen to go away, him. Joining the gods, summoning the fairy, securing the spirit's ascent. Each of there that goes up on them, Mariah is. This Mariah's bones are the god's limbs. This Mariah will have control in the sky and be powerful in the world. Reading the Sun In the midst of the sky he shall set course in the cool waters. Mariah's are the two great of Shu, his visage, the one high of, in the night boat, Mariah will row. 
Mariah, which the Lord of the season has come. Mariah will, to the one who has not, and speak to the one who has. Mariah will lead the imperishable stars. The sky, look at you, pluck, atop Mariah. This Mariah has gone up on Shu, this Mariah has climbed on the wing of Evolver. Newt is the one who has received the arm of this Mariah. Newt is the one who made a path for this Mariah. Greetings, you two falcons in the prow of that boat of the sun, who sailed the sun to the east. May you lift this Mariah and raise this Mariah up to the winding canal. When you put this Mariah among those imperishable gods, and he has made landfall among them, he cannot perish, he cannot end. This Mariah will sit between the two great gods and give judgment among the gods. Each of the two will make his brother mindful, mindful of him as his brother. Mariah is Def G, who comes forth as the sun. Mariah is Osiris, who has come from the night, the place that Isis made for her son. Pepi will pass in it. This Mariah, a haunch, a breadloaf, Mariah. Spells for daily life and protection. Spells for sustenance. Mariah has returned from pay, redder than fire, more alive than the beetle. Mariah has come from pay, redder than fire, more alive than the beetle. Mariah has just seen the great Uraeus. Mariah has just received the great Uraeus, and the face of Mariah has just fallen on the great Uraeus. Nourishment has laid down the side of his head to Mariah, and Pepi will cross his canal with his cobra in his wake. Spells for Protection Great at the fore of Vulva has built Horus, son of Isis and Osiris. It is the of my shores. Greetings to the earth. Mariah, two eyes that he might see Nothing of will be seen. He, Horus's eye. Spells for protection of the pyramid. O oh, big Ennead and Heliopolis, may you make Mariah be firm. May you make this perfect fixture be firm for the course of eternity as the name of a tomb foremost of the big Ennead is firm. As the name of Shu, lord of upper Menset, in Heliopolis is firm. The name of Pepi shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Tefnut, lady of lower Menset, in Heliopolis remains, the name of Mariah shall remain, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Geb at the earth's Ba is firm, the name of Pepi shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Newt is firm in the enclosure of Shanit in Heliopolis, the name of Mariah shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Osiris is firm in great land, the name of Pepi shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Osiris as foremost of Westerners is firm, the name of Mariah shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Seth is firm in Ambos, the name of Pepi shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Horus is firm in Seal Ring, the name of Mariah shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of the sun is firm at the Akhet, the name of Mariah shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Eyes Forward remains at Litopolis, the name of Mariah shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Wajet is firm in Dep, the name of Pepi shall be firm, and perfect fixture likewise for the course of eternity. Joining the Gods Final address to the spirit at dawn. The earth has been struck, and the causeway separated. 
the sun's redness has been opened and a ladder placed. The two portals have been separated for you, Mariah. The upper sky has given her arms toward you like Horus is giving his arms to his father Osiris. You with tail, soul Longhorn, who courses the sky with his and gouges the ground with his hoof. Geb's marshes and Newt's contentment. Little one of the young girl, you shall go and see the marsh of offerings. You shall go and catch the one who is behind. Go away, the mouth of the looking canal, and receive your coffer in two chests in the two marshes. Spells against inimical beings. Emerging at dawn. The one whom she has made, Ak, has become Ak. Subdue. Mariah's nest. Induct. Mariah trembling, she who gives birth to the spring of Mariah. The Pyramid Texts of Marin Ra Spells for Entering the Womb of Newt The King's Titulary The Living One of the Two Ladies' Appearance and Dual Falcon of Gold, Marin Ra, Alive Like the Sun The Living One, the Dual King The Living One of the Two Ladies' Appearance and Dual Falcon of Gold, Marin Ra Alive forever. The Living One, the Living One of Horus's appearance, the Dual King, the Living One of the Two Ladies' appearance, Marin Ra, the Dual Falcon of Gold, Marin Ra, Geb's heir, Marin Ra, the Great God, Lord of the Sky, Marin Ra, alive forever. The Living One, the Living One of Horus's appearance, the dual king, the living one of the two ladies' appearance, Marin Ra, the dual falcon of gold, Marin Ra, Newt's son of her belly, Marin Ra, Horus of the Aket, lord of the sky, Marin Ra, alive like the sun, the living one, the living one of Horus's appearance, the dual king, the living one of the two ladies' appearance, Marin Ra, the dual falcon of gold, Marin Ra, Geb's heir, Marin Ra, Horus of the Aket, Lord of the Aket, Marin Ra, alive like the sun. The living one, the living one of Horus's appearance, the dual king, Nem times off, Marin Ra, the living one of the two ladies' appearance, Nem Tizaf Marin Ra, the dual falcon of gold, Nem Tizaf Marin Ra, Osiris, lord of the Duat, Nem Tizaf Marin Ra, Geb's son, whom he desired, Nem Tizaf Marin Ra, Newt's son, who first parted her belly, Nem Tizaf Marin Ra, given life, stability, authority, and health like the sun forever. Sending the spirit to Newt. Invoking the spirit as Osiris. Announcing the spirit's ascent. Ascending to Newt. Ascending as a falcon. Address to the spirit as Osiris. Claiming a place with the sun. Awakening the spirit. Entering Newt's womb. Meeting Newt. Address to the spirit as Osiris. Invoking Newt. Commending the spirit to Newt. Osiris, Nem times off Marin Ra. Your mother Newt has spread herself over you in her identity of Shet Pet. She has made you to be a god without your opponent, in your identity of a god. She has protected you from everything bad, in her identity of the Great Sieve. You are the eldest of her children. Cleansing and clothing the newborn spirit. 
Someone has gone to be with his car. Osiris has gone to be with his car. Seth has gone to be with his car. Eyes Forward has gone to be with his car. You too have gone to be with your car. Ho nem times off Marin Ra. Someone has come and you will not need. Your mother has come and you will not need. Newt and you will not need. She who joins the Great One and you will not need. She who joins the Fearful and you will not need. She shall join you and defend you from needing. She shall place your head for you, gather your bones for you, and get your heart for you in your body. You shall be at the fore of those at your feet and govern those in your wake. You shall make firm your house in your wake and defend your children from mourning. Your cleansing is the cleansing of the gods who have gone to be with their cause. Your cleansing is the cleansing of the gods who have gone but not withdrawn. Doth, gather him, that what is against him might end. Osiris, Nem Temzaf, Marin Ra, you are the Ka of all the gods. Horus has tended you, and you have become his Ka. Osiris, Nem Temzaf, Marin Ra, look, you are tended and alive, moving about every day, and nothing of you can be disturbed. Your tomb has thus been established for you, Father. Its doors have been pulled open for you, Father. Behold, the caretaking goddess has fallen over her son. Commending the spirit to Newt. Tending the spirit as Osiris. Emerging in the morning. Adorning the spirit. Horus has arrayed himself with his Malachite Sporan that strides over his land in full. Seth has arrayed himself with his Malachite Sporan that strides over his land in full. Doth has arrayed himself with his Malachite Sporan that strides over his land in full. The god has arrayed himself with his Malachite Sporan that strides over his land in full. This Nem Time Zaf Marin Ra too has arrayed himself with his Malachite Sporan that strides over his land in full. Horus, accept your eye that you recognized in the official's enclosure in Heliopolis. Oh, Nem Time Zaf Marin Ra, your Ka has recognized you rather than your opponents. Address to Geb Geb, this Osiris Nem Time Zaf Marin Ra is Shu's son. The heart of your mother flooded up with joy over you, in your identity of Geb. You are Shu's eldest and senior son, his firstborn. O oh, Geb, this is Osiris Nem Time Zaf Marin Ra. Gather him to you, that what is against him might end. You alone are the great god, for a tomb has given you his inheritance. He has given you the Ennead gathered and a tomb himself as well amongst them, gathered for his senior son's son in you. For he has seen you effective, your heart big with pride. Persuasive in your identity of the persuasive mouth, the god's elite one, standing on the earth and judging at the fore of the Ennead, your fathers and your mothers. Come to their fore, more controlling than any god, and come to Osiris Nem Timezaf Marin Ra and defend him from his opponent. O oh, Geb, persuasive mouth, the god's elite one. Osiris Nem Timezaf Marin Ra is your son. May you receive your son in him, make sound your son in him. You are the lord of the entire earth, in control of the Ennead and every god as well. As you exercise control, may you drive everything bad far away from this Osiris Nem Timezaf Marin Ra, and not let it come against him again, in your identity of Horus who does not repeat his work. You are the Ka of all the gods. As you have gotten them that you might take them and give them life, may you give life to Osiris Nem Timezaf Marin Ra. You are the god who controls all the gods, for the eye has emerged in your head as the Nile Valley, great of magic crown, 
the eye has emerged in your head as the Delta, great of magic crown. Horus has followed you and desired you, and you are apparent as the dual king, in control of all the gods and their cause as well. Commending the spirit to Isis and Nephthys. Awakening the spirit. Invoking the gods. Clothing the spirit. Awakening the spirit. The Burial Chamber Rituals The Offering Ritual Initial Mouth Opening That he may claim his body with the Ennead. I have penetrated your mouth for you. Nem Temzaf Meren Ra Your mouth has been parted for you. How sweet is your mouth. I have adjusted. Libation Sensing Cleansing the mouth with salt water The mouth opening ritual The mouth opening meal Anointing Presentation of eye paint Presentation of linen Preparation of the offering table The great meal The insignia ritual Presenting the statue to the gods. The resurrection ritual. The basic ritual. Provisioning the resurrected spirit. Establishing the spirit among the gods. Sending the spirit to join the gods. Invocation of the spirit as Osiris. Stand up. Give your arm to Horus that he may make you stand up. Geb has wiped your mouth. The Ennead has tended you. They have put Seth under you, so that he is endowed with you, and they have prevented him from expectorating his spit against you. Newt has fallen over her son in you, defending you, joining you, assembling you, and raising you. You are the eldest of her children. Your two sisters, Isis and Nephthys, have returned to you after having gone off from where you are. Your sister Isis has taken hold of you, after finding you very black in your identity of the Great Black Wall, you having encircled everything inside your arms in your identity of the circuit that goes round the external aisles, and having become big in your identity of the big waters that perish. Horus has gotten Seth for you, and given him to you, bowed down under you. Your strength is greater than his. Horus has made you encircle all the gods inside your arms. Horus has desired his father in you, and Horus cannot let you disappear. Horus cannot be away from you, for Horus has tended his father in you. You are alive in the beetle's life, enduring in Jadut. Isis and Nephthys have made protection for you in Asyut, for their lord in you, in your identity of the lord of Asyut. For their god in you, in your identity of the god's canal, worshipping you so that you don't become far from them. Your sister Isis has come to you, aroused for love of you, and your seed emerged into her, sharp as Sothis, and sharp Horus has emerged from you in his identity of Horus and Sothis. You shall become Ak in him, in his identity of the Ak in the Genderu Bark, for Horus has tended you in his identity of Horus, the son who tends his father. At the gate of the Duat. Greetings, Nem Timezaf Marin Ra. I have come to you at this your day, on the night's edge, and given you your hunter's hunt. I have gotten your heart for you, that I might put it in your body for you, like Horus's getting the heart of his mother, Isis like Isis's getting the heart of her son Horus. Provisioning the Spirit O oh, Nemtaim Zaf Meren Ra, come and get dressed in Horus's eye from Tait Town. Closing Spells Conclusion of the Offering Ritual 
libation, and sensing, giving cool water. This is the eye of Horus that he gave to Osiris. You have given it to him that he may provide his face with it. This is also the one pleasant of scent that Horus claimed before Geb. Incense on the fire. Invocation of the Insignia Ritual As Dual King Response to the Offering Ritual Spells for Protection of the Pyramid O Big Ennead in Heliopolis, may you make this Nemtimzof Meren Ra be firm. May you make this pyramid be firm for the course of eternity as the name of a tomb, foremost of the Big Ennead, is firm. As the name of Shu, Lord of the Upper Menset, in Heliopolis, is firm, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Tefnut, Lady of Lower Menset, in Heliopolis, remains, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall remain, and this pyramid shall remain likewise for the course of eternity. As Geb's name at the Earth's Ba is firm, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As Newt's name is firm in the enclosure of Shanit in Heliopolis, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As Osiris's name is firm in great land, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Osiris as foremost of Westerners is firm, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As Seth's name is firm in Ambos, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As Horus's name is firm in Seal Ring, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the sun's name is firm at the Akhet, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As Eyes Forward's name remains at Akmim, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As Wajet's name is firm in Dep, the name of Nemtimzof Meren Ra shall be firm, and this pyramid shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. Spells for the Power of Sustenance Recitation to the Earth, to Geb, to Osiris, to Anubis, to the One of Many Festivals. May you each make Nemtimzof Meren Ra festive in the Festival of Horus. You who are falcons, run to the returning Ka of Nemtimzof Meren Ra, and open for Nemtimzof Meren Ra his eyes, open up for him his nose. Part for Nemtimzof Meren Ra his mouth, unplug for him his ears, grow for him his plumes, and let Nemtimzof Meren Ra pass by the god who seizes the wind's insignia. When you have eaten this, Nemtimzof Meren Ra will find the remainder with you. You will give Nemtimzof Meren Ra the remainder, for he has come. Spells for opening the door to the Akhet. Address to the resurrected spirit. Address to the sun. Commending the spirit to Isis and Nephthys. Sending the spirit from the Duat. Spells for entering and proceeding through the Akhet. Boarding the sunboat. The sky's two reed floats have been set by the dayboat for the sun, that the sun might cross on them to where Horus of the Akhet is, 
to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set by the night boat for Horus of the Akhet, that Horus of the Akhet might cross on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra by the day boat, that Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra might go forth on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set for him by the night boat, that Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra might go forth on them to where the Horus of the Akhet is, to the Akhet. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra shall emerge on the eastern side of the sky where the gods are born, and Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra shall be born as Horus, as him of the Akhet. For Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra is justified, and the Ka of Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra is justified. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra's sister is Sothis. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra's sibling is the morning god. He has found the ox with their mouth equipped with spells, who sit on the lips of Stork Lake, the drinking place of every ox with his mouth equipped. Who are you, they say about Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, the ox with their mouth equipped. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra is an ox with his mouth equipped. How has this happened to you, they say about Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, the ox with their mouth equipped that you have come to this place more special than any place. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra has come to this place more special than any place because the sky's two reed floats have been set by the day boat for the sun, that the sun might cross on them to where Horus of the Akhet is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats have been set by the night boat for Horus of the Akhet, that Horus of the Akhet might cross on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats shall be set for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra by the day boat, that Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra might go forth on them to where the sun is, to the Akhet. The sky's two reed floats shall be set for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra by the night boat, that Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra might go forth on them to where the horse of the Akhet is, to the Akhet. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra shall emerge on the eastern side of the sky where the gods are born, for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra has been born as Horus, as him of the Akhet. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra is justified, and the Ka of Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra is justified. Let there be ululation for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, and ululation for the Ka of Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra's sister, Sothis, and Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra's sibling, the Morning God. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will come with you, sail around with you in the marsh of reeds, and moor with you in the marsh of turquoise. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will eat of what you eat of. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will live on what you live on. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will be clothed in what you are clothed in. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will be anointed with what you are anointed with, and Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will receive water with you in the nurse canal, the drinking place of every ox with his mouth equipped. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will sit at the fore of the great shrine, and Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will govern every ox with his mouth equipped. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will sit on the lips of Stork Lake and Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will govern every Ak with his mouth equipped. Securing the Spirit's Ascent How beautiful to look, says Isis. How satisfying to gaze, says Nephthys, at Father, at Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, as he goes forth to the sky among the stars, among the imperishable stars, his wrath atop him, his ferocity at his side, his magic at his feet. He shall go thereby to his mother Newt. You shall ascend on her in her identity of the latter, and she will get for you the gods who belong to the sky, and they will join for you the gods who belong to the earth, that you might exist with them and go on their arms. The Baas of Pei will be gotten for you, and the Baas of Neken will be joined together for you. Everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued for it with the tomb, 
for it is what was done for him. The marshes of reeds, the Horus mounds, and the Seth mounds. Everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued it for it with the tomb, for it is what was done for him. He has come against you and said that he would kill you, but he will not kill you. You are the one who will kill him and establish yourself against him as the most established of wild bulls. Be permanent, for you are now permanent. Invoking the Ferryman and Doorkeeper Sending the Spirit to the Akhet You, Father, be Ak in the Akhet, and stable in the Mound of Jadit, and govern at the fore of the living forever. Stand up from off your left side, put yourself on your right side, Receive this your bread that I have given to you. I am your son and your heir. Summoning the fairy. Receiving the spirit as king. Requesting entrance to the Akhet. Libation and offering. Ascending by fairy and ladder. Commending the spirit to the gods. Crossing the Akhet. Commending the spirit to the gods. The Morning Ritual The spirit joins the sun. Cleansing O oh, Nem Times Off Marin Ra, you shall emerge as the morning star and be rowed as one of the watercourse. Those in Nu will be afraid of you, and you will govern the ox. Isis will scream for you, Nephthys will call out to you, and the great mooring post will strike away obstruction for you, as Osiris in his activity, saying, You of Nu, you of Nu, beware of the great lake. So, sit on that metal chair of yours and govern those whose places are inaccessible. The sky's door has been opened to you. The cool water's door has been pulled open for you. You shall set course to the marsh of reeds, where you will farm emmer, reap barley, and make your yearly supplies from them like Horus, a tomb's son. Invocation of the Spirit at Dawn Presentation of Oil and Eye Paint Father, Nem Time Zaf, Marin Ra, look, I have gotten green eye paint for you. I have gotten for you the green eye paint that Horus put on Isis. Eye paint, I will place you on Father Nem Time Zaf, Marin Ra, like Horus is placing you on his father Osiris. Horus has filled his father's empty eye with his own full eye. Sending the spirit to the sun. Stork pillar with horned eyebrow, beautiful of aspect, foretell to the sun that Nem Time Zaf Marin Ra is coming. O oh, Nem Time Zaf Marin Ra, go off and meet the sun, and tell him the proper thing. You with high sash, you should not bar Nem Time Zaf Marin Ra. Invoking the sun, joining the sun, sending the spirit to join the gods. Spells for the Spirit's Rebirth Spells against inimical beings Spells for control of sustenance Spells for proceeding to the end of the Akhet Boarding the Sunboat Ascending toward the sky. Invoking the gods. Joining the gods. Spells for leaving the Akhet. Address to the departing spirit. Leaving the Akhet.
spells for proceeding toward the sky, commending the spirit to the gods. Stand up for me, Osiris, Nem times off, Marin Ra. It is I, your son. I am Horus. I have come for you that I might clean you, cleanse you, revive you, assemble for you your bones, collect for you your swimming parts, and assemble for you your dismembered parts. For I am Horus, who saves his father. I have struck for you him who struck you, and so I have saved you, Father Osiris Nemtem Zafmerin Ra, from him who did what is painful against you. I have come for you as Horus's messenger, for he has installed you, Father Osiris Nemtem Zafmerin Ra, on Sun Atum's throne, that you may lead the populace. So you will go down into the boat of the sun to which the gods love to ascend, into which the gods love to go down, in which the sun is rowed to the Akhet, and into which you, Nemtim Zafmerin Ra, will go down as the sun. So you will sit on the chair of the sun and govern the gods. For you are the sun who comes forth from Nut, she who gives birth to the sun every day. And this Nemtim Zaf Marin Ra will be born every day, like the sun. Acquire your father Geb's inheritance in the presence of the Ennead in Heliopolis, as one similar to him, say the elder and big Enneads that are at the fore of the Baas of Heliopolis. The two elder, great gods at the fore of the Marsh of Reeds have put you on Horus's throne as the firstborn of them. They have put Shu at your east side. Tefnut at your west side, Nu at your south side, and the Undersky at your north side, so that they might lead you to the perfect, clean places of theirs that they made for the sun when they put him on their thrones. Nem times off, Marin Ra, they will make you live and resemble the seasons of Horus of the Akhet, when they made his identity as the one who is far from the gods. They will make for you the spell they made for the sun a tomb, who shines every day. They will install you, Nem times off Marin Ra, on their thrones as the one at the fore of every Ennead, as the sun, as his replacement, and they will make you, Nem times off Marin Ra, develop like the sun in his identity of the beetle. You will ascend to them by day, like the sun in his identity of the sun, and you will vanish from their sight by night like the sun in his identity of a tomb. The dual Ennead shall become aroused, Father, at meeting you, Father Osiris Nemtim Zaf Marin Ra, saying, The brother here has come to us. Say the dual Ennead about Osiris Nemtim Zaf Marin Ra, Father Osiris Nemtim Zaf Marin Ra. One of us has come to us, say the dual Ennead about you, Father Osiris Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra. The senior son of his father has come to us. Say the dual Ennead about you, Father Osiris Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra. The firstborn of his mother. Say the dual Ennead about you, Father Osiris Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra. The one to whom what is painful was done by his brother Seth has come to us. Say the dual Ennead. Nor Will we let Seth be free of bearing you forever, Father Osiris Nemtim Zaf Marin Ra? Say the dual Ennead about you, Father Osiris Nemtim Zaf Marin Ra. Raise yourself, Father Osiris Nemtim Zaf Marin Ra, for you are alive. Summoning the Fairy The sun shall clean for you, Horus shall adorn for you. Depression has ended, and sleep has been dispelled before the god's extant one, the god's son, the messenger of the god. You shall descend into the lake of Kenzet and become clean in the marsh of reeds. Horus's followers, Anubis's throw stick and bow, shall clean you and make for you the spell of emerging and make for you the spell of proceeding. So you shall descend into the boat of the sun that the gods row, Ascend, and they shall become aroused at meeting you, like they're becoming aroused at meeting the sun as he emerges in the east, saying, Ascend, Ascend. 
invoking the gods for passage. Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra has become clean in the Lake of Reeds, in which the sun has become clean. Horus, scrub the back of Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra. Thoth, scrub Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra's feet. Shu, take Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra to the sky. Newt, give your arm to Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra. Summoning the Fairy The sky has fortified the sunlight for you, so you shall ascend to the sky as the sun's eye, and you shall stand at the eastern eye of Horus by means of which the god's case is heard. Stand at the fore of the ox like Horus, standing at the fore of the living. Stand at the fore of the ox like Osiris, standing at the fore of the ox. Lake Traveler, fetch me. Lake Traveler, fetch me. Is it a gray goose speaking? Asks the ferryman. Fetch him. Is it a pintail duck? Fetch her. Is it a longhorn bull? Fetch him. You shall cloud as a heron and flap your wings as a youngster's father, heron. So you will go, Nemtimesoff Marin Ra, to your fathers who are at the fore of Spread Lake. When you have gotten your unmoldering bread and your unrotting beer, you will eat your personal bread personally. You do not have to give it to the one in your wake once you have taken it from the blackbird. Nu has given birth to Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra on his left hand, young and Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra not yet experienced. He has saved Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from the gods of disorder and cannot give Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra to the gods of disorder. Sees behind him. Look, Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra has come, having fetched for you the eye of Horus that was tied together, the one in the marsh of disturbance. Fetch that canoe-made boat for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra. O Hapi, Imsati, Duamutef, and Kebin Senuef, fetch for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra that canoe-made boat that is in the canal of the goose. Swallower, open the path for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra. O Heat Snake, open the path for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra. Nakbet, remove yourself from Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra's path. Greetings, young girl, in peace. You shall desire Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, and Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra shall desire you. You have been rejected for him, badness. You shall reject Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, and he shall reject you. Address to the Departing Spirit Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, stand up for your father, the Great One. Sit down for your mother Newt. Give your arm to your son Horus. Look, he has come to meet you. Summoning the Fairy Invoking the Sun May you awake in peace, Natron Clean God, in peace. May you awake in peace, Eastern Horus, in peace. May you awake in peace, Eastern Ba, in peace. May you awake in peace, Horus of the Akhet, in peace. When you go to sleep in the night boat, you awake in the day boat for you are the one who looks down upon the head of the gods. There is no god who looks down upon your head. Father, take Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra with you to where his mother Newt is. Let the sky's door be opened to Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra. Let the cool water's door be pulled open to him. I have come to you, for you have commanded that Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra will sit at your side, at the shoulder of the morning god in the Akhet. Father, command that clearing goddess at your side to have a place cleared for Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra at the causeway under the cool waters. Command Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra to him who has life, Sothis' son, that he may speak on his behalf and establish his throne at the sky. Command Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra to him whose nobility is great, Ptah's contentment, Ptah's son that he may speak on Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra's behalf and make firm for him the jar stand that belongs to the earth. 
for Nemtimzoth Marin Ra is one of those four gods. Imsati, Hapi, Duamutef, and Kevin Senuef, who live on Ma'at and lean on their electrum staves, the watchmen of the Nile Valley land. He has flown. Nemtimzoth Marin Ra has flown away from you, people, as do birds. Nemtimzoth Marin Ra having taken his arms from you as a Nile goose, having acquired his body from you as a kite, should an impediment be given to it, Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra's adversity will save him. Spells for Joining the Gods Invoking the Gods Joining the Gods Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra your mother Newt has given birth to you from the West. After you descended into the West as a possessor of honor, your mother Isis gave birth to you in Akbit. You will receive your two hands of the North Wind and become verdant in the wake of the North Wind, Father Nemtemzaf Maran Ra. The reed plot shall fill, the winding canal shall flood, and the nurse canal shall open to this Nemtemzaf Maran Ra that he may cross on them to the Akhet, to the place where the gods are born, and you shall be born there with them. The sky's reed floats have been set for the sun, that he may cross on them to the Akhet, to the place where the gods are born, and he will be born there with them. The sky's reed floats have been set for this Nemtheim Zaf Marin Ra, that he may cross on them to the Akhet, to the place where the gods are born, and he will be born there with them. Your sister Sothis and your sibling, the morning god, you will sit between them on the great seat that is beside the dual Ennead. A statement will be fetched to the four mound gods who sit at their charcoal burning and emerge from the eastern side of the sky, and they will bear this good statement of you, which your daughter, the cow, has spoken for you, to Kas Asinger, and Kas Asinger will bear this good statement of you to the dual Ennead. Henenti is the one who will take your arm when you board the sun's boat. Board by benefit of a king-given offering. Board and cross. Address to the spirit as Osiris. You, Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, greetings, eternal one. The beaching of the great black bull has been beached for you. You have alighted in the senior god's alighting. The sensing of him with long gray hair has been sensed for you in Heliopolis. Be alive. Be alive. Be authoritative. Be authoritative. Life has been born in your wake. Be alive. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra, come in peace to Osiris. Welcome to you in peace to Osiris. The marshes have filled for you. The shores have flooded for you as a king-given offering. Foremost of Westerners will take your arm upon the lip of the bowed mountain. This is Osiris's reward that he will give you for linen. There has been hacking by the hoe. A presented offering has been laid down. Tabi's land has been laid down. The two countrysides have yelled before Father as he descended into the earth, saying, Geb, open your mouth about your son Osiris. The one behind him is for Ka. The one before him is for catches of fowl. Invoking the Gods Address to the Spirit as Osiris Spells for Appearing at Dawn Invocation of the Spirit Awake for Horus, stand up for Seth, raise yourself, Geb's first son at whom the dual Ennead shake. The shrine will await you, the festivals of the first days of the month will be made for you. You will appear at the first of the month and become clean at the new moon day. The great mooring post will call out, for you are he who stands and does not become weary 
in the midst of Abydos. Earth, hear this which the gods have said. Horus says he will occupy his father as Ha, as Min, as Sokar, foremost of Spread Lake. The earth has spoken to you, for the horizon's gateway has been opened to you, and Geb's door has been pulled open to you, that you may emerge at the voice of invocation, and he may occupy you as Thoth, as Anubis, the court's official. You shall judge, associating with the dual Ennead, between the two controlling powers in your Ak, that the gods have commanded to exist for you. You shall go as Horus goes, and speak as Seth speaks. Your foot's limits are the limits of the foot of the gods. You shall proceed to the lake. Go upstream to great land, and course Abydos in your Ak that the gods have commanded to exist for you. A stairway has been laid down for you, away from the Duat and toward the place where Orion is, and the sky's ox shall receive your arm. You shall feed on the gods' food, for the descent of Deadwin, the Nile Valley's lad, who comes from Boland, is on you, as he gives you the incense with which the gods are sensed. The hereditary king's two daughters, the red ones of the two boats, who are on the crown's lord, have given you birth. The sun will summon to you from the Izken of the sky, as the jackal, administrator of the dual Ennead, as Horus with prominent neckband, that he might put you as the morning god in the midst of the marsh of reeds. The sky's gate to the Aket will be opened for you. The heart of the gods will be welcoming at meeting you as a star that crosses the great green that is under Newt's underside, and this privilege of yours that comes from the mouth of the sun, while you sit on that metal chair of yours as the great one in Heliopolis. You shall lead the ox and content the imperishable stars with your abundance from the grassland in which the gods have abundance and on which the ox feed. Your eyes have been opened by the earth. Your disassembled parts have been raised by the lord of rebellion town. Foremost of Akmim shall raise you, having given great bread and that wine water. The tree shall follow you. The sitter shall turn its head to you. This is a king given offering given to you as you for whom Anubis acts. Address to the Spirit as King Provisioning the Spirit Greeting the Gods Address to the Spirit at Dawn Joining the Gods O Nemtem Zaf Marin Ra, so you, at that portal of the Ba's enclosure, you will give your arm toward them, and they will come to you in obeisance. You shall strike them with the baton and direct them with the scepter, in accordance with your new state, as one of the possessors of honor. Invoking the gods at dawn. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra knows your name. Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra is not ignorant of your name. He of the crown is the name of your father. Your mother is peaceful, who gives birth to you morning by morning. Limitless's birth shall not be barred in the Akhet, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. Selket's birth shall not be barred, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. The two shores shall not be barred to Horus, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. Orion's birth shall not be barred, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. Sothis's birth shall not be barred, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. The two rutting gods, the sons' sons, whom he has desired, shall not be barred from him, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. Path's parter's birth shall not be barred in the pothouse, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. People shall not be barred from the king, the god's son, unless you bar Nemtime Zaf Marin Ra from coming to the place where you are. 
your crew of imperishable stars shall not be barred from rowing you, unless you bar them from letting Nemtimzoff Marin Ra descend into that boat of yours. People shall not be barred from death, unless you bar Nemtimzoff Marin Ra from descending into that boat of yours. People shall not be barred from eating bread, unless should bar Nemtimzoff Marin Ra from descending into that boat of yours. Nem times off, Marin Ra is destroys them, the messenger of the sun, and Nem times off, Marin Ra cannot be barred from the sky. The swallow wart bush, doorkeeper of the sky, has given her arms toward Nem times off, Marin Ra. Face behind him, ferryman of the winding canal has landed for him. Roadblocks will not be barred and will not be made against Nem times off, Marin Ra. He is one of you gods. Nemtime Zoff Marin Ra has come to you, son. Nemtime Zoff has come to you, limitless, that he might row you and extend protection to you. Nemtime Zoff Marin Ra loves you in his belly. Nemtime Zoff Marin Ra loves you in his heart. How beautiful is the sight, how satisfying to see, says Isis. How this god goes up to the sky with his ba on him his ferocity at his sides, his magic at his feet. It will be done for him by a tomb, like that which was done for him. He will fetch for you the gods who belong to the sky, having assembled for you the gods who belong to the earth. And they shall put their arms under you, having made a ladder for you so that you might mount on it to the sky. The starry sky's door will be opened to you, a tomb will join together the countryside for you and give you the towns of Geb, who argued for it, the mounds, Horus's mounds and Seth's mounds, and the Marsh of Reeds. You are Ayahis, foremost of the Nile Valley land. You are Deadwin, foremost of Boland. You are Subdu under his mangroves. Have they killed you or said you should die for them? You have become the most permanent of wild bulls against them, and you shall be at their fore, alive and enduring forever. Put Horus's eye on the wing of his brother Seth, tie the lashings, untie the ferry boats for a son of a tomb. A tomb's son is not marooned. Now, Nemtimzoff Marin Ra is a tomb's son, and a tomb's son is not marooned. Oh, you with the fist, ferryman of the winding canal, fetch that ferry boat for Nemtimzoff Marin Ra and ferry Nemtimzoff Marin Ra. Becoming the Sun's Uraeus, sending the spirit to the gods. Address to the living. Please be still, people, and listen, but foremost of Westerners. Address to the spirit at dawn. Raise yourself, Nem Times Off Marin Ra. Raise yourself, you of the great Adze. Raise yourself from off your left. Put yourself on your right. Wash your arms with this fresh water that your father Osiris has given you. I have farmed barley, I have reaped emmer, and I have made with them offerings for your festivals that foremost of Westerners has made for you. Your face is that of a jackal. Your middle is that of Kebehut. Your rear is a broad hall. A stairway to the sky shall be laid down that you may go up. You shall judge between the two great gods at the dual Ennead's side. Isis will cry out for you. Nephthys will scream for you. And she of Buto will sit at your seat's feet. You shall take your two oars, one of Juniper, the second of pine, and cross the lake to your house, the great green, and save yourself from the one who did this to you. Aha! Beware of the great lake.
the pyramid texts of Pepi II. Spells for entering the womb of Newt. The king's titulary. The living one, the dual king, Nefriker, the divine one of the two ladies' appearance, Pepi alive forever. The living one, the divine one of Horus' appearance, the dual king, Nefriker, the sun's bodily son, alive forever. The living one, the divine one of Horus' appearance, the dual king, Nefriker, the divine one of the two ladies' appearance, Pepi, the sun's son and Geb's heir, Nefriker, given life like the sun forever. The Living One, the Divine One of Horus's appearance, the Dual King, Nefriker, the Divine One of the Two Ladies' appearance, Nefriker, the Controlling Falcon of Gold, Pepi, the Sun's Son, Geb's heir, and Newt's child, alive forever. The Living One, the Divine One of Horus's appearance, the Dual King, the Divine One of the Two Ladies' appearance, the controlling falcon of gold, Pepi Nefriker, Geb's heir, alive like the sun forever. The living one, the divine one of Horus's appearance, the dual king, Pepi Nefriker, the controlling falcon of gold, Pepi Nefriker, the sun's son, Geb's heir, Pepi Nefriker, given life, stability, authority, and all happiness forever. The living one, the divine one of Horus's appearance, the dual king, Pepi Nefriker, Nefriker, Nefriker alive forever. Awakening the Spirit Awakening the Spirit as Osiris, cleansing and clothing the Spirit, offering to the Spirit, address to the Spirit as Osiris in the Duat. Invoking Horus on behalf of the spirit. Horus invokes the spirit. I am Horus, Osiris Pepi Nefriker. I will not let you suffer. Come forth, awake to me that I may tend you. Sending the spirit to Newt. Ascending as a falcon. O oh, Pepi Nefriker, with gaping mouth, you with braids, come to him, come to him. Upswellings to the sky, upswellings to the earth. The plumage of this Pepi Nefriker is that of a bird, and he will reach the sky as two falcons, as the god, the marsh of reeds, as a star that crosses the great green. Pepi Nefriker's plumes are the Sokar boat's plumes, his goings are Anubis's goings. Pepi Nefriker has sped away from you all. Invoking the Gods Address to the Spirit Invoking the Sun Sensing Osiris Pepi Nefriker, here is the scent of Horus's eye on you. Here is Horus's eye which he spread out in its scent. Address to the spirit as Osiris. O oh, Osiris Pepi Nefriker, Thoth has fetched Horus for you in his identity of. Horus has come and will allot you among the gods. The gods have made you sound, for they love you. The gods have desired you for Horus in your identity of the one from Elephantine. The gods have made for you Horus in your identity of the Eye. Horus has seized Seth for you and put him under you, that he may bear you and tremble under you in the earth's trembling. Don't let him get away from you. Oh, you have been swept from him. Emerge, take up your position on him. Return him to yourself. Jump on him. Life, clasp your arms all around him in your identity of the dove. Don't let loose of him. Don't let him go out of you. Horus has put your opponents under you, transported and guided. Thoth has allotted them to you, dragged them to you, felled them for you, under you, and has given Horus's eye, that you may be content, it to you. Horus has filled you complete with his eye, 
in its identity of the deposited offering. Horus has rescued his eye from Seth and given it to you. This, his sweet eye, return it to yourself. Oh, may it endure with you. Your limbs has made sound. You have ascended. Oh, Osiris Pepi, never care. Horus will not imbibe from you in your identity of the inundation. Horus has stood you up. Don't totter. Bear up your heart. Let your heart grow with happiness. Horus has given you his children that they might bear you and follow you, and you might have control of them. Horus's children have lifted you up in your identity of the Sokar boat, in your identity of Sokar. Be alive and move about every day in your identity of the Akhet, from whom the sun emerges, esteemed, sharp, for the course of eternity. Osiris Pepi never care with Horus's eye. Ascending to Newt Boarding the Sunboat Neferker's kilt is that of a sky official, and Pepi Neferker's enclosure is there among those who have identities. The sun in the cool waters, and the populace as well, as his two boats will speak to him, for the identity of Pepi Neferker is there as one of the Akhet, at whose voice the sacred images grow afraid. Pepi Neferker will return inside the great circuit beside him who is in his terrorizing. Any god who will give up to Pepi never care will become powerful enough to acquire his body against his opponents. Pepi never care, Ma'at, and enliven peace out of fighting, beside him who demands. That is Pepi never care. Ascending to Newt Pepi never care is an equipped Ak who demands to come into being. The sky is shouting, the earth is moving. Pepi never cares birth in the beginning of the month, and Pepi never cares conception in the middle of the month. He has emerged on a locust's vertebra, and among those children of an attacker hornet. Pepi never cares wings, those of Urei. Pepi never care has gone to sleep after ascending to the sun every day, and the shrine of the sun's boat has been opened to him when the sun shines. Pepi never care has gone up on a cloud and descended in water. Pepi never care is an equipped Ak who demands to come into being. Pepi never care will put Ma'at before the sun on the day of the New Year's festival. The sun is in contentment, and the earth is in gladness, for they have heard that Pepi never care will put Ma'at, and they will greet Pepi never care's entrance in his court because of the correct phrase that comes from his mouth. Pepi Nefercare has demanded his requirement as ruler, two auroras of land. Pepi Nefercare is a big falcon who demands to come into being. Pepi Nefercare will course the sky on its four parts. Pepi Nefercare has gone up on a cloud and descended in water. Pepi Nefercare is an equipped Ak. Pepi Nefercare is a big falcon on the battlements of hidden identities enclosure who takes a tomb's property to him who sweeps the sky away from the earth and knew, for Pepi never cares eyes are those of the Lord of Sunlight, his lips those of the bull of sacred images, for his neck is that of the mistress of flame, for his claws are those of the bull of the evening, for his wings are those of thighs forward in the midst of his shrine. Authoritative utterance has been given to Pepi never care, as he whose face suffered beside him who is in new, the seniority of Pepi Nefercare as foremost of Heliopolis will be a continual title. He who moves about is the one who has directed Pepi Nefercare toward the marsh of sunlight. His hands have fallen on him whose dispatches circulate north of the island of Elephantine. He has strewn the earth with sunlight in his first sacred image beside, seas behind him. He has reached the Akhet with the leading Uraeus in his first birth. He has gone away from the place of sharp glances. Pepi Nefercare has become effective in his Ba of first of his cavern. Tree at the shoulder of the tree. 
The identity of Pepi Nefercare has been made as a divine falcon of whom he who passes him is afraid. For Pepi Nefercare is the firstborn, senior to the terrorizer in the surroundings of him of the enclosure. Pepi Nefercare is now off to his place of Malachite, and his food is now in the marshes of rest and the lakes of turquoise. Untold numbers will cry out to him when he is established in the sky forever and Pepi Nefercare will lead the sun in his two Ma'at boats on the day of closing out the year. Adorning the Spirit as King Commending the Spirit to Newt and Thoth Cleansing and Clothing the Spirit Invoking the Spirit and Newt Geb commends the Spirit to Newt Cleansing the newborn spirit. Crowning the spirit as king. Tending the spirit as Osiris. Osiris Pepi never care. I have arrayed you with Horus's eye, this Renenutet, of whom the gods have been fearful, that the gods may be fearful of you, like they are fearful of Horus's eye. Osiris Pepi never care. Except Horus's eye that I have made, for he has shot it. Address to the spirit as Osiris in the Duat. O Father Osiris Pepi, never care. Live. Be alive in this your identity that is with the gods, apparent as parter, as the ram at the fore of the living, as the controlling one at the fore of the ox. Such is this Pepi never care, who is amongst you gods. Your baton is set in your hand, Pepi never care, that you may open the ram bolted gates that bar the Feneku. You shall number those of the night, direct the nine bows, and take the hand of the imperishable stars. The great ones shall gather to you, and the watchers shall wait for you, for Horus, who tends his father. O oh, Pepi never care, how elder is he who sleeps, how great he who is asleep, for this elder one has spent the night abed. Awake, raise yourself, for great praise is toward you, and the great scent is toward you. Pleasant to your nose is the scent of the firstborn's thing. Wash yourself, for you have received these, your four washing jars, that have been filled from the god's canal, that you may become clean through them as a god and go forth through them as the sun's eye. So, stand at the fore of the imperishable stars, governing at their fore as Geb, at the fore of the Enead's body, a Heliopolitan governing in the session of the living God. Acquire the crown as a sole star who wipes out his opponents. Behold the manner of your going, Pepi never care, which Horus described to his father Osiris through which he became Ba, through which he became Ak, through which he became esteemed. O oh, Pepi Nefercare, come that I may do it for you, Father Pepi Nefercare, and you may become Ba through it, become Ak through it, and become esteemed through it, that you may become Ba through it and take control through it. Father Pepi Nefercare, you have become Ba, Ak, and esteemed. You have your Ba around you, you have your Ak within you, and you have your heart of your body. I have severed your shackles as Horus in his royal house. I have loosed for you, Father Pepi Nefercare, your hobbles as Seth in Takbit, and you have entered into the house of defense, for your father Geb has defended you. He who will reject you will not live, he who calls behind you, one who goes back, that is not your name. Horus's eye shall endure for you. Put your hand on this your bread. Endow yourself with this your bread like Horus endowed himself with his eye. This is it, in the distinguished identity of the endowed offering. Supply yourself with this your bread like Horus supplied himself with his eye. This is it, in the distinguished identity of the supplied offering. So. Ascend to the sky amongst the gods, because of this your identity, which your father Osiris has made for you, as Horus of the Duat, the identity that strikes them, that destroys them, 
that spews them out, and you will strike them, destroy them, and spew them out at the lake, at the great green, your fingernails, hackers of the enclosure of your hunter's hunt. Behold, this which I have done for you, Father Pepi, never care. I have taken you away from your impediment, and cannot give you, Pepi, never care, to your hunter's hunt, which is the she centipede that is in your sight, ox. The sky's door has been opened to you, the cool water's door has been pulled open to you. You shall call to the moorer as Isis, the mooring post, shall call to you as Nephthys. Be apparent on the great causeway and circulate in the Horus Mounds. Circulate in the Seth Mounds. I have been effective for you, Father Pepi, never care. I have not been useless for you, occupying you and making firm your jar stand and your bread. Your bread is at its proper time. Your morning bread is at its proper time, Pepi, never care. Your bread is present every day. Let me assure you, that the one I have mentioned to you will continue to exist, the tomb which is the limit of the vision of him whose identity is distinguished. You should associate with your predecessor, Osiris. You have your ox, your fowl, your thousand of red, your thousand of figs, your thousand of wine, your thousand of sitter bread, your thousand of roast grain, to which Geb gave birth for you. Water shall provide nurture for you, the outflow that comes from Osiris shall provide nurture for you. Ah, to you, Father Pepi, never care. You have your water, you have your inundation. You have your milk that is from your mother Isis's breasts. The sky has shouted, the earth trembled, and the gods have grown excited before the birth of the god. O oh, Pepi, never care. Geb has given you and Newt has received you. So, you shall go forth to the sky, and the sky's door shall be opened to you. The earth shall be plowed for you, an offering shall be laid down for you. Your grasp shall be taken by the sunlight, and the populace will be given to you. Seth shall ferry you in the winding canal as the one in the tomb. You shall find the two effective goddesses waiting, and they shall put what is at their head at your head, put what is at their neck at your neck, and commend you to the fore of all the Enneads as the heir of Geb. New will be given to you under your feet of a tomb as the eldest son of the sky. Boarding the Night Boat and Day Boat Do not be ignorant of Pepi never care, God, since you know him. Do not make Pepi never care ignorant of you, God, since Pepi never care knows you whom Pepi never care calls, he who has perished. Do not be ignorant of Pepi never care, son, since you know him. Do not make Pepi never care ignorant of you, son, since Pepi never care knows you, whom Pepi never care calls esteemed, eldest of those who have been provided for, lord of all. Do not be ignorant of Pepi never care, Thoth, since you know Pepi never care. Do not make Pepi never care ignorant of you, Thoth, since Pepi never care knows you, whom Pepi never care calls, he who sets alone. Do not be ignorant of Pepi never care, you in the Duat, since you know him. Do not make Pepi never care ignorant of you, you in the Duat, since he knows you, whom Pepi never care calls, he who wakes sound. Do not be ignorant of Pepi never care, so thick Horus since you know him. Do not make Pepi never care ignorant of you, Sothic Horus, since he knows you, whom Pepi never care calls difficult. Do not be ignorant of Pepi never care, Skybull, since you know him. Do not make Pepi never care ignorant of you, Skybull, since he knows you, whom Pepi never care calls that enduring one of the undersky. Look, Pepi never care has come, Look, Pepi never care has emerged. Pepi never care has not come of his own accord. What came for Pepi never care was a god's dispatch, and the god's word is elevating Pepi never care to the path above that Ba's house, and Pepi never care has missed the Great Lake's wrath. 
Pepi Nefercare will cross in the great ferry boat without a fare having been taken in it. The white palace of the great ones cannot bar him on the beaten path of stars. For look, Pepi Nefercare has reached the sky's height, and the populace have seen him. Pepi Nefercare will call for the cobra in the night boat. Pepi Nefercare is the one who will row in it. Pepi Nefercare will recognize the Uraeus in the day boat. Pepi Nefercare is the one who bails it. Pepi Nefercare, in turn, in each of the two identities he has. Pepi Nefercare shall be taken by, and Pepi Nefercare to the sun. Awakening the Spirit Cool natron water of the deltas and Nile Valley's throat has been given. Wash your face, Osiris, and your second long wings, and your third, love commander. The shrine will await you. The new moon festival will be made for you. The first of the month festivals will be made for you, and the middle of the month festivals will occur for you. The six-day meal will be made for you, and the festival calendar will occur for you as the Great One at the Four of Heliopolis. Shake, sky. Tremble, earth. Before the Great One as he stands up. The sky's door has been opened to him, and he shall pull open the cool water's door. The earth has been hacked for you, and a presented offering laid down for you. Arms will be given in jubilation for you. Drumming will go down for you. The great mooring post will speak to you as Isis. The West will call out to you as Nephthys, to you as Horus, who has tended his father Osiris. Spells for the Sarcophagus Being tended by Nephthys Hey you, Pepi Nefercare! Turn about, you, Pepi Nefercare! I am Nephthys. I have come that I may take hold of you and give you your heart for your body. Osiris Pepi Nefercare, I have come excited for love of you, Pepi Nefercare. Osiris Pepi Nefercare, I have deflected the expectoration of Seth from you. I am streaming. I am dripping. I have gathered my brother and joined together his limbs. My heart is full for the place where you are. How dangerous is your scent. How lacking is your scent. How great is your scent. You, Nephthys, are the one who wails over him. Entering the Womb of Newt Horus has fetched Pepi Nefercare, desiring him because Pepi Nefercare has fetched his eye for him. Seth has fetched Pepi Nefercare, desiring him because Pepi Nefercare has fetched his testicles for him. Doth has fetched Pepi Nefercare, desiring him because Pepi Nefercare has fetched his arms for him. The two Enneads have shaken with fear for them, for they are the very fetchers who desire Pepi Nefercare and fetch Pepi Nefercare to peace, and they shall fetch Pepi Nefercare to peace. Being Tended by Isis and Horus Hey you, Pepi, turn about, you Pepi Nefercare. I am Isis. I have come that I may take hold of you and give you your heart for your body. Osiris Pepi Nefercare, I am Isis. I have come, Earth's favorite, having returned to the place where you are. I have come that I may take hold of you. Horus is here within your arms so that he may tend you. He has become Ak again with you in your identity of the Akhet from which the sun emerges. Enfold your arms all about him and he will not be away from you. Osiris Pepi never care. Your bones have been tied together for you. Your limbs have been joined together for you. Your heart has been set in its place for you. Osiris Pepi never care. Do not groan. Do not moan. Osiris Pepi never care. I have gotten your heart into your body for you. I have put it in its place for you. Should it be demanded from you, don't give it. Osiris Pepi never care. I am Horus. I have come that I may defend you from your opponent because of what he has done to you. Osiris Pepi Nefercare, I have commended you to your mother Newt, 
that she may raise you. Osiris Pepi, Nefercare, I have come that I may defend you. Newt, collect him to you. Newt, raise him to you. Horus's children. Osiris Pepi, Nefercare, I am Newt, the granary. I will wipe the mouth of Osiris Pepi, Nefercare. Being tended by Newt and Geb. Recitation by Newt. I shall protect your perfection inside this, my Ba, for all life, stability, authority, and health for the Divine One of Horus's appearance, the Dual King, Pepi Never Care, the Divine One of the Two Ladies' appearance, Never Care, the Controlling Falcon of Gold, Pepi Never Care, alive forever. Recitation by Geb All life, stability, health, and happiness for the Divine One of Horus' appearance, the Dual King, Pepi Never Care, within my arms, alive, stable, and healthy forever. The Offering and Insignia Rituals Initial Mouth Opening Ritual Receive your head. Bread. Your head has been placed for you. Your head has been set to the bones for you. Give him his eyes that he may be content. The Offering Slab. Geb has given you your eyes that you may be content. O oh, Osiris Pepi never care. Horus's eye. A jar of water. Thoth set his head on him. A vase of water. Have it brought to him. A drinking cup of water. O oh, Osiris Pepi never care. I have come in search of you. I am Horus. I have penetrated your mouth for you. I am your son, whom you desired. I have parted your mouth for you. Announce him to his mother, for she is bewailing him. Announce him to her who unites with him. How sweet is your mouth, for your mouth has been adjusted for you to your bones. Osiris Pepi never care, I have parted your mouth for you with the one who stole Horus's eye. How sweet is your mouth, for your mouth has been adjusted for you to your bones. Your mouth has been parted for you, your eyes have been parted for you. O oh, Pepi never care, your mouth has been parted with Anubis's Adze, the metal striker that parted the mouth of the gods. Horus, open the mouth of this Pepi never care. Horus, part the mouth of this Pepi never care. Horus has opened the mouth of this Pepi never care. Horus has parted the mouth of Pepi never care with that which he parted the mouth of his father, with that with which he parted the mouth of Osiris, with the metal that came from Seth, the metal striker that parted the mouth of the gods. The mouth of this Pepi never care has been parted with it, and he shall go and claim his body with the big Ennead in the official's enclosure in Heliopolis, and acquire the crown with Horus, lord of the elite. Osiris Pepi never care. I have fetched you, your son whom you love, and your mouth has been parted. Presentation of Royal Regalia Horus has now gilded his eyes' surface, the falcon of gold. O oh, Father Osiris Pepi, never care, I will fix for you Horus's eye in your head, the headband. Horus in Osiris Pepi never care, except Horus's eyes to your face. O oh, Osiris Pepi never care, except Horus's one eye and see with it, the one of his body, and be measured through it. It shall lead you in the world, and you shall let your throat breathe through it. Osiris Pepi never care, except the burning ones. Osiris Pepi never care, here is Horus's one eye of his body. You shall see through it, it shall ascend to you, and lead you on the path. You shall let your throat breathe through it, and it will endure for you, with you. Pepi never care, wear it, and it will give life to your forehead. O oh, Pepi never care, provide yourself with it, 
and it will make you a god. The people, Uraeus. The living god, Uraeus. The duel, Uraeus. Osiris Pepi Nefercare, the pupils in Horus's eyes, have also been set for you in your head. Pepi Nefercare, they have been set on you. Pepi Nefercare, they will extend protection over you. They will be with you, Osiris Nefercare, as your two Ka's with their aegis around you, and they will lead you. The duel, Uraei. Osiris Pepi never care, these eyes are Horus's two eyes, which you should give to either side of your head. Pepi never care, they will become your two Ka's for you. They will be atop you, Pepi never care, as the two great of magic crowns. Osiris Pepi never care, they will be to you as the two great of magic crowns. Elevate Horus's two eyes to your face. The dual great of magic. Osiris Pepi never care except your eye from which you were distant, and its magic will be great in opposition. Osiris Pepi never care except Horus's eye, the great of magic, and see with it. Father, accept the eye and see with it. Your eye has been parted that you may see with it. The collar tie. Osiris Pepi never care except Horus's eye, which Seth hid. Osiris Pepi never care, it shall spread in him, the Nile Valley God Vulture. Osiris Pepi never care, except Horus's eye of which you said, its magic is greater than mine. Osiris Pepi never care, except Horus's eye, great of magic, the great of magic vulture. Libation and Sensing Osiris Pepi never care, except Horus's eye, his sound one, a citula. Osiris Pepi never care, except Horus's eye, the sound one of your body. This sound eye of Horus is sound. Acquire. I have gotten it for you. Horus's sound eye that is from. Oh, Pepi never care, with it, provide. Osiris Pepi never care. Horus has given you his sound eye, and it will make sound. Osiris Pepi never care. Libation Sensing Horus and Osiris Pepi never care. Accept Horus's eye with you. Here is Horus's eye, which spread out to him in its scent. Osiris Pepi never care. Here is Horus's eye. Provide yourself with its scent. Osiris Pepi never care, Horus has given you his eye. Provide your face with it. O oh, Pepi never care, I have come having gotten Horus's eye for you. You should provide your face with it, and it will cleanse you with its scent on you. Let the scent of Horus's eye be on this Pepi never care, and remove what is bad in you, and defend you from the inundation of the hand of Seth. Oh, Pepi never care. Horus's sound eye will endure with you. Horus's sound eye is sound. Horus and this Osiris Pepi never care. Provide yourself with Horus's eye. Accept it for yourself. Osiris Pepi never care. Horus has filled you complete with his eye. Cleansing the mouth with salt water. Osiris Pepi never care, except these your cool waters, that it may be cool for you with Horus, in your identity of the one who comes in the cool waters. Accept the outflow that comes from you. Horus has had the gods gather for you where you go. Horus has had Horus's children allotted to you where you have become immersed. Osiris Pepi never care, except your natron, that you may become divine. Newt has made you a god to your opponent in your identity of god. Horus shall take account of you year by year, rejuvenated in your identity of the rejuvenated waters. The Mouth Opening Ritual Give cool water, take a round. The Mouth Opening Meal Lifting before his face, sweeping the offering table. 
one white quartzite bowl of beer. Anointing Presentation of eye paint Lift before his face Osiris Pepe never care. Horus' eye has been painted sound on your face. Horus in this Osiris Pepe never care, except Horus' sound eye. Horus in this Osiris Pepe never care, I will paint it on your face. Horus has painted his eye sound. O oh, Pepe never care, your eyes have been painted sound on your face that you might see with them. Presentation of Linen Libation and Cleansing Preparation of the Offering Table The Great Meal The King's Offering A King and Geb give an offering to this Pepe never care. You have been given every dedicated offering and every deposited offering that you might want and with which it will be well for you with the gods for the course of eternity. Osiris Pepe never care. Horus has come to you that he might gather you. You are his father. Betake yourself to Geb. Geb has given you your eyes that you might be content. Osiris Pepe never care. You are his Ka. Accept this great one's eyes, Osiris Pepe never care. Be content with them. Let your face be peaceful to Horus. You are his father. Here is the bud of Horus's eyes slipping. Horus has given to you. Here is the bud of Horus's eye, which they have licked. Horus has given to you. Here is Horus's eye, which he netted. I have given to you. Accept the foam that comes from Osiris. Osiris Pepe never care. Take the waters that are from you. Horus has given to you. Accept Horus's eye. Part your mouth with it. Osiris Pepe never care. Here is Horus's green eye, which he acquired. Horus has given to you. Here is Horus's eye jumping around. Horus has given to you. Here is Horus's eye, which he carried off. Horus has given to you. Here is Horus's white eye, which he put on as a headband. Horus has given to you. Here is Horus's green eye, which he put on as a headband. Horus has given to you. Here is Horus's eye, which he has allocated. Horus has given to you. Here is Horus's eye, which he wrenched away. Horus has given to you. Osiris Pepe never care, except Horus's eye. Make yourself a gift of it. Oh, Osiris Pepe never care. This sweet eye of Horus, return it to yourself. Allot it to yourself. May it endure with you. Osiris Pepe never care. This firm eye of Horus, let me give it to you that you may become powerful and your opponent may be fearful of you. Osiris Pepe never care, Horus has filled you complete with his eye as the deposited offering. Presentation of the Kilt Osiris Pepe, I have gotten for you Horus's eye that was in Tait town, the nurturer of whom the gods have been fearful that the gods may be fearful of you like they are fearful of Horus. Osiris Pepe never care. Horus has put his eye in your front, in its identity of the grade of magic. Osiris Pepe never care. You have appeared as dual king. Presentation of Sword and Dagger Presentation of Kilt Regalia Presentation of Linen Osiris Pepe never care, whom you awaken because of Horus's eye. Presentation of Maces, Scepters, and Staves Osiris Pepe never care, betake yourself to your son Horus. 
place him within you. I am Isis. Go behind me, Father Osiris Pepi Nefercare. Presentation of Bows and Arrows Horus has saved himself from his opponent. Horus has arrayed himself with the woven cloth. This Pepi is justified with the gods. This Nefercare has acquired the crown with the big Ennead that is in Heliopolis. Horus in Osiris Pepi sees him. Seth, go under this Nefercare. Splay that one yonder who has stood up. Seize him. Except I have given him to you. Put him under you. Don't let him go away from you. Presentation of Other Equipment Osiris Pepi never care. This is the Eye of Horus that he demanded from Seth. Osiris Pepi never care. Horus has given you his eye in your arm. Osiris Pepi never care. I would have given you Horus's eye. Give me your arm that I may give it to you. Osiris Pepi never care. I have struck that which would lay waste, for I have desired you. I am the one who tends his father in you. Osiris Pepi never care. That which will tend you has come. Acquire Horus's eye. I am Horus. Osiris Pepi never care. Give me your arm. Acquire. Osiris Pepi never care. Against you. Osiris Pepi never care. Your left hand that you may lead with it. Be watchful, great one, against him. Give me your arm that I may let you stand up. I have come that I might embrace you. I have come that I might defend you. I will tend you. I cannot delay tending you. Be alive, be alive, live. You belong to the gods, but are sounder than they. Live, Father Osiris Pepi never care. Horus's eye has been set for you, with you. I have come that I might strike the one who pulled you down, that I might prevent you from being immersed. Osiris Pepi never care. I have come that I might tend you. Osiris Pepi never care. I have given you. May it endure for you, with you. Osiris, I have given you. Horus's eye is with you. It will endure for you, with you. I have come that I might strike the one who pulled you down, that I might prevent you from being immersed. Sensing Presentation of Two Bows Oh, Pepi never care, I am your son, I am Horus. I have come, having gotten for you Horus's two eyes of his body. Seize them, combine them to yourself. I have gathered them for you. I have joined them to you complete. Horus has placed them before this Pepi never care, that they may lead this Pepi to the cool waters with Horus, to the sky with the great god, and save this Pepi from all his opponents. Osiris Pepi never care. I have gotten you Horus's two eyes, which spread out his heart. Gather them to you. Seize them for yourself. Horus in Osiris Pepi, I have gotten for you Horus's two eyes, which spread out his heart. Gather them to you, seize them for yourself. O oh, Pepi, I am Horus. I have come, having gotten you Horus's two eyes, which spread out his heart. Gather them to you, seize them for yourself. Opening the Mouth of the Deceased's Statue Newt has lifted your head for you, Shu. She has acquired all the gods, acquired Horus and his great of magic crown as well, and acquired Seth and his great of magic crown as well. She has come forth on your head, having gotten all the gods for you, that you might take them and give them life so as to be your strength for you. May you escort with them this Osiris Pepi never care, and prevent him from dying, for you have become the Ka of all the gods and have appeared as dual king, in control of all the gods and their cause as well. O oh, Shu, Atum's son, this here is Osiris Pepi never care. He lives and you live, active for you, Shu, esteemed for you, Shu, honored for you, Shu, 
in control for you, Shu. May you escort this Osiris Pepi never care. With your escort, he will not die. Osiris Pepi never care, Horus has parted your mouth for you and parted your eyes for you with the gods Booth Adze, with the great of magic Adze, with which the mouth of every god of the Nile Valley has been parted. Clothing the Statue Osiris Pepi never care, Horus has given you his children complete. Do not groan, do not moan. Horus' children, betake yourselves to him, endow him with his limbs. Pepi never care, the divine linen shall complete your body. Take hold, do not revert. Take hold of Newt and she will be with you. You are your ox and your love. Pepi never care, Horus's sound eye has been tied on for you. Goddess from Tait town, spread yourself under Pepi never care, with your arms about this Pepi never care, and seize his head, raise his flesh, join together his limbs for him, remove his outflow, and defend him from the inundation of Seth's hand. O oh, Pepi never care, Horus has arrayed you with the woven cloth from Tait town, with which he arrayed his father, with which he arrayed Osiris. Provide yourself with it, and it will provide you as a god, and endure for you, with you. Osiris Pepi never care, I have gotten Horus's eye for you. This is the effective part of Horus, through which Horus becomes Ak. Osiris Pepi never care, I have gotten it for you, in its every character, that you may become Ak through it may live through it and return through it. Anointing the Statue Horus came, filled with oil. He sought his father Osiris and found him on his side in Gazal land, and Osiris filled himself with the eye of the one to whom he gave birth. O oh, Pepi, never care. I have come to you too, that I might fill you with the oil that comes from Horus's eye. When I fill you with it, it will tie together your bones, join together your limbs for you, collect your flesh for you, and release your bad sweat. Receive its scent on you, and your scent will be sweet like the sun when he comes from the Akhet, and the Akhet gods are agreeable to him. O oh, Pepi, never care. The scent of Horus's eye is on you, and the gods who follow Osiris will be agreeable to you. Acquire their crown equipped with the form of Osiris and you will become thereby more Ak than the Ox, by command of Horus himself, Lord of the Elite. Osiris Pepi never care. The gods have tied on your face for you, and Horus has given you his eye that you may see with it. Osiris Pepi never care. Horus has parted your eye for you that you may see with it, in its identity of the one who parts the gods' ways. Pepi never care. Here is Horus's eye. Live and see with it. Osiris Pepi never care, your face has been parted in the sunlight. Osiris Pepi never care, your face has been brightened at land bright. Osiris Pepi never care, I have given you Horus's eye as the sun shows himself. Osiris Pepi never care, Horus's eye has been set for you with you that you may see with it. Osiris Pepi never care, I have parted your eye that you may see with it. Osiris Pepi, never care. I have filled you with oil. Commending the Spirit to Geb O oh, Geb, this Osiris Pepi, never care, is your son. Give life to your son in him, make sound your son in him, that he may not die, and he will not die. He lives as you live, he is sound as you are sound. Active for you, Geb, esteemed for you, Geb. Ba for you, Geb. In control for you, Geb. As you are in control, may you remove every bad thing that is against this Osiris Pepi never care. When you escort this Osiris Pepi never care, he will not die, and his identity will not perish. Osiris Pepi never care, I have come to meet you. I am Horus. I have come that I may speak on your behalf. I am your son. Osiris Pepi never care, you are the eldest son of Geb. 
his firstborn, and his heir. Osiris Papi Neferker, you are the one who appears in his wake, for the inheritance has been given to you by the Ennead. You are in control of the Ennead, and every god as well, which has come forth on your head. Invocation of the Offering Ritual Invocation of the Insignia Ritual Hey, you, Pepi, never care. Turn about, you, Pepi, never care. You have gone that you may govern Horus's mounds, govern Seth's mounds, and speak governance of Osiris's mounds. A king given offering, your son on your throne, you clad in your leopard skin, you clad in your kilt, you going in your reed sandals, you butchering a bull, you going in the Tura Papyrus column boat. In all your places, in all your insignia, your water lily bud scepter at the fore of the living, your staff at the fore of the ox. Should the senior go, he will tend his son. Be dressed in your body and return to me. Horus's eye shall endure for you, with you. Procession with the Statue Shu, as you encircle everything within your arms, may you, this Osiris Pepi, never care and prevent him from being taken away from you. Shu, you are the eldest son of a tomb. He used his penis on you so that you might be. May you encircle your arms about this Pepi, never care as his ka, and defend him from. Osiris Pepi never care, your, that he might live. You are the god, the Nile Valley great of magic crown. As the elder one grew silent, the senior god beached, and the one with long gray hair was sensed for the meal. You have gone forth in him, O oh, Pepi never care, to your ka. Your ka will stand up among the gods. Its own ferocity will come to be against them and defend your savior. O oh, Pepi, never care. Behold me. I am your son. Who bears ka in your wake? Who bears life in your wake? Who bears authority in your wake? Osiris, Pepi, never care. Horus's children, you should go under Osiris, Pepi, never care. Carry him. Let there be none of you who will turn back as you carry Osiris Pepi never care. Osiris Pepi never care. Horus has carried you in the Sokar boat, bearing you as Sokar. He is a son who bears his father Osiris never care in your identity of Sokar. You are in control of the Nile Valley through this Horus through whom you exercise control. Pepi never care. Horus has made your magic great in your identity of great of magic. Osiris Pepi never care, Horus has carried you in his arms, bearing you in your identity of Sokar. You are in control of the Nile Valley through this Horus, through whom you exercise control. You are in control of the Delta through this Horus, through whom you exercise control. Osiris Pepi never care, Horus has given you his children, that they might bear you, and you might have control of them. Horus's children, you should go under Pepi never care and carry him. Let there be none of you who will turn back. Bring them toward you, Osiris Pepi never care, and they will carry you with none of them who will turn back. Osiris Pepi never care, Geb has given you all the gods of the Nile Valley and Delta, that they might bear you, and you might control them. They are your brothers in their identity of the flagpole shrines. They cannot reject you in their identity of the dual shrines. Osiris Pepi never care, Horus has allotted them to you united. Osiris Pepi never care, you have been tended, alive and moving about every day. Osiris Pepi never care, there is nothing of you that can be disturbed. Osiris Pepi never care, you are the Ka of all the gods. Horus has tended you, and you have become his ka. The eye has emerged in your head as the Nile Valley great of magic. This Osiris Pepi, never care, is the eldest son of Geb and Newt. This Pepi, never care, is Osiris, whom Geb bore that he might make him dual king in his every insignia. Anubis, at the fore of the Westerners, has him 
as Osiris, Geb's son. The gods have him as Enjeti at the fore of the eastern countryside. The earth has him that he might be in front of the gods who belong to the sky as Geb at the fore of the Ennead. His mother, the sky, shall bear him alive every day like the sun. He shall appear with him in the east and go to rest with him in the west. His mother, Newt, shall not be void of him every day. His son shall provide this Pepi never care with life. He shall make it happy for his heart. He shall make it pleasant for his heart. He shall establish for him the Nile Valley. He shall establish for him the Delta. He shall hack up for him Asia's fortresses. He shall clear away for him the rebellious subjects from under his fingers. Reversion of Offerings and Libations Smashing the Offering Vessels The Resurrection Ritual Invocation of Geb the basic ritual provisioning the resurrected spirit commending the spirit to the gods Pepi Nefercare is a keening falcon in the midst of the duat who goes around Horus's eye great don't Pepi Nefercare Pepi Nefercare is a falcon sensed with and Pepi Nefercare has sensed you with it Pepi Nefercare is off to the eastern side of Newt. Pepi Nefercare will be conceived there. Pepi Nefercare will be born there. He whom the great heat foretold has come forth from the interior Aket and has seen the arrangement of the festival calendar and the making of braziers on the birth of the gods on the five epigominal days on your arms. Great breasted one in front of the inductees. May you find him there at the beginning of your document, among those who have made their names. Pepi Nefercare has been given birth by his mother, Begetter, in a rebirth in the nest of Thoth, inside the Tamarisk Marsh, the god's source. For Pepi Nefercare is your brother, who has come as a wise one who parts the two and splits up the two fighters, Horus and Seth, and who can split your heads, gods. The waters in Nu have been cut at the sound of the scream of Newt, the mother of Pepi Nefercare, when she gave birth to him and tied the headband on Pepi Nefercare as your greatest cause of trembling gods. The one at whom you trembled, gods, when Isis spoke against Nu. You have given him birth, Isis. You have taken him out of the mold and fully ejected him, but he has no legs and no arms. So with what has he been tied together? said the gods. Then that metal in the prow of the Sokar boat shall be fetched to him, by means of which he was tied together, by means of which he developed, and he will be raised by means of it inside your arms, said the gods. Look, he is tied together. Look, he has developed. So with what can we break his egg? said the gods. Then Sokar of Spread Lake will come for him, having smelted his harpoons, carved his prongs, and struck the two ferals of his two shafts. He is the one who will break his egg and untie his metal bands, and the god will proceed to his activity with sharp teeth and long nails, the god's leaders. Look, Pepi Nefercare has developed. Look, Pepi Nefercare is tied together. Look, Pepi Nefercare's egg has been broken for him. So, with what can Pepi Nefercare made to fly? Then the Sokar boat, the pure gold of him of the Sokar boat, will be fetched for you, and you will be made to fly in it, and you will be made to fly in it. For the south wind will be your nurturer, and the north wind will be your nurse. Pepi Nefercare will fly, and Pepi will land on the wings of his father Geb. Commending the spirit to Isis and Nephthys. The sky's door has been opened. The ark's door has been pulled open. The gods in pay are distraught, coming to Osiris Pepi never care at the sound of Isis's weeping and Nephthys's screaming. At the wailing of those two ox for this great one who comes from the Duat. 
The bars of pay will drum for you, hitting their flesh for you, striking their arms for you, shaking for you with their braids, grabbing their thighs for you and saying about you, Osiris Pepi never care. Though you go away, you shall return. Though you go to sleep, you shall wake up. Though you mourn, you shall live. Stand up and see what your son has done for you. Wake up and hear what Horus has done for you. He has hit for you the one who hit you as a bull. He has killed for you the one who killed you as a wild bull. He has tied up for you the one who tied you up and has put him under your eldest daughter in Kedem so that mourning over the dual shrines may end. Gods, Osiris shall speak for Horus because he has forcibly removed the bad that was against Pepi on his fourth day and has annihilated what was done against him on his eighth day. When you have emerged from the lake of life, become clean in the lake of cool water and become Path's parter. Your son Horus shall lead you, having given you the gods who are your opponents, Thoth having gotten them for you. How beautiful is the sight, how satisfying to see the sight of Horus giving life to his father and extending authority to Osiris as foremost of Westerners. Your libation has been libated by Isis and Nephthys has cleaned you. Your two elder and great sisters who have collected your flesh, raised your limbs, and made your eyes appear in your head. The night boat and day boat. A tomb has given to you. The dual Ennead has acted for you. Your firstborn child's children have raised you. Hapi, Imseti, Duamutef, and Kevin Senuaf whose identities as firstborn you made, who washed your face, dried your tears, and opened your mouth with their metal fingers. When you go forth, you shall go forth to a tomb's broad hall, go to the marsh of reeds, and course the great god's places. For you have been given the sky, you have been given the earth, you have been given the marsh of reeds by the two great gods who row you, Shu and Tefnut, the two great gods in Heliopolis. The god has awoken, the god has stood up. This Ak that comes from the Duat, Osiris, Pepi, Neferker, who comes from Geb. Establishing the Spirit as Osiris O Pepi, Neferker, you are a great one's son. You shall become clean in the Duat Lake and receive your throne in the Marsh of Reeds. She who guides Horus is she who guides this Pepi. Pepi never care, you have gone away. Pepi never care, wearing a tail. You shall return clothed. Pepi never care has inherited. Sadness has ended, laughter has come. I greet you, Pepi never care. Welcome in peace. Pepi never care, you are shoes first born. Your ties have been loosened by news, two lords. Preparing to join the sun. Pepi Neferker has come forth to the gateway, apparent as king, high as Path's parter, and he will associate with him who does not become weary. Behold, this is your going. Behold, these your goings are Horus's goings in search of his father Osiris. His envoys have gone, his hurriers run, and his heralds hastened with the command. Go to the sun and say to the sun, whose shoulder sweeps in the east, that he has come as a god. So let Pepi Neferker stand up in the Akhet's dual shrines, and you shall hear the sun speech as a god, as Horus in the shooting of his rays. I am your brother, says the sun, as Sabdu. Look, sun, he has come. Look, he has come. Look, your brother has come. Look, eyes forward has come. Though you do not know him, you will lie within his arms to the limits of your outflow, for he is both your calf and your herdsman. You have received your white teeth, Pepi never care, and the coils that go around them as an arrow, in their identity of an arrow. Your foreleg is Abydos, and its shin is Boland. You have descended as the Nile Valley Jackal, as Anubis on the shrine, and you shall stand at the great causeway as Geb at the fore of his Ennead. You have your heart, 
Let Pepi never care have your ka, and Pepi never care will manage your house, and Pepi never care will make firm your portal. Raise yourself, great father Pepi never care, and sit at their fore. The looking water's cavern has been opened for you, and your stride will broaden the sunlight. I shall say this for you, Father Pepi never care. Oh, ha. Response to the Offering Ritual Spells for Protection of the Pyramid A tomb beetle, you became high as the hill. You rose as the Benben in the Benben enclosure in Heliopolis. You sneezed, shoo, and spat Tefnut. You put your arms around them as Ka arms, so that your Ka might be in them. Atum, put your arms around Pepi Nefercare as Ka arms, so that the Ka of Pepi Nefercare might be in it, firm for the course of eternity. Ho, oh, Atum, may you extend protection over this Pepi Nefercare over this his pyramid and this work of Pepi never care, and prevent anything bad from happening to it for the course of eternity, like you extended protection over Shu and Tefnut. Oh, big Ennead in Heliopolis, Atum, Shu, Tefnut, Geb, Nut, Osiris, Isis, Seth, and Nephthys, Atum's children. His heart was stretched for you, his children, in your identity of the Nine Bows, let there be none of you who will turn his back to a tomb as he saves this Pepi Never Care, as he saves this Pyramid of Pepi Never Care, as he saves this his work from all the gods and from all the dead, as he prevents anything bad from happening to it for the course of eternity. O oh, horse, this Pepi Never Care is Osiris, this Pyramid of Pepi Never Care, and this his work are Osiris. Betake yourself to him and don't be far from him in his identity of the pyramid. Osiris, you have become very black in your identity of the great black one's enclosure. Thoth has put the gods under you, ferried in the enclosure and guided in the enclosure. Horus, here is your father Osiris in his identity of the sovereign's enclosure. Osiris, Horus has given you the gods. He has elevated them to you as reeds, so that they may brighten your face in the white palaces. O oh, big Ennead in Heliopolis, you will make Pepi never care be firm, as you make this pyramid of Pepi never care, and this his work be firm for the course of eternity, as the name of Atum, foremost of the big Ennead, is firm. As the name of Shu, lord of the upper menset in Heliopolis, is firm, Pepi never care shall be firm, and this his pyramid and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Tefnut, lady of lower Menset in Heliopolis, remains, the name of this Pepi never care shall remain, and this pyramid shall remain likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Geb at the earth's Ba is firm, the name of Pepi never care shall be firm, and this pyramid of Pepi never care shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Newt is firm in the enclosure of Shinit in Heliopolis, the name of this Pepi never care shall be firm, and this his pyramid shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Osiris is firm in Great Land, the name of this Pepi never care shall be firm, and this pyramid of Pepi never care shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Osiris, as foremost of Westerners, is firm, the name of this Pepi never care shall be firm, and this pyramid of Pepi never care shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Seth is firm in Ambos, the name of this Pepi never care shall be firm, and this pyramid of Pepi never care shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Horus of Seal Ring is firm, the name of this Pepi never care shall be firm, and this pyramid of Pepi never care shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. 
as the name of the sun is firm at the Akhet, the name of this Pepi Nefer shall be firm, and this pyramid of Pepi Nefer shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of eyes forward remains at Akhmim, the name of this Pepi Nefer shall be firm, and this his pyramid shall be firm, and this work of Pepi Nefer shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. As the name of Wajet is firm in Dep, the name of this Pepi Nefer shall be firm, and this pyramid of Pepi Nefer shall be firm, and this his work shall be firm likewise for the course of eternity. Pepi Nefer is Geb, the persuasive mouth, the god's elite one, whom a tomb put at the fore of the Ennead, he with whose speech the gods are content. All the gods shall be content with everything this Pepi Nefer says, through which it will be good for him for the course of eternity. For a tomb has said about Pepi Nefer See our most persuasive mouth calling us. Let us go and be gathered to him. Oh, all you gods, come, combine, come, gather, like when you combined and gathered for a tomb in Heliopolis. He is calling you to come and do everything good for Pepi Never Care, for the course of eternity. A king give an offering, a geb give an offering, of these select cuts of meat, and an invocation offering of bread, beer, and fowl for all the gods who will make everything good happen for Pepi Never Care, who will make this pyramid of Pepi Never Care be firm, who will make this work of Pepi Never Care be firm like the state in which he loves to be for the course of eternity. All the gods who will make this pyramid and this work of Pepi Nefer be good and firm, they are the ones who will be sharp. They are the ones who will be esteemed. They are the ones who will be Ba. They are the ones who will have control. They are the ones to whom will be given a king given offering of bread, beer, cattle, fowl, clothing, and ointment. They are the ones who will receive their God's offerings. They are the ones for whom will be selected their select cuts of beef and fowl. They are the ones for whom will be made their feasts. They are the ones who will acquire the crown amongst the dual Ennead. The Morning Ritual Invocation of the Sun and the spirit. Riser, riser, beetle, beetle. You are related to Pepi Nefer Pepi Nefer is related to you. Your life is related to Pepi Nefer Cares. Pepi Nefer life is related to yours. O oh, you, the papyrus plant, you have emerged in Pepi Nefer Care. Pepi Nefer Care has emerged in you. Pepi Nefer Care has become powerful in your esteem, for sustenance is for Pepi Nefer Care's morning meal. Abundance is for Pepi Nefer Care's evening meal. Famine will not have control of Pepi Nefer Care's life, and conflagration is far from Pepi Nefer Care. Pepi Nefer Care will live on your abundance, and Pepi Nefer Care's sure fit is your meal's sure fit, son, every day. Father, Pepi, never care, stand up and receive these your first cool waters that come from Akbit. Stand up, all you in your tombs, loosen your wrappings, clear away the sand from your face, Pepi, never care. Raise yourself from off your left side, elevate yourself on your right side. Lift your face and see this which I have done for you. I am your son, I am your heir, I have hoed emmer for you, I have plowed barley for you. Barley for your supply, Emmer for your yearly supply. You have been endowed with Horus's eye. It will endure with you as it goes far with you. Lord of the house, put your arm on your things. Presentation of eye paint and oil. Presentation of bread and beer. Father Pepi never care. Accept Horus's eye the bread loaf of the gods on which they feed. Father Pepi never care, except the foam that comes from Osiris. Osiris Pepi never care, here it is extended to you, Horus's eye. 
adorning. Invocation to the meal. Libation and sensing. Robing. Presenting the spirit to the gods. This Osiris Pepi never care is Shu, a tomb son. You, Pepi never care, are the eldest and senior son of a tomb, his firstborn. A tomb sneezed you from his mouth in your identity of Shu and said, The most distinguished of my children, about you in your identity of the upper men set. Ho, oh, Shu, this is Osiris Pepi, whom you have made revive and live. You live and he lives. You are the lord of the entire world. Anointing Commending the spirit to the gods It is Pepi Nefercare, O Satis, who has acquired the two lands, O Burning One, who has received her two shores. This Pepi Nefercare has gone forth to the sky, and Pepi Nefercare has found the sun waiting to meet him. Pepi Nefercare will sit on his shoulders, and he will not set Pepi Nefercare down, knowing that Pepi Nefercare is his eldest son. This Pepi Nefercare is elder to every god. Pepi Nefercare is in fact more ak than the ox. Pepi Nefercare is more skilled than the skilled. This Pepi Nefercare is more lasting than the lasting. The owner of a vulva will be in festival for Pepi. For Pepi has come to stand on the north of the sky and earth, and Pepi has acquired the two lands like a king. Father Pepi never care, accept this your lactate water from your mother Isis's breasts. Nephthys, give you him your hand. The vulture has become pregnant with Pepi never care in the nighttime at your horn, circling cow. As you are fresh, the star's malachite is fresh. As you are fresh, Pepi never care is fresh. As the live foxtail rush is fresh, Pepi never care is fresh with you. Spells for leaving the Duat Address to the sun at the door of the Duat Greetings a tomb, greetings beetle who came into being on his own, as you become high in your identity of the height, as you come into being in your identity of the beetle. Greetings Horus's eye which he has replaced by means of both his arms. He does not let you listen to the westerners, he does not let you listen to the easterners, he does not let you listen to the northerners, he does not let you listen to the southerners, he does not let you listen to those in the middle of the world. You shall listen instead to Horus. He is the one who replaced you. He is the one who constructed you. He is the one who established you. You shall do for him everything he says to you wherever he goes. You shall lift him to the water of the marshes that are in you, and lift to him the water of the marshes that will come into being in you. You shall lift him to every plant that is in you, and lift to him every plant that will come into being in you. You shall lift to him the bread and beer that is in you, and lift to him the bread and beer that will come into being in you. You shall lift him into the dedicated offering that is in you, and lift to him the dedicated offering that will come into being in you. You shall lift to him everything that is in you, and lift to him everything that will come into being in you. You shall take them, for him to every place in which his heart might wish to be. The doors on you stand as his mother's pillar. They will not open to the westerners. They cannot open to the easterners. They will not open to the northerners. They will not open to the southerners. They will not open to those in the middle of the world. They will open instead to Horus. He is the one who made them. He is the one who erected them. He is the one who saved them from everything painful that Seth had done to them. He is the one who established you in your identity of the established settlements. He is the one who went and returned after you in your identity of the town. He is the one who saved you from everything painful that Seth had done to you. So, 
Return. Return, Newt, for Geb has commanded that you return in your identity of the town. Pepi Nefercare, in fact, is Horus, who replaced his eye by means of both his arms. Pepi Nefercare will replace you, full replacement of his. Pepi Nefercare has established you, all established the settlements of Pepi Nefercare. Pepi Nefercare will construct you as a town. You shall do for Pepi Nefercare everything good. You shall act for him wherever he goes. You should not listen to the Westerners. You should not listen to the Easterners. You should not listen to the Northerners. You should not listen to the Southerners. You should not listen to those in the middle of the world. You should listen instead to Pepi Nefercare. He is the one who replaced you. He is the one who constructed you. He is the one who established you. You shall do for him everything he says to you wherever Pepi Nefercare goes. You shall lift to him the water of the marshes that are in you and lift to him the water of the marshes that will come into being in you. You shall lift to him every plant that is in you and lift to him every plant that will come into being in you. You shall lift to Pepi Nefercare the bread and beer that is in you and lift to him all the bread and beer that will come into being in you. You shall lift to Pepi Nefercare the dedicated offering that is in you and lift to Pepi Nefercare the dedicated offering that will come into being in you. You shall lift to him everything that is in you and lift to him everything that will come into being in you. You shall take them for Pepi Nefercare to every place in which the heart of Pepi Nefercare might wish to be. The doors on you stand as Isis Mother's Pillar. They will not open to the Westerners. They will not open to the Easterners. They will not open to the Northerners. They will not open to the Southerners. They will not open to those in the middle of the world. They will open instead to Pepi Nefercare. He is the one who made them. Pepi Nefercare is the one who erected them. He is the one who saved them from everything bad that people had done to them. Pepi Nefercare is the one who established you in your identity of the established settlements. Pepi Nefercare is the one who went and returned after you in your identity of the town. Pepi Nefercare is the one who saved you from everything bad that people had done to you. You should listen to Pepi Nefercare alone. Pepi Nefercare is the one who made you. You should not listen to the knife bearer. Preparing to leave the Duat. Oh, my father, Pepi Nefercare, it is your time for going. When you have gone as a god, you will be conveyed as one of the cool waters. Your envoys have gone, your hurriers have run, that they might go forth to the sky and say to the sun that you have stood up in the Akhet's dual shrines upon the void. Sit on your father Geb's throne in the fore of the shrine, on the chair of metal at which the gods marvel, and the dual Ennead will come to you in obeisance, and you will govern the populace as men in his house as Horus in seal ring, nor can Seth be free of bearing your burden. Nu has commanded Pepi Nefercare to a tomb. Wide Arms has commended him to Shu, saying, Have opened yonder door of the sky to Pepi Nefercare, now among unidentified people. Take Pepi Nefercare by his arm, take Pepi Nefercare to the sky, that Pepi Nefercare may not die on earth among people. O oh, Pepi Nefercare, come in peace to Osiris. Messenger of the great God, come in peace to the great God. The sky's door has been opened to you. The starry sky has been pulled open to you. The Nile Valley Jackal has descended to you as Anubis on his side, as Hepiu at the fore of Heliopolis. And the great lass in the midst of Heliopolis has given her arms toward you. O oh, Pepi Nefercare, you have no human father who gave you birth. You have no human mother who gave you birth. Your mother is the great wild cow in the midst of Nekeb, with white headcloth, long hair, and dangling breasts. She will suckle you and not wean you. So raise yourself, Pepi. Array yourself in your fringed cloak, the foremost one of the enclosure. Your mace in your arm and your staff in your hand your staff in your arm and your mace in your hand. 
stand at the four of the dual shrines and judge the gods. O oh, Papi, never care. You belong to the enduring ones who shine by day after the morning god. Rejoice, for the god will not go back on what he has said. He will make for you your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of cattle, your thousand of fowl, your thousand of everything on which a god lives. You have your water, you have your flood, you have your outflow that comes from Osiris. Your bones have been collected for you, your limbs have been prepared for you, your dust has been cleared away for you, your bonds have been loosened for you. The mastaba has been opened for you, the sarcophagus's lid has been pulled back for you, the sky's door has been pulled open for you. To me, to me, says Isis, in peace, says Nephthys, for they have seen their brother in a tomb's festival, these cool waters of yours, Osiris, from Busiris and from his Ba's settlement. Your Ba is inside you, and your control about you. Remain at the fore of your controlling powers. Raise yourself, Pepi Nefercare, and wander your southern mounds, and wander your northern mounds. Your control is the controlling powers in you, for you have been given your ox, the jackals that Horus of Neken has given you. Raise yourself, Pepi Nefercare, and sit on your metal chair, for Anubis at the fore of the gods' booth has commanded that you be cleaned with those eight water jars of yours, the eight washing jars that came forth from the gods' palace, and so you will be washed with natron. The sky will shoulder for you, the earth will be swept for you, the moorer will scream for you and the great mooring post cry out for you, arms will drum for you and feet wave for you, as you go forth from here as a star, as the morning god. He has come to you, his father, he has come to you, Geb. Receive his arm, let him sit on the great seat and land on the cool water's dual causeway, for his mouth has been cleansed with natron salt, natron on eyes forwards thighs, and his fingernails and toenails have been cleansed. Do for him that which you did for his brother Osiris on the day of accounting bones, of making functional the feet, of crossing the causeway. Those of the enclosure wall will descend to you, bent over, Pepi never care. You shall call to the Nile Valley Shrine, and the Delta Shrine will come to you in obeisance. The Elder One fell on his side, but stood up as a god, his control with him, and his crown atop him. This Pepi never care has fallen on his side, and Pepi never care will stand up as a god, his control with him, and his crown atop him, like the sun's crown when he emerges from the Akhet and is greeted by Horus in the Akhet. O oh, Pepi, never care, raise yourself. Receive for yourself your privilege that the dual Ennead has made for you, and be on Osiris's throne as foremost of Westerners' replacement. Acquire for yourself his control. Snatch for yourself his crown. O oh, Pepi, never care, how perfect is this, how great is this which your father Osiris has done for you. He has given you his throne that you might govern those whose palaces are inaccessible and lead their nobles. All the ox will follow you in their identity of the dead. Let your mind be pleasant and your heart great with happiness, for you belong to him from whose event you will not be far. The sun will summon you in your identity that all the ox fear, and your ferocity will be against the god's heart like the ferocity of Horus, lord of the elite. O oh, Pepi never care, whose form is secret as Anubis on his belly, for you have received your face of a jackal. Raise yourself, stand up, and sit down to your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of cattle, your thousand of fowl, your thousand of everything on which a god lives. O oh, Pepi never care, become clean, and the sun will find you standing with your mother Newt. She will lead you in the Akhet's paths and you shall make your abode there, perfect with your Ka for the course of eternity. Spells for Entering the Akhet Addressed to the Spirit at the door to the Akhet Requesting entrance to the Akhet Sending the Spirit to the Akhet Addressed to the Doorkeeper 
Bow away, Turner, interrogator. You should not turn away from Pepe Nefercare. You should not interrogate Pepe Nefercare. You should not request magic from Pepe Nefercare. You should not demand the magic of Pepe Nefercare from Pepe Nefercare. You have your magic. Let Pepe Nefercare have his magic, lest Pepe Nefercare break your pen and smash your ink shell. Pepe Nefercare is one who has property. Providing the spirit for the journey. You have your water, you have your outflow, you have your flood that comes from Osiris. You shall have them as Horus. You shall part them as Paths Parter, for Pepe Nefercare is a great one, a great one's son. Osiris Pepe Nefercare, receive Horus's eye, it belongs to you. The marshes have become content, the irrigation basins have flooded, for this Pepe Nefercare on this day, and he has been given his ak there, and he has been given his control there. Raise yourself, Pepe Nefercare. You have received your water and your joints have been collected for you. So, stand up on your legs and be ak at the fore of the ox. Raise yourself to this your unmoldering bread and your unsouring beer, that you may become ba through them, that you may become sharp through them, that you may take control through them and give from them to the one in your presence. O oh, Pepe Nefercare, you have become Ak, and your survivor is Ak. Boarding the Sun Boat Securing the Spirit's Ascent How beautiful to look, says Isis. How satisfying to gaze, says Nephthys, at Father Pepe Nefercare, as he goes forth to the sky among the stars, among the stars that are imperishable. Pepe never cares wrath atop him. Pepe never cares ferocity at his sides. Pepe never cares magic at his feet. Pepe never cares shall go thereby to his mother Newt, and Pepe never cares shall ascend on her in her identity of the latter. The gods who belong to the sky will get themselves for you, and they will join for you the gods who belong to the earth, that you might exist with them and go on their arms. The Baz of Pei will be gotten for you, and the Baz of Neken will be joined together for you. Everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued for it with a tomb, for it is what was done for him, in the marshes of reeds, the horse mounds, and the seth mounds. Everything is for you. Geb is the one who argued for it with a tomb, for it is what was done for him. He has come against you and said that he would kill you, but you are the one who will kill him and establish yourself against him as the most established of wild bulls. Be permanent, for you are now permanent. Invoking the Ferryman and Doorkeeper Invoking Osiris Ascending by Ferry and Ladder Greetings, God's Ladder. Greetings, Seth's Ladder. Greetings, Seth's Ladder. Stand up, God's Ladder. Stand up, Seth's Ladder. Stand up, Horus's Ladder, made for Osiris that he might go up on it to the sky and escort the sun. For you have come in search of your brother Osiris, his brother Seth having cast him on his side in yonder side of Gazelle Land. Horus has come, his wrath atop him, his face greeting his father Geb, saying, Pepe never care is your son. Pepe never care is Horus. You have given this Pepe never care birth like you're giving birth to the god who owns the ladder. When you gave him the god's ladder, when you gave him Seth's ladder, that he might go up on it to the sky and escort the sun. Now have the god's ladder given to Pepe never care and Seth's ladder given to Pepe never care, that Pepe never care may go up on it to the sky and escort the sun. So he said, as the god of those who have gone to their cause. Horus's eye has bounced atop Thoth's wing on the eastern side of the god's ladder. People, the cobra is for the sky. Pepe never care is Horus's eye, whose limit is the limit of any place in which it happens to be. Pepe never care will go, having gone as Horus's eye. Desire that Pepe never care come among you, his brothers, the gods. Become excited at meeting Pepe Nefercare. Pepe Nefercare's brothers, the gods, like Horus's becoming excited at meeting his eye, 
when his eye was given to him in the presence of his father Geb. Any Ak or any god who will cross his arm against Pepi never care. When he goes up to the sky on God's ladder, the earth will not be hacked up for him. A deposited offering will not be laid down for him. He will not cross to the evening meal in Heliopolis. He will not cross to the morning meal in Heliopolis. He who will see or hear his going up to the sky on God's ladder. Any Ak or any god who will be there with his arm for Pepi never care on the God's ladder will guard him, having announced him, for he has appeared as the Uraeus on Seth's brow. Pepi never cares bones have been joined together for him, and his limbs have been collected for him. So, Pepi never care will jump to the sky beside the god who owns the ladder. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open, for Horus of the gods, that he might go forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for eastern Horus, that he might go forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for Horus of Shezmet, that he might go forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for Osiris, that he might go forth at daybreak and become clean in the marsh of reeds. The sky's door has been opened, the cool water's door has been pulled open for this Pepi never care, that he might go forth at daybreak and become clean in the marsh of reeds. So, someone has come forth at daybreak having become clean in the marsh of reeds. Horus of the gods has come forth at daybreak having become clean in the marsh of reeds. So, someone has come forth at daybreak having become clean in the marsh of reeds. Horus of Shazmet has come forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. So, someone has come forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. Osiris has come forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. So, someone has come forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. Pepi Nefercare has come forth at daybreak, having become clean in the marsh of reeds. Son, Newt's belly has become impregnated with the seed of the Ak who is in her. The land is becoming high under Pepi Nefercare's feet. Tefnut is taking the arm of Pepi Nefercare. So Kar is the one who will clean Pepi Nefercare. The son is the one who will give his arm to Pepi Nefercare. So, Pepi Nefercare will go to the fore, to the fore of the Ennead, and Pepi Nefercare will receive his place that is in the cool waters. All you later, all you later, howler, howler, take Pepi never care with the two of you. How beautiful is the sight, how exalted is the sight of this god Pepi never care going up to the sky like the father of Pepi never care, a tomb going up to the sky, his ba atop him, his magic at his sides, his ferocity at his feet, for he, a tomb, has gotten the towns for Pepi never care. He has collected the countrysides for Pepi Nefercare. He has joined the grasslands for Pepi Nefercare. Geb, the god's elite one, is the one who argued for it. Horus's mounds, Seth's mounds, and the marsh of reeds shall worship Pepi Nefercare as the morning god, as Ayahis at the fore of the Nile Valley land, as Deadwen at the fore of Boland, as Sapdu under his mangroves, lifting up a ladder for Pepi Nefercare erecting a ladder for Pepi Nefercare, raising a ladder for Pepi Nefercare, saying, Come, ladder, come, slender one, come whatever the gods have called you. An emerger has come, an emerger has come. A climber has come, a climber has come. An ascender has come, an ascender has come. Pepi Nefercare will go up on Isis's thighs, Pepi Nefercare will climb on Nephthys' thighs. The father of Pepi Nefercare, a tomb, will take the arm of Pepi Nefercare and put Pepi Nefercare at the fore of those gods who are wise, experienced, and imperishable. Look what you said, gods, that Pepi Nefercare would not be at your fore. Look, Pepi Nefercare is established at your fore as the most established wild bull. 
Strander, face behind him. Fairy Pepi never care. Set the sky's reed floats that Pepi never care may cross on them to the sun at the Aket. The sky's reed floats have been set for the sun that he may cross on them to horrors of the gods at the Aket. The sky's reed floats have been set for Pepi never care that he may cross on them to the sun at the Aket. Where Pepi never care shall cross to is his stand on the eastern side of the sky in its northern part among the imperishable stars who stand at their staves and with tailed kilt on their right, and Pepi never care will stand among them. Brother of Pepi never care, the moon, and Pepi never care's sibling, the morning star god, give your arms toward Pepi never care. Address to the spirit at the entrance to the Aket. Spells for crossing the Aket. Invoking the gods. The sky's door has been opened. The cool water's door has been pulled open to Pepi never care. Under sky, take Pepi never care. Address to the spirit. Sending the spirit through the Aket. Right, there is no case of people against Pepi never care. The great flood, he of the clouds, fetching him, the god. Joining the gods. Ferrying. Pepi never care to Horus. Hasten. Climbing the ladder. Pepi never care is one of them forever. Spells for the Spirit's Rebirth. Invocation of the Sun. Awakening the spirit. Claiming access to the sun. Open to Pepi never care. Pepi never cares path. Make a path for Pepi never care. Pepi never care is. Pepi never care is Horus over the two lands. Pepi never care is Thoth over the sky. Pepi never care is Anubis over the house. Fetcher, open to Pepi never care before Pepi never care. He is the egret that comes from the orchard. You in one of the four mountain ranges be far from Pepi never care. Pepi never care is Pepi never care. The tongue in the mouth of Pepi never care is clean and Pepi never care will be protected. Pepi never care is, and Pepi never care will not be upside down. Pepi never care is the great bull who struck Kenzet. Pepi never care is the bull of offerings, owner of a quintet of meals in Heliopolis, a triad for the sky and a pair for the earth. The one who wears the sunlight's headband has come into being as him of the duat and will cease. Pepi never care is the one who sits on the sun's chair, having expelled Horus from the sky's southern part, having expelled Seth from the sky's northern part, for the sun has given his arms to him, having expelled the nine's inaccessible ones. Pepi never care will sit on the sun's chair, and the lords of will shake with fear at him. Pepi never care over the sky. The hands of Pepi never care on the sky's pillars, which Geb has placed for him. Pepi never cares feet supporting against it. The head of Pepi never care up, and Pepi never cares feet down. The head of Pepi never care, length to length. Look, Pepi never care. That is what he is. The paths that lead to will lead Pepi never care on them, like her leading Horus, like her leading Seth, like her leading those gods who are in. O oh, breaker, jackal who glides, fetch that fairy for Pepi never care. Please fetch that fairy of Pepi never care for him. Pepi never care is the messenger of a tomb. Pepi never care is carrying the towel of sovereign's linen with which Horus's eye was wiped, which was wrested away from Seth's fingers. 
fetch that for Pepi never care. Please fetch for Pepi never care that of his. Pepi never care is how elevated is he, the messenger of a tomb. Pepi never care is carrying the towel of sovereign's linen, with which Horus's eye was wiped, which was rested away from Seth's fingers. Pepi never care would cross to him in peace, and Pepi never care will pacify the land for him in peace. Pepi never cares arms are. Pepi never cares knees are at his heart. There shall be raised for Pepi never care what he has raised, which Pepi never care raised in the night for him of black. O slider, fetch that for Pepi never care. Please fetch for Pepi never care that of his. Pepi never care is Hizat's son, the messenger of a tomb. Horus's eye that swam under the god. Pepi never care is carrying the towel of sovereign's linen with which Horus's eye was wiped. He shall not become Ba. He shall not rejoice. Sending the spirit to the sun. As he who spent the night abed spent the day awake, this Pepi never care will spend the day with his Ka having spent the night abed on his left side, having spent the night abed. O oh, Pepi never care, raise yourself to those older than you. You shall eat figs and drink wine with your face, that of a jackal, as Anubis who is banded with it. The points of the nails on your fingers are the points on Thoth's fingers, and you shall serve yourself a Nile goose. Foremost of Westerner's door, which bars the subjects, has been opened to you. Those in the countrysides have come to you. Those in the necropolis shall serve you, and those of the offering chamber shall clean for you. The great mooring post will call out to you. Your two mothers, the two white crowns, will nurture you. Your two mothers, the two white crowns, shall kiss you. A footpath of metal is beneath you. So to the sky shall you go up, and behind Shu shall you climb. Ascender, ascend. Go up to your house as a star, atop your house, and save your children from mourning. Your offering stand shall make firm those on earth for the course of eternity. Meeting the Sun Pepi Nefercare has become clean in the cleaning that Horus made for his eye. He has come to you, having gotten your eye for you, Horus. Pepi Nefercare is Thoth who tended it. Pepi never care is not Seth who took it. The cool water's door that bars the subjects has been opened to Pepi never care. Pepi never care has come with Horus's great and esteemed eye, which the gods wished for, which the Ennead wished for. Horus, meet Pepi never care, for Pepi never care is wearing the raw crown, Horus's powerful eye that fills. Pepi never care's arms, those of a falcon. Pepi never cares wingtips, those of Thoth. Geb shall fly Pepi never care to the sky, among his brothers the gods will give. To Pepi never care, that he may number Osiris's night beings. There is no god who can place himself across Pepi never care's path. Pepi never care is one who scales your field markers, you impediments under Osiris's direction. Pepi never care is a controlling power who demands his place. Thoth, whom a tomb summons to the sky for Pepi never care, will take Horus's eye to him, his abomination. Pepi never care is the one who prevents the gods from turning away from embracing your eye. Horus, having sought it with those Ba's who are the foremost of Heliopolis, you naked one, let your face turn toward the sun. Here, bull of the dual Ennead, and part of Pepi never cares path and widen his place at the four of the gods that Pepi never care may take Horus's eye to him and Pepi never care may bear to him what came from his head Horus that Pepi never care may let you see with your two complete eyes those of you gods who are opponents of Horus have been captured by the one who has acquired for Horus his eye given to him its scent is the god's scent. The scent of Horus's eye is on it. Pepi never care has come to the fore with it 
and sat down on your great seat, gods, between the two controlling powers, with Pepi Nefrecaire's shoulder to a tomb. Pepi Nefrecaire is the one who prevents the gods from turning away from embracing Horus's eye. Pepi Nefrecaire found it in Pei after Pepi Nefrecaire sought in Heliopolis, and Pepi Nefrecaire took it from Seth's mouth in the place where he and Seth fought. Horus, give your arm to Pepi Nefrecaire. Horus, accept your eye coming forth for you, that it may come forth for you. When Pepi Nefrecaire comes to you, your eye comes to you with him atop him forever. Open to Pepi Nefrecaire the cavern, pull open to Pepi Nefrecaire the shrine, and the sun will become high, and the ombite will appear. Make a path for Pepi Nefrecaire that he may pass, and the shrine, him. Pepi Nefrecaire is. Pepi Nefrecaire is Horus, Lord of Shaking. Taking Control of Nourishment Greetings, you at the four of the inundation, who guard nourishment, and sit at the four of the green marsh at the shoulder of the Lord of Sunlight. You shall let Pepi Nefrecaire eat of grain, and he will become like Osiris on the Great Immersion. He whose face is seen is the one who brings food in to Pepi Nefrecaire, together with eats with his mouth, those to whom extended offerings belong. The senior gods shall introduce him to abundance. Nourishment and that which is at the fore of the offerings of the Marsh of Reeds. Pepi Nefrecaire will eat with his mouth like him whose hair is parted. Pepi Nefrecaire will let loose with his rear like Selket. Pepi Nefrecaire will give offerings, and Pepi Nefrecaire will lead nourishment like him whose two plumes are long in the midst of the marsh of reeds. Nefrecaire's nose has air. Pepi Nefrecaire's penis has semen like mysterious of form in the midst of the sunlight. Pepi Nefrecaire has looked at Nu, and Pepi Nefrecaire will appear on his path at New Year's days. Praise shall be given to Pepi Nefrecaire, and he will be great because of his Baz. To him belongs the six-day meal in battlefield. Pepi Nefrecaire will eat of a pregnant cow like those in Heliopolis. Pepi Nefrecaire is the bull of offerings, owner of a quintet of meals in Heliopolis. Three for the sky and two for the earth. Three meals for the sky with Horus, and two meals for the earth with the great god. The night boat and day boat are the ones who get for Pepi Nefrecaire, the god's loaf, every day. Excrement is Pepi Nefrecaire's abomination, and he rejects urine. He will not eat them. The sun's morning god is the one who follows Pepi Nefrecaire in service every day. Pepi Nefrecaire's is the one who gives to Pepi Nefrecaire. He is the Lord. Spells Against Inimical Beings This my hand that comes on you, snake of the undergrowth, the one that comes on you, which is Mafdet at the fore of the enclosure of life, is striking you on your face and scratching you on your eyes, so that you fall in your excrement and crawl in your urine. Fall down, lie down, crawl away, that your mother Newt may see you. The one a tomb has bitten, has filled his mouth, closing all up, coiled all up. Your two drops of poison are off to your two poison sacks. Let your teeth spew them out now, you who are fetching your favorite thing. Rejected one, a loom. The lion is dangerous with his water. Don't extend, O oh, you, on the heart's image, O. Oh. Are cut off for you, his finger, his neck. Monster snake, lie down. Snake, crawl away, you in his undergrowth. Crawl upon new. Back, you hot night attacker. Thoth, the attacker's night attacker, is the one who strikes your lakes. Back, you hot night attacker. Thoth, the night attacker's night attacker, is the lake striker of Pepi Nefrecaire. Boarding the Sunboat Sending the Spirit to the Sky 
I pee never care. Your face is tied on as that of a jackal, as paths parter. You have received your papyrus baton that is over the great and will manage the nine. The great, like Horus, tending his father. O oh, Papi, never care. Raise yourself from off your left side. Put yourself on your right side. Your door leaf has been erected for you. Your portal has been made firm for you. Save your children from mourning, as Horus in his royal house, as Seth in Takbit. The libation is libated and drumming drummed. Become still, become still, hear his speech that Horus said to his father, Osiris, that you may become Ak thereby, that you may become great thereby, and so sit on your metal chair, your side of meat and your offering table, and lead the imperishable stars. O oh, Papi, never care. Your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of grey goose, your thousand of red-beaked goose your thousand of white-fronted goose, your thousand of. Spells for approaching the sky, appearing as Horus. Great sky, give your arm to Pepi Nefercare. Big Newt, give your arm to Pepi Nefercare. Pepi Nefercare is that divine falcon of yours. Pepi Nefercare has come that he may go up to the sky. Pepi Nefercare will explore the cool waters. Pepi Nefercare will greet his father, the sun, and he shall manifest him as Horus, as whom Pepi Nefercare has come. He shall give to Pepi Nefercare a new accession, and set for Pepi Nefercare his two divine eyes. Pepi Nefercare will come forth with him, Great as Newt's Horus on the forelock, the red crown's smiter and governor of those of the stream. Pepi Nefercare shall be followed by those yonder, and there will come to him in obeisance the foremost of sky and earth, the two lead Uraei, the jackals and Seth's upper and lower ox, anointed with scent, clothed in fine linen, alive from offerings. Pepi Nefercare will govern. Pepi Nefercare will assign cause. Pepi Nefercare will show the way to places. Pepi Nefercare shall give offerings, and Pepi Nefercare will lead feasts. He is Pepi Nefercare. Pepi Nefercare is the unique one of the sky, the one who controls when he acts. Newt's foremost. You have been greeted by Sokar, Pepi Nefercare, and your face has been washed by Great Beard. Pepi Nefercare shall cloud as a divine falcon. Pepi Nefercare shall reign as a heron. And Pepi Nefercare shall flap as a Nile goose. Pepi Nefercare's wings, those of a divine falcon. This Pepi Nefercare's wingtips, those of a divine falcon. Pepi Nefercare's wrapped bones have been raised, and Pepi Nefercare has become clean. Pepi Nefercare's fringed kilt on his rear the shirt of Pepi Nefercare on him, and his bejeweled necklace of half a grass. So, Pepi Nefercare will board with the sun in his big boat in which he sails to the Akhet in order to judge the gods from it, and Horus will sail in it with him to the Akhet, and Pepi Nefercare will judge the gods from it with him in the Akhet. Pepi Nefercare is one of them. Look at this which they said about Pepi Nefercare, which the gods said about Pepi Nefercare when the gods' speech about Pepi Nefercare took place. This is Horus, who has emerged from the inundation. This is the long-horned bull who has emerged from the walled enclosure. This is the cobra that has come from the sun. This, the Uraeus that has come from Seth. Everything that will happen to Pepi Nefercare the same will happen to father's enforcer, the son's daughter on his thighs. Everything that will happen to Pepi Nefercare, the same will happen to adversary of disorder, the son's daughter on his thighs. For Pepi Nefercare is sound, son of sound father, who came from sound mother. Pepi Nefercare is sound. As Pepi Nefercare is sound, Horus's eye in Heliopolis is sound. Pepi Nefercare shall live, 
as Pepe never care lives, Horace as I in Heliopolis lives. Meeting the Gods Pepe never care has emerged in your emergence, Osiris. Pepe never care has claimed his ka for the sky. Pepe never cares metal bones and Pepe never cares limbs are imperishable stars. If Pepe never care will be made to be wrapped, the great goddess shall fall in Pepe never cares arms. The mother of Pepe never care, Newt, the grandfather of Pepe never care, Shu, and the grandmother of Pepe never care, Tef Newt, will take Pepe never care to the sky, to the sky on the smoke of incense. Pepe never care will become clean. Pepe never care will live, and Pepe never care will make his place as Osiris. Pepe never care will sit at your shoulder, Osiris. Pepe never care will spit on your temple, Osiris, and he will not let it become painful. And Pepe never care will not let it become bald by virtue of the mouth of Pepe never care every day, at the mid months, at the first of the months. Pepe never care will sit at your shoulder, Horus. Pepe never care will spit on your temple, Horus, and Pepe never care will not let it become painful, and Pepe never care will not let it become bald by virtue of the mouth of Pepe never care every day, at the mid months, and at the first of the months. Pepe never care is one of those four who continually exist, a tomb's children and Newt's children, who cannot decay and Pepe never care will not decay, who cannot rot, and Pepe never care will not rot, who cannot fall to the ground from the sky, and Pepe never care will not fall to the ground from the sky. Pepe never care will be searched for, and Pepe never care will be found only with respect to them. Pepe never care is one of them whom the sky's bull has blessed. Pepe never care will raise up his ka. Pepe never care will return, and Pepe never care will be perpetual. Good companion, Ka Razor, Returner, Perpetual One. Pepe never care will remain more than you beneath the sky's belly, as the young girl's helmsman on the bends of the winding canal. When Pepe never care goes up to the sky, Pepe never care will use it, this mouth, for you that the sun might become perfect every day. Pepe never care will put himself on your path, Horus of Shazmet, the one on which you lead the gods to the perfect paths of the sky, the marsh of rest. Libation and Anointing at Dawn The waters of life in the sky have come, the waters of life in the earth have come. The sky has flamed for you, the earth has shaken for you before the god's birth. The two mountains have been parted. The god has come into being. The god has taken control of his body. The two mountains have been parted. This Pepe never care has come into being. This Pepe never care has taken control of his body. Look, this Pepe never care. His feet shall be kissed by the clean waters that exist with a tomb that shoes penis made and Tefnut's vulva brought into being. They have come, having gotten for you the clean waters from their father, that they may cleanse you, that they may cleanse you with natron, Pepe never care. You shall lift the sky with your hand and lay down the earth with your foot. Let cool water be poured at this Pepe never care's gateway, and the face of every god will be washed. You shall wash your arms, Osiris. You shall wash your arms, Pepe never care. You will become young, God, your third peace commander. The firstborn things sent is on this Pepe never care. The Benben is in Sokar's enclosure. The foreleg is in Anubis's house. Become sound, Pepe never care. The shrine shall await when the month has been born. The countryside shall live and auroras shall be made for them, that you may farm barley and farm emmer. This Pepe never care will be endowed with them for the body. Ointment for Horus. Ointment for Seth. Horus has acquired his eye and taken it from his opponents. There is no property right of Seth in it. Horus has filled himself with oil. 
Horus has become content with his eye. Horus has been equipped with what is his. Horus's eye shall cling to him, its scent on him, and its wrath shall fall on his opponents. Ointment for Pepi Nefercare, that Pepi Nefercare may fill himself with it. Its scent shall cling to him, and its wrath shall fall on his opponents. O oh, Pepi Nefercare, I have come having gotten for you Horus's eye from its kiln, and its scent shall be on you, Pepi Nefercare. Its scent is now on you. The scent of Horus's eye is now on you, Pepi Nefercare, and you shall become Ba through it, have control through it, be esteemed through it, and acquire the crown through it among the gods. Horus has come, excited at meeting you, excited at meeting his eye atop you. So, here is Pepi Nefercare at the four of the gods, provided as a god, his bones tied together as Osiris. Let the gods make praise at meeting Pepi Nefercare, like they're making praise at meeting the sun's appearance when he comes forth from the Akhet. Ascending by Ladder Those four royal property attendants of this Pepi Nefercare, Imseti, Hapi, Duamutef, and Keben Senuef, Horus of Letopolis's progeny, have stood up that they might bind a rope ladder for this Pepi Nefercare and make firm a ladder for Pepi Nefercare, and elevate Pepi Nefercare to the beetle when he comes into being on in the eastern side of the sky. Its wood has been carved by experienced. The lashings in it have been made firm as the bowstrings of Gasuti, bull of the sky. The rungs have been fastened in its side with leather of him in the wrappings, to whom Hazat gave birth, and he who supports the great god has been put under it by him who lassos the great goddess. Behold, the ka of this Pepi Nefercare will be raised to the god who conducts him to dual lion and elevates him to a tomb. A tomb has done what he said he would do for this Pepi Nefercare, binding a rope ladder for him and making firm a ladder for this Pepi Nefercare. This Pepi Nefercare will be far from what people abominate, and this Pepi Nefercare's arms will not be extended to what the gods abominate. Pepi Nefercare does not eat the plant. He does not chew the plant at the first of the month. He does not sleep in the night, and he does not spend time unconscious in either of the two times of the beetle. Those in the Duat have collected themselves and unplugged their ears at the sound of this Pepi Nefercare's voice when he descends among them. They have told him whose control is weighty that this Pepi Nefercare is one of them. Pepi Nefercare's record as he whose record is great is among them, for he has been conducted to the starboard. The insignia of Osiris Pepi Nefercare is great in dual lion's enclosure. The hindering arms against this Pepi Nefercare have been removed by wrong remover in the presence of eyes forward in Letopolis. Supplying the Spirit with Water Invoking the Gods of the Sky Geb has caused Horus's eye to be raised. You scheming goddess on the arms of his elder Kaz and atop his many Kaz, turn your head and see Horus. He has made his seat on his metal chair and judgment will take place. Isis has come and taken her breasts to her justified son. Horus's eye has been found for Pepi Nefercare. This one that Horus made has been found having been given its head, having made a frontal on the sun's brow. You who rage as Sobek, follow Horus's eye to the sky to be a star of the sky, and ignore him who would beach Horus because of his eye. Shu, who bears Newt, bear Horus's eye to the sky to be a star of the sky. Horus has sat down on that metal chair of his, and ignore him who would beach Horus because of his eye. Sending the spirit to the sky. Osiris has awoken. The god once slack has aroused. The god has stood up. The god has taken control of his body. This Pepi never care has awoken. The god once slack has roused. The god has stood up. The god has taken control of his body. Horus has stood up that he might array this Pepi never care with the woven cloth 
that comes from him, and this Papine of her care has been provided as a god. He of the shrine has stood up. The dual Ennead has sat down, saying, O oh, Papi, never care. Stand up. Welcome in peace to the sun, messenger of the great god. When you go to the sky and emerge from the Akhet's gateway, Geb shall guide you. Ba, as a good god, esteemed as a god and in control of your body as a god, as the Ba at the fore of the living, as the controlling power at the fore of the ox. This Papi never care has come, provided as Osiris, who has gone after his Ak. You have come, Papi never care, from Heliopolis tended, your heart having been given to you in your body, your face that of a jackal, your flesh that of a tomb, your Ba within you, your control about you, Isis before you, Nephthys behind you. You shall go around the Horus Mounds and travel around Seth's Mounds. Shu and Tefnut are the ones who guide you when you emerge from Heliopolis. Oh, Papi, never care. Horus has woven his booth over your head. Seth has spread your canopies, and you have been encompassed by the god's booth that you might be conveyed in it over your places that you wish. O oh, Papi, never care. Horus has come to you provided with his baas, Hapi, Duamutef, Imseti, and Keben Senuath. They will get for you your identity of an imperishable star, and you will not perish. You will not be ended. O oh, Papi, never care. Your sister, Kibahut, has cleaned you on the causeway at the lake's mouth, and you have appeared to them as a jackal, as Horus at the fore of the living as Geb at the fore of the Ennead, as Osiris at the fore of the Ox, that you might govern the Ox and manage the imperishable stars. Should Osiris vanish, this Pepi never care will vanish, and the dual Ennead's bull will vanish. The god has been released. The god has taken control of his body. This Pepi never care has been released. This Pepi never care has taken control of his body. O oh, Pepi, never care, stand up for Horus that he may occupy you and guide you. Then you shall go forth to the sky. Your mother Newt will receive you and take your arm so that you will not groan and will not moan. You shall live as the beetle lives, stable as the Jed pillar. O oh, Pepi, never care, you have been arrayed as a god, your face that of a jackal, as Osiris, the Ba in Nadit, the controlling power in Great Town. The sky shall tremble, and the earth shall shake before the god's feet, before this Pepi never care's feet. This Pepi never care will not be encompassed by the earth. The firstborn's thing will not be encompassed by the earth. Your Ba is prevalent by day, and the shaking you cause by night as the god who is lord of ferocity. You govern the gods as the controlling power at the fore of the controlling powers. O oh, Osiris, come you of the flood with provisioning arm, who was around Geb. I have mourned you on the site of your tomb, and have struck into withdrawal the one who acted against you. So you shall live and raise yourself by your own force. O oh, Papi, never care. Come, you of the flood with provisioning arm, who was around Geb. Supply the god's outflow that is in you. Let your heart live. Animate your god's body, release your sinews. Horus has come to you, Pepi, that he might do for you what he has done for his father Osiris. You shall live like those in the sky live. You shall evolve more than those in the world evolve. Raise yourself by your own force. When you go forth to the sky, the sky shall give you birth like Orion. You shall take control of your body and save yourself from your opponent. Oh, Pepi, never care. Now I have bewailed you. Now I have mourned you. I will not forget you. My heart will not tire of invoking you every day, with an endowed offering on every festival, on the first of the month, on the middle of the month, on the placing of the brazier, on the Thoth festival, on the supply festival, on the meat carving festival, on your yearly festivals. You will be given birth at the first of your months and live as a god. O oh, Pepi, never care. Get dressed in your body and come to me. Crossing Toward the Sky 
supplying the spirit with bread. Sailing in the day boat. Pepi never care. Him. In awe of Pepi never care, they will see something new in their sight. Pepi never cares seat in the day boat, and Pepi never care will strew the sky with light at daybreak. Touch in the sky, powerful. Pepi never care will sit, having struck with the baton and managed with the papyrus scepter. Pepi never care is a lord whose voice controls, who is not his identities. Fire among those with braids. Give him praise. Become aroused, you and the Akhet. Geb, whom his arms have barred. Pepi never care will be at the fore of, until Pepi never care shines by day. Pepi never care has gone down. Pepi never care has become clean. He who ran off in his ba has been returned to his cavern. Pepi never care that he may pass on it. The arm of Pepi never care will be received by part. Pepi never care, the northern path, the day boat, for Horus of the Akhet has commended you. Pepi never care, the god's loaf, the beetle, the easterners who release, the jackal's lake. Pepi never care has sat down, his mother, Duamutef's children. Address to the spirit at dawn. Emerging from the Akhet at dawn. The sky, Evolver, you should not interrogate Nefercare, for Thoth, Lord of Magic, has him. Pepi Nefercare will sit with his back to the gateway at the fore of the Baas of Heliopolis. Pepi Nefercare has passed by. Pepi Nefercare, a little one, a little one who escaped from under the mute god's jaws. Osiris has appeared, has become clean. Sealmaker, live. He, Pepi never cared to the gods. The gods, and he will live as you live, on your left side with the staff of authority. Bird catch. Kerti, shall the senior god be thwarted from you. Pepi never care, for he has seen you. Pepi never care, turn. Pepi never care, that Pepi never care may see you. Pepi never care has no back turner. Pepi never care has no opponent. Spells for leaving the Akhet. Preparing to leave the Akhet. Address to the spirit as Osiris. Raise yourself. You have your water. Raise yourself from off your left side. Put yourself on your right side. Your limbs have been gathered for you, that you may not rot thereby. Foremost of shall not acquire. Newt is great, full of, that your father Geb has made. A thousand of, his Ba's settlement at the fore. Approaching the sky. Spells for proceeding toward the sky. Summoning the fairy. Commending the spirit to the gods. Greetings, waters that Shu fetched, and he of the trickle bore, in whom Geb cleaned his limbs when minds were pervaded with fear and hearts were pervaded with ferocity, who were born and knew when the sky had not yet come into being when the earth had not yet come into being, when the establishment of the world had not yet come into being, when disturbance had not yet come into being, when the fear that came into being because of Horus's eye had not yet come into being. Pepi Nefercare is one of that great body that was born before in Heliopolis, who are not arrested for the king or taken to officials for judgment, who are not accused, who are not found guilty. That is true of Pepi Nefercare. Pepi Nefercare cannot be accused. Pepi Nefercare will not be arrested for the king. Pepi Nefercare will not be taken to officials, and his opponents will not be justified against him. Pepi Nefercare will not be indigent. His fingernails will not grow long. 
No bone in Pepi Nefercare can be broken. When Pepi Nefercare goes down into water, Osiris will bear him up. The dual Ennead will shoulder him, and the sun will give his arm for Pepi Nefercare toward the place in which the god is. When Pepi Nefercare goes down into earth, Geb will bear him up. The dual Ennead will shoulder him, and the sun will give his arm for Pepi Nefercare toward the place in which the god is. Introducing the Spirit to the Sun Commending the Spirit to the Gods Summoning the Fairy Address to the Departing Spirit O oh, Pepi Neferker, the mouth of the earth has parted for you. Geb has spoken to you, saying, You have become great like a king. You have been made firstborn like the sun. You will become clean in the Jackal Lake and be purged of impurity in the Duat Lake. Come in peace to the Dual Ennead. The eastern doorleaf of the sky has been opened to you by Fixed of Kaz. Newt of long hair and pendulous breasts has given her arms toward you. When she shoulders you to the sky, she cannot drop you, Pepi Nefercare, to earth. When she gives birth to you, Pepi Nefercare, like Orion, she will make your abode at the four of the dual shrines. Pepi Nefercare will descend into a boat like the sun on the shores of the winding canal, so that Pepi Nefercare may be rowed by the unwearying ones. Pepi Nefercare will govern the imperishable stars, so that Pepi Nefercare may be rowed in the limit of the sky and set course to the marshes of winnowing. Your envoys have run, your runners have hastened, that they might say to the sun, Look, Pepi Nefercare has come. Look, Pepi Nefercare has come in peace. You should not go on those western walkways. Those who go there do not return. So, you should go, Pepi Nefercare, on those eastern walkways, among the sun's followers, and him whose shoulder sweeps in the east. Spells for Joining the Gods Commending the Spirit to the Gods O oh, Pepi Nefercare, your face that of a jackal, your ba in the god's booth, the clean that Horus has made for him. The sun has had fetched, so that might be fetched for you from your opponent. The sun is the one who has gotten your opponent for you, beaten, so that he might sweep the face of Horus who tends his father. Thoth has made an obstruction. Sending the spirit to the sky. Address to the departing spirit. Spells for appearing at dawn. At the entrance to the sky. Greeting the sun. Appearing at dawn. This is the one in which a tomb guided the Akhet's living. Pepi never care. His mother Isis. Pepi never care shall mount. Pepi never care has emerged through you. You have emerged through Pepi never care. Pepi never care has come. Pepi never care from those in Seth's following. He has demanded his. He has demanded the flaming one as she flames. The gods inside the inaccessible places. The dual Ennead. Pepi never care has been by Pepi never care as him of the horizon who ascends on thy. He who, to his crucible, has said, Greetings, grasp what is yours, remove, and acquire through it the crown with the dual Ennead. Pepi Nefercare is Thoth, who, and witnesses too. He who makes music with it will come to him, his who releases the body that is the flesh of. Your arm to the ground, and respect Pepi Nefercare. Pepi Nefercare is... Pepi Nefercare is Thoth, who strikes Kaz, the god's knife-bearer. Come, flesh destroyer, beware that you do not turn back behind Pepi Nefercare. 
sending the spirit to the sky. Please go and capture him who attacked Osiris's vine. Go and combine with the gods in Heliopolis. A king given offering in all your places, a king given offering of all your insignia. You going in your reed sandals to the side of him who is in his service. Anubis is seizing your arm, Newt is giving you your heart. You shall cloud like a falcon and pass like a heron. So you shall go away from the west, the living. Live, be alive, become young, be young at your father's fingers, at Orion's fingers, at the sky. Be alive, live, you life for your heart. Pepi never care, raise yourself from your right side. Elevate yourself on your left side. Your flesh has been collected for you. Wash yourself with and become clean through them as a god. You have emerged by means of the sun's fetchers, and your arm has been received by the imperishable stars. You shall not perish. This under as Seth in Takbit. You shall be supplied with bread like Horus being supplied with his eye, in the identity of the supplied offering. You shall be endowed with bread like Horus, being endowed with his eye in the identity of the endowed offering. That destroys your opponents. Destroy them, spew them out from you, put them in the lake, put them in the great green. The populace have come to you, Father Pepi never care. When the Great One fell in Nadit, the place where it happened was disowned by its mountain range. She in Isium shall raise you, Pepi never care, shall raise you, the one in your belly. It is Horus, foremost of the Duat, who has the red crown. Release the god. Horus has emerged from Akbit. Pei has awaited Horus so that he could become clean there. Clean Horus has come that he might tend his father Osiris. I have taken account of you, Pepi never care, said your two sisters, who have desired you. Said Isis, said Nephthys, bewailing you and awakening you. Oh, Pepi, never care, raise yourself, your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of cattle, your thousand of fowl, the roast meat and ribs from the god's butcher's block, your great bread and drawn bread from the broad hall. Provide yourself, Pepi, never care. Appearing at Dawn Pepi never care is your third, you imperishable gods of the undersky, who course the land of Libya and sweep away with your electrum staves. Pepi never care will sweep away with you with his staff of authority and his electrum staff. Pepi never care is your fourth, you imperishable gods of the undersky, who course the land of Libya and sweep away with your electrum staves. Pepi never care will sweep away with you with his staff of authority and his Electrum Staff. Commending the Spirit to the Gods O oh, old man, you have your water which comes from Osiris. Wash your arms, open up your ears. Isis has to you, Nephthys has screamed for you, the great mooring post has libated to you. Your rear has bowed over his brother, Nephthys is opening, striking, and they will give you to your nurturer. Meeting the Gods Sokar has become clean in his four vines at the four of the Ba house has become clean. So Pepi never care shall to the sky among his brothers the stars and the imperishable stars. So come, says the Ba's of who are older than he. Welcome, say the Ba's of Heliopolis. Pepi never care has come. Awake, ferryman of the winding canal, in peace, go, and Pepi never care to the place where his first two mothers are, and she will not wean Pepi never care, for the full number of his days as a child have not come, and he is sharp as Horus, lord of the sky. Pepi never care has come to you, son, great with a crown as messenger of Shu, those four gods. Pepi never care is one who has come forth as Horus. Pepi never care is the wise one before you. 
Papi Nefercare is those who cannot be damaged, who cannot die, who cannot be ended, who cannot rot, who cannot perish, who cannot be given to, is the name of one of them. He who comes striding is the name of one of them. Come is the name of one of them. Come in peace is the name of one of them. Our Father, welcome to. Say, Pepi never care is your messenger. Take Pepi never care to the sky with you as your wise one before you. Pepi never care is Wen Chu. He from the difficult paths, the imperishable stars for the Ak, on to the sun among, there by those who. And they found him crawling in his crawling, his brother Seth having thrown him down to the bulwarks. Has kissed from them, has set the taste meeting Pepi Nefercare in the proper time. Pepi Nefercare has come. Joining the Gods Pepi Nefercare has come to you, two elder and great companions who are in the eastern side of the sky, so that you may lift Pepi Nefercare and put him in the eastern side of the sky. Final Address to the Spirit O oh, Pepi Nefercare, you have your Ba with you. You shall be Ba as a god and exercise control as Osiris. O oh, Pepi Nefercare, live. You have not died. Horus has come to you and shall sever your shackles and throw off your hobbles. Horus has removed your impediment and the horizons shall not seize you. O oh, Pepi Nefercare, your Ka shall control. You have no human father. You have no human mother. Your mother is the great impoverishing Uraeus with white headcloth, open plumage, and dangling breasts. Pepi never care will not be seized by the horizons. The Pyramid Texts of Queen Naith Spells for Entering the Womb of Newt A Queen's Titulary Member of the Elite, King's Wife and King's Daughter, Great of Ornament and Great of Blessing, Naith, King's Wife whom he desired, She who sees Horus and Seth, Naith, Member of the Elite, King's Wife whom he desired, Naith, King's Daughter, Great of Ornament, and great of blessing, she who sees Horus and Seth, Naith. Member of the elite, king's wife whom he desired, Naith. Senior king's daughter of his body, Naith. She who sees Horus and Seth, great of ornament and great of blessing, Naith. Horus's acquaintance, Naith. Horus's companion, Horus's follower, consort of the one whom the two ladies desired, Naith. King's wife whom he desired, Naith. Member of the elite king's wife and king's daughter, great of ornament and great of blessing, Naith. King's wife whom he desired, she who sees Horus and Seth, Naith. Member of the elite king's wife whom he desired, Naith. King's daughter, great of ornament and great of blessing, she who sees Horus and Seth, Naith. Ascending to the sky. Naith has ascended as a great one and landed as a falcon. The face of Naith is the coil of the dilapidated one. She will split up the isles and delimit the isles' borders, and the gods' two countrysides will each give arms to her. Naith is a young man who has come from the sun. Naith has come from between the dual Enead's thighs. She has been conceived by Sekhmet. This Naith has been given birth by Shez Metet. Naith is a falcon who has come with Horus's eye, 
which is the Uraeus that came forth as a falcon, that came forth as Horus's eye. This Naith has flown up and landed on the Evolver's brow, in the prow of the boat that is in new. Invoking the Gods Naith is the Great One who came from Geb's brow. O ox in the open door, make a path for the Great One of Geb. Naith is Atum's son, the second of perfect of Ma'at. Naith has come climbing to the upper house, to the Ennead's brow. Naith has come to you, three gods, the Great One's defenders, who stand in the junction of the two lands. She is Shu's third. Naith does not pluck the High One from his place. Naith is the fourth of those four gods who come from Geb's brow. Naith has gone down at the sight of the Lost One. She is your fifth, you stars who touch Orion. Naith has come as your sixth, you imperishable stars who make the beetles' annals. Naith is the one who releases Osiris's pain, Ma'at, atop the seventh of Ma'at. Sun, Naith has negated crookedness for the lord of the Ogdoad. Naith is the eighth of them. Naith will shine by day as one who removes transgression and sets up Ma'at behind the sun, who shines fully every day for the lord, for the one in the Akhet of the sky, and opens the upper gates of Nu. Great One of a Tomb, son of a Great One of a Tomb, Naith is a star who belongs to the sky among the gods. Your mother will tell you, experienced one, that Naith is the one who has wept for you. Naith is the one who has mourned you. Suckling, you should give a document concerning Naith, for she is coming. Being Welcomed by the Gods How beautiful to look, says Isis. How satisfying to gaze, says Nephthys, at Father, at Naith, as she goes forth to the sky among the stars, among the imperishable stars, his wrath atop him, his ferocity at his sides, his magic at his feet. This Naith shall go thereby to her mother, Newt, and Naith shall ascend on her in her identity of the latter. She will get the gods who belong to the sky for this Naith, and join together the gods who belong to the earth for this Naith, that this Naith might exist with them, and this Naith might go on their arms. She shall get for her the Baas of Pei, and they will join together for her the Baas of Neken. This Naith is now complete. Geb is the one who argued for it with the tomb, for it is what was done for him. The marshes of reeds, the Horus mounds, and the Seth mounds are for this Naith complete. Geb is the one who argued for it with the tomb, for it is what was done for him. So he has come against you and said that he would kill you, but he will not kill you. You are the one who will kill him and establish yourself against him as the most established of wild bulls. So, be permanent. Be permanent. Sending the Spirit to the Sun Sensing Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, provide yourself with it. Horus has sensed himself with his eye. O oh, Naith, sense yourself with Horus's eye. Natron, cleanse yourself with Horus's eye. Provide yourself with Horus's eye, and it will provide you as a god to your opponent forever. Directing the Spirit to Newt Invoking the Spirit as Osiris Invoking the Spirit and Newt. Geb commands the Spirit to Newt. Cleansing, crowning, and tending the Spirit as Osiris. Libation and offering. Receiving and adorning the Spirit as King. Provisioning the Spirit. Sensing. Osiris Naith, be descended to me. The Offering and Insignia Rituals Presentation of Royal Regalia and Libation Horus has now gilded his eye's surface, the Falcon of Gold. 
Naith, I will fix for you Horus's eye in your head. The headband. Horus, in Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye to your face. Oh, Osiris Naith, accept Horus's one eye and see with it, the one of his body, and be measured through it. It shall lead you in the path. You shall let your throat breathe through it, and it will endure for you with you. Naith, wear it, and it will give life to your forehead. Ho oh, Naith, provide yourself with it, and it will make you a god. Osiris Naith, the pupils in Horus's eyes have also been set for you in your head. Naith, they have been set on you. Osiris Naith, they will extend protection over you. They will be with you, Osiris Naith, as your two cause, with their aegis around you, and they will lead you. Osiris Naith, these are Horus's two eyes, which you should give to either side of your head. Naith, they will become your two cause for you. Osiris Naith, they will be atop you as the two great of magic crowns. Naith, elevate them on you as the two great of magic crowns. Osiris Naith, accept your eye from which you are distant, and its magic will be great in opposition. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, the great of magic, and see with it. The Uraeus, the Cobra, the dual Uraei, the great of magic Uraeus. Father, accept the eye and see with it. Your eye has been parted, that you may see with it. The Collar Tie Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye which Seth hid the hidden vulture, which he joined, the joined vulture. It shall spread in him, the spread vulture. It shall not fear, the fear vulture, the Nile Valley God vulture. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye of which you said, its magic is greater than mine. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, great of magic, the great of magic vulture. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, his sound one, a citula. Libation. Doth, go acquire the opponent of this Naith for Osiris. Sensing. Cleansing the mouth with salt water. The mouth opening ritual. O Osiris Naith, let me part your mouth for you an ingot of Nile Valley God's metal. O oh, Osiris Naith, I have parted your mouth for you, an ingot of Delta God's metal. Naith, accept Horus's eye which went away, Nile Valley salt. I have gotten it for you that I might put it in your mouth, Delta salt. Here are Horus's two eyes, white and black. Acquire them to your countenance, that they may brighten your face. The Mouth Opening Meal A king given offering for Naith, a king given offering for the Ka of Naith. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, your bread loaf, and eat. Anointing Presentation of Eye Paint Presentation of Linen To the front, to the front with Osiris Libation and Cleansing Preparation of the Offering Table Doth, get him with it, I have come with Horus's eye The Great Meal The King's Offering Presentation of the Kilt Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, prevent it from being ended. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, which he made sound. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, prevent him from repelling it. Osiris Naith, acquire Horus's sole eye. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, which I have rescued from Seth after he snatched it. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, which went into Geb. 
presentation of sword and dagger. Osiris Naith accept Horus's eye in which Seth calculated. Osiris Naith accept Horus's eye, half of which he saw in Seth's hand. Presentation of Kilt Regalia Osiris Naith accept Horus's eye in which he danced between them. Osiris Naith accept Horus's eye. Presentation of Linen Osiris Naith, I have given him to you in it, that his heart may be wakeful about you. Osiris Naith, accept the foreleg of Seth, which Horus has torn off. Presentation of Maces, Scepters, and Staves Osiris Naith, accept the waters that are in Horus' eye. Don't you let loose of it. Osiris Naith, Except Horus's eye, the waters in which Thoth saw. Osiris Naith, you have been swept from him. Look, you have blinded him. Osiris Naith, the one you should desire, he is Horus. Osiris Naith, Horus's eye has been made forceful with you. Osiris Naith, don't let your face be downcast. Place it in your arm, and they will be hacked to pieces for you. Osiris Naith, accept the waters that are in Horus's eye. O oh, Naith, fill your hand with the Horus staff. Provide yourself with the Horus staff, and it will provide you as a god. You should not let loose of it. Beware that you not let loose of it. Osiris Naith, accept Seth's fingers, which causes Horus's white eye to see. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, which whitens the tip of Seth's fingers. Osiris Naith, seize for yourself his hand, the hand of your opponent. Osiris Naith, don't let him go away from you. Osiris Naith, you are swept off each of his two fingers. Osiris Naith, be alive, be alive. Osiris Naith, accept Horus's eye, which dangled from his children's arm. Osiris Naith, accept the arm of Nephthys, prevent her from using it against them. Presentation of Bows and Arrows Splay yonder one who has stood up. Thoth, get him. Thoth, get him. Accept. I have given him to you. I have put him under you. You are the one he belongs to. Osiris Naith, seize him for yourself. Seth, go under, Osiris Naith. I am Geb. Thoth, get him the one spread out yonder that one has been spread out and this one stands up the opponent of this naith has been spread out and this naith stands up i have gotten horus's two eyes from the place where they fell look they are given to you he has put them down osiris naith i have gotten horus's two eyes that which spreads out seth's heart has been gotten that which spreads out Seth's heart has been given to you. I have set them for you. Merge them to yourself. Seize them for yourself. O oh, Osiris Naith, I have gotten you Horus's two eyes which spread out his heart. Invocation of the Offering Ritual Invocation of the Insignia Ritual Procession with the Deceased's Statue You are the eldest and senior son of Geb, his firstborn. The Ennead has given you your opponent under you. For, he said, behold the one against me, in your identity of Osiris Naith. Horus has made your magic great in your identity of great of magic. You are the great god. Horus has carried you in the Sokar boat, bearing you as Sokar. He is a son who bears his father. You are in control of the Nile Valley through this Horus, through whom you exercise control. You are in control of the Delta through this Horus, through whom you exercise control. You shall exercise control and defend your body from your opponent. O oh, Cyrus Naith, you are the sole controlling God. Horus has given you his children that they might bear you. Control them, bring them to you. There is none of them who will turn back. 
Geb has given you all the gods of the Nile Valley and Delta, that they might bear you and you might control them. They are your brothers in their identity of the dual flagpole shrines. Horus has allotted them to you, united. When you encircle all the gods in the circle of your arms, and their lands, and all their things as well, they will escort you and your strength. O oh, Osiris Naith, you are the great god, elder and round as he who surrounds the external isles. You have been tended. Be alive and move about every day. There is nothing of you that can be disturbed. You are the Ka of all the gods. Horus has tended you, and you have evolved as his Ka's evolution. O oh, Osiris Naith, you are the most controlling god of all the gods. The eye has come forth in your head as the one of the Nile Valley, for Horus has placed his eye in your front as the Nile Valley Great of Magic. The eye has come forth in your head as the one of the Delta, and you have appeared as Hereditary King. Horus and Thoth have become fraternal to you as the Hereditary King's two brothers, and you have appeared as Dual King, for you have control of all the gods and their cause as well. O oh, Osiris Naith, you are Geb's son, and you will not die. Control is yours, Osiris Naith. Esteem is yours, Osiris Naith. Ba is yours, Osiris Naith. Life-giving is yours, Osiris Naith. As you have control, you shall repulse your opponents. Osiris Naith, become content, for you have been given to. Horus in Osiris Naith, become content about it, for you have been made to see with it. Become content, for he has given you your head. Address to Geb The Resurrection Ritual The Basic Ritual Provisioning the Resurrected Spirit Raise yourself, Naith. Your bones have been collected for you. Your limbs have been returned to you. Your water has come from Elephantine and your Natron from the God's Palace. Stand at the four of the dual shrines, at the four of the Jackal Gods, and strike your arm against your opponents that Anubis at the four of the Gods' booth gave you when he put you, Naith, at the four of the Westerners. The burial place's door has been opened to you, the sarcophagus's door has been pulled open to you, and you will find your inundation meeting you. Raise yourself, Naith, to your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of cattle, your thousand of fowl, your thousand of ointment, your thousand of clothing, and your thousand of every kind of linen, which have come forth to you from this Naith's house as your inheritance. You shall lead the perfect ones and govern the Westerners, for you are an Ak of great strength, who lands for yourself at the causeway to every place you wish to be. Naith, you shall exercise control there, for the god has commanded that you save yourself from the claim of your opponent, Naith. For you are the one Osiris has placed on his throne, that you might lead the Westerners and become Ak at the four of the gods. O oh, Naith, live, live, be alive. Be alive in this your identity, that is with the gods, apparent as parter, as the ram at the four of the living, as the controlling one at the four of the ox. This Naith is Thoth. Gather yourselves, you gods in the white palace. Such is this Naith who is with you, Osiris. The ram-bolted gates that bar Libya have been opened to you. Your metal baton is in your hand, and you shall number those of the night. Direct the nine bows, and receive the imperishable star's arm. The great ones shall gather to you, and the watchers shall wait for you as Horus who tends his father. O oh, Naith, elder one who sleeps, great one who is asleep, the elder one has spent the night abed. Great praise toward you, the great scent toward you, pleasant to your nose is the scent of the firstborn's thing. O oh, Naith, your bones have been assembled for you, your limbs gathered for your, your teeth bequeathed to you, and you have received your heart for your body. The earth on your flesh has been cleared away. You have received this, your cleansing, 
and these your four washing jars that have been filled from the God's canal, and you have been cleaned with them as a God, that you might go forth from it as the sun's eye. You have appeared at their four as Geb at the four of the Ennead's body, a Heliopolitan governing the gods, governing in the session of the living God, for you have acquired the crown as a sole star who wipes out opponents. Behold the manner of your going, Naith, which Horus described to you, his father Osiris. O Naith, come to, that I may describe to you this manner of your going, that you may become Ak through it, become great through it, become esteemed through it, become Ba through it, and take control through it. O Naith, you have your Ak within you, you have your Ba around you, you have your heart for your body. Your shackles have been severed as Horus in his royal house, your hobbles loosened as Seth in Takbit. And you have entered into defense, for your father Geb has defended you. He who will reject you will not live. He who will call you one who goes back behind me, that is not your name. O Naith, Horus's eye shall endure. Put your hand on your bread. O Naith, endow yourself with this your bread like Horus endowing himself with his eye. This here is it, in the distinguished identity of the endowed offering. Supply yourself with this your bread, like Horus supplying himself with his eye. This here is it, in the distinguished identity of the supplied offering. So, ascend to the sky amongst the stars in the sky, and those before you shall hide, and those after you shall be afraid of you because of this your identity of Horus of the Duat, which your father Osiris has made for you, this your identity of the one who strikes them, of the one who spews them out, of the one who wipes them out, and you will strike them, spew them out, and wipe them out at the lake, at the great green. You shall come to stand at the four of the imperishable stars, and sit on your metal throne from which the dead are far away, your fingernails, Hackers of the enclosure of your hunter's hunt. O oh, Naith, behold this which I have done for you. I have taken you away from your impediment, and cannot give you to your adversary. I have defended you from your hunter's hunt. Behold the she-centipede that is on your face, sleepers. The sky's door has been opened to you, the cool water's door has been pulled open to you, that you may emerge from it as parter, the pale crown that is atop your shoulders, that of Thoth, the knife-bearer who emerged from Seth. Thoth shall strike away obstruction for you by means of what he will do for you. The mooring post shall call you as Isis. The moorer shall summon you as Nephthys. Be apparent on the great causeway and circulate in the Horus mounds. Circulate in the Seth mounds, as Min at the fore of the Ennead's body. For the gateway of thighs forward has been opened to you. O oh, Naith, behold this which I have done for you. I have been effective for you. I have not been useless for you, guarding you. For your jar stand and your bread have been made firm. Your bread is at its proper time. Your morning bread is at its proper time. Your bread, its scent is with Naith every day. O oh, Naith, I know this. I have not ignored the tomb which is the limit of the vision of him whose identity is distinguished. You should recognize me as the speaker and associate with your predecessor Osiris. O oh, Naith, beware of the great lake that leads to the ox and the canal that leads to the dead. Beware of those people of yonder Bauhaus who are in charge of confrontation in their identity of textile workers lest they take your arm to yonder Ba house. It is dangerous. It is painful. Miss it. Avoid it. You should miss it completely and avoid it completely. Go instead to well-informed. So Kar's beloved brother, and he will give you the way to the Akhet, where the sun's clean places are, and you will find the dual Ennead seated. Then you shall sit with them in it, eat bread with them in it, and row in the green boat with them in it. The sky will tremble because of you. The earth will shake because of you. The imperishable stars will come to you in obeisance, and Kas Asinger will take your arm to the reed marsh. You shall sit on your metal throne and render judgment with the dual Ennead. O oh, Naith, 
You have received your head. You have your teeth. You have your hair. You will open the doors that bar people, stable for the course of eternity. O Naith, you shall emerge with your face, that of the Seth animal, and sit at the fore of those older than you. The sky shall become disheveled because of you, the earth shall shake because of you, and the imperishable stars shall be afraid of you. I have come to you whose places are inaccessible, that I might seek you for the sky, saying, He is inaccessible. I cannot find him since the sky went to rest, since the earth went to rest, and the two lords of Het to Pet went to rest. Contentment has come, for I have reaped barley for your supply festivals and emmer for your yearly festivals. Your white bread, Anubis wafer, bread, and bread are at the fore of the westerners. Your warm bread, Naith, is at the fore of the gods. O oh, Naith, raise yourself. Remove yourself from off your left side. Sit on your right side. You shall sit on the sun's seats, clean with your back to the wall and your arm on your offering stand. Your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of cattle, your thousand of fowl, your thousand of every kind of clothing, your thousand of everything that a god eats, your thousand of great bread, with Horus in the midst of the broad hall. You shall eat a foreleg, serve yourself a haunch, and snatch ribs from Horus's slaughterhouse, stable for the course of eternity. O Naith, should they ask you my name, you should not tell them my name. Who has acted for you, they will say. My replacement is the one who has acted for me, you shall say. Level his sight, erect his brick, you shall say. Apply his mortar between the walls that he may eventually descend into his tomb himself. O oh, Naith, eat this alone and don't give any of it to those people who may be beside you. O oh, Naith, when this time comes tomorrow, and the time of three days from now, a footpath will be laid down for you to the sky amongst the imperishable stars. O oh, Naith, greetings and peace. May it be very good for you. Make for yourself your place as foremost of Westerners, as I have made my place with the king. You should escort your survivors, and they will make your festivals. How beautiful to the sight, how satisfying to the hearing, is Osiris's stance, is in the mouth of your tomb's gods, Naith. He of the injured heart and inaccessible places shall open for you the sky's doorway and pull open for you the cool water's doorway. He shall make you a path, that you might emerge on it amongst the gods, alive in your Ba. O oh, Naith, you have not really died, but have really come to life amongst them, the imperishable ox. Come, Flood, supply the outflow that comes from Osiris, that Horus may be clean from what his brother Seth has done to him, that Seth may be clean from what his brother Horus has done to him, that this Naith may be clean from everything bad against him, that the Watchers might be cleaned for Horus when he embraces his father Osiris. He has appeared on the lake on his throne and has penetrated the basin with his Ak. I have demanded him from Kerti and cannot give him to Osiris. He will open the gateway that bars, for I have done for him what should be done for him, as the sole star that has no equal amongst them, the gods. Be seated, Naith, on your great seat, your bread is great bread, your bread is from the broad hall. The watchers shall dance for you, and the moorer shall call to you as Osiris. Raise yourself, Naith, for your bones have been assembled for you, and you have received your head. The Enead has decreed that you shall sit down to your great bread and select a foreleg from the great butcher's block, and that ribs shall be given to you from Osiris's butcher block. O oh, Naith, raise yourself as men and fly to the sky and live with them. You shall grow your wings, with your plumage on your head and your plumage on your upper arms. Bestrew the sky as a star, shining to them as a god, permanent at the fore of the sky as Horus. Greetings, Naith, whose places are inaccessible. Your good annunciation has emerged in the cool waters. I have beaten barley and reaped emmer and made your yearly festivals from it. So you shall go forth. So go off, Naith, take control and be imperishable. 
I cannot see you. You are the one who sees me. How great is this which my face has seen. How important is this which my eyes have seen. A god coming with hair bound in a braid, as the one who tends his father. He is the one who has stood up as Horus on the river banks, his two sisters, Isis and Nephthys, beside him. Raise yourself, Naith, for your bones have been assembled and your limbs collected. Raise yourself, Naith, for you have received your head. Use your arms as you wish. Lift your face. Look at Meskinet, your mother who made possible your emergence when you were in the jaws of him of Zemaru. Shu has ascended and he will remove the walls and dispel the walls from the limit, O Naith, whose places are inaccessible. So, walls, shall I not remove you? Shall I not dispel you from limit of this Naith whose places are inaccessible? The four Wenegs, the four from Pei, the four guardian forces, and the four Heliopolitans shall remove the walls and dispel the walls from your limit, O Naith, whose places are inaccessible. Oh, hey. Ho, oh, Neith, here are your wine jars from the red house, your flat beer bread from the supply house, your wheat bread from the supply house, your thousand of bread, your thousand of beer, your thousand of everything sweet, your thousand of bread, your thousand of roasted grain, your thousand of every kind of stone vessel, your thousand of every kind of clothing, your thousand of cattle, your thousand of fowl, your thousand of everything sweet that provides you as a god, so that you may become Ak of the four of the ox, and exercise control at the four of the living. Let this be for you. Horus's eye is with you. You may have it enduringly, enduringly, that you may go to the Akhet at the four of the imperishable stars, and direct those of Spread Lake. Spells for passing through the Akhet. Sending the spirit through the Akhet. Libation. Receiving and adorning the spirit as king. Address to the resurrected spirit. O oh, Naith, raise yourself on your metal bones and your golden limbs. This body of yours belongs to a god. It cannot molder. It cannot end. It cannot decay. The warmth on your mouth is the breath that comes from Seth's nostrils. The winds of the sky will be ended if the warmth in your mouth is ended. The sky in its flood of stars will end if the warmth in you ends. Your flesh has been born to life and you shall live more than the stars live in their life. Spells for the Spirit's Rebirth Awake, awake, Naith, awake to me, I am your son. Awake to me, I am Horus, who awakens you. Live, live, Naith, in this your identity that is with the ox, apparent as parter, as the Ba at the four of the living, and the controlling power at the four of the ox, as the sole star that eats his opponent. O oh, Naith, you are Thoth in his white palace, in your identity that is with Osiris. Your baton is in your hand as him of the mud, and you shall number those of the night and use your arm to direct the imperishable stars. O oh, Neith, how elevated is the sleeper, how far off the one abed. The great ones shall stand up for you, and the watchers sit down for you as Horus, who tends his father. Pleasant scent of the meal, you belong to the nose. Pleasant scent of Naith's meal, you belong to the nose. So, raise yourself, Naith. You have received your four jars that were filled for you from the god's canal, and your water lily scepter that your mother, she of Hedgebet, has given you. It will not be removed from it. So, raise yourself, Naith and see your Horus Mounds and their Mastabas as well, and see your Seth Mounds and their Mastabas as well. Your shackles have been untied for you as Horus in his house. Your hobbles have been dispelled for you as Seth in Takbit. I have taken you from Kerti, 
who lives on people's hearts and cannot give you to your hunter's hunt. The mooring post will speak to you as Isis. The moorer will summon you as Nephthys. The earth will shake for you. A deposit will be laid down for you. Drumming will be drummed for you. Doth, the knife bearer who emerged from Seth, will come to you and find you seated on your chair of ebony as the son of the four of the Ennead. You shall govern the ox, for their heads have been brought to you and their running legs fetched for you, and you shall live on their hearts. Stand on the causeway of the great green, for your identity of the jackal has been set for you, and you have received your identity of parter. O Naith, you should associate with the one at the fore, your Horus. Meeting the Sun If you want to live, Horus, atop Pebble Mountain, you should not shut the sky's door, you should not bar its barriers, before the Ka of Naith has gone forth to the sky, to those whom the God knows, to those whom the God desires, who eat of figs, are sensed with incense, wear sovereign's linen, and escort the great god. The Ka of Naith will escort the great god and elevate Naith to the great god, for he is one of them. Naith will not die because of a king. Naith will not die because of people. There will not arise, nor will there be anything bad that they will say badly against Naith, by day or from the onset of darkness, or in his first of the month, middle of the month, or yearly festivals. Taking Control of Nourishment O Akhet Lord at the Four of the Gods, to whom homage is made in the mornings, who lives on nourishment and ends his thirst with sustenance, Lord of life who cannot perish, look Naith has come to you. Naith is that witness of yours about Ma'at, Naith has been conceived in the nose. Naith has been born from the nostril. Naith has spent the night in your bond. Naith will sit in your coils. Naith will live in your life. Naith will be supplied with your contentment. Now that Naith has come to you, Naith will eat of your Ka's nourishment. Naith will feed on sustenance, and Naith will receive contentment from the God's hand. Naith is the one who made bread loaves. Sustenance will be given to Neith on the day of the making sound offering. Collect to yourself the one who pertains to Ma'at. Because of the Ma'at, Neith has said. Greetings you at the four of the inundation, who guard nourishment and sit in the four of the green marsh at the shoulder of the Lord of Sunlight. You shall let this Neith eat of grain, and she will become like Osiris on the great immersion. He who sees with his face is the one who brings food in to Naith together with eats with his mouth. He to whom presented offerings belong to the senior god shall introduce this Naith to abundance, nourishment, and that which is at the fore of the contentment of the marsh of reeds. Naith will eat with her mouth like him whose hair is parted. Naith will let loose with her rear like Selket. Naith will give offerings and Naith will lead nourishment like him whose two plumes are long in the midst of the marsh of reeds. The nose of Naith has air, his penis has semen, like the one mysterious of form in the midst of the sunlight. Naith shall look at Nu, and this Naith will appear on her path. Praise shall be given to Naith, and Naith will be great because of her baas. To her belongs the six-day meal in battlefield. Naith will eat of a pregnant cow like those in Heliopolis. Spells Against Inimical Beings Cobra to the sky, Horus's centipede to the earth. The cowherd Horus is stepping. I have stepped on Horus's glide path only unconsciously, not knowing better. On your face, you in his undergrowth, be dragged away, you in his cavern, Horus's oven that is all over the earth. Oh, let the monster be off. Snake, where are you going? Wait for me. I am Geb. Snake, brother of the female snake, your father, Jamiu, has died. 
the sun will appear with his effective uraeus atop him against this snake that comes from the earth. You under my fingers, he shall cut off the head of this snake with this knife, which is the hand of Mafdet in the midst of the enclosure of life. He shall drag out those which are in your mouth and milk your poison with those four strings that trail behind Osiris's sandal. Monster snake, lie down. Bull snake, crawl away. Mafdet will jump on the neck of the snake who brings his gift, and again on the neck of the snake with sweeping head, which is the one who will remain. I am the one who will remain. Yonder opponent has fallen because of his eye, and crawled off because of his testicles. Fall down, crawl away. The one a tomb has bitten has filled his mouth, closing all up, coiling himself all up. Shall I chop this left nail of mine against you and set a blow with it for the attacker's opponent? O oh, you who acquire, don't acquire for the one I say or the one I make. Your two poison drops are off to your two poison sacks. Let them be spewed out. Face has fallen on face. Face has seen face. The knife all dappled black has emerged against you and swallowed you for itself. The bull snake has fallen to the snake. The snake has fallen to the bull snake, sent back because of what he has seen. So the ground sun snake shall fall with his vertebra under him. Fire shall come forth against the horizon, and Kas Asinger shall burn with poison. Monster snake, be dead. You of the evil deed, you of the wall, you of the wall. Set your arms behind you, beware of the great mouth. Starter snake, you have emerged in the nighttime, and the earth's scent is on you. The cobra that came from the earth has fallen. The fire that came from Nu has fallen. Fall down, crawl away. Spray not as long ones of the lake, you long ones of the lake, for I shall raise the red crowns, and you shall praise my name. You whose mother turned him away, you whose mother turned him away, aren't you such? Lion, spit out. Back, you hot night attacker snake. Doth, the night attacker snake's night attacker, is the one who strikes your marshes. Spells for Ascending to the Sky Going toward the sky. Geb will laugh. Newt will chuckle. Before me as I go up to the sky. The sky will shout for me. The earth will shake for me. I have dispelled the storm clouds, yelling as Seth. And those at the sky's limbs shall open the sky's doors. I will stand on Shu with the stars having been shaded for him, with the fan for cooling the gods' water jars. I will course the sky like Zewen Chu the third companion of Soltis of pure places, having become clean in the Duat's lakes. Lake Strider is making my perfect paths and leading me to the great seat that made the gods, made Horus and begat Thoth, so that Isis may receive me and Nephthys might beget me. So I will sit on the great seat that made the gods, and the morning gods shall come to me in arousal, and the gods in brotherhood. Those of the Akhet shall come to me on their face, and the imperishable stars in obeisance. I will receive the offering slab and manage the god's mouth altar. I will shoulder the sky with life and support the earth with happiness. This right arm of mine will shoulder the sky with a staff. This left arm of mine will support the earth with happiness. Because the abomination of Summoner, the doorkeeper of Osiris, is ferrying someone without a toll having been paid to him, I will find a fare for myself and thus receive for myself the air of life. I will inhale happiness and become sated with the gods' offerings. When I have breathed the air of my abundance, the north wind, I will become sated among the gods. So I will become sharp as the great sharp one and go forward to the four of the dual shrines. I will strike with the baton and manage with the papyrus scepter. I will put my annals among people and love of me among the gods, saying, Speaker, say what is and don't say what isn't, 
for Elysian is a god's abomination. Let me be tended, and don't report me wrongly. I am your son. I am your heir. The sky has been opened. The earth has been opened. The looking water's caverns have been opened. The stretches of new have been opened. The sunlight's stretches have been loosed by this soul one, who is stable every day. Say this before me as I go up to the sky. I shall be anointed with first-class oil and clothed in top linen, and I shall sit on that which makes Ma'at live, with my back to the back of those gods at the sky's north, the imperishable stars, and I shall not perish, the unpassing ones, and I shall not pass, the unwaning ones, and I shall not wane. Should Mantu go high, he will go high with him. Should Mantu run, he will run with him. I have gone up with the staff from his Ba's settlement and descended like a heron on the pole. I have gone up as one of the great ones and descended into the leaking basins. I have gone up on the ladder with my foot on Orion, and my arm is in elevation. I have grabbed onto Thai's forwards rope, and my arm has been received at the great place. I shall receive my throne that is in the god's boat, and it shall not unseat me. I shall occupy my throne that is in the god's boat, and it shall not unseat me. Greeting Horus and Seth Address to the Doorkeeper Spells for Entering the Sky Boarding the Sunboat Hey, Father! Hey, Son! Now that which you said, O oh, for a son, Ak, manifest, Ba, esteemed, and in control with long arms and wide stride, here am I, I am your son, here am I, I am Naith. I have become Ak, manifest, Ba, esteemed, and in control, my arms long, and my stride wide. I shall board your boat, become clean, and receive my rudder. I shall brighten my seat in the sky's shoulder, I shall row in the sky's shoulder, and I shall beach my rudder in the sky's shoulder. Hey, father, hey, son, now that which you said, O oh, for a son, ak, manifest, ba, esteemed, and in control with long arms and wide stride, here am I. I am your son, here am I, I am Naith. I have become ak, manifest, ba, esteemed and in control. I shall board your boat, become clean, and receive my rudder. I shall brighten my seat as one of the Ennead, I shall row as one of the Ennead, and I shall beach my rudder as one of the Ennead. The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun. The sky's two reed floats have been set for the sun, that he might go on high from east to west, to the midst of his brothers the gods. Orion is his brother, so Thys is his sister, and he will sit between them in this world forever. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Naith. The sky's two reed floats have been set for this Naith, that he might go on high from east to west to the midst of his brothers the gods. Orion is his brother, so Thys is his sister, and he will sit between them in this world forever. Supplying the Spirit for the Journey Awake! Awake, Father Osiris. I am your son, who loves you. I am your son Horus, who loves you. For look, I have come, having gotten for you what he acquired from you. Has he exalted over you? Has he slurped blood from you? Has Seth slurped blood from you beside your two sisters who love you, Isis and Nephthys? They will support you, so that you will not pass. They will service you so that you will not pass away. Separate your needy one, Horus in his house, and the disturber, Seth, as Geb, as him of the sedan chair who eats entrails. Your fore is that of a jackal, your rear is that of Kebahut, and your spine, the god's doorbolt. I have plowed barley and reaped emmer, which I have made for your yearly supplies. Awake, awake, father, to this your bread. I have come to you, Father. I have come to you, Osiris. 
I shall get you that cow of yours that was away, you whom his mother caught spread out in her horns. Provision has raised you up. Your mouth has been parted by experienced, foremost one of the supply house. Your mouth has been parted by the great one of the morning in the enclosure of gold. Your mouth has been parted by the two reconciled gods, foremost of the enclosure of Natron. Your mouth has been parted by Horus with his little finger, with which he parted the mouth of his father, with which he parted the mouth of Osiris. I am your son. I am Horus. I am a son who loves his father in my identity of the loving son. Your cleaning, your wiping, the giving of your clothing, your thousand of linen and your thousand of clothing that I have gotten for you, I will establish you with respect to them. Being born at dawn. The sky has become pregnant with wine. Behold, Newt has given birth to her daughter, the morning star. So I will raise myself, the third companion of Sothis, of clean places. When I have become clean in the lakes of those of the Duat, I will be purged in the jackal lakes. Thornbush, remove yourself from my path, that I may attain the southern part of the Marsh of Reeds. The guide canal has been opened. The winding canal has flooded. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus, that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for him of the Akhet, that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Horus of Shazmet, that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for Eastern Horus, that he may cross to the Akhet where the sun is. The sky's two reed floats have been set for me, for I am Horus of the gods, and I will cross to the Akhet to where the sun is. I will receive my throne that is in the marsh of reeds. I will descend to the southern part of the marsh of rest. I am the great one, the great one's son. I have emerged from between the dual Enneads thighs. I have worshipped the sun. I have worshipped Horus of the Akhet as he strapped on the apron. When he grows content for me, he grows content for Horus because of his tongue. When he grows content for Horus because of his tongue, he grows content for me. Opening the Door of the Sky Open sky, open earth. Open the door to Horus, you of the enclosure wall. Pull open the door to Seth, you water lilies and capsized to me in this place. Seth at the fore of his toppled wall. <laughs>